Web novel fanfiction TG the good. The latest of the latest. Chapter 1 I said, how long do you plan to delay? Come with us quickly. Several big men gathered around and shouted loudly. You didn't give me any money at all. Why should I go with you? A girl in tattered clothes shouted with a cry, Father. My daughter is unfilial. I can't even raise the funeral expenses for you. Even if you die, there will be no one. Good shelter. In the room behind the girl, a 17-year-old boy wearing a light gray short-sleeved shirt with a stand-up collar was lying. The noise outside the house finally woke the young man up. What's going on? The young man stood up and looked around. Where is this place? Suddenly, a sharp pain from his left eye awakened the boy's memory. By the way, in the final blow with Naruto, he forcibly activated the Rinnegan, trying to divert part of the power of the Senjutsu Daitama Rasengan. But he was unable to withstand the load caused by excessive use of the eye power and was absorbed. Entering the distorted time and space. Was it transported somewhere else? Sasuke stood up and opened the door of the dilapidated cabin. Outside the house, several wretched men were surrounding a little girl of about ten years old, making disgusting laughter. Where is this? Sasuke asked coldly. Several big men couldn't help but be startled when they saw Sasuke suddenly appearing. When the little girl saw that the big brother she had rescued from the river was awake, she immediately got up from the ground and hid behind Sasuke. Sasuke remained expressionless and continued to ask, How far is it from the Valley of the End? I don't know how far the Valley of the End is, but if you dare to stop us from doing things for the bishop, your death will not be far away. A bearded man said and was about to poke his finger on Sasuke's forehead. Broken fingers, kicked knees. In less than a second, Sasuke finished these two actions and said coldly, Get out. Good boy. Just wait for me. The bishop of Wuhuan Palace will not let you go. The bearded man scolded as he was helped to retreat by everyone. Seeing the group of people walking away, Sasuke turned around and looked down to see the little girl looking at him with a pair of big watery eyes and a rosy face. Where is your family? Sasuke asked. They are all dead, and now I am the only one left. The little girl shed tears as she said this, holding Sasuke's waist and sobbing. Sasuke's heart skipped a beat as he slowly raised a hand and gently touched the little girl's head. What's your name? Sasuke asked the little girl by the fire in the cabin. My name is Mu Ching, big brother, where are you? Mu Ching asked while eating the roast rabbit cooked by Sasuke. Uchiha Sasuke. Sasuke said. Brother, your name is so long. Mu Ching said, it's so hard to remember. Sasuke Sasuke said again. Okay, brother Sasuke. Mu Ching looked at Sasuke and smiled happily, smiling and tears also flowed down. What's wrong? Sasuke asked. I have a family again, I have an extra brother. Mu Ching wiped his nose and said with a smile, brother Sasuke has beautiful eyes. The next day, Sasuke tried to open a wormhole in a different space, but had to give up. Due to excessive loss of pupil power, the Magatama in his left eye had completely disappeared. I can only wait until my pupil power recovers before trying again. Sasuke looked at the green mountains and green waters, as well as Mu Ching who was working hard to catch fish in the river. Suddenly I feel like I have lost everything. Revenge, strength, betrayal, fighting, glory, hatred, carrying all of this on his back, he was suddenly emptied of time. This unprecedented inner peace is like a dream. A peaceful life is something that a cursed person like him should not expect. After a brief period of confusion, Sasuke began to examine this new world. According to Mu Ching, a continent with countless kingdoms is also a place full of war and division. Right there. A young boy from nowhere is preventing us from hiring servants for the bishop. The rude shout disrupted Sasuke's thoughts. I saw that the gang of hooligans who had been driven away yesterday came over again, and with them, there were several soldiers in armor and a man with gray hair. You dare to hinder my men from doing things for the bishop and offend Wuhuan Palace. Do you know your guilt? The gray-haired man glanced at Sasuke, 
who was wearing shabby clothes and said. I've never heard of Wuhuan Palace or anything like that. What do you think? Sasuke said coldly. What do you want? The gray-haired man laughed, originally, I saw how pretty you were, and I wanted to spare your life, but if you don't know about the spirit hall, this is going to be a big deal. Sasuke turned around and said to Mu Qin, come in. Mu Qin hugged the fish and nodded, then hid in the cabin. After only half a head of time, he saw those people falling to the ground one by one. Brother Sasuke. If you beat them, we can't live here anymore. Mu Qin ran over and grabbed Sasuke's sleeves. Is this the Hall of Spirits? Sasuke summoned the Kuzanagi sword from the seal on his wrist, nailed the gray-haired man's hand to the ground with one sword, and said, You remember, my name is Uchiha, Sasuke. The gray-haired man let out a scream. He had never seen such a fighting technique. He was a soul master, but he was knocked to the ground before he could even show his martial soul. You'd better not let me go back. When I report it to the bishop, you will be charged with blaspheming the Pope. Sasuke slowly turned the Kuzanagi sword nailed into the man's flesh and blood in a circle, and said, I just let you go on a whim, and I can also take your lives on a whim. The gray-haired man raised his head and glanced at Sasuke, and a scarlet eye with strange patterns came into his mind. Then he found himself being stared at by countless golden cones on the wooden stake, and fell into endless fear. Sasuke looked at the unconscious Wuhundian soldiers on the ground, then looked at the dilapidated cabin where Mu Qin was, pulled out the Kuzanagi sword, and said without looking back, let's go. Mu Qin looked back at the cabin, then at Sasuke, hugged the fish, and quickly followed Sasuke's pace. Chapter, 2 After leaving Mu Qin's cabin, Sasuke realized how remote his location was. There were some small villages along the way, which were not suitable for settling down. Sasuke also tried channeling Green Snake and Eagle, but as expected they both failed. There are actually minions scattered in such a remote place. It seems that this Wuhuan Palace has a lot of background. Sasuke thought. Brother Sasuke, does he really not know about Wuhuan Palace? Mu Qing looked at Sasuke in surprise. Do we need to know? Sasuke asked. Every year, the Wuhuan Palace sends people to small places like ours to awaken the Wuhuan for the children in the village. The folks in the village are very poor, and they all hope to become soul masters and get ahead. Mu Qing said. What's the purpose of doing this? Sasuke listened to Mu Qing's words. It was obvious that this Wuhuan Palace was very good at cultivating power and accumulating reputation. I don't know, but if you can become a soul master, you will really have nothing to worry about. The Wuhuan Palace has branch halls everywhere. After registering as a soul master, you can get a lot of subsidies. Mu Qing said with bright eyes. Seeing Mu Qing's longing expression, Sasuke guessed that this child was already in his teens, but he was still being bullied in the mountains and fields. He seemed not to be a soul master. Soul master. Sasuke looked at the sky. This is a world without ninja history. The figure of that blonde hot-blooded idiot flashed through Sasuke's mind, and he smiled contemptuously. If that guy was here, a new Kanoha village might rise from the ground in this world. Sasuke reached out and took a fallen leaf. Wherever the leaves danced, the fire continued to grow. Itachi has also become Kanoha burning in the dark, where will my ninja lead? Brother Sasuke, look, there are a lot of people around there. Sasuke followed what Mu Qing expected and saw a dilapidated building appearing in front of him, with the word Shrek Academy crookedly written on it. Sasuke glanced at Mu Qing. At her age, she should live happily in the academy instead of sleeping in the open air with him. Sasuke took Mu Qing to the back of the queue. You're over thirteen years old, why are you bringing me here? I've made it clear, our academy only accepts monsters. The old man sitting there waved impatiently, go, go. Next. Seeing that there was no hope of admission, the farmer with his child rubbed his hands and said, teacher, what about the registration fee of ten gold soul coins? The old man who was called the teacher laughed and said, Mubai, there is someone who wants to repay the tuition fee. I saw a fit man appear out of nowhere, straightened his collar and said, it's very simple. Hit me. 
Give me back everything. After the man finished speaking, three soul rings rose up. The farmer looked at them without saying a word, turned around and took his child away. Is this the so-called soul master? Sasuke opened his Sharingan and saw the soul power flowing in the man's body. This power felt inexplicably familiar. It was not chakra, but more like natural energy, but it felt far less powerful and pure than natural energy. Mu Qing, how old are you? Sasuke asked. Mu Qing replied, 13 years old. Mu Qing looked at Sasuke, suddenly thought of something, and said, Brother Sasuke, let's go. You must be more than 13 years old, I don't want to be separated from you. Sasuke didn't answer, he just wanted to settle the child first. Sasuke led Mu Qing to the registration desk, and the old man said without raising his head, 10 gold soul coins. Sasuke took out a shiny black weapon from the seal on his wrist, placed it on the desk, and said, this is a Fuma shuriken made of tungsten steel. It should be more than enough to cover the so-called registration fee. The old man took the Fuma shuriken, unfolded it, closed it again, and glanced at Mu Qing, who was holding Sasuke's sleeve. Release your martial spirit and show me. The old man said to Mu Qing. Mu Qing looked hesitant, glanced at Sasuke, and carefully released his martial spirit. The flower of the other side. The old man rolled his eyes and said, forget about the useless martial soul, it is still such an unlucky useless martial soul. As you said, we only attract monsters. Do you understand the value of the three word Shrek? Even the word Shrek even if you don't have a soul ring, come here to sign up, why don't you do it for charity? Monster? Do you mean genius? Sasuke looked at the young man enjoying the shade under the tree and thought to himself, geniuses are all working hard on their own. Such people will shine wherever they go. It doesn't matter if they can't enter your academy. What about relationships? Sasuke didn't say anything and took Mu Qing away from the crowd. It was getting dark soon. It was cold and windy today, so he didn't care. But from just now, Mu Qing's hands were shaking a little. Mu Qing was also traveling far away for the first time and saw that Sasuke was silent. She followed Sasuke silently. For some reason, the taciturn Sasuke seemed to her to be full of security. Little did they know that the two of them had walked into a forest. The surrounding plants and birds and animals all had faint soul power flowing through them. It was really interesting. With a thought, Sasuke held a rather ostentatious piranha flower and activated the Rinnegan. Sealing Technique Absorbing Seal The soul power of the piranha plant was continuously sucked into Sasuke's body. Maybe it was too low level and it withered instantly. Sasuke felt this power and found that it was not difficult to control. The intensity of this power was far inferior to the natural energy in Naruto. It was close to the intensity of Orochimaru's curse seal. The essence of the curse seal was also an imperfect magic. It seems that this soul power has the same effect as the magical chakra, they both use the energy of foreign objects for their own use. Help. Is there anyone who can help us? While Sasuke was thinking, a cry for help rang out. Sasuke carried Mu Qing on his back and rushed to hear the sound. He saw two women and one man being surrounded by four huge green wolves. All three of them were slightly injured. It's all your fault. If I had known earlier, I wouldn't have hidden it from the teacher. Okay, now it's time, you still have the energy to complain. This is so miserable. Woohoo, there are still grandparents at home who need me to take care of them. Seemingly sensing that the three humans had given up resistance, the four green wolves roared and jumped towards them. Thousand birds and thousand books. Countless sharp senbons fell from the sky mixed with the sound of electric current, and instantly penetrated the four green wolves, nailing them to the ground. Before they could even let out a wail, they had already lost their vitality. The two women were stunned, and the man covered his wound and looked at the tree. There was a boy slightly older than himself standing on the trunk. Whoosh! A figure fell from the sky and landed in front of the two women and one man. As soon as it landed, the three people shuddered. The middle-aged man in moon-white clothes said angrily, It's so late. He sneaked out without telling me. What should I do if something happens? 
Teacher Yi, we don't dare anymore. The three students threw themselves at the middle-aged man and cried together. This person is the last teacher of Tsanhui College, Yi Zhichou, a level 56 soul king in Wuhuan Xiangui. Yi Zhichou looked at the killed green wolf spirit beasts on the ground and said, My friends in the tree, can we come down and talk? Sasuke jumped down from the tree. Yi Zhichou cupped his fists and saluted Sasuke. Sasuke had just taken action to save his student. He had seen it. He was quick, accurate and ruthless. He was so young but could do such a beautiful move, instantly killing four 2000-year-level spirit beasts. It is really not simple. Thank you little brother for helping me. I am a teacher from Tsanghui College, Yi Zhichou, the level 56 soul king. If there is anyone who can help little brother, just ask. Yi Zhichou said. Mu Qing, come here. After Sasuke said, Mu Qing came out of the woods on the side and stood next to Sasuke. Sasuke said, since you are an academy teacher, do you think you can accept her? Yi Zhichou glanced at Mu Qing, then immediately patted his chest and said, such a trivial matter is not worth mentioning. Come on, little brother, come and sit at my Tsanghui Academy. So hot. Did you see his eyes? They are so beautiful. The moment the two female students saw Sasuke, their eyes immediately lit up, as if they had forgotten that they almost became the soul beast's dinner just a second ago. Hey, you guys. Come here quickly. Is teacher. I haven't asked yet, where is my little brother's name? Sasuke Uchiha. Chapter, 3. Thanks to you this time, these dolls are so annoying. Yi Zhichou poured Sasuke a glass of wine and said. With a little effort. Sasuke glanced out the window. The construction of Tsanghui College was much more standardized than that of Shrek College. He felt at ease sending Mu Qin here. That night, Yi Zhichou warmly entertained Sasuke, and Sasuke learned a lot from Yi Zhichou, including the details of the Soul Master, the current situation in the mainland, and the Spirit Hall. Is Tsanghui Academy also funded by Wuhuan Palace? Sasuke asked. Exactly. Yi Zhichou took a sip of wine and said, Who else would come to this remote place except Wuhundian? I also came out of this village. Now I come back to Tsanghui College to be a teacher, which can be regarded as repaying the kindness of the villagers back then. Of kindness. I think back when Tsanghui Academy was first established, it had a great success thanks to its good student base in those years, and even won the honorary title of Advanced Soul Master Academy. However, the quality of students has declined in recent years, and the few teachers have all gone, leaving me alone. These students may be the last ones. Yi Zhichou said with regret. After hearing this, Sasuke looked at Mu Qin who was concentrating on eating, and thought in his heart, the law of the jungle has never changed. Brother Sasuke, stay and be a teacher. Yi Zhichou suddenly grabbed Sasuke's hands and said, this is my merciless request. I really can't support this school by myself. I don't want to see him covered in dust. Since Sasuke came to this continent, he really had nothing else to do except find a way to go back. Seeing that Yi Zhichou wanted him to stay, he followed suit and said, I'll stay here for a while first. Speaking of which, I don't necessarily know how to be a teacher. Sasuke didn't lie, he was indeed not suitable to be a teacher. Tsanghui Academy and Mu Qing only had 10 students in total. With Sasuke's arrival, Yi Zhichou split the 10 students into two classes. He was responsible for arranging the courses, and Sasuke was only responsible for supervision. Sasuke-sensei. Let's go to the city to play at night. Sasuke-sensei. This is the bento I made for you. Sasuke-sensei. Do you have a girlfriend? Sasuke looked at the female students who gathered around and chatted endlessly as soon as get out of class was over, and sighed helplessly. Bai Cha, Yi Linger, Ling Yun, Ling Shui. Sasuke remembered the names of these students one by one. The oldest of them was only 15 years old, the youngest was 13 years old like Mu Qing, and Sasuke himself was no more than only 17 years old. Time passed like this day by day, Sasuke's eye power was almost restored, and the six Magatama gradually appeared in the Samsara eye. 
Sasuke tried to open the space wormhole, but he only wandered around the lifeless Kagaya space and could not find a way to go back. Sasuke, come with me to get soul rings for the children today. Yi Jichio said to Sasuke who was in a daze on the roof. Although Sasuke had heard Yi Jichio talk about soul rings, he had never participated in hunting for soul rings. Yi Jichio decided to take Sasuke with him to experience it for himself, which could be regarded as training Sasuke as a real teacher. Sasuke climbed down from the roof. Yi Jichio joked, you seem to like high places. Let's go. Sasuke said calmly. It doesn't look like 17 years old at all. Yi Jichio shook his head. This time Yi Jichio and Sasuke want to obtain soul rings for three students, the same three that Sasuke saved before. Ling Yun, Ling Shui, Bai Cha, follow me and Sasuke obediently, don't get lost in this soul hunting forest. Yi Jichio said seriously. The age of the soul ring to be obtained this time is a hundred year level yellow soul ring. Sasuke can clearly distinguish the age of the soul beast by observing the flow of soul power in the soul hunting forest through his Sharingan. Ling Yun and Ling Shui are brother and sister, their martial spirits are both a string of Buddha beads, while Bai Cha's martial spirit is a snowflake. After a while, Yi Jichio locked his first target, a three-eyed green snake with a body length of nine meters. Ling Yun, Ling Shui, come on. Yi Jichio said. Ling Yun and Ling Shui both showed their martial spirits. One of the two siblings is a control soul master, and the other is an auxiliary soul master. Ling Shui used her first soul skill Holy Light Illumination. Ling Shui's Buddha Pearl Phantom appeared above Ling Yun's head, and a faint golden light shone on Ling Yun, increasing her power by 20%. Attack and Defense After Ling Yun received Ling Shui's auxiliary blessing, he also began to release his first soul skill, Way to Awe Imprisonment. Ling Yun's Buddha beads appeared on the head of the three-eyed green snake, and quickly fell down. After trapping the three-eyed green snake, it transformed into multiple phantoms, and the three-eyed green snake was covered with Buddha beads. He tried to struggle, but was trapped tighter and tighter. Seeing that he had succeeded, Ling Yun took out the sword from his waist, flew forward and stabbed the head of the three-eyed green snake, nailing it to the ground, successfully ending the battle. Well done, Ling Shui, the soul ring of this three-eyed green snake is yours. Yi Jichio said while looking at the three-eyed green snake that was still breathing. Ling Shui stepped forward and killed the three-eyed green snake. Its soul power condensed into a soul ring and floated. Ling Shui pulled the soul ring to her chest and began to absorb it. While waiting for Ling Shui to absorb the soul ring, Sasuke used his Sharingan to observe the fluctuations of soul power on Ling Shue's body. He saw that the soul power was continuously pouring into Ling Shue's body from the yellow soul ring in Ling Shue's hand, and was flowing into Ling Shue's meridians. The flowing soul power became thicker, and gradually, the color of the soul ring of the three-eyed green snake became lighter. When the soul ring completely disappeared, Ling Shue also completed the absorption of the soul ring. According to Yi Jichio, if a soul ring that is too old is absorbed, the soul master will go crazy, and the soul power will explode and die. This is probably because the meridians cannot withstand the surge of soul power. Seeing Sasuke staring at Ling Shui intently, Ling Yun chuckled, nudged Sasuke with his elbow and said, What do you think, teacher, my sister is pretty, isn't she? At this moment, Ling Shui was sitting upright with her eyes closed, beads of sweat oozing out from her forehead, and her beautiful hair lingering on her forehead. What will happen if the soul ring is not completely absorbed? Sasuke ignored Ling Yun's misunderstanding and asked Yi Jichio. Incomplete absorption of the soul ring will cause severe backlash. You will not be able to obtain new skills, and you will waste an opportunity to absorb the soul ring. Yi Jichio replied with a suspicious look on his face. He could clearly feel that Sasuke had something that he could not see clearly. Strength, why do you always ask these basic questions? After hearing this, Sasuke had some thoughts in his mind. After Ling Shui absorbed it, he showed everyone the harvest of absorbing the soul ring. The three-eyed green snake allowed Ling Shui's Buddha beads to assist three additional people. However, except for the first person, the effectiveness of the others was only 6%. 10. 
The second soul skill brought is Buddha's light to exorcise demons, which can increase the toughness of the auxiliary target by 50% and have the negative effects it suffers. Yi Zhichou applauded, what a good harvest. If Ling Shui continues to work hard, she will definitely become a popular auxiliary soul master. Ling Shui blushed and said, teacher is really always saying embarrassing things. Yi Zhichou laughed when he heard this and continued to look for the target. After a day of hard work, all three of them were finally given soul rings. Teacher, go back and ask Ling Er and the others to have a meal together in the restaurant. Ling Yun said to Yi Zhichou excitedly. Okay. I'm treating you. Let's go. Go back to the college. Let's go to a restaurant. Yi Zhichou said. Master Sasuke, aren't you going? Bai Cha saw that Sasuke had no intention of leaving. You go ahead, I'll be there soon. After Sasuke said that, he disappeared from the spot. He was going to test some ideas. Chapter, 4 Sasuke walked around alone for a while, then activated his Sharingan Genjutsu to immobilize a spirit beast that was rushing towards him. Observing the flow of his soul power, he saw that it was continuously flowing out from the soul ring on his head and circulating throughout his body. According to Yi Zhichou, when the soul beast's body loses its vitality, the soul ring in its body will automatically separate from the body and dissipate within a certain period of time. Sealing Technique Absorbing Seal This is the skill of the samsara eye to absorb the source of energy. Through physical contact, it can freely absorb whether it is chakra or magic. Sasuke has the magical chakra given by the curse seal and the six path sage, coupled with his Indra bloodline, it is easy to control any form of energy. Sasuke did not kill the soul beast to take out the soul ring, but directly absorbed the soul power of the soul beast through contact. From Sasuke's observation, it can be seen that as Sasuke absorbed it, the soul ring in the soul beast's head became more and more colorful. Dull, and finally completely dull. Then Sasuke absorbed the second one, and the third one. Meaningless. After absorbing a dozen soul beasts, Sasuke came to the conclusion that the quality of this so-called soul power was not as good as the Senjutsu Chakra, and the quantity was not as good as the tailed beasts. There was no need to waste it on the outskirts of this jungle. It's time. Sasuke left the soul hunting forest and followed the breath left by Yi Zhichou to the outside of a hotel. As soon as he entered the room, Sasuke saw Mu Qin rushing toward him. Mu Qin looked even more beautiful and lovely after putting on the moon white uniform of Tsanghui Academy. Brother Sasuke, there are bad guys. Mu Qin complained to Sasuke. Sasuke was stunned when he heard this, and came to sit down next to Yi Zhichou and others. In addition to Ling Yun, Ling Shui, Bai Cha, and Mu Qin, there were four other students present. The remaining two students had not returned from the trip, so they could not come out together. As soon as Sasuke sat down, he knew what the bad guy Mu Qing was talking about. He saw seven soul masters sitting at the next table. One of them, a short and fat young man with red hair, kept spitting at Ling Xuebei. The joke made the people at the table laugh. Ling Yun slapped the table and said to Yi Zhichou, Teacher. Yi Zhichou said without opening his eyes, Sit down, as a soul master, anger will only reduce your wisdom. If you don't have extraordinary talent, you must have an extraordinary state of mind. Don't let unnecessary things affect your judgment. Ling Yun gritted his teeth and sat down. When the red-haired fat man saw Ling Yun making a move, his provocation became even stronger. It's just a small Tsanghui Academy, how arrogant. A blonde young man sitting at the same table as the fat red-haired man said scornfully. Shrek Academy. Sasuke recognized the blonde young man. He was the Shrek student who bullied the farmer and his son at the Shrek admissions office that day. Sasuke could see clearly that the soul power of the seven young people opposite was far more pure than Ling Yun's. Much, it seems that the level is far above the students of Tsanghui Academy. Yi Linger, who was beside Ling Shui, was also very angry. Seeing that Ling Yun failed to get up, teacher Yi Zhichou didn't want them to take action, so she had to look at Sasuke. Sasuke's face was expressionless. In Sasuke's world, he had no feeling for such rumors. Seeing that Sasuke had no expression, 
Yi Ling'er rolled her eyes and whispered a few words into Mu Qing's ear. The two looked at each other and made up their minds. Mu Qing jumped off the chair, walked straight to the table where the Shrek Seven were sitting, and said to the fat man, You. Apologize. The seven Shrek people were stunned for a moment, and one of the teenagers said, Little sister, you don't even have a soul ring, so you'd better go back and sit down. When the fat man saw a little beauty brought to his lips, he immediately interrupted the young man and said, Xiao San, you are wrong. Look at this Tsanghui Academy. TSK, 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 I can't even bear to give you a soul ring. Little sister, why don't you follow your brother home? I'll find it for you. After saying that, he stretched out his hands, his fingers twitching non-stop towards Mu Qing. The blonde young man put his feet up on the table and shouted to Ling Yun and the others, What? Are there no men in Sanhui Academy? Or are your martial arts spirits just shy? Why not change the name to King Ba Academy? The words of the blonde young man caused another burst of laughter from the people at the table. Ling Yun and others did not dare to look at Yi Zhichou's expression at this moment. As the sole king with the black turtle martial spirit, the bastard character was his minefield. At this time, a white shadow flashed past. The next second, Sasuke appeared in front of Mu Qing and said calmly, everything is done in moderation. The fat man was waiting for his chance to succeed, so he said, what? Are you not convinced? Sasuke looked at the fat man in front of him and said, apologize. Hey, hey, get out of the way. After saying that, the fat man stretched out his hand to grab Sasuke. The next second, I only heard a pop sound. The fat man's wails echoed throughout the hall. Chapter, 5 Sasuke squeezed the fat man's wrist with an expressionless expression, and the sound of joint dislocation continued to sound. Phoenix Firewire the fat man endured the pain, a yellow soul ring flashed across his body, and he sprayed a terrifying flame ray directly at Sasuke's head. Humph. If fatty is angered by this distance, his head can melt right away. Dai Mubai has absolute confidence in fatty Mahongjuan's flames. Fatty has never lost when playing with fire. The rest of the people in the hall had shrunk to one side, but they saw that Sasuke did not dodge or avoid he just stood there and let the flames wrap around his body, motionless, not even blinking his eyelids. The people watching all let out bursts of exclamations. But Ma Hongjun, who was spitting out flames, looked increasingly painful. The young man named Xiaosan's eyes glowed with a purple-blue light, and he shouted, No. He is absorbing the fat man's soul power. Tang San had practiced a technique called the Purple Demon Eye. Seeing that Ma Hongjuan's flames had no effect on Sasuke, he activated the purple demon eye to see what was going on. He was shocked when he saw it. Ma Hongjuan's soul power was continuously sucked away by Sasuke, and even the soul power in his soul skills was dissolved by him. On the other side, Dai Mubai also sensed something was wrong and had already released his martial soul. Three soul rings flashed and he rushed toward Sasuke. Do it! Zhu Zhuqing and Dai Mubai took action almost at the same time, attacking Sasuke from the left and the right. Just as they were about to succeed, they suddenly felt that the space in front of them was stagnant. Shinra Tenjing. No one knew what happened. The man didn't move at all, and his soul ring didn't even show up. However, just when Zhu Zhuqing and Dai Mubai were only half a foot away from him, they were knocked upside down by a huge force. At that moment, the muscles seemed to be stripped out of the body, and the whole body was exhausted. This move of Shinra Tensei was also used by Sasuke for the first time. Since he got the Rinnegan, he had to deal with Madara Uchiha, Kagaya, and Naruto, three of the strongest in the ninja world, in front of them. Shinra Tenjing is completely meaningless, but now it is satisfying to use. After all, in Sasuke's view, it is superfluous to deal with a character like this. And all of this was unexpected in the hearts of the Shrek Seven Devils. In their opinion, this young man who was dressed in shabby clothes and could not see any fluctuations in his soul power, actually had such bottomless strength. Tang San clenched his teeth, even when facing Zhao Wuji who was over 70 levels, he had never felt such pressure. Looking at the indifference and calmness shown by the man in front of me, 
it is easy to shake a mountain, but it is difficult to shake this person. Mistress, if you keep going like this, you won't be able to keep Fatty's hand. A girl with rabbit ears jumped up and hit Sasuke with a whip kick from the air. We got it. The girl said in her heart, let's see if my aunt doesn't kick your head away. At this moment, Sasuke raised his head slightly, and the girl looked at him, and felt her whole body heat up. Realizing that she was in a in the sea of fire, when he looked closely, he saw that it was Ma Hong Jun who was spitting phoenix fire at him. The flame quickly enveloped the girl's body, and the girl let out a scream and was drowned in the flames. For a moment, the girl seemed to have suddenly lost her power in the air, and she screamed and fell straight down. Tang San immediately stepped forward to catch her, but saw Xiao Wu's eyes closed tightly, her brows furrowed, her whole body trembling, obviously. In great pain. At this moment, Sasuke was a little concerned about the girl in Tang San's arms. This girl actually contained energy comparable to that of a tailed beast. This world is somewhat interesting. Tang San looked at Xiao Wu in his arms, raised his head and met Sasuke's eyes, a fierce light flashed in his eyes, and he put a hand on his waist. Hurting the one I love is the way to die. Tang San's instinct was that he must hit with one strike. There would be no second chance to strike in front of this person. Mu Qing, who was behind Sasuke, was so frightened that she shrank to Ling Shui. She began to regret listening to Yi Ling'er's words and said aggrievedly, it's just an apology. Is it so difficult? Just when Tang San was about to take action, a rough voice came from behind, children are just playing around, your excellency, your attack is too harsh. I saw a short, stocky black man falling from the second floor and slowly walking toward Sasuke. Teacher. Save. Fatty. Dai Mubai, who was on the ground, passed out after saying this. A burst of coercion came from the short, stocky black man. Everyone watching the show in the hall was a little unsteady on their feet. Sasuke moved his clothes and said, children don't understand, so do adults. Your Excellency was on the stairs just now. You can see clearly that your students are not polite. It would be fine if I wasn't there. This is too unruly. Yi Jichio stood up and said. He had been beaten by Sasuke before. He was attracted by the fighting skills, so he didn't move, but at this moment, a guy with such terrifying strength suddenly appeared, and he had to stand up and stand beside Sasuke. Rules. Zhao Wuji clenched his fist and said, My fist. It's the rule. Zhao Wuji dodged in front of the two Sasuke and punched out. Yi Jichio was shocked, and hurriedly released his martial spirit to block the front, but was hit by a punch and was knocked back several meters before he could stabilize his body. At this moment, Yi Jichio only felt a slight sweetness in his throat. Who could this person have such power without even using his soul skills? Brother Sasuke, forget it, let's go. Mu Qing mustered up the courage to walk behind Sasuke and pulled the corner of Sasuke's clothes. Teacher Sasuke, forget it, let's find another hotel. Ling Shui also stood up and said, no one expected that things would develop to this point. Sasuke hesitated for a while. The children on his side seemed a little afraid of this short, dark man. But even the person involved, Ling Shui, planned to settle the matter, and there was no point in persisting, so Sasuke threw Ma Hongjun away like garbage and turned around to leave. Wait a minute. Zhao Wuji said angrily, am I letting you go? You hurt my students like this and you want to just walk away like this. Zhao Wuji was furious. If you just let them go like this, go back I'm afraid that Flanders will get a scolding from him, so what kind of dignity does he, Zhao Wuji, have to hang out on the mainland? It's not like a family doesn't stay in the same house. Sasuke sighed, feeling that it would be too cheap to tangle with such street gangsters. He turned around and gave Zeo Wuji a Sharingan seven-day mental therapy package before walking out of the store. At this moment, a girl's voice came from behind, What's your name? Sasuke didn't look back and walked out of the hotel. Behind Sasuke, Ning Rongrong, who had been sitting in the corner without taking any action, watched him leave in a daze. Ning Rongrong came back to her senses and felt uneasy. She reached out and touched her cheek, Grandpa Bone, Grandpa Jian, Father, I seem to have found the right person. 
Chapter, 6. Hiccup, I'm so happy eating. Ling Yun stretched himself and walked out of the restaurant. It was already midnight, and Sasuke and others had already held a banquet to celebrate the advancement of Ling Yun, Ling Shui, and Bai Cha. Yi Zhichou and Sasuke were walking at the back of the crowd. Yi Zhichou was slightly hesitant, but finally asked, Brother Sasuke, what level of soul power is your strength? Soul power level. I don't know, and I don't care. Sasuke said, I am a ninja, not a soul master. There is no need to confuse me with you. Yi Zhichou was slightly startled when he heard this, ninja. What is that? Due to the atmosphere, Yi Zhichou did not dare to ask. Brother Sasuke, I see the hope of Tsanghui Academy in you. Can you join me and take the children to higher and further places? Yi Zhichou stopped and said to Sasuke sincerely. Don't say such boring words. Sasuke did not stop at the same time as Yi Zhichou, but continued to walk forward. Yi Zhichou was confused in the wind for a while, and then quickly chased after him, Brother Sasuke is not moved by my sincere request. Boring. Sasuke said. Too weak. Sasuke looked at the people who were sparring in front of him and spit out three words. Yi Ling'er heard this and said angrily, that's it, I've called you teacher for so many days, but you haven't taught me anything. I never said I would teach you, don't try to tie me up. Sasuke said calmly. Ah, uh, yes, yes. If we little losers die outside one day, it is because of our lack of strength. It has nothing to do with teacher Sasuke, right? Mu Qing. Yi Ling'er grabbed Mu Qing and hugged her. Li rode. The most difficult journey requires the strongest will. Sasuke said, in my opinion, you are not mentally prepared yet. What preparations? Yi Ling'er asked unconvinced. As long as you stay in the academy, you won't be able to escape the circle of the weak. Sasuke said, it's a big joke that you still stay in the so-called academy at this age and dream of becoming stronger. Almost all the students were stunned. Teacher Sasuke, who was usually taciturn and precious with words, seemed to have endless things to say today. They were stunned not because they were criticized by Sasuke, but because Sasuke was too abnormal today. Sasuke ignored everyone's looks and continued, You soul masters, on weekdays in the academy, just do hard training and painless combat training. After breaking through the bottleneck, you go hunting for soul rings. If you continue to live like this, then talent will be a chasm that you will never be able to overcome. People with talent are working hard where you can't see them, but you can't even reach their starting point. So, how can we become stronger? Teacher. Ling Yun asked immediately after hearing this. Strong men should be born on the road, rather than living in a hotbed. After Sasuke said this, his Sharingan flashed red, and all the students, including Mu Qing, fell into a scarlet void. In this void, everyone saw a hand holding a knife reaching out to them, but they couldn't move at all. The white knife goes in, the red knife comes out. Huge pain and fear overwhelmed all the students at Sanghui Academy. Sasuke. Yi Zhichou, who realized something was wrong, shouted to Sasuke. Shut up. Sasuke said, if you are still standing after three hours, I will take them to do penance. Yi Zhichou was stunned when he heard this, looked at the children on the playground with painful expressions, and said with a cruel heart, I hope you have some sense of measure. I will only give them tests that they can survive. But this world is not as kind as me. You should understand this best. Yi Zhichou. Sasuke said. A month later, Sasuke set off with Ling Yun, Ling Shui, Yi Ling'er, Bai Cha and Mu Qing. As for why it was a month later, it was because after Sasuke released the illusion on them, even Yi Ling'er, who had the highest soul power, fell into a coma for 18 days. Boss Yi, I really can't let you go, Yi Ling'er cried while hugging Yi Zhichou. Ling Yun, Ling Shui, Bai Cha, and Mu Qing also went up and hugged Yi Zhichou. Yi Zhichou comforted everyone and said to Sasuke, I'll leave them to you. Sasuke said, I will bring them back in half a year. Yi Zhichou pondered for a while after hearing the words, nodded and said, I understand. Mu Qing, how did you persist? Yi Linger ran to Mu Qing's side and asked. 
no one expected that Sasuke would cast the same illusion spell on Mu Qing, and no one expected that Mu Qing could persist. I can feel it. Mu Qing said, although I can't see anything and although it hurts, I can feel that Sasuke Sensei is beside me, so I'm not so afraid. Mu Qing, under Sasuke's instructions, stopped calling him brother for the time being. Teacher, where are we going? Ling Yun asked. Star Forest. Sasuke said. But none of us need soul rings now, teacher. Bai Cha said. I know. Ling Xue raised her hands obediently and said, this is experience. Experience. Teacher Sasuke is determined to help us become stronger. As I said before, now that you have set off, I will not hold anything back, so no matter what happens, I will not allow you to fall behind halfway. Sasuke said. Yes. The five people said in unison. Ling Yun glanced at the team. He was the only boy. Looking at Sasuke's handsome face, he smiled bitterly in his heart, I'm afraid this team will be more united than ever before. We're finally here. Ling Yun howled excitedly as he looked at the endless forest of stars that covered the sky and the sun. Ha! Huh. Are we even staying here? After hearing Sasuke's arrangement, Yun Ling looked at the woods that were blocking the sky and the sun, and the old man with a chin. The air here is very good. Ling Shue said. The scenery here is very good. Bai Cha said. You can see the stars here. Yi Linger said. Just say that Sasuke is very good. Ling Yun rolled his eyes. Chapter, 7. The improvement of soul power is limited by the talent of cultivation. Under the same talent conditions, it is also limited by the quality of the martial spirit. What I want to take you to do now is to solve these two problems. Sasuke said to the people beside the campfire. Ling Yun and others said. Then what? How to solve it? Ling Yun asked impatiently. As soon as he finished speaking, Ling Yun ate Yi Linger's chest. Don't interrupt the teacher. Yi Linger said angrily. Ling Yun covered his head and cried mournfully, damn it. 70% certainty. Sasuke said, I have some plans, but the comprehensive certainty of these plans is only 70%. You can understand that you are the test subjects of these plans. Today, I plan to try to let you condense the power inside the human body. Sasuke said, soul power is a natural force. Soul masters have only mastered the methods of using this power. However, the power of human origin is also infinite. Building both internal and external skills may be able to bridge the gap between you and genius soul masters. No matter what, it is meaningful to survive the battle. Sasuke said. In the next three days, Sasuke asked Ling Yun and the others to carry out continuous high-intensity physical training, and at night they performed meditation to improve their soul power level. Three days later, Sasuke gathered everyone together and formed a circle. Sit down. Sasuke said, now hold the hands of the person next to you. Wait a minute. Yi Lingner jumped up and said. What's wrong? Sasuke asked. Yi Lingner stood up and said to Ling Yun who was sitting next to Sasuke, you, get out of here. Just like that, Ling Yun exchanged positions with Yi Lingner while covering the newly swollen bump on his head. You have been doing physical training for three days. I think you have not forgotten the feeling of exhaustion. You should be the same now. Sasuke looked at the sweat-stained people and said, Now, I want to through meditation, you let your body reach that extreme feeling. Carefully feel the changes in your body, do you understand? Seeing everyone nodding, Sasuke said, Let's get started. The generation of chakra requires a balanced combination of a person's whole body's mental strength and body energy, and then through the guidance of the source of chakra. After successfully generating chakra once, you can continue to increase the capacity of chakra through practice. When the Sage of Six Paths founded the Ninja Sect, he gave the Ninja Sect the human chakra and planted the seeds for the beginning of the Ninja Era. At this moment, Sasuke began to transfer the chakra in his body to Ling Yun and others who were holding hands, as the original fire. Whether they can successfully generate their own chakra depends on their ability to comprehend. Sasuke looked at the people who were practicing seriously with their eyes closed, 
and thought to himself, no matter what, if you can't go back, just leave something behind. One night passed, and only Mu Qing had condensed a pitiful amount of chakra. Ha! Huh. I actually lost to Mu Qing. Ling Yun said frantically. Ha ha ha, it's really useless. You're still a senior. Yi Ling Er mocked Ling Yun. Mu Qing looked at Sasuke in disbelief, and when he saw Sasuke nodded to him, he jumped up with joy. Words such as useless martial soul, death omen, and bad luck have grown up with her since she was a child, and this is the first time she has been affirmed. Flowers of the other shore are blooming flowers on the road to the underworld. They have no floral fragrance. In reality, they can cause people to be poisoned and hallucinate. The dark red color also makes people avoid it. It's not like you have nothing. Ling Yun muttered in a low voice. The next second, the old wounds on Ling Yun's head were healed and new ones appeared. Condensing chakra is just the beginning. It's still early to learn how to use it correctly. Continue today's physical training, remember to feel the feeling of reaching the limit with your heart, and integrate the power of your mind with the energy bursting out of your body. Sasuke instructed. In this way, another three days passed, and Ling Yun, Yi Linger, Bai Cha, and Ling Shui all condensed chakra one after another. At the same time, everyone was surprised to find that through training that combined spiritual power with physical energy, the efficiency of everyone's soul power cultivation had also been significantly improved. It can be described as an unexpected surprise. Teacher, what should we learn next? Ling Yun said excitedly. Yi Linger, Bai Cha, Ling Shui and Mu Qing all looked at Sasuke expectantly. In their hearts, Sasuke was like a door to a new world. After condensing chakra, you must learn to use ninjutsu. You can understand it as a soul skill, but I am more accustomed to calling it ninjutsu. Sasuke said. Then how do you obtain this kind of soul skill, oh, no, ninjutsu? Ling Yun asked quickly. Yi Ling Er didn't hit Ling Yun this time because she was also full of the same doubts. Only a part of the condensed chakra can be preserved in the body for a long time. If you don't practice for a long time, it will even disappear completely. The generation of chakra requires body energy. Once the body's energy is exhausted, it means death. Therefore, correctly guiding and deploying chakra is crucial. Next, Sasuke showed everyone the twelve basic madras, asking them to keep them in their minds while meditating and practicing. Exercise, refine chakra, and meditate. The days passed like this, and when the five of them were able to condense considerable chakra anytime and anywhere, Sasuke started a new course. The nature of your chakra determines the direction of your ninjutsu. I can feel the nature of your chakra. You don't have to ask why. Listen up, Bai Chan Ling Shui, your chakra attribute is water, Ling Yun, your chakra attribute is wind, Yi Ling Er, your chakra attribute is thunder, Mu Qing, your chakra attribute is fire. Sasuke introduced the chakra attributes of everyone, and then said, Next, I will teach each of you a basic ninjutsu that corresponds to the attribute. After you master it, you can come to me to report and obtain new ninjutsu. Wind Blade Technique It looks ordinary. Ling Yun said after watching Sasuke swing a wind blade to cut down a small tree. This is just the starting point, not the end. Using ninjutsu flexibly, you can do a variety of things. After Sasuke said, he used another wind blade technique, and a wind blade came from Ling Yun with a whistling sound. It flew past my ears, and then formed dozens of additional wind blades, raising a small patch of woods behind Ling Yun to the ground. Ling Yun recalled the fear of being dominated by Sasuke's illusion before, and suddenly realized how ridiculous and dangerous his complaints were. Chapter, 8 At night, Sasuke and his friends ate roast rabbit round the campfire and answered questions. Well, Mr. Sasuke, you are so young but so strong. Why do you appear alone in a small place like ours? Yi Ling Er asked. It is obvious that Sasuke's strength has clearly surpassed that of his uncle Yi Jichio. He is only seventeen years old. Yi Jichio is the soul king. If Sasuke is stronger than Yi Jichio, wouldn't he be the soul saint? Seventeen-year-old soul saint. Sasuke heard Yi Linger's question and recalled his battle with Naruto. 
He didn't hate Naruto, on the contrary, even though he didn't want to admit it, Naruto was the most important person to him after Itachi ascended. However, he is going to take the completely opposite path from Naruto, so this bond can only be severed by him. Using illusory love and justice to achieve the so-called peace, in Sasuke's view, Naruto's passion and pure kindness are childish and ridiculous in terms of politics. If he wants to end the troubled times, he must use a crushing ruling power to achieve unification and bear the hatred and pain of the entire world. Sasuke has long been aware of this. Teacher Ling Shui on the side asked with concern when she saw Sasuke suddenly lost his mind. Sasuke woke up from his memories and said calmly, I offended the spirit hall, so I wandered. So that's it. No wonder Sasuke Sensei is so strong but looks like this. Ling Yun chewed on the rabbit head and said, Nowadays, if you offend the spirit hall, you won't even have a place to stay. Pa! Ling Yun ate Yi Linger again. Please. The journey of a strong man is super cool, okay? Yi Linger said to Ling Yun with her hands on her hips. Brother Sasuke offended the spirit hall because he wanted to help me, Mu Qing said. After listening to Mu Qing's story, Bai Cha said, as the Wuhuan Palace continues to grow, the quality of its members has also greatly varied. In the final analysis, it's not that the branch halls lack any binding force. Lin Yun said, the people from the Wuhuan Hall in my hometown are all like Earth Emperors. However, the larger the town, the more standardized the behavior of Wuhuan Palace is. It feels like it is almost on par with the royal family. Yi Linger said. If teacher Sasuke has offended the Wuhuan Palace, it is better to seek refuge with the Tiendo Imperial family. With the royal family's protection, even the Wuhuan Palace will not dare to do anything to the teacher. Ling Shui said to Sasuke. At a time of life and death, others can take advantage but don't count on it. Sasuke said, instead of thinking about who to seek asylum from, it is better to build your own useful body. Let's all practice. Oh. Ling Yun's exclamation came through the forest early in the morning. Ling Yun, Ling Shui, Bai Cha and Mu Qin surrounded Yi Linger early in the morning, all casting envious glances at her. Hey! Yi Linger said with a stern look on her face, Sister, I'm level 30. I'm crushing you for a whole round now. Boy Yun. Ling Yun blushed and shouted, I am level 22 and you are only 8 levels higher than me. How can you get so many levels in one round? Oh yo yo, I've hit your sweet spot. Rounding off level 8, it's level 10. Ha ha ha. Yi Linger laughed wildly. Damn it. Ling Yun had nothing to say and could only vent his anger on the trees next to him. Talent was really shocking. He was also 15 years old, but Yi Linger's soul power was a full 8 levels higher than his own. It was obvious that you are the one who works the hardest. Speaking of which, I would like to thank Teacher Sasuke for his guidance. In fact, I have been stuck at level 29 for quite some time. Since I started to learn to condense chakra in the past few days, I can clearly feel that the bottleneck has disappeared. Yi Linger he turned around and bowed to Sasuke. Have a half day off and go hunting soul beasts in the afternoon. Sasuke said. Yi Linger's speech confirmed Sasuke's suspicion that the process of condensing chakra itself is a practice of controlling energy. Whether it is external energy or internal energy, the benefits gained by the body after practicing should be mutual. Brother Sasuke, I also want a soul ring. Mu Qing said to Sasuke. I know. Sasuke nodded. Mu Qing, who only started practicing seriously at the age of 13, now doesn't even have a soul ring. Half a day passed in the blink of an eye, and Sasuke led the five of them toward the depths of the star forest. Sasuke also had some conjectures of his own about obtaining the soul ring. Yi Linger, 15 years old, is a level 30 agility-based combat soul master with a martial soul and a twin-tailed lightning marten. According to Yi Zhichou, a soul master's third soul ring is the best for a thousand years. In other words, the current Yi Linger can basically only bear a thousand-year soul ring. But if you want to become stronger, how can you take the ordinary path? Something is approaching. Sasuke felt that a spirit beast was moving at high speed. Is it a thousand-year spirit beast? 
not a goal. After understanding some basic knowledge about spirit beasts, Sasuke can easily distinguish the age and strength of spirit beasts with his Sharingan. From Sasuke's perspective, the soul ring of the soul beast is clearly visible. The color of the soul ring can be used to analyze the quality of the soul ring. The more pure the soul power, the brighter and more vivid the color of the high-quality soul ring. It's the phoenix-tailed coxcomb. Yi Ling'er saw the low-altitude flying spirit beast clearly and shouted, Teacher! I want it! It's too low-level! After Sasuke said that, he continued walking deeper into the forest. Yi Ling'er, who had been hit by a dud, could only follow Sasuke and go deeper. Yi Ling'er, according to you, your twin-tailed lightning ferret can gain an additional skill each time it absorbs a soul ring, right? Sasuke asked. Yi Ling'er became excited when she heard this, and said proudly, Yes. Judging from the information I know so far, I am the only one in the entire continent. But the power of each soul skill will be reduced by 50%. It's useless. Ling Yun added, holding his head in his hands. Because of this, you can't absorb ordinary thousand-year soul beasts like other soul masters. You are currently at a very low level. One more soul skill may seem powerful, but the 50% debuff will increase with your level. The improvement is becoming more and more obvious. For a battle soul master, weak attacks are meaningless. Sasuke said. Yi Ling'er's face suddenly became filled with sadness and she asked, Teacher, what should I do? Sasuke ignored Yi Ling'er's question and walked to a big tree four to five meters thick. Chidori Sharp Spear Sasuke waved one hand, and a beam of light flashed from his hand, cutting the five-meter-thick tree in half. As the tree fell suddenly, a tiger with huge saber teeth appeared in front of everyone. Yi Ling'er and others looked at the sudden appearance of the soul beast and felt the domineering pressure exuded by this soul beast, and the frequency of their heartbeats began to become unstable. They had seen thousand-year-old soul beasts before, but the pressure on this one in front of them was obviously several times greater than that of a thousand-year-old soul beast. Ling Yun swallowed a mouthful of saliva, this, couldn't be. A ten-thousand-year soul beast, right? Enter the ten-thousand-year soul beast, the saber-toothed thunder tiger. I didn't sleep all night. After coding, I found it was time to have breakfast. Friends who like it can vote for Liang Pi Jun. Your support can keep me from skipping meals. Ha ha. Chapter, 9. A 10,000-year soul beast. Sasuke looked at the 14,000-year-old saber-toothed thunder tiger in front of him, which was in line with his plan. Yi Ling'er's chakra attribute is thunder, and her martial soul is the twin-tailed lightning marten. Maybe both the martial soul and the soul ring will have a big impact on the chakra. Amaterasu. Black flames ignited all over the saber-toothed thunder tiger's body. Before the ten-thousand-year-old soul beast could make any aggressive move, it let out bursts of roars and fell to the ground, rolling over. Amaterasu is the most advanced pupil technique of the fire escape system. Sasuke, who has mastered the fire escape plus earth life, can control Amaterasu's form changes at will, using Amaterasu as a weapon that combines offense and defense. Amaterasu will not burn out until it burns the target. Just like that, the body of the saber-toothed thunder tiger gradually melted under the shocked gazes of Ling Yun and others. Sasuke waited until the saber-toothed thunder tiger had no resistance before turning off Amaterasu. The saber-toothed thunder tiger was still alive. Sasuke put his hand on the saber-toothed thunder tiger's forehead and began to absorb its soul power. The saber-toothed thunder tiger was originally on the verge of death but when he was stimulated by this, he let out a hysterical roar. Be at peace. Sasuke glanced at the saber-toothed thunder tiger, making him fall into a gentle dream. Sasuke absorbed about half of the soul power, and the originally bright black soul ring now became a little dull. Yi Ling'er, come here. Seeing that it was almost done, Sasuke turned to Yi Ling'er and said. Yi Ling'er heard this and walked to Sasuke's side. Looking at the scene in front of her, she felt uneasy in her heart. Could Sasuke want it? This ten thousand year soul ring is yours. Sasuke said. What? 
Yi Linger, Ling Yun and others almost exclaimed in unison. Teacher. Ling Yun jumped out and said, this is a ten thousand year soul beast. If you do this, she will die. Yi Linger looked at Sasuke in disbelief. She knew that Sasuke was not a joking person. Seeing that Yi Linger didn't move, Sasuke's face darkened and he said, I said that the most difficult journey requires the strongest will. This is your journey. Yi Linger. After speaking, Sasuke stepped back a few meters, waiting for Yi Linger to take action. If she didn't even dare to take this step, then her martial arts luck would stop here. Sister Yi Linger. Mu Qin, who was standing not far away, shouted to Yi Linger, Brother Sasuke will only give you tests that you can survive. A word that wakes up the dreamer. Yi Linger, who was hesitating, thought to herself, Yes, Sasuke will not treat our lives as a child's play. Since we have embarked on a journey of penance with him, we just have to follow his footsteps without hesitation. Despite this, Yi Linger's hands were still trembling a little. She took out a dagger and stabbed the saber-toothed thunder tiger from the head. Soul power surged out from its head, and a black soul ring condensed on top. Holding the black soul ring in both hands, feeling the terrifying aura exuded by the saber-toothed thunder tiger, Yi Linger sat cross-legged. Glanced at Sasuke who had closed his eyes to rest, and then glanced at the man who was holding hands and looking at her. Mu Qin, Ling Shui, and Bai Cha. You must not die. Ling Yun looked at Yi Linger solemnly and said. TCH. You should pay more attention to yourself. Yi Linger pretended to be calm and said with a smile. After that, she gritted her teeth and started to absorb. How could this ten thousand year soul ring be so easy to deal with? Yi Linger is just a thirty level soul master who has not been promoted for a long time. The two previous soul rings were both yellow hundred year soul rings. The absorption process was extremely smooth, and the absorption of this ten thousand year soul ring is life changing for her. The test with death. Sasuke couldn't help but frown when he looked at Yi Linger who was sweating profusely in just a few minutes. Most of the soul power of the saber tooth thunder tiger's 10,000 year soul ring has been sucked away by Sasuke. Yi Linger only needs to digest all the remaining thousands of years of soul power and absorb the soul ring. Even so, Yi Linger she was still on the verge of collapse from the beginning. If Sasuke hadn't used illusions to invade Yi Linger's nerves to help her resist the impact of the soul ring, she would have gone crazy long ago. In Sasuke's understanding, Soul rings of different ages are not only different in the quantity of soul power, but also in the quality of soul power and the benefits it brings. Therefore, they are also soul rings containing thousands of years of soul power. The soul power increase and soul skills brought by the soul ring must be stronger. It's like the difference between adding one spoonful of sugar and ten spoons of sugar into the same two cups of water. Ling Yun and others sat in a group and looked at Yi Linger nervously. The pain on the latter's face had lasted for four or five hours, and time was passing quickly. Ah! Yi Linger let out a scream and then fainted. Ling Yun and others were shocked, and hurriedly stood up and rushed over, holding Yi Linger's shoulders with one hand. They saw Yi Linger fell to the ground, her face pale and her breathing became weak. Teacher Sasuke! Ling Yun shouted quickly to Sasuke. Tears filled the eyes of Ling Shui and the other three people. Sasuke sighed, walked slowly to Yi Linger's side, and said calmly, Have you had enough fun? Ha! Huh. Ling Yun looked at Sasuke blankly, then his face tightened, and a fist hit his face with a roaring wind. Let me go! Yi Linger, who was in Ling Yun's arms, suddenly punched Ling Yun and knocked him away. She said angrily, Teacher Sasuke is so boring. He doesn't care about his students at all. Linger, you are so bad. Ling Shui and others saw that Yi Linger was pretending to be unconscious and deceiving everyone. They were immediately angry and funny. The four girls hugged each other, laughing and cursing. Thank you for being able to do it. Ling Yun wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and said angrily. Hey. Why are you bleeding? Yi Linger was stunned when she saw this. She just gave Ling Yun a normal punch. The punch from the ten thousand years soul ring soul lord, I can't say how good it feels. Ling Yun said angrily, 
turned around randomly, hugged Sasuke and said with a cry, Sasuke-sensei. I want it too. Sasuke ignored Ling Yun's disgusting coquettishness and said to Yi Linger, tell me about the harvest. Yi Linger nodded, bowed solemnly to Sasuke first, and said, I obtained two soul skills this time. The first soul skill is Thunder Blade, an offensive soul skill. After saying that, the black 10,000-year soul ring on Yi Linger's body rose up, and he waved one hand towards a 4-5 to five meter wide boulder. A light blade flew towards the boulder with the sound of electric current, and disappeared after the light blade hit the boulder. Not see. Huh. Are you nothing? Ling Yun said dumbfounded. Hey hey Yi Linger snapped her fingers and said explode. As a burst of electric current passed through, the huge stone with a diameter of 4 to 5 meters exploded and turned into countless small pieces, shattering all over the ground. Inject the soul power into the target's body, then spread it quickly and then detonate it. Sasuke looked at Yi Linger's newly acquired soul skill and suddenly thought of someone. That's amazing. Ling Yun opened his mouth wide. Originally, he was not willing to see Yi Linger take the risk of swallowing the 10,000-year soul ring, but after seeing such a harvest. He just wanted to reach level 30 as soon as possible, and then let him Sasuke looks for a 10,000-year soul ring for himself. No one can refuse a 10,000-year soul ring. Ling Yun affirmed in his heart. Where's the second soul skill? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ling Shui urged Yi Linger. The second soul skill is an amplified soul skill. After Yi Linger finished speaking, the 10,000-year soul ring rose, and faint electric current flashed across his body. The third soul skill. Particle activation. Yi Linger circled Ling Yun countless times with sparks and lightning, making Ling Yun feel sick and vomiting on the spot before stopping. In this state, I can greatly improve my speed and reaction ability, and I can adjust the amount of soul power consumed. If the increase is small, it can last for a long time. Yi Linger said with a look on her face that she was about to praise me. Sasuke said. Sasuke ignored Yi Linger and walked towards the body of the saber-toothed thunder tiger. There was one thing that had always concerned Sasuke. The soul ring of the saber-toothed thunder tiger had been taken away, but the soul power of the corpse had not weakened. I mean, because I have to take care of Yi Linger absorbing the soul ring, I didn't come to check. Sasuke looked at the burned corpse of the saber-toothed thunder tiger, and used the Chidori spear with one hand to cut open the saber-toothed thunder tiger's back. This is. The back of the cut saber-toothed thunder tiger released a dazzling brilliance, and its spine flashed with electricity, containing vast soul power. Soul bone. Phew, it's time for dinner. There is another chapter today. Please vote. Please collect it. Fight until dawn. Chapter, 10. It's actually a soul bone. It is also the most precious trunk bone. Yi Linger and others immediately gathered around, and because Sasuke was still there, no one stepped forward to touch the soul bone. Even Yi Linger, who grew up with Yi Jichou, has never seen a soul bone, but everyone knows how precious soul bones are. Soul bones are among the prizes in the Continental Senior Soul Master Competition held by Wuhuan Palace. Those they are all awarded to the top people in the new generation. In other words, a strong man may not necessarily possess a soul bone, but those who possess a soul bone are all powerful men who are famous all over the world. Yi Linger, it's yours. Sasuke said. Me? Yi Linger was stunned. The soul bone of a 10,000-year-old soul beast was just given to me. Can I, a level 30 soul master, really possess such a treasure? Yi Linger couldn't believe her ears. Could it be that Sasuke wasn't moved at all? Or is it that he has already integrated a full set of soul bones? What? Sasuke asked when he saw Yi Linger's delay in moving. Teacher Sasuke, is it really okay to give this to me? Can I really have it? Yi Linger asked excitedly. Sasuke was somewhat speechless, why was it so troublesome to give him something? When he asked Orochimaru for power, he was thinking about how to drain Orochimaru every day. What? Is this the only level of your awareness of becoming stronger? Sasuke said. Hey. Yi Linger, if you don't want it. 
He he he. Teacher Sasuke. Give it to me. Ling Yun stretched out his hands to get the soul bone. Yi Ling Er became anxious when she saw this, and quickly grabbed it and held it in her arms, shouting at Ling Yun, You stinky Chiu Ba. Get away from me. Just like that, Yi Ling Er emerged with the soul bone of the 10,000 year old saber toothed thunder tiger in the enviable eyes of everyone. In one day, Yi Ling Er, who was at level 30, obtained the third 10,000 year soul ring in a 10,000 year soul bone. This is the most exciting moment in her life so far. But it won't be the last one. Yi Ling Er thought as Sasuke's figure appeared in her mind. How's the effect? Bai Cha asked after seeing Yi Ling'er's fusion completed. Refreshing. Yi Ling'er thought for a long time and replied, I haven't felt anything else yet, but my third soul skill particle activation seems to have been greatly improved. After Yi Ling'er fused her soul bones, she felt as if she had changed her body, as if she had been reborn, and every part of her body was full of vitality. The reflex ability under normal conditions has also been greatly improved. No wonder soul bones are so coveted. Next, I will get a 10,000 year soul ring for Mu Qingye. Ling Yun was so excited that he seemed to be looking for a soul ring for himself. Hearing this, Ling Xuan and others pondered in their hearts, what if this first soul ring is a 10,000 year soul ring? This is too appalling. Millennium. Sasuke said, let's go to the outside. Of course Ling Yun also knew that it was impossible to give Mu Qing a 10,000 year soul ring as his first soul ring, but what if Sasuke really thought so? Although he felt stupid, Ling Yun still asked more, Teacher Sasuke, why doesn't Mu Qing complete the 10,000 year soul ring? Sasuke said, the reason why I found Yi Ling Er a 10,000 year soul ring is because she is a battle soul master, but Mu Qing is different. Etc. What does this sentence mean? Ling Yun and others all had the same idea in their minds. According to Sasuke, if Mu Qing is also a battle spirit master, can he really equip her with a 10,000 year spirit ring for her first spirit ring? In fact, Sasuke's idea is very simple, and Mu Qing may not be able to hold it. When Yi Ling Er absorbed the soul ring, she was once on the verge of death due to Sasuke's illusions. Mu Qing was only a dozen levels, so it was still too difficult for her to withstand the impact of the soul of a 10,000 year old soul beast, but if she it's not impossible with full assistance. Sasuke was walking in the star forest. When he crossed a stone gorge, Sasuke felt a huge wave of soul power coming from underneath the stone gorge. Wait for me here. Sasuke told Ling Yun and others. Then he jumped down the stone stream. Sasuke came to the source of the soul power fluctuations, transformed into a thousand dory sharp spear in his hand, and cut open the stone wall. In the huge stone crevice, a white jade silkworm with a diameter of one meter wide and a length of six or seven meters was sleeping soundly, and the soul power in its body fluctuated with the snoring of the ice silkworm. The color of this soul ring? A ten-year soul beast? The next second, Sasuke immediately rejected the idea. This kind of soul power quality is definitely not a ten-year soul beast. Sasuke approached the ice silkworm, stretched out his hand to press it and began to absorb it. What pure natural energy! There was still a slight chill in it. Apart from the girl he met in the hotel last time, this was the second power that Sasuke came into contact with that he cared about. Moreover, this reserve of soul power is unprecedented. A thousand times or even ten thousand times that of the saber-toothed thunder tiger. Who are you? Just as Sasuke was feeling this surprising energy, a voice sounded in Sasuke's mind. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Stop smoking. The voice shouted with great fear. Is it the spiritual consciousness of this soul beast? Sasuke looked at the ice silkworm that was already wrinkled by being sucked by him, and snorted coldly. A mere beast dares to invade my mind. Don't underestimate the power of Uchiha. Sasuke's samsara eye flashed, and the ice silkworm seemed to be in great pain and began to twist its body. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it hard. Let's see if I don't burst you. The ice silkworm shouted fiercely. However, what it doesn't know is that even Sasuke himself doesn't know where the limit of his ability to absorb soul power is. 
just a six Magatama Samsara I is like a bottomless pit. With such huge and pure soul power, has he not evolved any offensive means? Naturally, it cannot be left to others. Sasuke accelerated the absorption of its soul power, and the ice silkworm shriveled up at a speed visible to the naked eye. After a while, only a shriveled ice silkworm skin remained in the stone crevice that was originally filled with ice silkworms. Whether it is chakra or magic chakra, the time it exists in the human body is limited, and it will dissipate once the time limit is up. Only the six paths chakra given by the six paths sage can be retained in the body for a long time. But the chakra Sasuke received from the six paths sage has been used up in the battle to seal Kagaya, and Sasuke himself has no way to condense the six paths level chakra. However, Sasuke was pleasantly surprised to find that although the soul power absorbed from ordinary soul beasts was not as powerful as Senjutsu chakra, it could be retained in the body for a long time and could be restored through rest. The amount of recovery depends on the total amount and absorption. The total amount is consistent. This is why a soul master needs to hunt for soul rings after he has cultivated to a certain level. The soul power of the soul beast should have a certain degree of evolutionary effect on the human body. Sasuke felt the soul power flowing throughout his body. When he guided the absorbed soul power to his eyes, Sasuke was surprised to find that he saw a transparent world. Everything becomes clearly visible, and as Sasuke's mind changes, his sight can reach almost anywhere. As his eyes moved, Sasuke saw Yi Linger who was beating Ling Yun, the endless growth of animals and plants in the Star Do Forest, the soul masters who took risks to hunt for soul rings, and the people in the Star Do Forest. At the deepest level, there are two breaths that change the color of heaven and earth. Sasuke Sensei Yi Linger's shout woke up Sasuke. Sasuke took a breath, recalled what he saw in the lake, and said, let's find out next time. Then he jumped away from Shijian to join Yi Linger and others. About three kilometers away from Sasuke and the others, Tang San, who was clearing the way, suddenly tensed up and raised his head to glance at the sky. What's wrong, mistress? Dai Mubai, who was also clearing the way, saw that Tang San suddenly panicked and asked. It's nothing, maybe I didn't sleep well last night. Tang San calmed his breathing and said. Is it an illusion? That feeling of being overlooked. Tang San asked in his heart. Didn't you sleep well? Dai Mubai looked at Tang San with evil intentions, then looked at Xiao Wu's increasingly slim figure, then touched his chin and said, I understand, I understand. It's half past three and I'm insomnia again. Keep updating. The showdown will last until dawn tonight. If you like children's shoes, please vote and add them to your favorites. Crab. Chapter. 11. Teacher Sasuke, what kind of soul ring are you planning to find for Muqin? Ling Yun asked a question that everyone wanted to ask. Sasuke had already been worried about Muqin's arrangement. When he first entered Sanhui Academy, Yi Zhichio found Sasuke and told him about his powerlessness against Muqin. For this reason, Sasuke and Yi Zhichio spent some time discussing Muqin's soul master route. I can guarantee that she will have no worries about living in the academy, but I cannot guarantee that she will become an excellent soul master. These were Yi Zhichou's exact words. After about an hour of touching, Sasuke pointed at the two purple soul rings and said to Mu Qing, you choose. The two plant soul rings suspended in front of Mu Qing have been absorbed by Sasuke and only have a few hundred years of effectiveness left. Sheng Yen Bamboo is a plant spirit beast with tenacious vitality that can grow in any extreme environment and has the ability to purify the surrounding land. Soul Eating Flower, a piranha type soul beast, can release a large amount of pheromones that paralyze the five senses. Mu Qing chose the Yenju Soul Ring without any hesitation. Are you sure? Sasuke asked. Yes. Mu Qing said firmly. To Sasuke's expectation, Mu Qing's process of absorbing the soul ring was extremely smooth. Sasuke did absorb most of the soul power of those two soul rings, but he still kept the effectiveness of the remaining soul power at about 800 years. This was also a test for Mu Qing. After Mu Qing absorbed the soul ring, he quickly showed everyone the effect of his absorption. Mu Qing's original dark red flower spirit became brighter in color. 
Compared with the twilight look before, the flower at this moment made people feel the bloom of life. Mu Qing, let's see what your soul skills are. Yi Ling'er hugged Mu Qing and said. Yes. Mu Qing clasped his hands together, and his other side flower martial spirit released a halo of light, which fell on Sasuke. The first soul skill, seek out the bamboo to grow yen. Apply a layer of yen yen effect to a teammate. Every 5 seconds, the teammate with the yen yen effect will recover 20% of their maximum physical strength, and have 100% of their maximum physical strength. There is a probability of 30 to clear a negative effect. In this way, there will be two auxiliary soul masters among the five of us. Ling Yun said. At night, Mu Qin came to the river alone, looking at her martial soul, tears falling down her beautiful face. Your qualifications don't allow you to be lazy. Sasuke's voice sounded behind Mu Qin. Mu Qin turned around and looked at Sasuke with eyes full of various emotions. Really, Sasuke Sensei's words have a little influence on the atmosphere. Ling Yun, who was solving his urgent need to urinate in the woods nearby, said with a comfortable expression. Mu Qing looked at Sasuke and his friends who were meditating with their eyes closed around the campfire, wiped away her tears, and smiled happily. Today was the day when she truly became a soul master, and it was also the day when she strengthened her faith. The flower of the other shore is a gift on the road to the underworld and a hymn on the road to new life. Some people are the blade that cuts through thorns, and some people are the wind that soothes the trauma. A week later, Sasuke took Ling Yun and others to prepare to evacuate from the Star Forest. During this period, Ling Yun and others were able to skillfully guide and mobilize Chakra to release some low-level ninjutsu, and the speed of soul power cultivation was also greatly improved. Ascension, it's time to move on to the next level. However, on the way out, Sasuke and others bumped into people from Shrek Academy. Teacher, do you want to take a detour? Ling Shui saw Shrek's team from a distance and asked Sasuke worriedly. Is this level of trouble enough to change your direction? Sasuke asked without looking back. That's right. Go to each side of the road. Ling Yun agreed. The last time his sister was teased, Ling Yun was filled with anger. In fact, Sasuke had seen the team of Shrek and others a few days ago, but he had never been in the habit of taking detours. The words were divided, but the atmosphere on Shrek's side was tense. It was not because of Sasuke and his party, but opposite them, there stood an elderly couple with a strong aura. Next to the elderly couple, there was a beautiful lady. Charming girl. Sasuke saw the crested crested snake being stepped on by Zhao Wuji, and understood that the two sides were competing for the soul beast. Sasuke didn't look sideways and walked directly between the two parties. Ling Yun and others also followed Sasuke firmly. When Shrek and others saw Sasuke's figure, they suddenly took a breath of cold air, and then a trace of anger ignited. Zhao Wuji suppressed his impulse and stared at Sasuke. Since the last time he was killed by Sasuke's illusion, Zhao Wuji was in a coma for seven days before he woke up. After hearing what Dai Mubai and others said, Shrek's Dean Flender became furious and took them to get the soul rings. As a result, everyone was seriously injured, fainted and lost. Flanders' curses, which he had been saving for seven days, were all poured out on Zeo Wookie in an instant, and he was scolded severely in front of all the teachers and students in the hospital. It was pity that Zeo Wookie, a patient who had been in a coma for seven days, had to suffer from both sides. Just thinking about it makes me feel cowardly. This time he held his breath and carefully guarded against Sasuke's movements. He couldn't swallow this bad breath no matter what. The old couple on the other side were not happy. Six young people showed up for no reason, but they walked past them so arrogantly, treating themselves as if they were nothing. Thinking that the dragon snake couple had been in the mainland for so many years and had a great reputation. Even if a title Dolua saw it, they would not turn a blind eye. These boys act like this, which is too disrespectful. Whoosh! A flying knife flew out from behind the dragon snake couple and hit Sasuke in the back of the head. So arrogant. The one who took action was the girl standing behind the dragon snake couple, who was also the granddaughter of the dragon snake couple. Meng Yiran couldn't wait for her grandparents to teach these guys a lesson, so she took the initiative herself. 
she had practiced this knife-throwing skill since she was a child. Has achieved quite a lot in these years, and is extremely self-respecting. This is the Star Forest. How could this boy dare to walk like this? The flying knife stabbed at Sasuke with a sound of breaking through the air, but the latter didn't even look back. The flying knife suddenly stopped in the air, and then the blade twisted, and was crushed into a ball of scrap metal out of thin air, and fell on the ground. On the ground. A throwing knife thrown by a mediocre person is not as good as a stone thrown by a master. Sasuke said calmly to Ling Yun and others, Do you remember? Yes. Ling Yun and others nodded. Stop. Meng Yiran gritted his teeth. A mediocre person. No one dares to call himself that when he's grown up. Meng Yiran has always been the treasure of the dragon snake couple. When did he ever suffer such injustice? What? You hurt someone first, and you still have a temper. Seeing that Sasuke was unmoved, Yi Ling'er was the first to jump out and said, I'm not afraid to tell you, my Sasuke is only 17 years old, and he is willing to criticize you. That's a shame for you. I'm sorry. Yi Ling'er made a face after saying that. You. Meng Yiran almost couldn't breathe. First he was angry, then he was shocked. The man in front of him was only 17 years old. Two years younger than me. Looking at his soul-breaking knife that was crumpled into a ball of paper on the ground, Meng still couldn't believe it. It was definitely not a 17-year-old boy who could ignore his own attack and destroy the soul-breaking knife to such an extent out of thin air. It can be done. He didn't even raise his hand. Sasuke is becoming more and more comfortable in controlling repulsion and gravity. Shinra Tensei is a technique that controls repulsion, and All-Seeing Tensei is a technique that controls gravitational fields. Uchiha Madara's run Tomb Border Prison, which once made himself and Naruto suffer a lot. It is also a technique developed from these two powers. It has to be said that Uchiha Madara's fighting talent is so strong. Sasuke has been able to develop the technique of that level even after getting the Samsara Eye for so long. It seems that no one taught you manners before going out. The old woman stretched out her hand to stop Mang Yiran who was about to take action, and looked at Sasuke and his group. Chapter, 12 Let's go. Sasuke ignored the old woman and said to Ling Yun and the others. That old woman is Kaoshi Anxiang, the snake woman among the unparalleled dragon snake couple. She originally wanted to test Sasuke with words. As a six ring soul emperor, she also became somewhat interested in Sasuke's strength after seeing how Sasuke crushed her granddaughter's flying knife. Unexpectedly, Sasuke ignored him at all. This punch hit the cotton. Chao Tianxiang swallowed a suffocating breath and tapped the snake staff in his hand on the ground. A pressure spread, shocking everyone except Sasuke. Ling Yun and others. Ling Yun and others were only in their twenties and thirties with soul power levels. Under the furious pressure of the soul emperor snake Pichao Tianxiang, they were unable to move even half a step. Mu Qing's soul power was only in the dozen or so levels. He lay on the ground and used his hands to support himself. Sasuke turned around and looked directly at the old couple. When Duke Long and Snake Lady saw this, they were secretly surprised. If this young man was really seventeen years old, he would never be able to enmity. The couple traveled across the continent, and even at this age when they were half dead, they still had some sharp eyesight. Either, wipe it out, otherwise, there must be no enmity. The dragon and the snake had the same idea. They looked at each other and made a plan in their hearts. Flies. As Sasuke spoke, there was already a Kusanagi sword in his hand. Be polite when you talk to my grandpa. You bastard. Meng still didn't realize what it meant that Sasuke could move freely at this moment. Seeing him talking like this to his grandparents, he couldn't help scolding him. Be polite when you speak to my Sasuke, you witch. Yi Ling'er gritted her teeth and said with difficulty. What? Your Sasuke is so shameless one after another. Meng Yiran flashed his body and came to Yi Ling'er. He grabbed Yi Ling'er's waist-length hair and said, speaking of which, I thought you were all where are the geniuses. Why are there still some people mixed in? Snapped. A loud slap sounded, 
and Meng Yiran covered his face and stood still for a second, with a fierce look in his eyes. You dare to hit me? Meng Yiran looked at Yi Ling'er who was gasping for air. His soul power surged in his body, and the martial spirit snake staff appeared in his hand. He raised the snake staff and hit Yi Ling'er's knee. The one I'm beating is you, you witch. Yi Ling'er cursed with a slanted smile. Who is not a young lady anymore? Alas Mr. Long and Snake Woman sighed, it seems that this matter will be difficult to resolve. However, seeing that Sasuke had no intention of taking action, the Dragon King and the Snake Woman made no move. Originally, it was somewhat disrespectful for the Snake Lady to attack these juniors. Her original intention was to provoke Sasuke to take action and find out what happened. Who knew that this young man could be so calm? It would be unreasonable for her to trap these little babies again. After all, they didn't want to antagonize Sasuke at the moment. The snake woman's hand on the snake staff relaxed and she let go of everyone. The surrounding pressure disappeared instantly, and Yi Ling'er, who was freed from the restraints, retreated back to avoid Meng Yiran's snake staff. If you don't like being called a mediocre person, then let's show you the real deal. Yi Ling'er said. Just what I wanted. Meng Yiran said. Don't waste time on such unnecessary things. Sasuke stopped him. This is not a meaningless thing. Yi Ling'a retorted, it's okay to scold me, but not you. No. It's not okay to scold me either. This was the first time Yi Ling'a didn't listen to Sasuke's words. Sasuke sighed and left her alone. Although fighting against someone of the same level was of little significance, it was not entirely without benefits. Children are playing around, let's call it a day. What do you think, young man? Duke Long said to Sasuke. Whatever. Sasuke said concisely, with a meaningless look on his face. Hey. What about this phoenix-tailed crested snake? Zhao Wuji, who had been standing aside for a long time, finally couldn't bear it anymore. First come, first served, have you spent a lot of your life on a dog? Duke Long said impatiently. While Duke Long was speaking, Meng Yiran had already made contact with Yi Ling'er. Meng Yiran used his first soul skill snake body to flexibly avoid Yi Ling'er's attack. At this moment, Meng Yiran felt a little shocked, because although the girl in front of him looked a few years younger than her, her offensive was not weaker than his own. After several fights, he had no room to fight back. He could only rely on his first soul skill to survive. Let's see where you can slide like a loach. Yi Ling'er was quite annoyed as her attacks failed several times. The third soul skill. Particle activation. Electricity surged throughout Yi Ling'er's body, activating all the cells in his body. Instant movement speed and reflex abilities have been explosively improved. The third soul skill. Thunder Blade. Yi Ling'er clasped her hands in the air, and two electric arcs flew towards Meng Yiran who looked stunned with a bit of harsh thunder. She was stunned. Also stunned like her were the Dragon King and the Snake Woman, as well as everyone from Shrek Academy. The girl in front of me actually already has three soul rings. What makes people even more maddening is the rising soul ring when she releases her third soul skill. Black. Under the vast forest of stars with clear skies, thunder flashed through everyone's hearts. Those two electric arcs flying in the air seemed to hit everyone's heart, severely stimulating every cell in the body. The third soul ring. Ten thousand years. She was right. Meng Yiran stood there blankly, thinking, I am a mediocre person. Still. Snake woman shouted, and the snake staff in her hand spit out two clouds of mist, cutting off Yi Ling'er's third soul skill. Iran. Are you okay? Snake woman rushed up and hugged Meng Yiran. Looking at Meng Yiran with dull eyes, Snake Woman felt a pain in her heart. This is impossible. On the other side, everyone in Shrek also had their own thoughts. The third soul ring. Ten thousand years. Oscar looked at the crested crested snake that was stepped on the ground by Zhao Wuji, and his brows gradually dropped. Tang San kept scanning Yi Ling'er with his purple devil eyes, but didn't see anything strange. Zhu Zhu Qin clenched her hands into fists, 
her nails dug deeply into her flesh, and blood flowed out from between her fingers. She stayed away from her family, and in order to become stronger, she came to Shrek Academy. When she saw that everything was about to get better. Only to find. No way. This girl looked like she was only in her twenties before. Am I color blind? Ma Hongjun pressed his temples with both hands and shouted. Ning Rongrong turned his attention to Sasuke, who had been silent until now, and finally met him again. Obviously, this girl's change is inseparably related to this taciturn man with strange eyes. Grandma. That coxcomb snake. I don't want it anymore. After Mangyuran finished speaking, he covered his face with one hand and fled the scene. Ee. -e. Snake woman was in a panic and immediately chased after him. Upon seeing this, Duke Long waved his sleeve at Zhao Wuji, snorted coldly, and turned around to leave. After sending away these two plague gods, it's time to settle our accounts. Zhao Wuji threw the crested snake to Oscar and said to Sasuke. Obviously, these little guys have been greatly stimulated, and they cannot let down their momentum at this time. Whether it is to avenge the last time, or to boost the morale of the little devils, this fight cannot be avoided. The number one soul saint, even if he surrenders, he can only surrender to someone of Tang Hao's level. Not this little boy. Don't you think you were too careless last time? Sasuke said as he looked at Zhao Wuji, who was on full alert as his soul power surged. It's numb, and suddenly half of it is missing. Fortunately, I have a record, so I made up for it. Sorry everyone. Chapter, 13 Zhao Wuji was actually quite conflicted in his heart. If the seventeen-year-old boy in front of him was a real person, he would definitely be a demon descended from the sky. Even the word genius seemed bleak when applied to him. Zhao Wuji is quite fond of talents. I heard from Dai Mubai that this young man named Sasuke once brought a girl to Shrek to sign up. The old man guarding the gate was simply blind. Such a talent was actually lost to Tsanghui Academy. That kind of place has gone. The third soul skill. Gravity squeeze. Then let me test your limits. Zhao Wuji used his third soul skill, and huge pressure fell on Sasuke's body. Even Dai Mubai, the strongest among the Shrek Seven Monsters, couldn't last long under Zhao Wuji's fully activated third soul skill. Human beings have their limits after all. Zhao Wuji thought to himself that he had never doubted his student's talent. I saw Sasuke standing proudly, no matter how much sand and rocks flew around him, he remained still. Shinra Tenjing Sasuke deflected Zhao Wuji's third soul skill and flashed behind Zhao Wuji. Visible electric current burst out from Sasuke's body, wrapping Zao Wuji in it. Chidori Ryu Zhao Wuji was shocked. Before he could take precautions, all the muscles and bones in his body felt tiny distortions, and all the internal organs in his body were roiling in all directions. Wah! Zhao Wuji held up his body and let out a roar, and several soul rings lit up on his body. The second soul skill. Powerful Vajra Palm. Zhao Wuji clasped his hands at Sasuke, and wherever the wind of the palm touched, there was a hunting sound. If it were an ordinary soul master like Dai Mubai, he would be turned into flesh if he was captured by the furious Zhao Wuji with his palms at such a distance. Sasuke pushed Zhao Wuji gently in the air with one hand. Zhao Wuji's movement stagnated, and then he hit the rock wall behind him like a cannon being ejected from the barrel, and his whole body was embedded in the mountain. Teacher Zhao. Tang San and others exclaimed. All things are attracted by heaven. The fingers of Sasuke's outstretched hand were slightly bent. Zhao Wuji's body was pulled out of the mountain by another force and flew toward Sasuke. Sasuke strangled Zhao Wuji's neck with one hand. Due to Zhao Wuji's short stature, his feet were dangling in the air when he was strangled by Sasuke. I'm just here to help you with your little tricks. Sasuke said coldly, if you don't have the determination to kill me, don't mess with me and my students again. After Sasuke finished speaking, he raised Zhao Wuji high with one hand, and then slammed it down to the ground. Zhao Wuji's eyes were split open, his body made a big hole on the ground, and a mouthful of blood spurted out from his mouth. If you want to die in Sasuke, there is a threshold. 
This Xiao Wuji is not qualified yet. Damn it! Dai Mubai gritted his teeth. Tang San signaled everyone not to take action. Obviously, this was not a battle that they could intervene in. With only three back and forths, Seoul Saint Xiao Wuji was easily manipulated by Sasuke. This was not considered a battle at all, this was a one sided education. At this moment, everyone felt that the ground began to tremble, the surrounding plant soul beasts began to stir, and the entire Star Doe forest seemed to begin to emit a low roar. This is. Let's go. Zhao Wuji, who was seriously injured, struggled to get up and shouted to everyone in Shrek. But in the blink of an eye, countless soul beasts rushed towards him. This is. Beast Tide. Hurry up. If you don't leave, it will be too late. Zhao Wuji shouted, while using all his strength, he released his seventh soul skill. Martial Spirit's true form. Powerful Vajra Bear. I saw that Zhao Wuji's whole body was wrapped in a ball of golden light, and a giant bear emerged from it. In an instant, he became five meters tall, and his muscles swelled in an exaggerated form. His brown hair grew wildly, and his golden body blocked the in front of everyone in Shrek. On the other side, Ling Yun and others who were at a loss were already held by a big purple hand. They saw Sasuke's whole body burning with purple half-human chakra, protecting everyone in it and feeling the surge of chakra around him. Ling Yun clicked his tongue in surprise, Teacher. Is this your true martial soul? Susanohu. Sasuke said calmly. Teacher. I want to learn this. Yi Linger said excitedly, blinking her big eyes. The herd quickly surrounded everyone present. Zhao Wuji observed the surroundings vigilantly, secretly screaming that something was wrong, and broke out in a cold sweat. None of these soul beasts are less than a thousand years old. Many soul beasts seem to be almost ten thousand years old. You must know that in normal times, ten thousand year soul beasts are rare. It's really interesting how the identities of hunter and prey are reversed. The soul beasts surrounded everyone, but did not attack. Everyone in Shrek did not dare to express their anger. Suddenly there was silence everywhere, and they could only hear the breathing and low roar of the soul beasts. The earth trembled rhythmically again. A black giant ape slowly walked out from the herd. Its huge body covered the sky and the sun. Zhao Wuji, who had released his true form of martial spirit, stood in front of the giant ape. Like an underdeveloped poo. Titan giant ape. Zhao Wuji coughed and swallowed the blood as saliva. He looked at Tang San and the others behind him and thought to himself, Today, my life is at stake. Chapter, 14 Dear King of the Forest Zhao Wuji slowly crouched down and said humbly, We have no intention of offending, and please calm down. We will leave the Star Doe Forest now. No matter what, make sure the little ones get out safely. Zhao Wuji thought. It stands to reason that this titan giant ape is a spirit beast that only appears in the central area of the Star Doe Forest. Only a few people on the entire continent have seen his true face in Lushan. It is rumored that a century-old titan giant ape can compete with ordinary soul beasts that are close to the 10,000-year-old level. The titan ape's hands were like two huge iron balls, hanging on the ground, ignoring Zhao Wuji's words. The titan giant ape set his sights on Shrek students and stared at them blankly for a long time. Is he expressing his longing? Sasuke thought. Since absorbing the dream ice silkworm, Sasuke's body has been changing day by day. Recently, he feels that his synesthesia ability is getting stronger and stronger. This seemingly wild and bulky titan ape is actually expressing his feelings to humans. Among the people who saw Shrek, the girl wearing a pink dress and a pair of bunny ears gently shook her head towards the giant ape. When the titan ape saw this, he let out a deafening roar toward the sky. All of this was clearly seen by Sasuke. I see. Sasuke already understood what the giant ape meant. From the roar of the giant ape, Sasuke could feel that it was pure longing in a touch of jealousy. However, the next second, the giant ape turned its head and jumped so violently that the trees in a large nearby forest were destroyed by it, and it rushed towards Sasuke majestically. Sasuke was slightly confused, and the purple chakra on his body surged. 
Susana showed his complete body, wrapped himself, Ling Yun and others and flew into the sky. This gorilla is quite rare, why would he attack me for no reason? Sasuke had nothing to do in the star forest. He was not going to compete with a beast, and he didn't want to waste time, so he left. Wow! Sasuke, you can fly! Ling Yun shouted in surprise. What's going on? Zhao Muji was a little strange when he saw the Titan ape's actions, but before he had time to think about it, Zhao Wuji rushed towards Tang San and the others, using the huge body of the martial soul's true body to hug the seven of them. To break through. He was seriously injured, and his martial spirit avatar could no longer be maintained for long. Taking advantage of the Titan ape's opportunity to pounce on Sasuke, this was an opportunity not to be missed, and he had to leave here immediately. The Titan ape jumped into the air, looking at Sasuke and the others who were left with only a black dot in the sky. The Titan ape smashed the ground angrily with both fists, and then turned his attention to Shrek and the others, looking towards them. The fleeing Zhao Wuji jumped up. Seeing that the giant ape's big hand was about to fall. At the critical moment, Zhao Wuji's body lit up with a burst of colorful light. The seven treasures are famous. Two-day speed. Zhao Wuji's speed was increased, and he managed to avoid the Titan Ape's grasp. The Titan Giant Ape's attack failed, and he hit the ground with both fists. A shock wave spread out, and the entire Star Do Forest began to tremble. Zhao Wuji could no longer hold on, and his whole body was exhausted. He fell to the ground with a burst of dust and smoke. Everyone in Shrek fainted under the blow from the Titan Ape. In the air, Sasuke took Ling Yun and others and flew away from the Star Forest. Ling Yun was doing breaststroke happily in Sasuke's Susanoo. The four Yi Linger girls looked at the world below and exclaimed in surprise from time to time. Although Sasuke Sensei is usually stern, his chakra feels very warm. Shirosha felt the Susanoo's chakra with his hands and thought to himself. Sasuke's eyes glowed with a pale golden light at this time. This was a skill he mastered after absorbing Tianmeng Ice Silkworm. Although he had flown far away, Sasuke could still see Shrek and the others who were unconscious in the Star Forest, as well as the Titan Ape running happily. In the hands of the Titan Ape, he was holding the A-Girl who also contains huge energy. Sasuke was a little confused. The Titan Ape didn't seem to have any ill intentions towards humans, so why did it attack him? Could it be related to that Ice Silkworm? What Sasuke didn't know was that the Ice Silkworm was originally a spirit beast living in the extremely cold northern region. On this day, Meng Bingxi was captured and taken to the Star Do Forest to support those high-level soul beasts. After Sasuke absorbed the Tian Meng Ice Silkworm, all the soul beasts in the Star Do Forest felt the disappearance of this million-year-old soul beast, and then followed the aura and rushed over together. But Sasuke didn't think much about it. He didn't need to pay attention to the thoughts of a beast. Teacher Sasuke, where should we go next? Ling Yun asked Sasuke. Teacher. When can we learn this ninjutsu? Yi Linger asked excitedly. It feels very far away. The ninjutsu we can use now is too limited. Ling Shue sighed. About an hour later, Sasuke took Ling Yun and the others and landed in the nearest city. Tiendo City. The imperial city of the Tiendo Empire. Even before setting off, Sasuke had decided that the second stop of his trip would be the imperial city of the Tiendo Empire. Only here can Sasuke understand the whole world, and only here can Sasuke have the opportunity to come into contact with those who stand at the pinnacle of power. Sasuke took Ling Yun and others into Tiendo City. As soon as he entered the city, Sasuke was attracted by a notice wall. Heavenly Punishment List this is the list of official killing orders. It's a bit difficult to get on this list. Yi Linger said. Sasuke looked at the information on the list and understood what Yi Linger meant by difficulty. The people on the list are all guilty of heinous crimes and have done things that are outrageous and resentful. They are worthy of the word heaven's punishment. Since it is an official bounty, the rewards are also very generous. The most important thing is that the Tiendo royal family wants to use high rewards to show their determination to protect their subjects, which can also be regarded as a public relations method. 
Freddy, a 44th level soul sect with Marshall Soul Scissorhands, murdered 32 people in the orphanage and is on the run. There is a reward of 50,000 gold soul coins. That's it. Sasuke glanced up and down and said looking at the portrait of Freddy. Chapter, 15. Find him. Lin Yun asked after listening to the mission assigned by Sasuke. I'm talking about killing him. Sasuke said to Lin Yun, you lack actual combat experience, so you just use these people to practice. It's okay to capture them and hand them over to the escort team, Lin Shui said. Don't have such thoughts, the target I am looking for will only have a higher soul level than you. Sasuke said sternly, you must fight with the determination to kill the target. Remember, only when you can kill, can you decide whether to kill or not. Really, what are you hesitating about? Yi Ling'er spread his hands and said to Ling Yun and others, those are the people on the heavenly execution list. Teacher, don't worry. I'll take care of this guy. On this day, Sasuke exchanged information with the guards, and then took Ling Yun and others to kill Freddy. Sasuke has never been a murderous person. For a ninja born in Kanoha, Kanoha's peaceful education has been deeply rooted in his bones. All ninja born in Kanoha can restrain the urge to use force and kill indiscriminately. Even other countries are aware of Kanoha's style. Even Sasuke, who left Kanoha and became a rebel ninja, was still affected by this peaceful education. Although Sasuke has been pursuing stronger revenge, he has never killed innocent people indiscriminately. There are only a few people that Sasuke has the intention to kill. But for those who wander the world like ghosts, in order to comfort the deceased, their necks must be cut with a knife. The world of soul masters is not much gentler than the world of ninjas, and is even less restrictive. Based on the information given by the escort, Sasuke quickly found Freddy's hiding place, a dry well in the wilderness with Sasuke's excellent tracking skills. Squeak. The wooden board above the dry well was opened, and a man with a hunched body jumped out. He was wearing a brown and black top hat and a red and green horizontal striped sweater. There was a sharp metal claw attached to his right hand, and his whole body was extremely malnourished and skinny. I guess there was nothing good to eat on weekdays. There are various scars on the face and body. Freddy looked directly at Sasuke and his group standing in front of him. So beautiful. Freddy gently scratched his rotten cheeks with his bladed hands, looked at Sasuke and the others in a hoarse voice and said, You are all so beautiful. You must have been there since you were a child. Only with a good life can you maintain such good skin, right? Disgusting. Yi Ling'er looked at the person in front of her and struggled to say four words. Ling Shui and Bai Cha had already started to vomit. They had never seen such a person before, and the smell they exuded was enough to make people sick. Is it uncomfortable? Freddy said with a scary smile, seeing your beautiful faces and bodies struggling and twisting in pain, I am a little excited just thinking about it. Become my collection. The four soul rings on Freddy's body lit up and he pounced on everyone. I can't bear it anymore. After Ling Yun said that, the soul ring appeared on his body and he rushed forward. Fool. He is the soul sect. Yi Ling'er shouted. Second ring great spirit master. Freddy looked at Ling Yun coming towards him and couldn't help laughing. The first soul skill. Holy light shines. The number one soul skill. Xuanzhu Xingyan. Ling Shui and Mu Qing both activated their first soul skills to assist Ling Yun. Ling Yun was under double protection and his confidence doubled. The first soul skill. Wei Tuo's confinement. Trap this guy like this and kill him directly. Hey! With your speed control, you also want to catch me? Freddy's soul ring lit up, and a green venom oozed from the blade in his hand. Several blades covered with green venom flew out, directly at shattered Ling Yun's fallen first soul skill. Ling Yun quickly used his second soul skill, Wei Tuo Divine Aerial Strike. I saw Ling Yun's Wuhuan Wei Tuo Buddha beads scattering, each beads floating behind Ling Yun, following Ling Yun's gestures to attack Freddy. Ding ding ding. Freddy easily scattered the flying beads and was in front of Ling Yun in an instant. The first soul skill, Biting Frost. An ice spike suddenly protruded from the ground, forcing Freddy back. 
Then several more ice spikes continued to appear under Freddy's feet. Freddy took a few steps back before the ice spike stopped regenerating. A huge snowflake was seen slowly rotating behind by Cha. This distance was already the limit of her first soul skill. Ling Yun, you turd ball, let me do it. Yi Ling Er activated the third soul skill particle activation, jumped into the sky, and condensed the third soul skill, Thunder Blade, with both hands. Two arcs of electricity flew out of Yi Linger's hands and flew towards Freddy. Freddy didn't dodge, squatted down, and then shot Yi Linger in the air. Impossible, even the soul sect cannot take this move unscathed. This is a soul skill bestowed by a 10,000 year soul ring. Freddy collided with the two arcs, and the thunder blade exploded in Freddy's body, exploding a ball of green poisonous gas. The poisonous gas instantly dispersed in the air and enveloped Yi Linger. Linger. Be careful. Mu Qin shouted. The green poisonous gas obscured Yi Linger's sight, and Yi Linger's lips turned purple, showing faint signs of poisoning. The Second Soul Skill Buddha's Light Exorcises Demons Ling Shui activated the Second Soul Skill, and a string of Buddha beads appeared above Yi Linger's head, emitting a burst of golden light and dispersing most of the poisonous mist. What a beautiful pair of legs! It must be a good collection. A lewd voice sounded, and Freddy appeared below Yi Linger at some point. Get off here! Yi Linger flipped her body in the air and hit Freddy on the head with a whip. The number one soul skill. Hong Yang kicks continuously. The second soul skill. Venomous bite. The blade in Freddy's hand suddenly grew two or three meters longer and cut towards Yi Linger. Second soul skill. Ice barrier. Bai Shui launched his second soul skill, and two streaks of ice quickly condensed on both sides of Yi Linger. Do you want to block my second soul skill at this level? Freddy said, I'll take these legs first. Don't forget that you still have me. Ling Yun once again launched his second soul skill. Dozens of Buddhist beads hit Freddy in midair at the same time. This was the way to a divine sky under the amplification of Ling Shui's first soul skill. No matter what, it's better than doing nothing. Fight! At this moment, Yi Linger had no other choice but to trust Bai Cha and Ling Yun. It was impossible to hide. There was no such thing as coward in Yi Linger's dictionary. Freddy looked at the dozens of flying beads and thought in his mind. The soul power level of this guy is obviously not as good as this woman's. Let's take a hit from him and get rid of this one with a 10,000 year soul ring first. Freddy's blade easily broke through Bai Shui's ice barrier, and was about to cut off Yi Linger's tiny waist. I only heard a gust of wind passing by my ears, and then Freddy's scream came. A looming wind blade flew out from dozens of beads, accurately cutting off Freddy's hand wielding the blade. Before that, Freddy didn't feel any threat from his soul power at all. Dark blood spurted out from Freddy's broken wrist, and Yi Linger's first soul skill also hit him hard on the temple. With two consecutive kicks, Freddy was hit by Yi Linger's big thigh. The long leg shot down and hit the ground. Teacher. Can I learn new ninjutsu? Ling Yun turned around and said to Sasuke. Chapter, 16. Why? Ling Yun looked at Freddy who was making a perverted howl on the ground and asked, Why did you kill those defenseless orphans? After Freddy, who had lost one hand, was kicked in the head by Yi Linger's first soul skill, his original crazy look became a little more terrifying. Pleasure. Freddy hissed at Yi Linger and others, those pleasurable please. Do you know how beautiful it is to watch those beautiful bodies being shattered for a moment? Ha 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 ha. Freddy smiled and limped toward the dry well. The second soul skill. Way to a divine aerial strike. This time Freddy did not dodge or avoid, allowing Ling Yun's beads to penetrate his body. Ling Yun avoided the vital point with all his moves and said to Sasuke, Teacher, would you like to send out a signal flare to call the escort team over? Kill him. Sasuke took out the Kusanagi sword and stuck it on the ground. I'll come. Yi Linger grabbed the Kusanagi sword and said, This thing is not worthy of being a human being. I'll kill it. Yi Linger stepped forward and swung his sword. Freddy's deformed head rolled twice on the ground, 
facing the sky with a ferocious smile. Why? Sasuke asked, Ling Yun, why didn't you kill him? You could have done it when you released the soul skill just now. Ling Yun looked at Freddy's body lying on the ground and said, he is a sad creature. So, because of your inexplicable compassion, can you ignore the fact that he tortured the orphanage? Sasuke said coldly. Me. Ling Yun clenched his fists, speechless. Yi Linger, why did you kill him? Sasuke ignored Ling Yun and asked Yi Linger again. There is no reason, he should be killed. Yi Linger said. Ling Yun, go take a look in that dry well. Sasuke said to Ling Yun. Ling Yun ran to the dry well and saw a passage under the dry well with dim lights flashing. Ling Yun jumped down, and there was a space of nearly 40 square meters in this inconspicuous dry well. The smell of potion and blood floated in the air under the dry well, and dolls as big as normal human bodies were hung on the four walls. When Ling Yun took a closer look, his pupils moved violently. Those dolls are all spliced together from real human limbs, glued together with potions to keep them fresh. Do you know how beautiful it is to watch those beautiful bodies shatter for a split second? Freddy's words rang in Ling Yun's mind, and he was so shocked that he broke into a cold sweat. Looking back, he saw that Freddy's figure and those desperate pleas seemed to be floating in every corner of this large space. Ling Yun Yi Ling'er also came to the secret room, but when she saw everything around her, she escaped in just one second, and then she heard the sound of vomiting. Ling Yun stayed for a long time and summoned his martial spirit. Ling Yun placed the shining Buddha beads on his forehead with both hands and prayed. Freddy has been killed by Yi Ling'er, but these people who were tortured and killed at their most beautiful age will never come back. Ling Yun. Come out when you're done. Don't expect me to go down to find you again. Ling Yun heard Yi Ling'er's shout and left the secret room. Sasuke released a flare. The royal guard quickly arrived at the scene to deal with the aftermath. After a simple handover with him, Sasuke took Ling Yun and others back to Tiendo City, withdrew the bounty of 50,000 gold soul coins, and booked a suite in the most luxurious hotel in Tiendo City. Ling Yun lay in the bathtub and buried his head in the water. Freddy's voice and the wailing in the secret room could not disappear. After getting dressed, Ling Yun came to the top floor of the hotel and saw Sasuke. The night wind blew Sasuke's black cloak, and in front of him, there was a whole dark night. Teacher. Ling Yun came to sit next to Sasuke, and the night breeze from high up made his heart slowly calm down. Ling Yun, why did you take the path of a soul master? Huh? In order to protect grandparents, there is also Ling Shui. But can you really protect them like this? I'll do it. Are you expressing your determination to me, or are you just deceiving yourself? Sasuke looked into Ling Yun's eyes and said, if one day you lose them and start desperately pursuing power, then it will be too late. It's easy to die fighting with passion, but it's difficult to live with those things you've lost on your back. After finishing speaking, Sasuke left the roof. Ling Yun looked at the dark night sky in front of him, trying hard to find the stars. The next day, as soon as everyone walked out of the room, they saw Sasuke already sitting in the living room. On the round table in front of Sasuke, there was a new reward order. Will there be courses like this in the future? Mu Qing looked at Sasuke at a loss. At least this time, Sasuke said. Yi Ling'er grabbed the wanted notice, and Yi Ling'er, who was still yawning, immediately became more awake. Soul Sect, Level 49 Yi Ling'er and others looked at Sasuke with their mouths wide open. You must know that Yi Ling'er was almost cut into two pieces at the waist last night. I will give you seven days, and I will teach you new ninjutsu. After seven days, you must bring back this person's head. Sasuke said. When these little guys heard that they could learn new ninjutsu, including Muchin, their eyes were filled with anticipation. Sasuke took out five scrolls and threw them to the five people respectively. After that, he took out an extra scroll and gave it to Bai Cha. Ha! Huh. Teacher Sasuke, isn't your partiality too obvious? Ling Yun said dissatisfied. I have my plan. Sasuke said, White T, open the second scroll when you are alone. Bai Cha put away the second scroll and nodded. 
If Yi Ling and others found a treasure, they would take it apart immediately. You go find a place to practice by yourselves. I have to leave for a while. After Sasuke said that, he stood up and left. Raisingan. What a strange name. Ling Yun said while looking at the name of the ninjutsu written on the scroll. Chapter, 17. Tiendo City, Royal Villa. Sasuke was led by a maid to a courtyard. A few days ago, he received an invitation letter from Xue Qingha, the crown prince of the Tiendo Empire. You came. A young man turned around and looked at Sasuke. This young man was seen wearing formal palace attire, and with his golden hair, he looked luxurious. Even though he was greeted with a smile, compared to Sasuke's frightening ronin aura, this boy still faintly exuded a sacred majesty that could not be disobeyed. Is the crown prince of the Tiendo Empire a hidden person? Sasuke looked at the young man and asked. That's right, the one who invited Sasuke was none other than the crown prince of the Tiendo Empire, Xue Qingha. In recent years, Emperor Xue Ye's health has been deteriorating day by day. Nine out of ten of the Heaven Do Empire has been controlled by Xue Qingha. Although there are still some princes who have not expressed their opinions, it is not a cause for concern. All outstanding soul masters and counselors have been included in his account. Understand, those dandy nobles are just bones in the grave. When Xue Qingha heard what Sasuke said, the smile on his face changed slightly, and he waved his hand to reject everyone. I saw you right, you are indeed different. Xue Qingha's eyes changed slightly when he looked at Sasuke. When she was only nine years old, she sneaked into the palace and worked hard to disguise herself as Xue Qingha, the crown prince of the Tiendo Empire. So far, there has been no flaw. It was a disguise skill given by the God-given soul bone. Even a title Dolua could not see through it. Did the man in front of me see through his disguise at a glance? Who do you think is standing in front of you? Sasuke said coldly, if you want to be smart and put a puppet string on me, then I won't let you. Xue Qingha walked down the steps and slowly approached Sasuke, step by step, and finally controlled the distance to one foot. Xue Qingha looked into Sasuke's eyes and saw that the latter was not squinting and breathing as usual. Xue Qingha smiled and said, why is this happening? It's just that I have no choice. As the crown prince of the Tiendo Empire? Sasuke said. In Sasuke's eyes, the man in front of him was shrouded in a mist-like soul power. In the mist, a seraph was constantly emitting brilliance. Brother Sasuke, ignorance always suppresses truth first. Xue Qingha looked into Sasuke's eyes and said. Since Sasuke refused to avoid his direct gaze, it was even more impossible for Xue Qingha to look away. Don't be so high-sounding about the self-deception part. Sasuke sneered. I understand you somewhat. Xue Qingha said with a smile. It seems that Sasuke doesn't know how to speak at all. Come and help me. Sasuke, I can consider everything you want. So, may I ask where your eyes can see? Sasuke said, what I can see is the entire world. To a certain extent, we have the same vision. Xue Qingha said, Sasuke, what kind of world do you want to see? Ask me this question again when you can stop hiding the truth. After Sasuke finished speaking, he turned around and left. Sasuke. Xue Qingha stopped Sasuke, on the way to seek light, you will inevitably use dark means. War ends with war, even if it's war. My stance is firm. Seeing Sasuke stop, Xue Qingha continued. Then I'll wait and see. Sasuke dropped these words and left. You will be back. Snow clears the heart of the river. Seven days passed quickly. Except for Ling Yun, the remaining four people all learned new ninjutsu. After entangled for half a day, the 49th level soul sect finally fell into Yi Ling'er's thunder escape, thunder binding seal and was beheaded by everyone's concentrated firepower. Except for Ling Yun, no one was injured, so it was considered a near miss. Being the oldest but always lagging behind, Ling Yun was naturally ridiculed by Yi Ling'er and asked Sasuke for advice, but was also rejected. It doesn't matter, I didn't expect you to learn it. Sasuke said. Establishing a college? Yi Ling'er and others looked at Sasuke in surprise. 
I have used the money earned from the bounty to purchase a piece of land as the new location of the academy, and I have also talked with Yijichio. From today on, Sanghue Academy will be renamed Hokage Academy. Sasuke said. Hokage Academy? Lin Yun asked, what do you mean? Use fire to burn away the darkness and feed on the ashes. The one who survives is the Hokage. Sasuke said. But, teacher, didn't you say that the academy is meaningless? Yi Linger asked. It doesn't make much sense for getting stronger, but it is useful in some ways. Sasuke said. Yi Linger and others looked at Sasuke and savored Sasuke's words. They couldn't understand why a 17-year-old boy had such thoughts. Sasuke observed Tenda City and found that there were many academies in the city, most of them were children of nobles and members of the royal family. Obviously, if you want to cultivate your own power and get in touch with the circle of the ruling class, building an academy is the fastest and easiest way. For Sasuke, the process is not important as long as the goal can be achieved. Unlike those who blindly pursue power for their own selfish desires, the establishment of this college has special significance. I will not force you, because Yi Jichio has talked with me. Whether this college can be established or not is entirely decided by the five of you. As long as one person doesn't join, then this will be done, Sasuke said. I'll join. Yi Linger said, it sounds cool. We have a day off today and will vote tomorrow. Chapter, 18 The establishment of the Soul Master Academy requires approval from the local government. After all, the Soul Master Academy is an institution with military power. The day after Sasuke bought the land, a letter was delivered to the hotel. We'll see. There were only four words written on the letter, and packaged with it was an approval license stamped with the Tiendo Royal Seal. The land that Sasuke purchased was not large. After all, the housing prices in the imperial capital were quite terrifying. If it weren't for the fact that Sasuke and others had accumulated merit by killing fugitives on the Tenchu list, they wouldn't have been qualified to purchase it. Fortunately, the location is remote enough that there are no buildings around, making it easier to expand in the future. Sasuke arrived at the school site with the license, only to see a large pile of building materials and sand already placed there. I saw Yi Linger and five others standing there holding a thick book and talking non-stop. Teacher. Which style do you think we should choose? Ling Shui raised the book and said to Sasuke. The most expensive one, Sasuke said. That costs a lot of money. Ling Yun flipped through the pages. In view of the contributions made by several people to Tiendo City, the establishment of the Hokage Academy will be solely undertaken by the Tiendo royal family. Ling Yun and others followed the sound and saw a handsome young man arriving in front of everyone with a team of people and supplies. Lord Sasuke, His Highness the Crown Prince sends his regards. The young man took off his hat and saluted Sasuke. By people's hearts. Sasuke looked at the young man and asked, What's your name? Hirohiko, Sasuke-sama, His Highness the Crown Prince has said that I hope Sasuke-sama won't get caught up in these trivial matters and waste time. After Hirohiko said this, he waved his hand, and the people behind him started construction directly. Oh, by the way. His Highness the Crown Prince also said that Sasuke-sama is hiding in the abyss. Such a large piece of land is too unfair. The surrounding area has been allocated to Sasuke-sama. You can make any arrangements you want. Hirohiko said respectfully. Ling Yun had already opened his mouth and said, really or not. Then why are you looking at the drawings? Get a copy of each. Sasuke saw that he could save time, so naturally he didn't care about Xueqing his purpose. In this way, with Xueqing his meticulous arrangements, the Hokage Academy started construction on the same day. Originally, Sasuke's plan was to understand the situation on the mainland by contacting the Tendu royal family, then control the country step by step, and unify the entire continent after working out a feasible reform plan. However, what surprised Sasuke was that on the first day he entered the city, he was noticed by Xue Qingha of the Tendu royal family. As the heir to the Tendu royal family, Xue Qingha obviously hid many secrets. Along the way, people throughout Dolua continent are obsessed with becoming more powerful soul masters and using their power to satisfy their desires. 
and those ordinary people who are not destined to be a sole master naturally become the bottom of the food chain. Even if there is a royal family or a principality, it cannot regulate the behavior of sole masters. Being powerful is not terrible, but what is terrible is that the power cannot be restrained. After Hirohiko left, Sasuke took Yilinger and others to the outskirts for training, teaching them new ninjutsu and answering questions. Only Ling Yun, after being rejected once, continued training alone as if he was angry. Mu Qin, has Sasuke told you about his past? Yi Linger asked Mu Qin, looking at Sasuke who was sitting alone under the big tree with his eyes closed. No, if my brother doesn't tell me, I won't ask. Mu Qin said. Ha! Mu Qin is so cunning. He calls her brother directly, while we can only call her teacher. After saying that, Yi Linger stretched her hand towards Mu Qin's armpit. Mu Qin had to beg for mercy loudly before giving up. After being together for so long, is there still no one who can get into his heart? Yi Linger looked at Sasuke who was so close, like a gust of wind that he couldn't hold. Yi Linger didn't understand why a seventeen-year-old boy could possess such powerful power, nor did he understand why Sasuke wanted to establish a Hokage Academy with a grand vision. At this time, Sasuke was feeling the changes in his body since he swallowed the Tianmeng Ice Silkworm. First of all, his mental power has been strengthened like never before. Even if Sasuke doesn't open his eyes, he can clearly feel the changes in the surrounding environment. What Sasuke cares about most is that by combining the soul power of the Tianmeng Ice Silkworm he absorbed with his own chakra, he can condense a more powerful force. The soul power of Tianmeng Ice Silkworm can actually strengthen the Yin power in Sasuke's chakra. Of course, this new energy is far inferior to the Yin power of the Six Paths level. The power of Yin is the power that can materialize consciousness. Teacher. It's time to eat. Ling Shui waved to Sasuke. Sasuke opened the lunch box that Mu Qin had prepared for him, and just as he was about to eat, Yi Linger stretched his head over and looked at the food in the lunch box. Speaking of which, Mu Qin, why do you always prepare wooden fish rice balls for the teacher? Too plain. Yi Linger said while giving Sasuke the vegetables from his lunch box. However, what Yi Linger didn't know was that Mu Qin also made many insinuations before getting Sasuke to name the dish, which was wooden fish rice balls. Brother likes to eat this. Mu Qin said. Teacher, do you have anything else you like to eat? Ling Shui asked Sasuke. Sasuke looked at the wooden fish rice balls in the lunch box that were submerged in the delicacies that Yi Linger brought, and sighed, tomatoes. Speaking of which. Sasuke Sensei's clothes are the same. Too plain. Yi Linger said with her hands on her hips, it's either black or white. Let's buy clothes for the teacher later. Yi Linger's words seemed to hit the hearts of the remaining three women, and they looked at each other and reached a consensus. It was really hard for the four girls to accept that such a young and handsome teacher always dressed so low-key. After eating, Yi Linger hugged Sasuke's arm and wanted to take him to buy clothes. Although Sasuke talks less, he is only two years older than Yi Linger after all. Although Sasuke is not enthusiastic, he doesn't seem to have gotten angry. Thinking of this, Yi Linger became more courageous. As a result, Yi Linger pulled in front and Mu Qing pushed in the back. Sasuke, who was surrounded by the two women, finally sighed and compromised. Today. It was also a day when I didn't receive a website error. The result of not saving manuscripts is that your mind is racing against time all the time, wanting both quantity and quality. Once you get stuck, you will easily become anxious. Chapter, 19 What color clothes does the teacher like? Yi Linger asked enthusiastically. It's obvious. Ling Yun rolled his eyes, the teacher's clothes are as old as his taste. Even if it's a single color, there are many to choose from. Ling Shui said. This is it. Yi Linger and his group hugged Sasuke and entered an elegant pavilion. The words Holy Embroidery Pavilion were written in gold powder on the plaque. Xingxiu Pavilion is one of the best clothing designers in Tiendo City. Bai Cha said, looking at the gorgeous clothes displayed in the cabinet. Not long after, Yi Linger came over with a lot of clothes. 
Sasuke rarely felt helpless and could only let them do whatever they wanted. Can the pattern be customized? Sasuke asked, looking at the clothes. Yes, sir. Not only can we customize the pattern, but the dye we use is also taken from high-level soul beasts. It not only makes the clothes invulnerable to water and fire, but also has other wonderful effects. The female clerk looked at the four girls beside Sasuke. Said. Sasuke took the pen and paper brought by the clerk, skillfully drew a pattern and handed it to her. What is this? Yi Linger and others gathered around and saw a round fan pattern with a red upper part and a white lower part drawn on the white paper. Just when Yi Linger was about to ask Sasuke for details, a high-pitched and harsh voice came from the entrance. The bishop is here. I saw a middle-aged man with a horse face and sharp cheeks walking in with four followers. Mu Qing saw the person coming clearly and turned slightly to hide behind Yi Linger. It's him. Sasuke immediately saw the gray-haired man standing at the back, who was the man he taught Mu Qing when he first met him. The bishop is going to the main hall to report on his duties today. Call your best tailor to come out. The gray-haired man shouted in the shop. As soon as they saw someone from Wuhuan Palace coming, the clerk in the store didn't dare to be negligent. They immediately watched the tea being served, for fear of annoying the visitor. I've been staying in that crappy place in Notting City for two years. This time, there's nothing remarkable about my work report. I'm afraid I'll have to stay for another two years. The Bishop of Wuhuan Palace took a sip of tea. Why is Bishop Wu Qian so pessimistic? Besides, even if you don't get promoted, our city of Notting is as high as the sky and the emperor is far away. When we get back, how about I go find some chicks for you to vent my depression? Said the gray-haired man. The man said with a bow. Wu Qian looked at the clerks in Xingxiu Pavilion who had slender waists and plump waists, licked his lower lips and said, I'm tired of it, let's change the taste next time, Lao San, you can do whatever you want with the remaining ones. The gray-haired man known as Lao San was overjoyed when he heard this and said hurriedly, Thank you for the reward, sir. Wu Qian was being measured by two female clerks. His eyes searched around the hall and settled on the girls around Sasuke. I can smell the youthful atmosphere they exude. Wu Qian took a deep breath and said. Lao Sen followed Wu Qian's gaze and immediately understood Wu Qian's thoughts. He was about to step forward, but Wu Qian stopped him and said, This is the imperial capital. You can think of a solution after I report my duties and return to Notting City. After hearing Wu Qian's instructions, Lao San could only obey. Looking at the girls who were choosing clothes, Lao San had already imagined how they were resisting and welcoming in the bath. After all, it is best for Wu Qian to be fresh. When he gets tired of playing, it will naturally be the turn of Lao San, the number one loser. But the next second, Lao San saw the man who gave him endless nightmares, and his head suddenly went cold, and his two limbs trembled. Wu Qian's martial spirit is that of a dog, so his sense of smell is also the most sensitive. When he was feeling the breath of a young girl, he suddenly felt a smell of urine in the air. When he lowered his head, he saw that Lao Sen next to him had already peed. On the ground, the yellow liquid flowed down the floor and soaked under the soles of his shoes. You bitch slave! Wu Qian kicked Lao San. Lao San was already unsteady on his feet. After the kick, Lao San fell to the ground and hugged Wu Qian's thigh. I saw now Lao San with tears streaming down his face, and said to Wu Qian, Master Bishop. That's him. That's the man. It was the man who stopped me from hunting for you last time. When Wu Qian saw Lao San's appearance, he felt furious and kicked Lao San in the heart, then looked in the direction Lao San was pointing. Sasuke had just changed into new clothes and was surrounded by four girls. Seeing this, Wu Qian's heart felt prickly. He waved his big hand, and the people under his hand immediately stepped forward to surround Sasuke and others. When the people in the store saw this gesture, they left Xingxiu Pavilion one after another. Watching the bustle depends on the occasion. Who dares to watch the bustle of Wuhuan Palace? Catch him! Wu Qian ordered. Wait a minute. Why are you arresting people? Yi Linger's whole body was filled with electric energy, 
and he directly revealed his martial spirit. Insulting the Pope and beating up the members of my Wuhuan Hall. These two sentences are enough for him to repent on the gallows ten times. Wu Qian said while twisting his bracelet. This is the capital of Tiendou Emperor. When will it be your Wuhuan palace's turn to enforce the law? Ling Yun said angrily. Okay, just based on your words, you can't keep this kid. Wu Qian said, it just so happens that I have nothing to report during my performance report this time. If I take you to hold you accountable, it can be regarded as an active missionary. Wu Qian lowered his head, approached Ling Shua and said, As for you guys, if you can please me, I will consider letting them live, how about that? Stop talking to yourself. Ling Yun punched out, but Wu Qian's two soul masters held his arms, and Wu Qian kicked Ling Yun in the abdomen. This soul sect launched a deadly kick. Ling Yun could not withstand it. Even though his mouth was tightly closed, blood still flowed out from the corners of his mouth. I won't kill you today. You're not thinking clearly. Yi Ling'er condensed chakra with her hands and blasted towards the two soul masters. Thunder release. Heavy current break. The two soul masters never imagined that the girl in front of them was also a soul master. Seeing that her soul ring did not even light up, they did not take precautions. The next second, with the sound of breaking the door, the two soul masters from Wuhuan Palace flew out of Xingxiu Pavilion and lay on the ground twitching. Fierce temper. I like it. Among all the players I've played, there is no one as good as you at this age. Wu Qian's body lit up with four soul rings, and he walked towards Yi Ling'er, clapping his hands. Why are you just watching? Sasuke woke up Ling Shue and others who were in a daze. Mu Qin, Ling Shue, and Bai Cha also showed their martial spirits. Ling Yun wiped the corners of his mouth and stood up. A healing power overflowed from his body. Ling Yun turned back and gave Mu Qin a thumbs up. Bishop Wu Qian, if you don't go to the main hall to report your work, why are you still hanging around here? Hearing this voice, Wu Qian's whole body was shaken, and he quickly put away his martial spirit. Without seeing who it was, he immediately bent down and saluted, I've seen Bishop Salas. I saw a white-haired old man in a grey robe walking in. Although his beard and hair were white, his eyes were full of ferocity. His face, which was similar to Wu Qian's, did not look like a kind person at first glance. Lord Salas, you are aware of this. My subordinates also heard that a few young men here were slandering our spirit hall, so I wanted to take them back and educate them. Wu Qian bowed his waist and said without raising his head. Salas looked at the young girl in front of him, glanced sideways at Wu Qian, and snorted coldly. However, when he saw the soul ring that lit up on Yi Ling'er's body, his expression instantly became solemn. Chapter 20 Ten thousand year soul ring? At this age? Salas thought to himself, even those three people couldn't absorb the ten thousand year soul ring at more than thirty levels. If this person cannot be used by my Wuhuan palace, he must be eradicated as soon as possible. Which college are you from? Salas asked. Hokage Academy. Yi Linger said neither humble nor arrogantly. Contra. Sasuke noticed the strength of the visitor. This Bishop Salas should have a lot of weight in the so-called spirit hall. Hokage Academy. Salas recalled it, but had no impression. Who is the principal of your college? Yi Linger and others turned their attention to Sasuke in unison. At this moment, Sasuke was just sitting aside drinking tea. Salas looked at Sasuke and was about to question him when he heard a cheerful voice coming from the hall, the holy embroidery pavilion is really lively today. I saw Xue Qingha walking in, looking around, and behind him, there was a girl with short hair. Bishop Salas, Mr. Sasuke is my guest, do you have any advice? Xue Qingha looked at Salas with a smile. His Royal Highness, your words are serious, but there is some misunderstanding between the subordinates and Mr. Sasuke, and everything is fine now. Salas said to Xue Qingha. Sir. Wu Qian was about to speak, but saw Salas giving him a look that said shut up if you don't want to die. He choked and held back everything he wanted to say. After Saras and Wu Qianyi and others retreated, Xue Qingha walked toward Sasuke. 
Before he could speak, Sasuke said, I want to talk to you alone. Shue Chingha made a pleased gesture with one hand and said with a smile, I'm very happy. Shue Chingha led Sasuke to a private room and sat down. Nice clothes. Shue Chingha said with his eyes fixed on Sasuke. I didn't expect that the heir to the Tiendo Empire would also be from the spirit hall. What a great trick. Sasuke said. When talking with Salas in Shue Chingha, Sasuke felt that Salas showed a kind of incomparable awe toward Shue Chingha. Wuhuan Palace is a force that checks and balances the two empires. Salas, who holds a high position in Wuhuan Palace, has no reason to be so humble and submissive to Shue Chingha. When Sasuke said these words, he clearly felt Shue Chingha's heart was disturbed. Obviously, he guessed correctly. Sasuke, I have to say that you are a man full of mysteries. Shue Chingha said, this is the second time we have met, and my intuition tells me that if you can't join forces with me, the best way is, get rid of you. At least so far, your Wuhuan temple gives me too bad a feeling. Sasuke said. I agree with this. If you want to clean them up, I have no objection, but only if you can give me an equal role. Shue Chingha fiddled with the scale ornaments on the table and said. Using such people to gain the world will only be limited by them in the end. Your level is nothing more than that. Sasuke said. Brother Sasuke, I think you are too arrogant sometimes, but I like you like this. Shue Chingha stood up and said, I'm not boasting, I have the best martial arts in the world, and I hold the spirit palace and heaven in my hand. Fighting the empire, I will eventually grow into an unrivaled strong man. When the rat infestation is rampant, there is no need to pick between black and white cats, but after the rat infestation is resolved, I can choose the cat I like. Shue Chingha stared into Sasuke's eyes and suddenly smiled, maybe it's a bit unrealistic to say that the peaceful and prosperous age is a bit like a mirror. Just watch, in front of these eyes, everything will become a reality. After Sasuke finished speaking, he left alone. That night, the two bishops of Wuhuan Palace were found dead in their respective rooms. There were no wounds or poisoning. It is said that when he was found, he had a twisted expression on his face, as if he had experienced great fear. One month later, with solid resource support, the Hokage Academy was officially completed. However, the first announcement issued by this school was not an admissions brochure, but an open acceptance of the society's entrustment. Various anonymous reporting letters were also sent to the Hokage Academy. For a time, this strange school was spread throughout Tiendo City. College Rumors On the other side, Shue Chingha, the crown prince of the Tiendo Empire, had written many times and proposed a number of reform measures. He had purged many of the emperor's relatives, and his prestige among the military and civilians was growing. On this day, Shue Chingha made an appointment with Sasuke to take a walk in the city. Seeing the peace in Tiendo City, Shue Chingha said to Sasuke, Sasuke, you are not from this world, are you? Why do you say that? Sasuke asked. Putting aside your weird power, I really can't imagine anyone in the world of Soul Masters planning how to restrain force. Shue Chingha said. There are no absolutes. Sasuke said. Do you know, Sendo Lu? Shue Chingha said this and glanced at Sasuke, who was indifferent. He should be the strongest person in the world. He is the only one who is still pursuing a higher realm. Shue Chingha said, the restraining force is to restrain this group of people who stand at the top of the continent. Sol Do whether it's Luo or Tidal Do Lua, if it were me, I wouldn't be controlled by others without any reason. Then just manage the Tidal Do Lua well. Sasuke made a suggestion. Manage Tidal Do Lua. Shue Chingha looked at the 17-year-old boy in front of him, uncertain. If I keep playing like this with him, I feel like I will lose myself. Shue Chingha thought so. At the Hokage Academy, Ling Yun and others each reported to Sasuke how many commissions they had handled, how much public feedback they had collected, etc. One more thing. Uncle Yi wrote a letter asking us if we planned to participate in the continent-wide senior soul master competition in a few years. Yi Linger said. Participate. Sasuke said. Originally, Sasuke thought that participating in this kind of competition was a waste of time. 
However, since Sasuke has not encountered any decent opponents so far, his concept of each soul power level in this world has always been vague. Secondly, it can be considered responsible for Ling Yun and the others' careers as soul masters. When Yi Ling Er asked himself, he could feel the mood expressed by everyone's eyes when they looked at him. After all, even Mu Qing, who was at the lowest level, was a little eager to try. Just as Yi Ling Er and others were discussing, the door of the room was suddenly pushed open. I saw a young girl in a long emerald dress standing at the door. She asked with her hand slightly awkwardly, Excuse me, are we hiring here? Aren't you? Ling Yun and others exclaimed when they saw the girl's appearance clearly. Chapter 21 A month ago, Shrek Academy After the training, Ning Rongrong tossed and turned after taking a shower and wearing close-fitting clothes. Still unable to fall asleep, she came to the lotus pond alone and leaned on the railing. The seven treasures turned out to be colored glaze. Ning Rongrong looked at the seven treasures glazed pagoda spinning in her hands, and all kinds of thoughts came to her mind. Because she was born in the seven treasures glazed sect, she was favored, and because she was born in the seven treasures glazed sect, she lost the right to choose happiness as she pleased. Only when you become stronger will the weight of your words change. This was the main reason why Ning Rongrong ran away from home. However, it was too slow. Everything she ever wanted, with just one word, countless people would diligently deliver it to her. This is the only power that belongs to her, and it comes too slowly. Gradually, the figure of that person emerged from the precious light of the seven treasures glazed pagoda. Rong Rong. Ning Rong Rong woke up from her reverie, took back her martial spirit, and turned behind her. Oscar was walking towards her. It's so late and you haven't slept yet. Oscar asked as he approached. Can't sleep. Ning Rongrong said calmly. The moonlight is so beautiful tonight. Oscar looked at the bright moon in the sky and the beauty in front of him, feeling indescribably satisfied. Oscar, what do you think, how can an auxiliary type soul master defeat an assault type title Doluo? Ning Rongrong asked, looking at the shadow of the moon fluctuating in the pond. It's unlikely if they are at the same level. Oscar said, but Rongrong, don't worry, I will definitely protect you. Ning Rongrong knew that Oscar was telling the truth, but she could also feel Oscar's guilt when he said this. Tidal Dolua, what a huge mountain that is. Get some rest early. Ning Rongrong forced a smile and said goodbye to Oscar. That night, the night breeze caressed Ning Rongrong's cheek, and a hint of coolness calmed Ning Rongrong's tumbling heart. Ning Rongrong did not look back and left Shrek Academy alone under the moonlight. Behind him, a man came out of the darkness. Oscar lowered his eyebrows and closed his eyes. He murmured, Tai Doluo. I will do it. At this time, Ning Rongrong mustered up the courage to open the door, looked at the person who appeared repeatedly in her mind, and said, Are you hiring here? Aren't you from Shrek Academy? Ling Yun looked at Ning Rongrong and said, at this point, he was too lazy to be surprised. You guys go out first, Sasuke said. Ling Yun and others retreated in response. Sasuke said nothing and stared at Ning Rongrong who was standing in the hall. Half a minute later, Sasuke asked, Why are you so determined? Ning Rongrong's eyebrows moved slightly and she looked at Sasuke, speechless for a moment. I heard that the Seven Treasures Glazed Pagoda is the best auxiliary martial spirit in the world, and the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect is even more famous all over the world. What are you afraid of? Sasuke said. I want power, so I'm here. Ning Rongrong expressed his thoughts. At such an age, there must be a last resort reason for leaving your companions for strength. Sasuke looked at Ning Rongrong, whose eyes were becoming more and more determined, and said calmly, First of all, once you enter this academy, it will not be so easy to get out. If you can't give me what I want, I will still leave Ning Rongrong said. Sasuke stood up and walked to Ning Rongrong. Ning Rongrong looked at Sasuke. Step by step, he was approaching himself, his heartbeat was getting faster and faster, and he forced himself to open his eyes and look at Sasuke. Sasuke snorted coldly and said, You are admitted. When Sasuke's voice fell, the door of the conference hall was suddenly pushed open. 
Ling Yun, Yi Ling'er and others fell to the ground one after another. Ling Yun, who was suppressed by four people, raised his head and saw Sasuke looking at him coldly. Then. Have a welcome meeting. Ling Yun forced out a smile and eased the embarrassment. The next day, at the training ground of the Hokage Academy. Looking at Sasuke who was teaching Ning Rongrong alone in the distance, Ling Yun said, This is great, there are three assistant departments among six people. As soon as he finished speaking, bullets formed from water droplets rained down on Ling Yun's head. However, the attack power was very weak, and it only drenched Ling Yun until he was soaked in water. When he turned around, he only saw Ling Shui and Bai Cha smiling evilly at him with their hands in hand seals. That's right, under Sasuke's training, there is no such thing as an auxiliary system or an offensive system at all. Speaking of which, have Ling Shui and Bai Cha already started learning such powerful ninjutsu? Ling Yun looked at his hands and felt depressed for a while. The inconspicuous Raisingan was too difficult. The description on the scroll was also very simple, but making it was another matter. Chakra Every concept Sasuke proposed opened Ning Rongrong's eyes. Don't talk about the assistant department anymore. In the Hokage Academy, everyone must be someone who can stand alone. Sasuke corrected Ning Rongrong. If this method can be taught to the disciples in the sect, then the overall strength of the Chibao glazed sect will undergo a qualitative change. Ning Rongrong couldn't help but feel excited when she thought about this. The Chibao glazed sect may shine in her hands. The next step is to practice hard with Yi Ling'er and the others. If you want to learn more advanced ninjutsu, just use your sweat in exchange. Sasuke said. Ning Rongrong was currently immersed in the great initiative of transforming the Chibao glazed sect. After being awakened by Sasuke, she obediently joined the training team. Ning Rongrong was talented and came from a famous family. The only thing that could convince her was her absolute strength. In the evening, everyone gathered together again to exchange experiences and compete to ask Sasuke questions. Ling Yun, who had been gambling for a long time without asking Sasuke for advice, also came over. Level 30 Ling Yun's words, which he originally planned to announce solemnly, had already reached his throat, and Sasuke choked them back. Sasuke only looked up and noticed Ling Yun's change. Yes. Ling Yun could only act calmly. As a fifteen-year-old, you are really too slow. Sasuke said, tomorrow I will take you to hunt for souls. Ling Yun's face was confused, and when he heard the word soul hunting, his eyes suddenly lit up. He immediately stepped forward and gave Sasuke a pat on his back and shoulders. Will the hunting soul also be a ten thousand year soul ring? Ning Rongrong asked with some expectation. Teacher take action. Those who are less than 10,000 years old will not show it. He he he. Ling Yun said proudly. Rongrong, let's work hard together. Ling Shui held Ning Rongrong's hand and said. Girl's friendship is so simple and natural. Idiot. Yi Ling'er shouted to Ling Yun, if you absorb the 10,000 year soul ring, be mentally prepared. What? Ling Yun pretended not to hear. It's nothing. Yi Ling'er, as the first person among several people to absorb the 10,000 year soul ring, is well aware of the dangers involved, and her consciousness was almost completely wiped out several times. This was still absorbing the soul ring under Sasuke's supervision. Of course, Yi Ling'er didn't know this. Well. Can I go with you for tomorrow's soul hunting operation? Ning Rongrong said. As a new student, she really wanted to see Sasuke's methods. Sasuke was about to reject Ning Rongrong's request, but suddenly he turned his attention to Mu Qing, who was sitting alone under the tree. Mu Qing slowly opened his eyes, and his eyes were gleaming with a fleeting luster. It seems that we need to prepare two soul rings. Sasuke said. Chapter, 22 Teacher Just take me there. At the entrance of the Hokage Academy, after Ning Rongrong begged Sasuke in every possible way but was rejected, she actually took Sasuke's arm and acted coquettishly. Rong Rong, you're almost done. Ling Yun closed his eyes and shook his fingers and said, if this trick had been effective for the teacher, Yi Ling'er would have been pregnant by now. 
Ning Rongrong's face turned red when she heard this, and she quickly withdrew her hands. Boom! With a muffled sound, Yi Ling'er rolled up her sleeves and appeared behind Ling Yun. Rongrong is very powerful. He was able to condense so much chakra for the first time. He will definitely reach level 30 soon. Then we will go together. Bai Cha held Ning Rongrong's hand and said. Yes, the training of condensing chakra can speed up the cultivation of soul power. Mu Qing started so late and is already at level 20. Ling Xue said. It's time to set off. During this period, Bai Cha will be in charge of internal affairs. If you are in doubt, just wait until I come back. Sasuke glanced at Bai Cha, who nodded understandingly. Sasuke took Ling Yun and Mu Qing on a flying soul beast and flew towards the star forest. This flying spirit beast was a gift from Xue Qingha when the Hokage Academy was completed. Although it was very young, it was very practical. After all, if it was just for traveling, Susanoo would still be too high profile. Teacher. Can I learn the one you used last time? Ling Yun thought that he could see Sasuke use Susanoo this time, but he was a little disappointed when he could only ride the flying spirit beast. Finish the current matter first, Sasuke said. When Ling Yun heard this, he rolled his eyes. The teacher did not deny it. Is that okay? He couldn't help but feel excited, and his motivation to conquer the Raisin Gan doubled. What Ling Yun didn't know was that Sasuke was simply too lazy to explain. After entering the Star Forest, Sasuke, who was standing on the back of the Soul Beast, focused his soul power into his eyes and looked at the forest, taking in every plant and tree in his sight. After all, it was only a thousand years, so Sasuke quickly found a suitable soul beast for Mu Qing. With the joint efforts of Mu Qing and Ling Yun, he was quickly subdued and the absorption process was extremely smooth. Mu Qing's body lit up with two purple soul rings, and she took a long breath. Sasuke glanced at Mu Qing and saw that although Mu Qing looked normal, her face was slightly pale and she seemed to be a little weak. What's wrong? Sasuke asked. When I completely absorbed the soul ring just now, all the chakra in my body was integrated into my second soul ring. Now I feel a little tired. Mu Qing said. Could such a thing happen? Sasuke opened his Sharingan to observe the flow of energy in Mu Qing's body, and found that there seemed to be something strange about the soul power in Mu Qing's body at this moment. Brother, my soul power level seems to have increased by two levels. Mu Qing opened his eyes wide and looked at Sasuke blankly. Could it be that the chakra in the body was assimilated at the moment of absorbing the soul ring? Sasuke guessed. The last time Yi Ling'er condensed chakra didn't take long, and the backlash after absorbing the soul ring was relatively large. It was normal that he didn't find it. If this is really the case, then the method of condensing chakra must be listed as a secret of the Hokage Academy. As long as the person is fine. After Sasuke said that, he began to look for the soul beast for Ling Yun. Ling Yun asked Mu Qing for details. He was about to absorb the 10,000 year soul ring, and something he had been dreaming about was about to happen, so he was somewhat nervous. Just like last time, Sasuke neatly threw the dying 10,000 year soul beast in front of Ling Yun. Ling Yun couldn't hide his excitement and took out the black soul ring with a howl. Don't smile so playfully, Sasuke warned. Ling Yun knew that Sasuke cherished his words like gold and never said unnecessary words. Seeing that he was deliberately waking up, he took a deep breath and was mentally prepared before he began to absorb it. Sasuke sneaked his chakra into Ling Yun's body and found that Ling Yun's absorption process was extremely slow, but there was no dangerous situation like when Yi Ling'er absorbed the soul ring. Even if there was, it was quickly overcome by Ling Yun. Does Raisingan training have any effect? Sasuke thought, maybe Ling Yun himself didn't realize that through practicing Raisingan, his chakra control ability has been significantly improved, and this improvement also affects the control of soul power. The older Ling Yun condensed chakra later than Mu Qing, which shows that Ling Yun's innate qualifications are only average whether he is a soul master or a ninja, but hard work can make up for his weakness. This is also the real reason why Sasuke said that he does not expect Ling Yun to master the Raisingan. 
Sasuke is only improving Ling Yun's ability to control energy through difficult training. After Sasuke helped Ling Yun withstand the soul impact of the soul beast, Ling Yun finally completed the absorption of the third soul ring. TCH. It's not that difficult. Yi Ling Er is still so serious. Ling Yun couldn't help but trembled as soon as he finished absorbing it. The next second, Ling Yun collapsed on the ground, breathing heavily. Sasuke stepped forward to check and found that Ling Yun was in the same situation as Mu Qin. Teacher, my soul power seems to have improved by three levels. Ling Yun closed his eyes and meditated for a while, then said in surprise. It seems that when the soul ring is absorbed, the chakra stored in the human body will be converted into a certain amount of soul power increase, which is good news. Sasuke threw the exhausted Ling Yun onto the soul beast's back and returned to the Hokage Academy. After returning from the soul hunt, Ling Yun couldn't wait to jump down before the soul beast landed, and landed in front of Yi Ling Er and others who were practicing with the black 10,000 year soul ring. Yi Ling Er had already guessed that Ling Yun was going to have some tricks, so how could he buy into his fault? She deliberately pretended not to see it and said, Didn't your brain break when you jumped so high? Ling Yun's face darkened and he said, Can you congratulate me at this time? Ling Shui and Bai Cha had already gathered around, expecting Ling Yun to show off his new soul skill. Ning Rongrong looked at the 10,000 year soul ring that lit up on Ling Yun's body, and then at Sasuke who stepped off the soul beast, and thought to herself, This is worth it. You've come to the right place. You must cultivate to level 30 as soon as possible, and then go back to visit your father with the third soul ring of 10,000 years. The expressions of Grandpa Jian and Uncle Bone will be very rich. Ning Rongrong secretly made up his mind. The third soul skill. King Kong breaks barriers. I saw Ling Yun clasping his hands together, his soul ring flashing, and the Wuhuan Buddha pearl transformed into dozens of larger Buddha beads, flashing with Sanskrit characters, spinning around Ling Yun at high speed. Yi Ling Er, try throwing a stone at me. Ling Yun provoked. Yi Ling Er was naturally more respectful than obedient. He picked up an iron rod and threw it towards Ling Yun. There was only a sound of metal collision. The fist thick iron rod was knocked away by the high speed rotating Buddha beads and fell to the ground. It had several gaps and split into several pieces. My third soul skill can not only protect me, but it will also clear away the bad effects on my body the moment it is activated. The most important thing is that in this state, I can instantly activate my second soul skill, Wei Tua Shen Kong. Hit. Ling Yun said proudly. Okay, okay, I got it, Mu Qing, where's yours? Yi Linger said to Mu Qing. Mu Qing hesitated for a while and said, Compared with soul skills, there is something I care more about that I want to tell teacher Sasuke first. After hearing this, Sasuke looked at Mu Qing and said, What's the matter? Zin Su Cho Maoin. When Mu Qing heard Sasuke ask, he immediately formed a seal with his hands. Fire Escape Phoenix Immortal Fire Technique Like the original fairy flower seeds that flew out at the first touch, the flames spit out from Mu Qing's mouth spread in all directions and hit the rock wall. It was originally just an ordinary sea-level ninjutsu, but it even surprised Sasuke. First, the color of the flame bomb spit out by Mu Qing turned a little black and red, and the power of the flames did not decrease after spreading. The scattered flames actually exploded after touching the rock wall. Sasuke walked closer and looked at the hole in the rock wall where magma-like material remained, feeling mixed. This will only occur if the two chakra properties are mixed together at the same time. Blood Inheritance Limit Chapter 23 After I absorbed the second soul ring, I found that the soul power in my body could also be mobilized when I activated the ninjutsu. Mu Qing said to Sasuke. So it turns out that the chakra consumed when absorbing the soul ring changes the nature of the soul power, can it also be used by ninjutsu, making ninjutsu become the blood inheritance limit? Speaking of which, my eyes were changing day by day after absorbing the Tianmeng ice silkworm. Sasuke turned around, looked at the people gathered around Mu Qing for discussion, and said, things about ninjutsu and chakra are now classified as academy secrets and cannot be leaked. Do you understand? 
Ling Yun and others knew the seriousness of the matter when they saw Sasuke's expression and immediately claimed it. Only Ning Rongrong looked hesitant. Sasuke felt Ning Rongrong's emotions and looked at her. Ning Rongrong felt a numbness on her back at this glance, as if her whole body had been seen through by Sasuke, and he lowered his head and said, Yes. Let your father talk to Sasuke. There is no price in this world that the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect cannot afford. Ning Rongrong thought in her heart. In her opinion, everything in the world has its price, and as long as the price paid is enough, nothing can't be exchanged. Ning Rongrong, come here. Sasuke said as he walked towards the house. Ning Rongrong followed Sasuke, feeling uneasy in her heart. I saw Sasuke taking out some roots, branches and leaves of plants and putting them on the table, and said, you are from the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect. In terms of knowledge, you should be the richest. What are these? Ning Rongrong breathed a sigh of relief and began to carefully observe the herbs on the table. These herbs were all picked by Sasuke when he was hunting for souls. When Sasuke was searching for soul beasts, he would occasionally see such plants that contained energy fluctuations but had no soul rings. He became suspicious and picked some back. Ning Rongrong was pleasantly surprised and picked up a herb that looked like a narcissus. She saw that the herb had three stems and six leaves, was dark green in color, and had a dark purple fruit with a fragrant fragrance. Ning Rongrong took a deep breath of the fragrance from the fruit and said to Sasuke, Teacher. This strain is Jima Jiji. My father had a serious illness when he was a child, and Grandpa Jian found one for him. Zizi Jiji can be taken by ordinary people. It prolongs life and keeps the appearance of ageless, and the soul master can also enhance various resistances by taking refining. Is this thing rare? Sasuke asked. Ning Rongrong nodded and said, even Grandpa Jian spent a lot of effort to get it. Next, Ning Rongrong introduced several other medicinal herbs to Sasuke one by one. There were also several herbs that Ning Rongrong did not recognize, but with his rich experience, he confirmed that they were all beneficial and harmless treasures. There are exactly twelve plants here, take them and share them with them. Sasuke waved his hand, signaling Ning Rongrong to step back. Ning Rongrong picked up the fairy grass and felt a little hesitant. Speak directly if you have anything to say. Sasuke said when he saw that Ning Rongrong did not back down. Because the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect has a profound foundation, Ning Rongrong knew very well that even a title Dolua would ask for these herbs, twelve of them in total. Sasuke just waved his hand to them. What price does such a person have to pay to change his mind? Can the Chibao Glazed Sect develop as he expected? What do people like you want? Ning Rongrong looked at Sasuke, who had a cold expression on his face, and wanted to ask but in the end he didn't. After Ning Rongrong left the room, Sasuke leaned on the chair, turned his back to the sky, and took a deep breath. The development of the Hokage Academy is still too slow. Sasuke plans to use the Hokage Academy as the center for managing the mainland in the future, and students like Ling Yun, who have been trained from scratch, will become his eyes, ears, and hands on the mainland. However, as the various effects of soul power and chakra manifested, Sasuke began to doubt whether this route was correct. He could not trust those who had become top experts, but he was not 100% sure about the growth trajectory of Ling Yun and others. They are people, not tools. Unable to grasp, these four words were the most difficult for Sasuke to accept. There are things that one person cannot do. Naruto's voice suddenly sounded in Sasuke's mind, he frowned and snorted coldly. Hey! How can we fulfill everyone's wishes? Sasuke looked at the ceiling and muttered to himself. Teacher! Let's celebrate Ling Yun and Mu Qing tonight. Yi Ling'er poked her head out from the door and said to Sasuke. Sasuke nodded, these children had never had a vacation since the academy was established. It was night, and the celebration party was in a lively atmosphere, led by Yi Ling'er, with people clinking glasses and guessing fists, laughing and cursing. Sasuke was leaning against the window alone, with heavy snow falling outside the window. The Hokage Academy was in a remote location, and only sparse lights could be seen outside the window. The mountains and forests were quiet, and the snowflakes were swaying in the wind under the light of the street lamps. 
It was so beautiful. Yi Ling'er's pretty face turned red from drinking, she hugged Ning Rongrong's soft waist with both hands, tilted her head and leaned on her thigh. From this angle, you can just see Sasuke by the window. I really want to turn into snow. Yi Ling'er said in a drunken voice. Ha! Huh. Ning Rongrong was puzzled. Yi Ling'er smiled slightly, her eyes blurred, and said, that way it will fall on the teacher's shoulders. What does Rong Rong want to do after becoming a title Doluo? Yi Ling'er twisted her body, put the back of her head against Ning Rong Rong's thigh, and looked at Ning Rong Rong. Title Doluo, such a distant thing. When Ning Rong Rong said this, a hint of disappointment flashed across his face. It can be done. Yi Ling'er smiled, because we stand on the shoulders of giants. So we should see a broader future. A broader future. Ning Rongrong thought. At this moment, at the other end of Tiendo City, Xue Qinghe stopped writing in his hand and came to the window to look at the snow falling in the sky, counting the years since he came to the Tiendo Empire. Little Lord. A ghostly black figure appeared out of thin air behind Xue Qinghe and spoke. What's the matter? Xue Qinghe asked without turning around. His Royal Highness the Pope has ordered me to come and investigate the cause of Salas's death. The black figure said respectfully. Xue Qinghe frowned slightly when he heard this and said, As for the Tiendo Empire, I don't need the Pope to worry about it. I have my own plan. Young master, what will my subordinates do? That's your business. There was a hint of displeasure in Xue Qinghe's voice. The black shadow didn't dare to say anything after hearing this, and disappeared from the spot. It's really a thankless job to deliver messages to this mother and daughter. Somewhere in the Tiendo Empire, a black man wearing a black robe with strange lines painted on his face opened his eyes and said. Thanks. Chapter, 24 Winter passes and summer comes, cold and hot alternate. At the entrance of the Hokage Academy, Ning Rongrong said goodbye to Bai Cha and got into the car to go home. Three or four months passed in the blink of an eye, and Ning Rongrong's soul power level had already reached level 30 and she had obtained the third soul ring she had been waiting for. After absorbing the 10,000 year soul ring, he also relied on the increase in chakra to increase his soul power by an additional third level. Afterwards, Ning Rongrong took the second batch of precious herbs distributed to them by Sasuke, and her training efficiency was further improved. Less than half a year after joining the Hokage Academy, Ning Rongrong is already a level 38 soul master. Ning Rongrong was full of joy when she returned to the Chibao glazed sect this time, and she was full of expectations for the expressions of those in her family. Bai Cha sent Ning Rongrong away and returned to the mimicry training ground in the academy. The only six students in the Hokage Academy had all broken through level 30, including Mu Qin. The older Ling Yun has reached level 39, and Yi Ling'er has broken through level 40 and obtained the second 10,000-year soul ring. This time, Sasuke did not lighten the burden for Yi Ling'er and let Yi Ling'er air once again wandered on the edge of life and death. Next to the training ground, Sasuke was looking at the new letter sent by Xue Qinghe. He formed a seal with one hand, transformed into a clone, and rushed to the royal villa. On Dolua continent, the Chibao glazed sect is not outstanding in terms of strength, but in terms of grandeur, no one can match it. One sect exclusively occupies several hills in the Tiendo Empire, and every building is carefully crafted. From a distance, it looks like a heavenly palace coming to earth. Ning Rongrong looked at the mountain gate of Chibao glazed sect with tears in her eyes. Over the years, she first went to Shrek Academy, where she saw peers who were better than herself. She put away her pride and got rid of the spoiled temper she had developed since childhood. Later, after meeting Sasuke and witnessing his astonishing strength, in order to quickly grow into a strong man who could take on a sect, he resolutely joined the Hokage Academy and opened the door to a new world. She has become stronger. Not only is she the sweet girl of heaven with the best auxiliary martial spirit in the world, but she is also a ninja. Influenced by Sasuke's acting style, Ning Rongrong also began to look at the world outside the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect. Who made our little princess cry? A sound like a sharp blade cut through the clouds and mist in the mountains. I saw an old man coming with a sword riding the wind and stopping in front of Ning Rongrong. 
The old man was dressed in spotless snow-white robes, with white beard and hair. His long silver hair was neatly combed behind his back, and he had sword-shaped eyebrows and starry eyes. He has a simple appearance, but his face is as delicate as a baby's. This person is none other than Sor Dao Chen Xian, one of the two patron saints of the Qibao glazed sect, a 95th level attack type titled Doluo. Grandpa Jian. Ning Rongrong wiped her eyes and rushed towards Chen Xian. Chen Xian caught Ning Rongrong, her sharp eyes turned into the old man's love for his granddaughter, and said in a complaining voice, Little princess. You finally know how to come back to see me, your grandpa Jian still hasn't I know how many years I have to live. Ning Rongrong pinched Chen Xian's beard and said, If you say that again, I will pull out all your beard. Chen Xian laughed loudly when he heard this and said, Let's go quickly, Lao Gu Gu and Feng Ji have been waiting for you for a long time. Ning Rongrong and Chen Xian entered the main hall and saw a handsome man pacing around the hall. Next to him, sitting an old man with a skinny appearance but a huge frame, he was leisurely sipping tea. Grandpa Bone. Father. Ning Rongrong entered the palace and threw herself directly at Ning Fengji. Bone Doluo Gu Rong stood up next to her and was about to hug him. However, she got up and hugged him in vain. It was a bit embarrassing. You know, Fengji is usually the one who rushes away. Ah. Does Rong Rong not love himself anymore? Gu Rong was a little depressed. Father. Thank you. Ning Rong Rong buried her head on Ning Fengji's chest and said. What are you talking about? Ning Fengji said, stroking Ning Rong Rong's head. Ahem. Gu Rong coughed loudly and deliberately. Oops. Grandpa Gu, what's wrong with you? Are you feeling unwell? Ning Rong Rong jumped out of Ning Fengji's arms and touched Gu Rong's forehead. Yes, I am a lonely old man who has lived for such a long time. Gu Rong said. Rong Rong, you have been out for so long and you haven't sent a letter home. Everyone is thinking about you, Ning Fengji said. Don't think I don't know. Ning Rong Rong said, I know exactly how many people you sent to follow me. You have been gone for such a long time, so some precautions are naturally necessary. Your life is not yours alone. Ning Fengji said, tapping his cane. Okay, Feng Ji, if you don't say a few words, you will make our little princess angry again. Gu Rong said. Father is right, Rong Rong will keep it in mind. As soon as Ning Rong Rong said this, the expressions of Ning Feng Ji and Jin Gu changed, and they looked at Ning Rong Rong with a little more vigilance. Chen Xian grabbed Rong Rong's wrist and penetrated Ning Rong Rong's body with soul power. What's wrong, Grandpa Jin? Ning Rong Rong looked at Chen Xian with a dumbfounded look and said. Although she only stayed at the Hokage Academy for less than half a year, Sasuke's cold and serious character and strict requirements also quietly changed her character. Is this still our little witch? Could it be that she has been hit by some magic barrier? Old man Jian, you have to find out. Gu Rong said with a solemn expression. Ning Fengji looked at Chen Xian's uncertain expression and frowned. Rong Rong is the most important person both to him and to the Qibao glazed sect. If someone dares to attack his daughter, even if the whole sect uses all the strength of the sect, the other party will have to pay the price. Seeing the rapid changes in Chen Xian's expression as a title Dolua, Ning Rongrong looked at Gu Rong and Ning Fengji who were facing the storm with a proud look on their faces. Finally, Chen Xian put down Ning Rongrong's hand and asked, Rongrong, what level is your soul power now? Ah! Grandpa Jian, you haven't done all the research, why are you still asking me? Ning Rongrong saw Chen Xian's cautious way of asking questions, and her mouth almost went up to the sky. This is no joke, Rong Rong obeys me. Chen Xian has indeed found out Ning Rong Rong's soul power level, but Ning Rong Rong stretched out his hands in front of the three of them, slowly compared two numbers, and said word by word. 38. Chapter 25. This is impossible. Ning Fengji and Gu Rong were shocked at the same time. Ning Rong Rong pouted and said angrily, Why is it impossible? Am I that bad? Ning Fengji and Gu Rong turned their gazes to Chen Xian, 
who met their eyes, nodded and said, I checked, Romrom does have level 38 soul power, and there is nothing wrong with his body. What? Does this scare you? Ning Rongrong said proudly. But Rongrong, I remember you were less than level 30 when you left Shrek Academy. Gu Rong said, did you do it in just three months? Shrek Academy isn't too bad, but I still think it's too slow. Ning Rongrong said, that's why I went to Hokage Academy, so it's closer to home. The Hokage Academy. Ning Fengji, as the prince's teacher, naturally knew about it but he didn't expect Rongrong to benefit so much from the Hokage Academy. Chen Xian and Gu Rong were also secretly surprised that a little-known academy could train Rongrong to this level in less than half a year. This kind of cultivation efficiency has far exceeded my original self. I am surprised but also relieved. Rong Rong, how did you practice in this Hokage Academy? Chen Xian has been pursuing the ultimate in martial arts all his life. Seeing Rongrong's outstanding achievements in just three months, he naturally wanted to get to the bottom of it. Ning Rongrong's eyes lit up when she heard this, and she was about to tell the three people about it when the words came to her lips, but she ran into trouble. Sasuke made it clear that the training methods of ninjutsu and chakra were secret to the academy and were not allowed to be spread to outsiders. Of course, Ning Rongrong would not break this rule. But then Ning Rongrong was happy again and said, Don't worry. I'll show you something. What? Is it a gift? Ning Rongrong stood in the middle of the three people, spinning around a few times like dancing, don't blink. I saw a black soul ring on Ning Rongrong's body lighting up and suddenly becoming huge. Chen Xian, Gu Rong, and Ning Fengji's eyes were all shaken by the sudden 10,000 year soul ring. The seven treasures turned out to be Lioli. Ning Rongrong released the Seven Treasures Glazed Tower of Martial Spirits and saw a huge black soul ring slowly rotating on top of the two yellow soul rings. The picture looked very abrupt. This. 10,000 year soul ring. Ning Fengji widened his eyes and looked at the extremely disharmonious black soul ring on Rongrong Pagoda. He then looked at Chen Xian and Gu Rong and said, This. This is reasonable. Chen Xian and Gu Rong silently released their martial souls. It was not until their fifth soul ring that the black soul ring appeared for 10,000 years. These are two title Dolua who are famous all over the world. Ning Fengji looked at Ning Rongrong who was happily showing off his soul ring, and suddenly his heart ached. He hugged Ning Rongrong tightly and said, Rongrong, you have suffered. Ning Rongrong was hugged by Ning Fengji, tears fell unconsciously, and she said, it's good that you know. Don't be cruel to me in the future. Our little witch has grown up. I have to admire her with admiration. Chen Xian touched Ning Rongrong's head and said with a smile. When Chen Xian mentioned the word look at me with admiration, Ning Rongrong pushed Ning Fengji aside and said, by the way. There's one more thing. Ning Fengji, Chen Xian, and Gu Rong looked at each other. Their little princess had given her enough surprises. Could it be that she had gotten into some trouble? Let's go. Let's talk outside. Ning Rongrong dragged Ning Fengji and walked out of the hall. Chen Xian and Gu Rong followed closely behind. Let me show you the special skills I have practiced hard for a long time. Ning Rongrong said. Stunt skills. But Rongrong, the soul skills of our seven treasure glazed tile pagoda are all fixed. Ning Fengji said. If you find out, can it still be called a stunt? Ning Rongrong smiled. Facing Chen Xian and Gu Rong, Ning Rongrong jumped back and formed seals with both hands. Ice escape. Wolf Fong avalanche. I saw several snow wolves appear out of thin air behind Ning Rongrong. Quickly rushed towards Chen Xian and Gu Rong. Chen Xian raised one hand, and a wisp of sword energy flew out, scattering several snow wolves that rushed towards the two of them, turning them into snowflakes all over the sky. It's not over yet. In this breath, Ning Rongrong had already activated the second technique. Ice escape. Yen Fei Shue. The snowflakes all over the sky suddenly condensed into ice spikes and flew towards Chen Xian and Gu Rong. The ancient banyan soul ring flashed, and countless giant bones sprouted from the ground, 
wrapping the two of them and resisting all attacks. Ning Rongrong looked a little frustrated when he saw that his sneak attack failed. He had practiced these two ninjutsu for a long time, and he was still not very proficient on the way back. However, on the other side, Gu Rong and Chen Xian were indeed greatly shocked. Although Ning Rongrong's attack was diffused by the two of them with a raise of their hands, who were these two? Titled Doluo. The two great gate gods of the Qibao glazed sect. The most important thing is that Ning Rongrong also forced Gu Rong to use his soul skills. Rong Rong. Where did you learn this? Ning Fengji looked at Ning Rongrong excitedly, but Ning Rongrong looked unhappy. Rong Rong, don't be depressed. Old man Gu and I are titled Doluo. Don't forget this. Chen Xian came over and comforted Ning Rongrong. Of course it was taught by the teacher. Ning Rongrong said. Teacher. Speaking of which, it is rumored that there is only one teacher in Hokage Academy. Ning Fengji thought. To be able to train Rongrong so well, does he have to be a titled Doluo level expert? Gu Rong said, touching his chin. Chen Xian shook his head and said, I can't think of any titled Doluo who has such a method. Ning Fengji held Ning Rongrong's hand with some trembling. No one knew what this meant better than him. If the disciples of the Seven Treasures Glazed sect can be allowed to enter the Hokage Academy to study, then the Seven Treasures Glazed Tile sect will no longer be a fragile soul master without any means of attack. This is a great initiative that changes the history of the sect. Rong Rong Ning Fengji said excitedly, can all the disciples of our Chibao glazed sect enter the Hokage Academy to study? What are the conditions? A troubled expression appeared on Ning Rongrong's face again, Father, I want to take you to discuss this matter with the teacher, because the teacher seems to have reservations about expanding the enrollment of students. That's natural. For the sake of the sect, it doesn't matter if I make a trip. Ning Fengji said. That's not the point. Father. What's important is that the teacher may not. Accept it, Ning Rongrong said. Since the last time Sasuke returned with Ling Yun and Mu Qing from Hunting Souls, Yi Linger had approached Sasuke and asked if he wanted to recruit even one more person to make up for seven people. As a result, Sasuke refused. It's understandable that people with outstanding talents have some weird tempers since ancient times. Don't worry Rongrong, even if you ask your father to run away ten times a hundred times, he will definitely make it happen. Ning Fengji said firmly. He, the sect leader, would naturally handle this kind of thing. There is no shirking the responsibility. Rongrong, what's your teacher's name? Chen Xian asked curiously. Chiha. Sasuke. Ning Rongrong thought for a while and said, she could never remember this last name. How many levels? Gu Rong asked. He had never heard of this figure among the small circle of titled Dolua of his generation. I don't know. Ning Rongrong shook his head and suddenly turned slightly red and said, By the way, father, teacher, he is only seventeen years old. Seventeen years old. Seventeen years old. Chapter 26 These are the problems we need to solve today. Shue Qingha pushed the table with one hand and sent a stack of information in front of Sasuke. The top three sects. Sasuke looked at the information and asked. What do you think? Shue Qingha asked Sasuke, these are inevitable questions. Sasuke looked at the information and said, what was the initial plan of your spirit hall? I have to make some reservations about this. Shue Qingha smiled, I care more about your opinion. Haotian sect. Sasuke looked at the information in his hand and asked, why is this sect's information broken? This sect has been hiding from the world for many years. Speaking of which, it still has a lot of grudges with our spirit hall. Shue Qingha said. Does a sect that can't escape the world deserve to be the number one sect? Sasuke said disdainfully. The best fighting soul hammer, the towering Haotian sect. The price has indeed dropped a bit now. Shue Qingha said. If you can't escape from the world, just treat them as dead. Sasuke looked at the information of other sects and said. Give these sects some rights and let them shoulder some obligations. The Seven Treasures Glazed sect is very suitable for managing government affairs, 
and then let the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus family handle military affairs. In short, some rights will be subdivided to the top sects. And then let Wuhuan Palace make unified decisions, this is probably what I expected. Xue Qingha said. I can't tell, you are very optimistic. Sasuke said, I thought you were like me and would prepare for the worst. Originally, I thought it was too idealistic. Each of these sects is very self-respecting. But after meeting you, Sasuke, I think we can win them without even a single blow. Xue Qingha said, when the balance of strength is tilted to a certain extent, that is the nature has changed. I hold the flowers in front of you, and you hold the sword high in the back, and you will definitely be successful. When Emperor Xue Yi dies and I inherit the throne, I will first take over the Qibao glazed sect. After all, as my teacher, Ning Fengji shares my worries, so it is only natural for me to accept my reward. Xue Qingha held the case with both hands. He stood at the table and approached Sasuke and said, let's solve these problems step by step. If you are not satisfied, how about you solve me? You seem to be very confident, Sasuke said. Of course, otherwise I wouldn't have to talk nonsense to you, right? Xue Qingha said. Is there anything else in the spirit hall that worries you? Sasuke suddenly asked. Can this guy read people's hearts? Snow clears the river. You must also need me to fight against some people. Sasuke said. Xue Qingha forced out a smile and said, I thought we had been cooperating for a long time. Sasuke said, I can clean up the things that are an eyesore, but one thing is clear, I am using you. After Sasuke finished speaking, his entire body turned into a ball of bubbles and disappeared. Xue Qingha was left standing alone. Xue Qingha closed his eyes, and his whole body exuded a divine light. Anyway. I will break free from this dominated life. Xue Qingha took a deep breath and thought to himself. Sasuke received the information from the clone and began to review Xue Qingha's suggestion. Will the spirit hall finally decide? Naturally, Sasuke would not agree. The Wuhuan palace was full of religious overtones. How could it be possible to make a reasonable verdict? The formulation of rules after the war still has to be implemented by oneself. Before that, let's make good use of Xue Qingha. Teacher, there is a letter from Uncle Yi. Yi Linger suddenly appeared in front of Sasuke and handed over a letter. Is Ning Rong Rong back? Sasuke asked. Rong Rong has been gone for less than a day. Yi Linger said. You guys should also go back and see Yi Zhichio tomorrow. Sasuke said. Looking back on that day, he had said that he would take them back in half a year. But now that there is no letter from Yi Zhichio, I am afraid he has forgotten it. Teacher, won't you go back with us? Yi Linger said. The academy cannot be left empty. Sasuke said, besides, you only have a day and a half, so don't delay for too long. Seeing Yi Linger's disappointed look, Sasuke asked again, don't you even have the ability to take care of yourself? Yi Linger puffed up her proud chest, made a sign of obedience, and retreated. The next day, as soon as Yi Linger and others rode on the academy's flying soul beast, Ning Rongrong, Ning Fengji, and Gu Rong arrived at the Hokage Academy. Ning Rongrong took Ning Fengji and Gu Rong all the way to Sasuke's exclusive office and pushed in the door. Sasuke had already felt the auras of the three of them. When he saw the old man with a huge frame but a haggard appearance next to Ning Fengji, his eyes couldn't help but change. This was the first time Sasuke saw a powerful person at the level of Tidal Doluo. Is there such a big gap between Contra and Tidal Doluo? Sasuke once killed Bishop Salas of the Spirit Hall. Sasuke only used illusions to kill the so-called Contra strongman. However, the sole power of the person in front of him has been tempered many times, and he is always on high alert. If he wants to subdue him, it should take a lot of effort. Although Gu Rong, who had already seen Sasuke, had no emotion on his face, his heart was agitated. He originally thought that the seventeen years old Rong Rong said was just playing tricks on him and Chen Xian. Now when I see Sasuke, his age has become a small problem. The big problem is that he is a dignified level 95 title Doloa, but he can't see the depth of Sasuke at all. There was no trace of soul power in this young man's body. 
The pair of strange eyes made Gu Rong feel a little uneasy inexplicably. Teacher Sasuke. I'm back. Ning Rong Rong said. Sasuke nodded, but before he could speak, Ning Fengji said first, famous is not as good as meeting. Dean Sasuke is indeed extraordinary. Teacher, this is my father and grandpa Gu Doluo Gu. Ning Rong Rong introduced. Speak directly if you have anything to say. Sasuke felt Ning Fengji's emotions and said. Since Dean Sasuke said so, I won't say any polite words. Could you please allow all the direct disciples of our Seven Treasures Glazed Sect to enter the Hokage Academy? Ning Fengji said, any price, as long as our Seven Treasures Glazed Sect can afford it. Hearing this, Sasuke looked at Ning Rongrong. He thought Ning Fengji saw Ning Rongrong displaying ninjutsu and wanted to change the predicament of the Chibao Glazed Sect's disciples' fragile survival ability. Sasuke thought of Xueqing his plan, but he had many concerns and was a little undecided for a moment. When Ning Fengji saw Sasuke's eyes falling on Ning Rongrong, he thought to himself, does he want Rongrong? Well, apart from being impolite, this young man's appearance and abilities are extremely outstanding. I'll think about it, Sasuke said. Sasuke Sensei also has time to think about it. Ning Rongrong felt happy. He originally thought that Sasuke would reject his father, but he didn't expect Sasuke to say that he could consider it. In Ning Rongrong's impression, basically as long as Sasuke didn't refuse everything at once, he would eventually do it. Upon seeing this, Ning Fengji was about to talk again, but Ning Rongrong pinched his arm quietly. Seeing Rongrong's slightly happy eyes, Ning Fengji changed his tone and asked about the daily life of the college. Sect Master Ning, what do you think of Wuhuan Palace? Sasuke asked. Chapter, 27 Ning Fengji was a little surprised by Sasuke's sudden topic. Both the royal family and the sect saw Wuhuan Palace's overt and covert actions, but they were helpless. No one was willing to be the first to stand up and break this tacit understanding. Everyone knows that the days of peace will not last long. This is also why Ning Fengji cares so much about the Hokage Academy. If the war in the mainland completely spreads, these sects will be the ones who stand out. No one wants to be forced to take sides, but when the nest is overturned, will the eggs be intact? Seeing that Ning Fengji was silent in thought, Sasuke continued, Then what do you think of the Tiendo royal family? Ning Fengji naturally wanted to answer this time and said, Emperor Shuya loves his subjects, and the prince is also good at both civil and military affairs. You are speaking smoothly in the official language. Sasuke said with a smile, the fact is that Emperor Shuya is weak and incompetent. Although the prince has made some achievements, he is still too young. They are two empires, and the Xingluo royal family is obviously stronger than Tiendo. If it weren't for with Wuhuan Palace standing across it, Tiendo has long been in Xinglua's heart. The first step of Wuhuan Palace must be to annex Tiendo first, and then cannibalize Xinglua. The three upper sects of yours always like to say that they are connected with each other, but one of them can't come out, and the other's bloodline has withered. In the end, you are a sect that is good at supporting others. He is the one who can fight the best. Sasuke's words were a little mocking, which made Ning Fengji frown slightly, but he was speechless to refute. How about uniting with other sects in time? Ning Fengji said. As far as I know, most sects have been infiltrated by Wuhuan Palace, whether through coercion or inducement. I don't think you, the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect, have any advantage if you want to compete with Wuhuan Palace for people. Sasuke said unceremoniously. He said, he just wanted to force Ning Fengji to ask that sentence himself. What do you want from us? Let's just say it. Gu Rong finally couldn't hold back his anger, and there was a hint of soul impact in his voice to test Sasuke's depth. Support me, Sasuke said. These three simple words made Ning Fengji feel troubled. Do you want to usurp the country? Ning Fengji asked. How else can I say that you sex, big and small, are short-sighted? Sasuke stood up and said, what I want is the entire continent. Give me a reason to support you. Ning Fengji said. That is, after I unify the continent, I will hand over the government management to your Chibao glazed sect and exercise the power of supervision. Sasuke paused and then said. 
and I will train Ning Rongrong into a title Dolua who can stand alone. But the Qibao glazed sex martial arts can currently reach level 70 at most. Gu Rong said, no matter what, what the boy in front of him said was too exaggerated. If it wasn't for Ning Fungi's face, he would have learned it anyway. For a moment. In my opinion, nothing is impossible. All in all, I can protect you from the seven treasure glazed sect. Sasuke said. Ning Fungi could no longer hide his feelings and frowned. He was not here today to talk to Sasuke about such things. It seems that the young man in front of him has been planning the Chibao glazed sect for a long time. Is Ronrong also a part of his plan? Boy. If you can let Ronrong defeat me, I will believe you. Before that, it's better for everyone to be safe. Gu Rong said. When Ning Rongrong heard Sasuke's remarks, her emotions were no different from Ning Fengji's. She could always feel that Sasuke was planning something, but she didn't expect that Sasuke's appetite was so big. Sect Master Ning, I agree with this method, what about you? Sasuke asked forcefully. Today, he will first decide on the Seven Treasure Glazed Sect. If Rongrong can be allowed to grow to the level of Elder Bone, I, the Qibao Glazed Sect, will bow down to me. Ning Fengji was silent for a long time before giving his answer. Ning Rongrong looked at Ning Fengji blankly, speechless for a moment. I'm sorry, Rongrong, for asking you to bear so much all at once. Ning Fengji said as she held Ning Rongrong in her arms. Sect leader Ning, this is the first time we meet, I want to give you a gift. Sasuke took out a palm-sized scroll, threw it towards Ning Fengji, and said, open it when you are alone. After sending Ning Fengji and Gu Rong away, Ning Rongrong couldn't bear the doubts in his heart and asked Sasuke, Teacher, why don't you accept new students? Even though it is difficult to obtain soul rings, if you only teach ninjutsu, it should be it can be done. Seeing that Ning Rongrong finally stopped hiding his inner doubts, Sasuke asked her, What do you think of the power of ninjutsu? When I first started, I thought it was nothing special, but as I practiced more and more, I realized that for a soul master, it is not an exaggeration to say that chakra and ninjutsu are the means to change one's fate against the heavens. Ning Rongrong said. In fact, when Mu Qin used the bleeding limit level ninjutsu, the situation exceeded my expectations. Sasuke crossed the fingers of his hands and put his chin on it. Everything I did was to curb the excessive expansion of force. If the ninjutsu and chakra are spread, it will run counter to my plan. Who are you? Ning Rongrong looked at the 17-year-old boy in front of her and asked this question in her heart. But don't worry, your father will support me. If you persist until the end, you will find that you have no choice. Sasuke said. Have Ling'er and the others already known about the teacher's vision? Ning Rongrong asked. You are the first one. Sasuke said, if there is nothing else, you have to start practicing. Ning Rongrong looked at Sasuke's leaving figure and found that the road ahead for him had become broader, yet more blurry. I've briefly described the plot of upgrading and fighting monsters. Do you like watching it? If you like it, I'll consider adding a few more. If you don't, I'll just move on to the plot. Chapter 28 Phew! Finally reached level 40. Ling Yun just exhaled a breath and was about to share the joy with Ling Shui. Unexpectedly, Sasuke had already arrived at his side. There is nothing to do today. Since it is such a coincidence, let's solve it today. Sasuke said. What Sasuke said was naturally to obtain the fourth soul ring for him. After arranging the internal affairs of the academy, Sasuke and Ling Yun rode the flying soul beast to the star forest. After landing, Sasuke glanced all the way and picked the ripe herbs when he saw them. Just as Sasuke picked a herb that looked good, a voice sounded in Sasuke's ears. I want this herb. I saw a slender old man wearing a grey robe slowly walking out. This man's beard and hair are all crystal green, and his eyes are as bright as gems, with a fierce look and a rather evil look. Sasuke could see that the old man was always exuding soul power. Wherever he went, the flowers and plants were withered and lifeless. Is it poisonous? Almost meaningless. Sasuke thought. What are you going to exchange for? 
Sasuke said, looking at the old man approaching step by step. Little baby, how dare you negotiate terms with me? The old man said expressionlessly. If you don't want to negotiate terms, that's just what I want. Sasuke said, sooner or later, things will have to be settled. Ha ha ha. Today's juniors are getting better and better. You are the first one at this age who dares to talk to me, Dugubo, like this. Seeing the old man calling himself Dugubo, Ling Yun felt a chill in his heart. After staying in Tiendo City for so long, Ling Yun and Sasuke naturally knew who Dugubo was. Dugubo stretched out one hand toward Sasuke, and a poisonous snake formed by condensed soul power quickly flew towards the herbs in Sasuke's hand. Sasuke sent Ling Yun back to his flying mount with one hand, and then used the Shinra Tensei to scatter the flying poisonous snake. The poisonous snake exploded and a cloud of poisonous mist enveloped Sasuke. Teacher. Although he had confidence in Sasuke's strength, facing the Dolua named poison, this scene still shocked Ling Yun. His intuition told him that if it was him in the poisonous mist, it would probably have turned into pus. Arrogance also requires strength. Be careful in the next life. Dugu Bo walked towards the poisonous mist. In his opinion, if his poison could not kill even a young boy, then he, the poison Dolua, could be reincarnated. At this moment, the poisonous mist began to gather gradually, and then dissipated little by little. Dugu Bo looked at the scene in front of him with some disbelief. Could this be some kind of childlike monster? I saw Sasuke slowly walking out of the poisonous mist with black flames all over his body. He looked at Dugu Bo proudly. Dugu Bo could feel that the toxins in the poisonous mist were burned away bit by bit by the black flames on Sasuke's body, and all the soul power that had been cleared of toxins was sucked into Sasuke's body. Is this what a title Doloa smells like? It's just meh. Sasuke looked at his hands and said. That's right, after all, whose soul power can match that of the million-year-old Tianmeng Ice Silkworm. Good boy, I have underestimated you. You are qualified to bargain with me. Dugubo said, looking at Sasuke who was safe and sound. Unfortunately, I don't have the habit of bargaining. After Sasuke said that, he aimed directly at Dugubo's head and activated Amaterasu. Dugubo's whole body tensed up for no reason, and he released the soul bone skill on his head based solely on his combat intuition. Medusa's gaze. I saw a beam of green light flashing past, and two flame shaped stones fell in front of Dugubo and landed on the ground. Can you instantly generate flames within sight to attack enemies? Dugubo looked at the young man in front of him and believed in his own judgment more and more, and said, Which old monster are you turned into? Tell me, I will not kill the unknown person. My name is Uchiha, Sasuke, except death. As soon as Sasuke finished speaking, he appeared behind Dugu Bo in an instant, and stabbed Dugu Bo directly in the back with a Chidori attached to Yen Dun. Seventh Soul Skill Martial Soul True Body A huge green-scaled snake king wrapped around Dugu Bo, and its huge figure forced Sasuke back. It coiled around Dugu Bo, holding its head high and spitting out the letter. Looking at the giant snake that appeared out of thin air, Sasuke smiled slightly and said, You remind me of someone, but unfortunately I don't like him. The Third Soul Skill Jade Scale Soul Enchanting Formation The giant snake next to Dugu Bo opened its mouth, leaked two fangs, and sprayed out strong venom. The venom quickly evaporated in the air, and soon, a wider poisonous circle spread. Dugubo's figure became illusory and ethereal, merging with the Jade Scale Snake King, transforming into multiple figures in the poisonous mist, and attacking Sasuke together. Little Tricks Sasuke snorted and quickly formed a seal. Fire Escape Dragon Fire Technique A fire dragon spun and flew out, briefly blocking Dugubo's approach with a flick of its tail. Sasuke jumped into the sky and formed seals at the same time. Yen escape. The head is hard. Sasuke was seen spitting out several black fireballs one after another into the poisonous mist. After the fireballs landed, they instantly expanded their burning range, wrapping up and swallowing everything around them. Dugu Bo escaped from the black sea of fire. Sasuke's difficulty was completely beyond his imagination. 
He was a majestic poison dolua who lived alone and never looked at other people's faces. With the green scale snake venom, he considers himself to be the most troublesome person among the title dolua, but now he can't help a young man who has never even had a soul ring. It's really embarrassing. Dugubo himself never thought that except when facing that person, his ability to use poison would be useless one day. Dugubo seemed to have remembered something and said to Sasuke, could it be that you are the descendant of that smelly pufferfish? Are you insulting Uchiha's name? Sasuke said coldly after hearing this. I saw Sasuke clasping his hands together, and suddenly sand and rocks flew around him, and the earth shook. Earth explosion sky star. Dugu Bo felt as if a big hand was holding him, and the huge pressure made him unable to break free. Countless boulders and dust are flying towards me. The black soul ring on Dugu Bo flashed. The eighth soul skill. Time freezes. I saw the green scale snake king sending out a green shock wave, and all the dust and flying rocks flying towards Dugu Bo were slowed down a lot. The rat in the corner is really tenacious. Sasuke looked at Dugubo, who was controlled in mid-air, with one hand raised to the sky and his fingers slightly bent. For a moment, dark clouds covered the sun, lightning flashed and thunder roared. Amidst the shocking roar, a unicorn-shaped thunder struck directly at Dugubo. What a terrifying power this is. This is the power of the roar of heaven and earth. The Ninth Soul Skill Green Scale Divine Light Dugubo released his ninth soul skill without hesitation, condensing all his soul power into this attack. It can't be because of a medicinal herb that you lost your life. Tidal Dolua can die, but not like this. I saw the Jade Scale Snake King spitting out dazzling green light pillars to attack the Chilin. However, the Chilin's lightning falling from top to bottom was too overwhelming in terms of momentum alone. Lightning penetrated Dugubo, and Dugubo's body stiffened suddenly, and was smashed to the ground by the lightning. The huge lightning blasted out a huge crater on the ground, and in the huge crater lay an old man whose whole body was charred. Sasuke looked coldly at Dugubo, who was still breathing his last breath, and said, Tile Dolua, is this all? Chapter, 29 It's just a medicinal herb. Is human life so cheap in your eyes? Sasuke walked towards Dugubo step by step with the Chidori spear in hand. For their respective positions and ways of tolerance, the struggle between ninjas is extremely cruel. This awareness comes from the people and things they want to protect. It's too low level to take someone's life just for a medicinal herb like this. Looking at Dugubo who was lying on the ground and twitching from the electric shock, Sasuke raised his hand and stabbed him. At this moment, a small crystal green snake sprang out from Dugubo's waist, twisting its tiny body in the air and shooting towards Sasuke's eyes. As a sword shadow flashed, Sasuke shook off the green blood stained on the Kusanagi sword in his hand. The little snake had been chopped down by Sasuke in an instant and fell to the ground. The severed body was twisting and turning like a green earthworm. Green venom leaked out from each section of the body, corroding the ground. Cough. Seeing that his nine-section jade sneak attack failed, Dugubo let out a violent cough, and blood flowed down the corner of his mouth. Looking at Sasuke with cold murderous intent, Dugubo held on and said, My skills are inferior to others, I have nothing to say, but please spare my life. When I complete my task, I will give you this head on my own. Unfortunately, I don't think you have the qualifications to bargain with me. The Chidori spear on Sasuke's hand extended a bit and pierced Dugubo's shoulder. Spare my life. Dugubo roared, I am a title Dolua, and I can do many things. A title Dolua begging for mercy. Sasuke looked at Dugubo with some contempt in his heart. If he was so afraid of death, why would he take someone else's life for just a medicinal herb? Seeing that Sasuke seemed a little shaken, Dugubo calmed down and said, as long as I detoxify my granddaughter, if you want to kill her or cut her into pieces, Dugubo, will have no objection. The bond. Sasuke looked at Dugubo and murmured. Ling Yun drove the flying soul beast to land next to Sasuke. Ling Yun, does our college have a sentry? Sasuke asked. Huh? Yes, we usually take turns on duty. Ling Yun replied. 
that position is reserved for you. After Sasuke finished speaking, he took back the Chidori spear. Dugubo spat out a mouthful of old blood and said, You. Either give me your life, or die here now. I don't have much patience. Sasuke said. Dugubo thought of his young granddaughter, gritted his teeth and accepted Sasuke's request. Sasuke felt the anger and unwillingness in Dugubo's heart and smiled, It doesn't matter if you have such thoughts, my life is here, if you can take my life, you will naturally be free. The days are long. Dugubo said fiercely. Meet me at the Hokage Academy tomorrow. Sasuke threw the competing herb on Dugubo and continued walking deep into the star forest with Ling Yun. Dugubo picked up the medicinal herb and looked at Sasuke's retreating figure. He remembered the scene of Sasuke burning all the venom of the green-scaled snake, and a bold idea came to his mind. Teacher. Can you try to give me a higher-end soul ring this time? Ling Yun witnessed the battle between Sasuke and Dugubo, and the joy of breaking through level 40 was gone. Of course Ling Yun knows that there are people outside the world, and there are mountains outside the mountains. But it wasn't until today that I realized how difficult it was to climb those mountains. This made his thirst for power stronger and stronger. Maybe you don't believe it, but I know your limits better than you. Ling Yun, everything has a price, such as time. Sasuke said. Ling Yun calmly accepted Sasuke's arrangement and obtained his second 10,000 year soul ring, but this time absorbing Ling Yun was obviously much more difficult than the last time. Ling Yun's absorption of soul rings has been steady but extremely slow, and it took until midnight for the absorption to finish. The two of them rode the flying soul beast at night and returned to the Hokage Academy under the stars and the moon. The flying soul beast came to the sky above the academy. Looking from a distance, a bonfire was lit on the training ground. Yi Linger and others were talking and laughing around the bonfire. I've been waiting for a long time, everyone. Ling Yun jumped down and landed in front of everyone. It's such a pity that you didn't go together today. Ling Yun smacked his lips and said. What? Did you have a child with the soul beast? Yi Linger said. Don't choke me today. Listen to me tell you in detail. Ling Yun vividly told everyone how Sasuke had manipulated the title Dolua Dugu Bo like a god during the day. When he said that Sasuke asked Dugu Bo to guard the sentry for the Hokage Academy, all the women took a deep breath in their hearts. If a poisoned title Dolua were to watch the door, would Sasuke's heart be too big? Sasuke looked at the people talking and laughing around the campfire, and felt slightly touched in his heart. The next day, an old man and a young man stood at the door of the Hokage Academy. Grandpa. Why did you call me here so early in the morning? The girl asked, grabbing the old man's hand. I saw that the girl was born charming, and the white shoulders peeking out from under her purple hair looked very sensual. Her figure was completely devoid of the youthfulness of a girl, especially her slender waist, which seemed to be carrying a breeze when it twisted. Heartwarming. And that old man was none other than poisoned Olua, Dugubo, who came to take up his post. Yenner, don't make trouble, I brought you here today to solve a big matter. Dugubo coaxed his granddaughter beside him. What's the big deal? I already have Tianheng. Humph. Dugu Yen said. Alas, there is no way to stay in college, Dugubo sighed. I didn't expect you to be quite on time. Sasuke appeared in front of the two of them at some point. Behind him, Yi Linger and others stood neatly behind. I, Dugubo, have always been the most trustworthy. Dugubo said while feeling the strength of the children behind Sasuke. Follow me. Sasuke said and walked to his office. Yi Linger couldn't hold it in until her lips itched. As soon as Sasuke left, they started talking about it. Grandpa, who is he? What are we doing here? Dugu Yen hugged Dugu Bo's hand with dissatisfaction. Sasuke came to the office and sat down, glanced at Dugu Yen who was standing next to Dugu Bo, then looked at Dugu Bo, asking what Dugu Bo meant with his eyes. Dean Sasuke. Dugu Bo clasped his hands and bowed to Sasuke. Grandpa. What are you doing? Dugu Yen was shocked. Ever since she could remember, Dugu Bo had been her pillar of strength. 
not to mention bowing down, he had never been threatened by others. Yenner, stop talking. Dugu Bo said to Dugu Yen. I don't remember what I promised you. Sasuke looked at Dugu Bo's behavior and said without changing his expression. Dean Sasuke, I, Dugu Bo, have become accustomed to freedom since I entered title Dolo. The only thought in my heart is that I, my granddaughter, learned your magical power yesterday and am convinced. I am here today. In addition to fulfilling my promise, I also ask you to try to save my granddaughter's life. Dugu Bo said bluntly. Grandpa? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Dugu Yen looked at Dugu Bo, who was bending over, with a confused look on his face. What made him even more confused was why Dugu Bo, a title Dolua, was looking at the young man in front of him. So respectful. Actually, I was a little curious at the beginning as to why you didn't find someone to take my life together after I let you go, so that I could deal with a few more title Dolua. Sasuke looked at Dugu Bo and said. Since you said so, I don't bother to lie. At the beginning, I did have this idea. How could I, a title Dolua, be driven by you? Dugu Bo said with a slight dissatisfaction, but I think you maybe there is a way to save my granddaughter, so I came to the appointment. If you think about it this way, all you owe me is two lives. Sasuke said. Dugu Bo ignored Sasuke's words and directly told the dilemma he and Dugu Yen were facing. After hearing Dugu Bo's explanation, Sasuke was slightly surprised. He never expected that a title Dolua who played with poisons would not evolve a body that could coexist with poisons. It was really a big joke in the world. It turns out that although Dugu Bo's poison skill is powerful, the toxins remaining in the body will also affect himself. At first, it could be suppressed through soul power, but as his cultivation level increased, these toxins became more and more deadly, making enemies fearful and at the same time causing Dugu Bo himself to suffer. Dugu Yan's cultivation was still shallow, and Dugu Bo continued to use medicine to recuperate her, so there was no major backlash. However, after all, it was not a long-term solution. Sasuke activated his Sharingan and saw the toxins in Dugu Bo and Dugu Yan's bodies that were constantly eroding their internal organs. The toxins of these two people are integrated with their soul power. If all their soul power is absorbed, the problem can be solved. But their poisonous skills are also useless. While Sasuke was thinking, suddenly the shadows of Naruto and Kyuubi appeared in his mind. What if we use the sealing technique? I'm coming. Chapter, 30 The sealing technique is a technique that seals the opponent's chakra with a curse. If the soul power that has interacted with the chakra is used when performing the technique, it can theoretically have the same effect. Sasuke asked Dugu Bo to send Dugu Yen away, and planned to experiment with Tidal Dolua first. In the secret room, Dugu Bo was naked and sitting cross-legged. Sasuke closed his eyes and thought for a while before starting to form seals. Seal, separation of soul and body. Two streams of energy mixed with chakra and soul power shot toward Dugu Bo from Sasuke's fingertips. These two energies were visible to the naked eye swimming around in Dugu Bo's body. Like a swarm of fireflies entering a dark pipe, all the meridians in Dugu Bo's body began to emit light. Dugu Bo endured tremendous pain. After Sasuke's energy invaded his body, all the bones in his body were stimulated like a knife, and every internal organ was torn apart by a force of gravity. The torture lasted for nearly ten minutes, and the originally dark golden energy turned into dark green, and finally gathered in Dugu Bo's dantian, mixing into a ball and rolling continuously. How? Sasuke asked. Dugu Bo closed his eyes and looked inside, feeling that the concentration of toxins in his body had become much lighter. Why? My soul power? Dugu Bo was suddenly shocked and looked at Sasuke. You transport your soul power to your dantian, and the toxins and soul power sealed there will naturally respond to you. Sasuke said. Dugu Bo did as Sasuke said, and sure enough, when his soul power swam to his dantian, Dugu Bo's body was like a sea bursting, powerful soul power surged out, and his poisonous skills were restored. And when Dugu Bo stopped exercising, most of the toxins and soul power in his body gathered together in his dantian, which was very miraculous. 
Dugu Bo looked at Sasuke in surprise and was speechless for a moment. He took an eccentric approach, developed a poisonous skill, and entered the realm of a titled Dolo. What he encountered was endless self-blame. His wife and children both died early because of his poisonous skill. Whenever he sees Dugu Yan's youthful and happy appearance, Dugu Bo feels a twinge of pain in his heart. Seeing his last relative dying step by step, he had no choice but to do anything about it. He had experienced that kind of powerlessness and despair many times. What's the use of being titled Doluo? If Dugu Yen died because of this, Dugu Bo had already made up his mind to take his own life. Don't be too happy too soon. Sasuke said, this sealing technique was created temporarily by me and is not perfect. You should be able to feel that there are still some toxins in your body. That's because this sealing technique must leave some soul power. The toxins will echo with the soul power in the seal. If they are all sealed, if you want to use those powers, you need to break the seal by me. I don't intend to raise a useless person. Being able to peel out the toxins that corrode my bones, flesh, and internal organs, I am convinced by this. Dugu Bo had mixed feelings in his heart. With such a method, he has at least got rid of most of the suffering caused by it. As for the part of the toxins that remain, just spend some time every day to concentrate your soul power and suppress it. This is just a temporary measure, but I don't plan to spend too much time on this kind of thing. Sasuke said. If it weren't for the fact that he knew very little about Tidal Dolua, there would be no need for Dugu Bo to stay. Dugu Bo looked at Sasuke for a long time and said, Are you the messenger of the God King? What do you mean? Sasuke was really confused this time. I, Dugu Bo, have been living in the world for decades, and I have never seen anyone like you. Even if you started practicing from your mother's womb, you wouldn't be able to fight me without even lighting up your soul ring, and even defeat me. Dugu Bo. Bo said this and stared directly at Sasuke. No. Sasuke said calmly. I can only believe that you are from the God Realm. People like you cannot exist in this world. Dugu Bo's voice was trembling. What Sasuke did was completely beyond his understanding. I am a human being, and I only seek benefits for people. In my world, there are no gods. Sasuke said with boredom written all over his expression. Sasuke, please treat my granddaughter. I will bear the responsibility for her unreasonableness. After Dugu Bo finished speaking, he bowed to Sasuke. Keep your head up, Sasuke said. Dugu Bo looked up in response and saw Sasuke looking at him with an indifferent expression. Sasuke looked at Dugu Bo's concerned and confused look and said, Sure enough, strong thoughts, cherished thoughts, these bonds will only make people weaker and weaker. Your appearance makes me feel that tidal dolua, it's just a joke. Dugu Bo was silent for a long time, and then suddenly said, If it weren't for Yenner, I might no longer be in this world. So what if I become stronger? There will always be higher mountains blocking the way, and the power is endless. When I gave up the pursuit of power, I realized that life was so nihilistic. No one was happy because of my strength. On the contrary, everything was fear and everything was hypocrisy. Yenner is the last light in my world. That's embarrassing. Sasuke turned around and left the secret room. Since then, a slender figure has appeared in the remote Hokage Academy. From time to time, passing soul masters will watch from a distance and then run away. Dugubo fulfilled his duties for seven days. Finally, on the eighth day, when Dugubo was standing on the tallest tree and looking into the distance boredly, he heard Sasuke's voice, I'm free tomorrow. Chapter, 31 Take off your shirt, Sasuke said. In the secret room, opposite Sasuke, a seductive and sexy woman was sitting cross-legged. She had short purple hair and a pair of dark green eyes that were very recognizable. What did you say? Dugu Yen blushed and said angrily, unlike this, what else can I take off? Or you can go out. Sasuke said expressionlessly. Dugu Yen remembered his grandfather's instructions, gritted his teeth, reached to his back, and untied the last strand of the barrier. Tens of minutes later, Dugu Yen ran out of the secret room and bumped into Dugu Bo, who was pacing left and right. Yenner. Let Grandpa take a look, what's going on? 
Dugu Bo hugged Dugu Yan's shoulders with both hands, and was about to put his soul power into check. Dugu Yan suddenly broke away from Dugu Bo and shouted while running, Damn old man! I will never pay attention to you again. Dugu Bo looked at Dugu Yan who was walking away, and then looked at Sasuke who was slowly coming out of the secret room, and asked, Why did it take so long? Sasuke glanced sideways at Dugu Bo and said, The problem is not with me. Dugu Bo let out a long breath. No matter what, he finally solved a major issue on his mind. As for the other things, Yenner is not young anyway. Senior Dugu, someone is looking for you. Ning Rongrong walked up to Dugu Bo and said. Dugu Bo nodded and walked towards the door, then looked back at Ning Rongrong. Speaking of which, it seemed that Prince Shue Qingha funded the construction of this college. If that was the case, it would be a bit difficult to deal with. Elder Dugu, I finally found you. At the entrance of the Hokage Academy, a man wearing a palace dress said to Dugu Bo. Prince Shuebang, I have some personal matters recently, and I'm afraid I won't be able to spare much time. Dugu Bo said helplessly. He was originally invited by Prince Snow Star to assist the fourth Prince Shuebang, but he happened to meet Sasuke. If Sasuke did not let go, he would not be able to leave the Hokage Academy. In fact, just in terms of Sasuke's kindness in detoxifying himself and his granddaughter, Dugu Bo also there is no way you can break your promise. Elder Dugu, the continent-wide senior soul master competition will be held soon. I plan to recruit some sects from the Star Luo Empire during this period. I will need your help then, how about that? Prince Shuebeng said. That's okay, just remember to notify me in advance. Dugubo said. Why is Elder Dugu staying in this remote place? Come back to the mansion with me. Shuebeng said with a puzzled look on his face. Dugu Bo was a little embarrassed. He couldn't tell the truth that he was trapped here because he was afraid of being beaten. Compared to this, Your Highness Shuebang. Dugu Bo looked at Shuebang and said, Why is your face so red and blue? Shuebang was also a little ashamed, and said frankly, Today, the role play was more in death, but it ended up hitting a brick wall. Oh. What's going on? Seeing that the topic was successfully changed, Dugu Bo naturally wanted to get to the bottom of it. A group of students came from the Royal Academy. They said they were from some school of history. In short, it was a rural academy, but the students were quite good at fighting. Shuebang recalled. Dugu Bo thought for a while and said, Your Highness Shuebang, do you know about the academy behind me? I know, I know, but I heard that this academy was funded by the emperor's brother, so I didn't dare to know too much about it, Shuebang said. Humph, in my opinion, the students in this academy are not simple. You have to be more careful. Dugu Bo said, after all, even the eldest lady of the Chibao glazed sect is training in this academy. Woolen cloth. Ning Rongrong held a pile of documents in her hands, sneezed suddenly, rubbed her nose lightly, and opened the door to Sasuke's office. Teacher, all the information you want is here. Ning Rongrong put the documents on the desk and said. Sasuke did not raise his head and made a gesture to signal Ning Rongrong to go out. Teacher, there is one more thing. The continent-wide senior soul master competition is about to begin. Do we want to recruit another person? Ning Rongrong said. Sasuke said while flipping through the documents sent by Ning Rongrong, why do we need to recruit another person? The team competition part of the Continental Senior Soul Master Competition is a seven-person team competition system. We only have six people now. Ning Rongrong said. It says it can only accommodate up to seven people, right? Sasuke asked. That's right. Teacher, don't you mean that? Ning Rongrong said. Sasuke raised his head and looked at Ning Rongrong and said, It didn't say that six people are not allowed to play, right? Ning Rongrong was speechless for a moment and slowly exited the room. How should I put it? I can only say that he is worthy of being Sasuke Sensei. Ling Yun said while chewing on the braised rabbit head. There haven't been any suitable targets in the Tianchu ranking recently, and I don't even know what my strength is. Yi Linger leaned on the chair and crossed her legs. When I came back from shopping for groceries, I saw that several soul sects were wanted. 
didn't Sister Linger reveal them? Mu Qin asked. Mu Qin, we are not taking orders from the Soul Sect now. Yi Linger gave Mu Qin an awkward smile and said. The gap between 6 on 1 and 6 on 7 is quite big, right? Speaking of which, we haven't tried to deal with a group yet. Ling Yun said. How about we let Senior Dugu give us some advice? Ning Rongrong said. Hearing this, Ling Yun shook his head crazily and said, Listen to my advice. It's not that title Dolua can't do it, but it can't be him. Rongrong, don't your sect have two gate gods? Yi Linger said, then she thought about it and said, Forget it, it's not appropriate. I have a question, Shirosha said, why don't we just go to Sasuke-sensei? At dusk, Sasuke came to the training ground to check and saw that Ling Yun and others had already lined up their teams. Yi Linger took the lead and said, Teacher, the Soul Master competition is coming soon. Can you practice with us in practice? Sasuke looked at the six people who were serious and said, You reminded me. After saying that, Sasuke made a Ren seal with one hand, and seven clones appeared behind him. After the fight is over, we can disband. 8 Sasuke said at the same time. Chapter, 32 The flowers and plants are exposed, the morning breeze is slightly cool, but it is not quiet under the rising sun. Cough Yi Linger exhaled a breath of turbid air, her whole body was exhausted, her body went limp, she rested her hands on the ground and lay on the ground. Beside her, Ning Rongrong, Ling Yun, Ling Shui, Mu Qin, and Bai Cha were all lying on their backs, breathing heavily. Sasuke formed a seal with one hand, and the seven clones turned into nothing. Seeing this, Yi Linger finally couldn't hold on any longer, and her face kissed the morning grass. Throughout the night, facing Sasuke's clones who did not use ninjutsu or jinjutsu, the six of them tried their best but failed to disperse even one clone. The movements of those clones were faster than theirs, and their attacks were stronger than theirs. What was even weirder was that these clones seemed to be able to predict their next move. No matter how ferocious the attacks were, it was in vain if they could not hit them. We can't win. Ling Yun turned over and looked at the sky. After all, there are seven Sasuke teachers. Ling Shui comforted. Sasuke looked at the crowd of people standing around, sighed and said, it's a day off, you can make your own arrangements. This is too cunning, teacher. We fought all night. If you are on holiday at this time, wouldn't we lose a lot of money? Ning Rongrong said aggrievedly. It doesn't matter to me if you don't want to take a vacation. Sasuke said. That's it. Ling Yun said weakly, I don't even have the strength to go back to my room. Ignoring Ling Yun who was sleeping on the grass, the girls were dripping with sweat and their bodies were limp. They helped each other back to the room to take a bath and rest. At noon, the sun was shining brightly, and the sunlight woke up Ling Yun, who had been sleeping for a long time. Ling Yun rubbed his eyes and saw Ling Shui running towards him. Brother. Sister Linger said, let's go out for a walk together. Ling Shui handed Ling Yun a handkerchief and said. Ha. Huh. I won't go shopping or anything like that. Ling Yun wiped his face and said. Sister Linger said she wanted to. Fry her intestines. Ling Shui said thoughtfully. By the time Ling Yun changed his clothes, Yi Linger and six other girls had been waiting at the door for a long time. Everyone looked a little tired. No one knew what they were going to do. They just followed Yi Linger towards Tiendo City. As soon as they arrived in the city, the six girls were instantly resurrected. They looked around, walked around, and bought a lot of things. On weekdays, except for unveiling lists and buying supplies, everyone rarely goes out to hang out. Taking advantage of this rare leisure, it is natural to return to the true nature. Seeing the girls running like wild horses, Ling Yun regretted following them out. I will go back if you don't need me. Ling Yun said. As I said, you are not completely useless. After Yi Linger said this, he threw the large and small bags in his hand to Ling Yun. Seeing this, all the girls followed suit. Yi Linger bought a map and looked for information about the college on the map. Tiendo Royal Academy is a bit far away, is there one nearby? Yi Linger followed the map and saw a large college not far from her location. 
Lon Ba Academy. Is it related to the Blue Lightning Tyrannosaurus Rex? Yi Ling'er looked at the name of the academy and made up her mind, it's you. Hey. You guys, come here. Yi Ling'er greeted everyone. Yi Ling'er and his party stored the purchased items in the shop, and then followed the map to the location of Lanba Academy. At the school gate, several middle-aged men seemed to be discussing something. It's just to renovate the school gate, and the price you charge is too outrageous. A middle-aged man with glasses and a beard complained to several workers. Okay, teacher, as long as the master is here, the college will prosper soon. Why bother caring about such a few small coins? A young man persuaded. Well. Thanks to Erlong, being able to move Shrek to the Tiendo Empire is a fulfillment of my long-cherished wish. The bearded man said while looking at the door being renovated. Yi Ling'er led everyone all the way to the school gate. When the middle-aged man saw this, he immediately turned around, straightened his collar and said, How are you? Are you going to enroll, little girl? I am Fran from this college. Dean Da. This is Lamba Academy, right? Yi Ling'er asked. Ahem. Lanba Academy is a thing of the past. From today on, this place will be called Shrek Academy. Speaking of which, it will be difficult to get in. Flanders adjusted his glasses and said. Shrek Academy. Yi Ling'er looked back at Ning Rongrong. Flanders followed Yi Ling'er's gaze and spotted Ning Rongrong standing behind the crowd. I was so busy fooling around that I didn't even notice. Dean Flanders, long time no see. Ning Rongrong stepped forward and said. Isn't this Rongrong? How is it? How have you been recently? Flanders asked. Everything is fine. Ning Rongrong said. Flanders sighed and said leisurely, Hello, some people are not good. Ning Rongrong naturally knew that Flanders was alluding to Oscar. But it's not completely useless for you to leave Flanders said, Xiao Ao has been working hard every day in the past six months. Man, he he. Is this world so small? Yi Ling'er looked at the two people reminiscing about old times, feeling a little helpless. What, your academy has closed down? Why are you rushing to us in droves? Oh. I know. Did you find that Shrek is the best in the end, so you came here? Flanders pinched his fingers and said, let me calculate the tuition fees for you first. Ning Rongrong looked at Yi Ling'er with some embarrassment. Uncle, you misunderstood, we are here to exchange and learn. Yi Ling'er said with a friendly smile. Oh. Which college are you from? Not every college is qualified to communicate with our Shrek College. Flender said. Hokage Academy. Yi Ling'er said. Hokage Academy, never heard of it. Flanders rolled his eyes. Well, you've heard of Tsanghui Academy, right? Ling Yun stepped forward and said. Tsanghui Academy. Flanders' eyes changed slightly and he sneered, I see, you are here to cause trouble, right? It's been half a year and you feel you have made progress. Where is the one named Sasuke? Call him out, I I want to see if Xiao Wuji is telling the truth. So I'm not here to eat fried intestines. Ling Shue said to Ling Yun. You've said so, that's it, but it really doesn't mean anything specific. After all, it does say Lamba Academy. Yi Ling'er said, throwing the map in Flender's face. How about forgetting it, Rong Rong? Ling Yun walked to Yi Ling'er and whispered, but in the middle of the sentence, Yi Ling'er killed him with a look. In fact, Ning Rongrong's temperament has changed a lot in the past six months. Once a person takes on something, he will become extremely mature and generous. She is the heir of the Chibao glazed sect, not some pretentious little girl. Little girl, I advise you to go back and call the man named Sasuke over. I will wait for him here. Flanders said to Yi Linger. As the saying goes, don't hit someone with a smiling face. Flanders couldn't let his words weaken. If Sasuke was really here, it would be a different story. Now that you've said that, I won't stop talking nonsense and call those people out, especially that wretched fat man. Yi Linger named them. God, I still remember grudges. Ling Yun felt ashamed in his heart. 
It would be better not to offend this woman in the future. Teacher, Teacher Erlong is looking for. Flanders turned around, and a man with silver hair was walking towards him. This man's face was discordantly covered with beard, but his skin looked very young. When the white-haired man saw the scene behind Flanders, he suddenly froze and dropped the document in his hand to the ground. Long time no see, Oscar. Ning Rongrong stepped forward and smiled. Chapter, 33 Linger, I always feel that this is inappropriate. Bai Cha walked up and whispered to Yi Linger. Oscar looked at the person in front of him whom he missed day and night. He had a lot to say, but he couldn't say a word. She was still as dazzling as ever, but he seemed not qualified enough to stand by her side. Oscar, the Soul Master competition is approaching, can you have a discussion with us? Ning Rongrong said first. It turned out that it was because of this that Oscar's eyes looked a little lonely. What a coincidence. The master said that he would retain his strength during this period of time, so I rejected this request. A tall and strong man appeared behind Oscar and said to everyone. Dai Mubai happened to be passing by and saw Oscar's situation. As a brother, he naturally came to the rescue. What, are you scared? Yi Linger was a little reluctant. Your provocation method is too explicit. Dai Mubai waved his hand and said, We Shrek people are not cheap sparring partners. If you can persist in meeting us in the Soul Master competition, we will compete and decide. Life or death, it's up to you. After that, Dai Mubai put his arms around Oscar's shoulders and whispered as he walked, Be more ambitious. Where is there no grass in the world? Kids, go home quickly. Flanders said, fanning the air with the back of his hand. Linger, you are so unusual today. Bai Cha looked at Yi Linger who looked irritable and said. Ah. Yi Linger roared to the sky with all her strength, and didn't stop until she was exhausted. Go for meal. Yi Linger dropped these words dejectedly and turned to leave. At the dinner table, Ning Rongrong looked at Yi Linger biting her chopsticks into pieces, sighed and said, Linger, are you worried about something? It's really a bit stupid to come to your door for no reason. Ling Yun was already prepared to be beaten when he said this. If it would make her feel better, it would be okay. Unexpectedly, Yi Linger didn't beat him this time. I just don't know what to do. Maybe I'm too impatient. Yi Linger held her chin with both hands, her eyes dull. After staying for a few seconds, Yi Linger continued, Rong Rong, you are so kind. With such a big sect and shouldering such an important mission, every time you make progress, you must feel a sense of accomplishment, right? Ning Rongrong was startled when he heard this, thought about it, and said, Linger, do you know why teacher Sasuke never recruits more students? I don't know. Yi Linger had stopped thinking at this time. Because we are all people who have been given important responsibilities by Sasuke. Ning Rongrong said, I only know part of it. Teacher Sasuke seems to want to revolutionize the entire continent. This is why he is willing to train us. The pattern is so big. Ling Yun took a bite of the food and said with wide eyes. Of course he knew what Sasuke was planning. Not only him, but Ling Shui and the others also felt it, but they had never looked into it in detail. Teacher Sasuke is actually a person with great love. For this reason, he can become as cold and decisive as he is now. Ning Rongrong said. I seem to be a little impatient lately. Yi Linger inserted her fingers into her hair, her expression slightly depressed. Everything has a price, such as time, Ling Yun said, this is what Sasuke said. In fact, Ling Yun had also been impatient. He was the only person who truly saw how terrifying Sasuke was when he had murderous intentions. Such power had already defeated his entire worldview. For a while, Ling Yun looked at the hardworking self in his mind, like a struggling ant. On top of this ant, there were one titled Doloa after another. Ling Yun understood that Yi Linger's mood at the moment was exactly the same as his own at that time. Revolution the whole world. Why does Mr. Sasuke have such an idea? Yi Linger said dreamily. Maybe he's too strong so he found something to do for himself. Ling Yun said after swallowing a mouthful of meat. 
At the same time, in the Hokage Academy, Sasuke was asking Dugubo for information about Title Dolo. That's all. Sasuke asked after listening to Dugubo's description. Dugubo said, These are the only Title Dolo I know, and some of them have not been heard from for many years. Senderiyu, do you know? Sasuke asked. Dugubo's expression changed slightly, and he looked at Sasuke a little more warily. That's a person who exists in legends. I've never seen him before. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to sit here and talk and laugh with you. Dugubo said. A legendary person? Sasuke asked curiously. Kiendo Oliu is known as the messenger of God in the world. As the great enshrinement of Wuhuan Palace, whenever there is a force that threatens the survival of Wuhuan Palace, Kiendo Oliu will take action to kill it. Dugubo said, but I also heard from hearsay that such a person must exist. As for how strong he is, I don't know. I didn't expect that this world still had the concept of God, Sasuke thought to himself. Dugubo, haven't you worked for anyone? Sasuke asked Dugubo. The current guest minister of the Tiendo Empire is a false position in name only. Dugubo said, in our realm, money and reputation are just a cloud. Apart from a higher realm, there is nothing to pursue. Then why are there so many titled Dolua willing to be lackeys? Sasuke asked. Places that can attract titled Dolua must have some kind of inheritance. What they seek is God's protection, or even the path to becoming a god. Dugubo said, because those who receive God's protection can live forever. Eternal Life Chapter 34 after listening to Dugubo's words, Sasuke thought to himself, apart from title Dolua, is there any god's obstruction on the road ahead? If you could live forever, it would save you some trouble. One of the biggest problems with the revolutionary path envisioned by Sasuke is that the purity of the superstructure must be maintained. The path he envisioned must have a determined and powerful leadership. Once the upper structure rots, the entire system will collapse. Originally, Sasuke wanted to achieve immortality through Orochimaru's scientific research results, but now it seems that he has a new direction. But becoming a god will come with a price, right? Dugubo paused and said, Currently, the gods that most people know about include the god of angels from Wuhuan Temple, and the god of Poseidon who is far away on Poseidon Island. It is under the shadow of Poseidon that the royal family of the Tiendo Empire can divide the world with Xingluo. The Star Luo Empire also has some kind of inheritance, but I don't know the specific information. There are many divine mansions on the continent, but few people can encounter them. Seeing Dugubo's serious explanation, Sasuke smiled and said, Dugubo, you don't seem to yearn for gods. Everyone has his own ambitions, Dugubo said. In Dugubo's heart, the biggest wish is to watch Dugu Yen grow up happily. The pursuit of power has turned into self-salvation. This is also the reason why he is so respectful to Sasuke. If it is just a suppression of strength, as a title Dolua, he is somewhat arrogant. Sasuke, if you want to pursue God's blessing, you must choose to join Wuhuan Palace or Tiendo Empire after the Soul Master Competition. The essence of the Soul Master Competition is a competition for the backbone of the new generation. Those young people who can stand out they will all be trained as the core figures of the force, and any conditions can be discussed at that time. Dugubo said while looking at Sasuke. He could feel that the heart of the young man in front of him was bottomless. Dugubo, do you know where Poseidon Island is? Sasuke asked. There are many versions of the map to Poseidon Island. No one knows whether it is true or false, because no one has ever come back. Dugubo glanced at Sasuke meaningfully and said, The journey to Poseidon Island is dangerous, unless there is an ocean. God's token, otherwise it would be impossible to cross the dangerous sea. And the legendary Poseidon token is in the hands of the Tiendo royal family. Is it enough to win the championship? Sasuke asked. Champion. Dugubo looked at Sasuke and said with a smile, The runner-up is enough. How could Wuhuan Palace give up the championship to someone else? What Dugubo really thinks is that it is still too difficult for the few boys from the Hokage Academy to win the championship. Among that group of people, there was only one Ning Rongrong who could be considered to have outstanding talent. 
The rest were all inferior in terms of martial soul quality, let alone competing with those from the Spirit Hall for training resources. The annual Soul Master competition held by Wuhuan Palace is rich in rewards. In addition to winning people's hearts, it also shows their confidence in their own strength. Dugu Bo also heard a lot of news from the younger generation from Dugu Yen and Shuebang. The team sent by Wuhuan Palace in this competition was no longer something that soul masters of their age could defeat. Just after Dugubo left, Sasuke wrote a letter to Yi Jichio. After learning some information about title Dolua, Sasuke included the god in the event list. Regarding angels and gods, Shue Chingha must know something based on his status. But Sasuke still aimed at the Poseidon god. According to what Dugubo said, among the title Dolua Ruyun under the Wuhuan Palace, there must be fierce competition for the inheritance of the gods. The Tiendo Empire seemed much thinner. Since the Poseidon deities far away on Poseidon Island were untouched, it was convenient for him to go and find out. In the Tiendo Palace, Shue Qinghe and his sister Shue Ku were enjoying tea together. Hong Yen came over with a roster, bowed and said, Your Highness, the roster for this year's Soul Master competition has come out. You do you want to take a look? Shue Qinghe put down the jade cup in his hand, took the roster, looked at the Hokage Academy on the roster, and smiled slightly. Please arrange it so that the Hokage Academy will have a buy in the preliminaries. Shue Qinghe threw the roster to Hong Yen and said. Hong Yen took the order and retreated. Shue Ku smiled and said, Brother Huang seems to be very interested in that person named Sasuke. Shue Qinghe replied, This is the time to employ people. It would be better if the Imperial Sister could help me. Shue Ku smiled and said, Brother, how do you want my sister to help you? If you can take Sasuke into your arms and use it for me, you will be doing me a great favor. Shue Qinghe smiled even more heartily after saying this. Brother Huang is so bad, I will ignore you. Shue Ku said with a red face. While they were laughing and playing, a white dove landed on Shue Qinghe's shoulder. The white dove sent out a very weak chirp, which seemed to be conveying some message to Shue Qinghe. After listening to Bai Ji's whisper, Shue Qinghe stood up and walked out. Brother Imperial. Where are you going? Shue Ku asked. Shue Qinghe looked back and said with a smile, I'll go and mediate for you. Chapter 35 You haven't come to see me for a long time. Shue Qinghe said looking at Sasuke standing by the window. How much do you know about God? Sasuke said straight to the point. Sasuke, if you weren't so utilitarian in your words, the road would be much easier. Shue Qinghe suggested. What does the angel god have to do with you? Your martial spirit seems to be a seraph. Sasuke asked. You. Shue Qinghe sighed, do you have to force me to put you on the assassination list? Sasuke. It doesn't matter, if you can do it. Sasuke said. Shue Qinghe thought for a while and said, so far, my knowledge is limited. I heard that the Poseidon's inheritance is in the hands of the Tiendo royal family. As the prince, don't you know? Sasuke said. Shue Qinghe walked with his hands behind his back, you have to wait until I officially inherit the throne to know the specific information. The sea god and my angel god have a close relationship. You don't need to know the details. If you want to get God's protection, you can join me in the spirit hall to help me. If you can help me become a god, I will help you become a king. Sasuke said. Does it have to be a transaction? Shue Qinghe said, you are someone I recognize. I think we can talk as friends. Trading is the most stable relationship. Sasuke said. After the soul master competition, Wuhuan Palace will extend an olive branch to all participating soul masters. If you insist on looking for the god of Poseidon, then openly support the Tiendo Empire, and I will try my best to help you go to Poseidon Island. Shue Qinghe paused and said, Of course, if you are willing to come under the wings of my spirit hall and fight for me, you are very welcome. Sasuke looked at Shue Qinghe who looked joking, snorted coldly, and left the palace. Looking at Sasuke leaving, a gloom flashed in Shue Qinghe's eyes, and with one move with one hand, Hirohiko came behind him. Go and summon the Ajedagudolua for me. Shue Qinghe threw a warrant to Hong Yen and said. 
Hong Yan took the order respectfully and retreated. When Sasuke returned to the academy, he found Dugu Bo standing in the training ground. In front of Dugu Bo, Yi Ling'er and others were bearing his pressure. Sensing Sasuke's arrival, Dugu Bo put away his soul power. Yi Ling'er and others, who were struggling to hold on, suddenly lost their pressure, lost their center of gravity, and fell to the ground. Teacher. Ling Yun swallowed his saliva and shouted loudly, Teacher. We asked Senior Dugu to train us. Sasuke, how did they achieve their soul rings? Dugu Bo asked hurriedly when he saw Sasuke. The secret information of the academy will not be told to anyone else, Sasuke said. Sasuke, you should have also signed up for this soul master competition, right? Dugu Bo asked. That's natural. Sasuke said. It's true that I made a mistake. Dugu Bo said, I thought they were just ordinary martial souls, so I didn't pay much attention to them, but I didn't expect them to be so extraordinary in terms of soul rings. So what? Sasuke said. Then have you made a choice between Wuhuan Palace and Tiendo Empire? Dugubo asked. After the competition, I will join the Tendo Empire. Sasuke replied. Dugubo's face became heavy and he said, in addition to identifying new generations of core members for all forces, the Soul Master competition also has the function of identifying those who will become enemies and then assassinating them. You mean, if I hadn't fallen to Wuhuan Palace, Wuhuan Palace would have taken action against me, right? Sasuke said. Dugubo nodded. You choose. Sasuke said to Yi Ling'er and others who were paralyzed on the ground, if you participate, you will be jealous of Wuhuan Palace. If you don't participate, I will make other arrangements for you. Teacher, what are you talking about? Yi Ling'er stood up and said, you want to persuade us to retreat with this level of threats? Ling Yun also nodded when he heard this and said, aren't we practicing hard just to be free from restraint? They have awakened. Sasuke said to Dugu Bo. Dugu Bo sighed and said, with your current strength, except for the golden generation of Wuhuan Palace, no one can stop you. Really? Ning Rongrong and others said in surprise. Although your martial arts are not outstanding, relying on the support of powerful soul rings, your actual combat ability has far exceeded that of your peers. A scholar once published a discussion about soul rings, and your situation has already it completely breaks his theory, which means that you are an epic-making group of soul masters. Dugu Bo said, and couldn't help but sigh that a new era seemed to be coming. Ling'er, don't worry now. Ling Shui hugged Yi Ling'er and said, Senior Dugu's evaluation must be very pertinent. Teacher Sasuke, Bai Cha and I have reached level 40. Ning Rongrong walked to Sasuke and said. Wait until Ling Shui and Mu Qing reach level 40 before I take you to hunt for soul rings. Sasuke said. Now except for Mu Qing and Ling Shui, the other four people have broken through level 40. And their age is still over 15 or 16 years old. While Ling Yun and the others were making progress together, Sasuke was already considering taking them to Poseidon Island. The signing of the contract has been approved today. Thank you to my friends who have been accompanying me. However, I have been a little constipated recently. I often sit in front of the computer for an hour or two and can only type out a few hundred words. However, I have never had the habit of giving up halfway. No matter what the results of this book are, I will finish it seriously and responsibly. Chapter, 36 Boss Yi Early in the morning, Yi Ling'er and others looked at Yi Zhichou who appeared at the door of the students and exclaimed. You didn't expect it, did you? I have a surprise for you. Yi Zhichio spread his hands and said. Why are you here? Yi Ling'er asked. Sasuke asked me to come here. He said he would announce the specific reason after I arrive. Yi Zhichio said. Everyone surrounded Yi Zhichio into Sasuke's office, and Sasuke motioned for Yi Zhichio to sit down. Brother Sasuke, thanks to you, Ling'er and the others have grown so much. It is inevitable to stand out in the Soul Master competition this time. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yi Zhichio said. The main reason for inviting you here this time is that you will be in charge of the competition. I will leave the team leadership to you, Sasuke said. What about brother Sasuke? 
Yi Zhichou said. With the strength of Yi Ling'er and others, it is extremely honorable to serve as the team leader. Sasuke formed a seal with one hand, transformed into a clone, and said, I will participate in this soul master competition as a student of the Hokage Academy. As soon as these words came out, there was silence in the room. When Sasuke Sensei said participating, did he mean participating with us? Ling Yun asked everyone's doubts. What? Is there any problem? Sasuke asked. Having said that, teacher Sasuke's age does meet the competition requirements. Ning Rongrong said. The name Yi Zhichou was filled in when registering the Hokage Academy, so as a member of the Hokage Academy, it doesn't matter whether I am a teacher or a student. Sasuke said. Isn't this too bullying? Yi Ling'er asked, if Sasuke comes on the field, is it still necessary to fight? Don't have the idea that I will take action, and I will only let my clones play to supervise you. Sasuke said. Even though Sasuke said this, everyone still felt that there seemed to be a reliable mountain behind them. Yi Zhichou, you will have to work hard to prepare for the Soul Master competition. Sasuke said. What are you talking about? This is an honor that is fed into your mouth. Brother Sasuke is righteous. Yi Zhichou laughed. I will conduct advanced training for you in the next few days. Come with me. Sasuke said. Wow. I can finally learn something new. I've been so bored lately. Ling Yun stretched and said. Everyone lined up in the training ground, waiting for Sasuke's instructions. I don't have much to teach you about team combat, so you can explore it on your own. What I want to teach you next is the advancement of ninjutsu. After Sasuke finished speaking, he condensed black flames on one hand and wind a tribute chakra on the other, and continued, what I didn't tell you before is that mixing two different attributes of chakra can form a more powerful spell. Technique, I call it blood succession limit. Due to the mixed effect of soul power and chakra, you have all inadvertently used your own blood succession limit, such as the melting escape that Mu Qing first used, and the ice that Rong Rong used. The reason for escape has a lot to do with the soul rings you absorbed, but it is not controllable. Teacher, what is the name of using a mixture of three chakras? Ling Yun asked. The ninjutsu used by the fusion of the three chakras is called blood succession elimination, but the conditions for its execution are extremely harsh. With your current control of chakra, you should not be able to do it. However, under normal circumstances, you will have two kinds of chakras. With the chakra attributes and the mutated soul power, it is not completely impossible to perform the blood succession elimination, Sasuke said. The next thing I want to teach you is combination ninjutsu. The limit of blood succession is the fusion mutation of chakra, while combination ninjutsu is the fusion change of jutsu. By fusing two powerful ninjutsu, you can produce powerful force without blood transfusion. A powerful force following elimination. Sasuke said. What if it's the fusion of two blood inheritance boundaries? Yi Ling'er had a bold idea. Without the blood successor limit, even if the same person releases two chakra attribute ninjutsu, it is difficult to achieve a combined ninjutsu, let alone the two blood successor limits. The difficulty is not simple. It's a multiple of. Sasuke said. But it's not impossible, Yi Ling'er said in her heart. To successfully complete combined ninjutsu, you must first understand the relationship between restraint and improvement of chakra attributes. This is not difficult to understand. For example, wind assists fire, and water and fire are incompatible. Wind and fire can more easily combine powerful techniques. But water and fire are difficult, Sasuke said. After Sasuke explained in detail the relationship between chakra's superiority and inferiority, Yi Linger and others began to try to practice combined ninjutsu. I didn't expect Sasuke to be able to do this for the children. Yi Zhichou said while visiting the Hokage Academy. Everyone takes what he wants. I have my own position. Sasuke said. Having said that, you still care about them. After getting familiar with Sasuke's temperament, Yi Zhichou only dared to say this in his heart. After winning the championship in this competition, I will take them on a second trip. When the time comes, you will close the Hokage Academy and return the same way. 
Sasuke said. Why is the school closed? Yi Zhichou asked confused. He originally thought that Sasuke was too busy and needed his help, but when he arrived, he discovered that there was only one new student in the entire Hokage Academy, named Rongro. After the Soul Master competition, the Tiendo Empire will probably experience a catastrophe. It would be somewhat of a waste if you die here. Sasuke said. Seeing Sasuke walking away, Yi Zhichio sighed and said, Sasuke, if you could explain it differently, I would be very touched. Chapter, 37 No, it still failed. Ling Yun collapsed on the ground, breathing heavily from exhaustion. Ever since Sasuke taught the combination of ninjutsu, Ling Yun and others tried various combinations every day, but they all failed without exception. The only gain was that Mu Qing and Ling Shui broke through to level 40 during training. As a result, everyone in the Hokage Academy has exceeded level 40. Speaking of which, Mu Qing's cultivation speed is much faster than ours. Ling Yun looked at Mu Qing and said. At the beginning, Mu Qing was the lowest level and the latest to join the academy, but now he is on the same level as Ling Shui. You must know that when Yi Ling Er obtained the third soul ring, Mu Qing had just obtained his first soul ring. Maybe it's because Mu Qing's chakra refining speed is faster. Moreover, Mu Qing's first two soul rings are both at the thousand year level, so we are still lagging behind. Bai Cha said. It would have been better if I had met teacher Sasuke earlier. I lost two soul ring positions in vain. Yi Ling Er released her first soul ring and said with a bitter smile. At noon, Ning Rongrong, Ling Shui, Mu Qing, and Bai Cha followed Sasuke to the Star Forest to obtain the fourth soul ring. Entering the Star Forest, it was unusually quiet as we pushed forward. Ning Rongrong followed Sasuke and bumped into Sasuke's cloak as he walked. It's right here. Sasuke stopped and looked at a big tree and said. Ning Rongrong looked at this ordinary tree and didn't know why. Sasuke activated Amaterasu and saw a huge lizard wrapped in black flames rolling down from the empty tree. This lizard was originally coiled up in a big tree to recover from its injuries. When it saw people coming, it planned to eat a few people to replenish its strength. Unexpectedly, Sasuke happened to see the fluctuations in its soul power with his Sharingan. What a big chameleon! Mu Qing said with wide eyes. Sasuke cut off the protruding tongue of the chameleon with a knife, increasing the effectiveness of the black flame. Soon, the unlucky chameleon breathed its last breath. This is truly the weakest 10,000-year soul beast I have ever seen. Ning Rongrong said. This chameleon's attack power and aura were far inferior to the 10,000-year-old soul beast they had captured before. If Sasuke hadn't been there, no one would have believed that this was a 10,000-year-old spirit beast. Although its attack methods are very inferior, the camouflage and toxin abilities of this soul beast are very good. There may be unexpected gains after absorbing it. Sasuke looked at the four people behind him and said, If there is no objection, this I will assign the soul beast to Muqin. Sasuke spoke, How could the four of them have objections? Muqin came to the chameleon, took out the knife he carried with him, and was about to kill it, but he felt a hand wrap around his waist, and then his feet lifted off the ground and spun around in the air. Mu Qing took a closer look and found that she was being held in Sasuke's arms, and where she was standing, a golden blade was stuck in the ground. I saw a man with glamorous makeup stepping on a glowing flower ball and landing in front of Sasuke and the others. Ning Rongrong felt a cold killing intent emanating from Sasuke. Obviously, if Sasuke hadn't underestimated Mu Qing, it was inevitable that Mu Qing would be injured. If it was more serious, he might be killed on the spot. Just as Sasuke and the charming man were in a cold confrontation, a girl's call came over. Elder Yuiguan. Wait for us. I saw a woman and two men rushing over, and they all became alert when they saw the scene in front of them. Nana, come here and absorb the soul ring. The charming man known as Yuiguan waved to the girl. But. Hu Laina looked at Sasuke and his group with a hesitant expression. Yu Guan. Sasuke looked at the man in front of him and thought to himself, is he one of the elders of Wuhuan Palace mentioned by Dugubo, Ju Dolua? It seems that all the title Dolua in the world don't take human life seriously. 
Sasuke put down Mu Ching and signaled everyone to step back. You and your little baby have already lost their lives, why don't you leave? Yusugwan looked at the expressionless Sasuke and said, This young man can detect and avoid his own attacks at this age, which is quite a bit. Ability. But what happened to him? Do you plan to ask for a soul beast from yourself as a titled Doluo? Sometimes I really don't know how you titled Doluo's brains grow, or will you become mentally retarded after practicing to become titled Doluo? Sasuke looked at Yueguan and said. Hey, hee hee. Don't just rely on your beauty to say something rude, little handsome guy. Yueguan covered her mouth with her orchid fingers and smiled, sometimes if you say the wrong thing, you will pay for it with your life. I saw several golden sharp blades flying out of the air from behind Yueguan and shooting at Sasuke. Although Mu Qing and others heard from Ling Yun how Sasuke defeated Dugubo, they were still nervous when they saw the current scene. Hold your breath. Sasuke stretched out one hand and grabbed it out of thin air, and all the flying blades were crushed in the air. When Yu Guan saw this, the corner of his mouth curled up, making his originally alluring makeup look even more evil. It's true that I underestimated you. Tsukigwen walked around Sasuke. This kid is much better than the golden generation of Wuhuan Palace next to him. Hu Laina, Yen and others on the side were already dumbfounded. They knew very well what kind of strength Yueguan was, but the title Doluo's blow was deflected by this young man casually raising his hand. Juaguan, what are you dawdling about? A black shadow suddenly appeared on the tree, and a man in black clothes appeared on the tree. In his hand, he was holding a dying soul beast that was several thousand years old. He threw the soul beast away. In front of Hulaina and others, he flashed behind Yueguan like a ghost. This man was exuding black mist, covering most of his figure. Old ghost, look, I found an interesting boy. Yueguan said to the ghost. Ning Rongrong, who was watching from a distance, clasped his hands and looked a little flustered. Sister Rongrong, what's wrong? Mu Qing asked with concern when she saw Ning Rongrong's abnormal expression. Among this group of people, Ning Rongrong is naturally the most knowledgeable. There are two titled Doluochen Xian and Gu Rong in his family, and he also knows a lot about the small circle of titled Doluo. If the charming man in front of him is Jew as for Doluo, then this ghostly man is. This person is also a titled Doluo. Ning Rongrong looked at the ghostly man and frowned. Damn it, brothers. I have a close contact here. I'm going to do nucleic acid testing tomorrow. I am really risking my life to update, ha ha ha. Chapter, 38 The ghost glanced at Sasuke and the golden cores that fell on the ground, and felt a little shocked. Could it be that this young man blocked the attack of Juwagwen? Maybe it's just that you look younger. Let's go. Today's situation is special, so don't make any trouble. The ghost said to Yueguan. I would like to let him go, but he doesn't accept his kindness. Yuguan said to the ghost. When the ghost saw the burnt black 10,000-year soul beast lying at Sasuke's feet, he immediately understood what was going on. He and Yueguan found this chameleon specifically for Hulaina. They failed to kill it with one blow and it escaped. The two of them tracked it for a long time but failed to capture it. Unexpectedly, Sasuke discovered it and subdued it on the spot. What? He still wants to snatch it from you. Ghost said to Yueguan. This must be the ghost Dolua that Dugubo mentioned. Sasuke looked at the two of them and said, Besides you two, is there anyone else? Oni Mei and Yuseki were stunned when they heard this. Before they understood what Sasuke meant, they felt a wave of heat and a huge fireball coming towards their faces. Gue Mei and Yu Guan both jumped up, and the fireball passed by their feet, leaving a wide fire path in the forest. Seeking death. The ghost said angrily. What a pity for such a good skin. After Yu Guan finished speaking, a huge golden chrysanthemum bloomed behind him. The fifth soul skill. Gathering of Haning. I saw Yu Guan condensing his soul power with one hand and pouring it into a piece of golden core. Then he pointed at Sasuke. The golden core expanded several times and roared away with a sound of breaking through the air. Seeing that Yu Guan had taken action, 
the ghost turned around and wanted to leave no matter how talented he is, the anger of a title Dolua is beyond what a young boy like him can control. The next second, Gue Mei heard a questioning voice coming from Yuguan. I saw black flames igniting on Sasuke's body. Under the flames, there was a blue-purple skeleton. The skeleton gave birth to a single arm, which grabbed the flying golden core and crushed it to pieces. This is interesting. Upon seeing this, the ghost's soul ring lit up, and he also planned to test Sasuke's depth. The fourth soul skill. Ghost Shadow. I saw countless black phantoms pouring out from the ghost's body and rushing toward Sasuke. However, the moment these ghosts encountered the black flames, they let out a shrill scream, and were then burned to pieces. Sasuke flew out two shurikens, and Tsukasiki and Oni turned their heads to avoid them. The next second, Sasuke appeared behind the two of them with Chidori in his hands, and knocked them away with a thunderous strike. Yusugwin and Oni Mei steadied their bodies. Before they could figure out how Sasuke appeared behind them, Sasuke had already jumped 20 meters in the air. He condensed a Chidori spear with one hand and swung it towards the two of them. Originally, the several meter long Chidori spear suddenly extended to the ground, and its diameter expanded several times. I saw a flash of lightning in the air, and the momentum of this attack was like Pangu opening the sky. Gue Mei and Yuguan escaped in embarrassment. Sasuke split a crack in the ground, and the vegetation was already scorched black. Don't hold back, old ghost, and deal with him directly. Yuguan's hair was mostly burnt, and he shouted to the ghost like crazy. Then his soul power surged and his black soul ring lit up. The Sixth Soul Skill Golden Rui Flowing Clouds Yu Guan's martial spirit Qi Rong Tian Ju appeared on his head. The petals of the chrysanthemum spread out in all directions, and then flew irregularly toward Sasuke in the air. The golden soul power fluctuations cast shadows on the path they flew by, which was as beautiful as the sunset. The ghost naturally realized the trouble of the young man in front of him, and directly used the fifth soul skill. Ghost Shadow Pool Hand a black void appeared below Sasuke, and countless shadows with ghost hands flew upward, trying to catch Sasuke. In this way, Sasuke has nowhere to rely on in the air, and he will definitely not be able to avoid the ghost hands flying out from the ground. After being confined in the air, the golden core of US-1 will penetrate it into thousands of transparent holes. It can also be called a gorgeous ending. Sasuke snorted coldly. The attacks of these two people seem sharp, but they were flashy. They might be very effective against low-level enemies, but their power was enough for Sasuke to simply use the Shinra Tensei to defeat them. Dealing with Dugubo was just a piece of cake, and these two were at the level of a piece of cake. Sasuke spread the black flames throughout his body, and at the same time used the Shinra Tensei. The black flames spread in the repulsion field, wrapping Sasuke in mid-air to form a black ball. Both the ghost hands flying crazily and the golden cores flying from all directions were defeated and burned by this move. Ju Dolua's sixth soul skill and Ghost Dolua's fifth soul skill were easily resolved by Sasuke. Hu Laina and others on the ground were stunned. Is this still a human being? Originally the golden generation of Wuhuan Palace, they had received countless praises. The three of them thought that they had reached the top among the younger generation. Now they saw that this young man who seemed younger than themselves actually faced two titled fighters from Wuhuan Palace alone. Luo, anyone would be horrified. Is it true that as Ghost Dolua said, this man just looks younger? The four people on Ning Rongrong's side had already boarded the flying soul beast and were watching the battle from the air. The four of them couldn't get involved in the title Dolua's battle, and when it came to observing the battle situation, the view from the air was naturally better. Who are you? The ghost shouted to Sasuke in midair. Ignoring the ghost's questions, Sasuke saw blue-purple chakra boiling all over his body, and an upper body skeleton formed around him, fully formed in just a few seconds. Sasuke stood on a towering tree. The half-length Susanoo produced two swords in his hands, condensed chakra, aimed at the ghosts and Tsukasiki on the ground, and swung his sword to kill them. Yusugwin and Oni Mei noticed the terrifying power of this move, and fled away. The giant sword bombarded the ground, dust flew up, 
and the earth trembled, making loud noises one after another, and huge craters appeared one after another. After a while, Sasuke was surrounded by dense forests have been raised to the ground. Yuiguan. Escape first. Gue Mei realized that the two of them had provoked the evil star, and since they had other tasks, there was no need to fall here for a soul beast. How could Jiwagwen endure this breath? He turned around and was about to use his ninth soul skill, but found that the huge blue-purple half-body shot three huge crossbow arrows at him. The speed was so fast and the range was so wide that he could not avoid it. Seventh Soul Skill Martial Soul True Body The huge strange velvet babel chrysanthemum appeared in front of Yu Guan with its golden pistol spinning around. Yu Guan focused on the increase in soul power. The volume of the strange velvet babble chrysanthemum surged, blocking the front like a shield, trying to block this wave of attacks. Who knows that the martial spirit the moment the real body met the giant arrow, it was directly shattered by it. The giant arrow shot directly towards Yuiguan's body without any trace of being blocked. The ghost's whole body was shrouded in a black shadow. With the speed of an agility-based soul master and the special nature of his martial spirit, he arrived in front of Yuiguan in an instant, shrouding him in the black shadow. The giant arrow hit the target, and dust flew up in the sky. Sasuke lifted Susanoo, returned to the ground, and walked to the giant pit he had blasted. The giant pit where the two bodies should have been lying was empty. I don't know if it's a psychological effect, but after reading that notification, I started to feel feverish, difficulty breathing, uncomfortable nose, and irregular heart rate. Ying 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 Chapter, 39 Yu Guan and Gui Mei helped each other to a hidden tree hole and began to meditate to heal their injuries. Having just escaped from death, the two of them are still frightened. Ever since they entered the realm of Tidal Dolua, the two of them have not encountered such a scene for a long time. Sasuke's burst of strength caused chaos in their plans, and the release of his skills without soul power also caused confusion. Hard to guard against. If the ghost hadn't used the ghost pool to teleport over a short distance to escape, the two of them would have died there. It's so embarrassing that I will inevitably be punished by the Pope. Yu Guan stroked his long burnt hair and cut off a section of it sadly. What's the origin of this kid? His strength is too terrifying. After this battle with ghost, it brought back some bad memories. Yu Guan and Gue Mei looked at each other, knowing what the other was thinking. What are you two doing here? A voice sounded outside the tree hole. Yu Guan and Gui Mei walked out of the tree hole and saw a middle-aged man sitting on a huge agouti, looking down at the two of them. Don't talk to me in such a questioning tone. Yu Guan looked at the ugly middle-aged man and said. Humph. If the young master hadn't asked me to come over to check, I wouldn't bother to pay attention to you. Said the middle-aged man. The blood has been stabbed, has young master finished absorbing it? Ask the ghost. Otherwise, why would I leave the young master and come to inspect? Zhu Shui looked at Yu Guan and Gui Mei with injuries all over their bodies and said scornfully, You too are making such a big fuss when the young master absorbs the spirit ring. It is such an important matter. If something goes wrong, you too can go into the Dolua Palace and lie down as soon as possible. Even though Yu Guan and Gui Mei were unhappy, they could only hold it in at the moment. Upon seeing this, Stabbing Blood said, Let's go. Xia Yu and the others are already reporting the situation to the young master, so don't waste your time here. After saying that, Stabbing Blood walked away, followed closely by Yu Guan and Gui Mei. Seeing that the battle was over, Ning Rongrong and others in the sky ordered the spirit beast to fall to the ground and walked towards Sasuke. Sasuke drew the chameleon trying to hide himself in front of Mu Qing and said, Absorb the soul ring. Mu Qing was a little worried that the people from Wuhuan Palace would make a comeback and said, Do you want to change the place? Sasuke said, Don't worry, it's right here. If they dared to come, Sasuke would not have to go looking for them one by one. Since Sasuke said so, Mu Qing naturally did not hesitate, took out the black soul ring from the chameleon's skull, sat down cross-legged and began to absorb it attentively. On the other side, Yu Guan and Gui Mei followed Qian Shui to join the young master of Wuhuan Palace and others. Looking at Qian Renxue, 
the young master of Wuhuan Palace who was adjusting her breathing with her eyes closed, Yu Guan and Gui Mei felt a little frightened. The discord between the young master of Wuhuan Palace and her Pope mother is a matter known to everyone in Wuhuan Palace. However, Yu Guan and Gui Mei were from the papal faction, and Qian Ren Xue would always look down upon them even if they gave them a message. Explain it. Qian Ren Xue's beautiful eyes slowly opened, and the angel mark on her forehead shone with a faint golden light. The simple clothes make him more calm, and his whole body exudes a sacred atmosphere. He is not angry and has authority, which makes people dare not look at him. Yu Guan and Gui Mei bowed slightly and told the detailed story of how they were careless, how they were suppressed and finally defeated. When you two go back, write me a report on today's battle. It must be detailed and not a single thing is missed. Do you understand? Qian Renxue said. Yu Guan and Gui Mei saw that Qian Renxue had no intention of punishing him, so they dared to say nonsense and said yes again and again. They shouldn't have gone far yet, lead the way. Qian Renxue ordered. Yu Guan and Gui Mei were hesitant, but when they thought that there were three titled Dolua on their side. As long as they used their martial soul fusion skills, no matter how powerful he was, he would not be able to deal with three titled Dolua at the same time. So he led Qian Renxue and his party towards the previous battle location. Qian Renxue and others took the blood-piercing spirit guillotine to the sky above Sasuke and others. Looking at the bumpy ground and the cracks opened by Sasuke, everyone fell into a tacit silence. Qian Renxue looked at Sasuke who was protecting Mu Qin on the ground, and the corner of her mouth curled up with an imperceptible arc. Seeing that Qian Renxue had no orders, Qian Xue suggested, Young master, do you want to take advantage of the situation? Sanxue saw the battle scene, recalled the tragic situation of Yu Guan and Gui Mei, and also knew that this young man was indeed not a fuel-efficient lamp. It was better to take this opportunity and the three titled Dolua to kill him here, otherwise there would be consequences. Endless. Qian Renxue shook her head and said, No need, such a talent must naturally be used by me. But young master, we. Ghost said. You also know how stupid you are. Shut up. Qian Renxue was a little angry. Just watch, I will make him mine. When you see him in the future, just stay around. Qian Renxue said. Yu Guan and Gui Mei could only accept their orders in resignation. You continue to look for suitable soul rings for the three of them, stab the blood, let's go. Qian Renxue said. When Qian Renxue left with Qian Renxue, Qian Renxue looked back at Sasuke from a distance. Although it had become a very small da, Qian Renxue could feel that Sasuke was also looking at her at the moment. What's wrong? Teacher. Ning Rongrong asked with concern when she saw Sasuke staring at the sky with nothing. It's nothing, just an annoying fly. Sasuke said. Chapter, 40. In the papal hall, a noble and elegant woman wearing a long dress sat in a high position, holding a scepter in one hand and elegantly supporting half of her cheek with her other hand. Although she is no longer young in terms of age, the years do not seem to have left any traces on her body. On the contrary, she has been sculpted to be more charming, and her powerful and sacred aura makes people dare not to blaspheme. Idea This person is none other than the Pope of Wuhuan Palace, Bibi Dong. Under that step, Yu Guan and Gui Mei were half kneeling to accept her scolding. Where is that man now? Bibi Dong asked after listening to the ghost's narration. My subordinates have secretly found out that the man is a member of the Hokage Academy in Tiendo City, named Sasuke. Ghost said. Member of the Academy? Let's settle the matter after the Soul Master competition. Then give him a chance to choose. Bibi Dong said. But. Gui Mei's words came to her lips, but she didn't know whether she should say them or not. Ha! Huh. Bibi Dong gave the ghost a look. The ghost said hurriedly, but the young master said that we are not allowed to attack that person again, otherwise. Otherwise? Bibi Dong's eyes became sharp, she stood up slowly, walked step by step to Yu Guan and Gui Mei and asked, Who is the Pope? Yu Guan and Ghost said in a trembling voice, You, you are His Majesty the Pope. Who are you responsible for? Bibi Dong asked slowly. 
I swear to be loyal to His Majesty the Pope to the death. Yu Guan and Gue Mei said in unison. Brother Sasuke, the roster for the budget competition is out and we have a buy. Yi Zhichou handed a form to Sasuke, and Ling Yun and others heard the sound and joined in. Why did you get a buy? I have been preparing for many days. Yi Lingner said with a slight dissatisfaction. With the buy, you can directly advance to the next round of qualifiers, which saves time and effort. You can just wait for work and analyze your opponents. You are lucky. Yi Zhichou seemed to be very satisfied with the result. Teacher, can we go to the arena to watch the match? Ling Shui asked. Sasuke looked at the expectant expressions on everyone's faces and nodded. However, the day's schedule was not over yet, Ling Yun, Yi Linger, and Bai Cha returned to the academy early. Previously, the six people had been training with targets on the Tian Chu list, and they were fighting life and death against desperados every day. After experiencing countless ranking battles, they were bored when watching the qualifying matches. Those battles seemed like child's play to them, so they watched two games at will. Ling Yun, Yi Linger, and Bai Cha continued to practice. Only Ling Shui, Mu Qing and Ning Rongrong preferred the excitement and lingered around the arena until dark before returning to the academy with a lot of gifts. Another Bai. Yi Linger and others looked at the new schedule handed over by Yi Zhichou with wide eyes and were disappointed. Be patient and don't be impatient. I already said it's a good thing to have a Bai. Yi Zhichou said with a smile. I'm bored, let's continue practicing. Yi Linger rolled her eyes and left the table first. Rongrong, let's go shopping. Ling Shui held Ning Rongrong in one hand and Mu Qing in the other, and went out. The third schedule. Yi Linger and others were dumbfounded when they saw Yi Zhichou smiling and sending the schedule to everyone. It's another buy. Everyone left unhappy. Ning Rongrong and the others went crazy for two days and lost their passion. The fourth schedule. Yi Zhichou looked a little solemn and put the schedule on the table. The seven people looked at the schedule on the table in silence, and no one broke the embarrassment. By the way, teacher, did you give the organizer money? Ling Yun asked. Yi Linger was a little crazy. She had been excited for so many days, but before the fight started, half of her energy was worn away. In the fifth schedule, it was no longer a buy, but a competition with the loser group for a spot. After taking the field, Yi Linger was like a wolf among the sheep. With the support of Ning Rongrong, Ling Shui, and Mu Qing, he continued to win. He defeated all the opponents without even using his soul skills. It feels so good after holding it in for so many days. Yi Linger left the field in a happy mood, leaving Ling Yun, who had no sense of presence throughout the game, in isolation. In this way, the Hokage Academy, which had never shown up before, entered the promotion round with an impressive 100% winning rate after this game. Although he was a little embarrassed, Yi Zhichou thoughtfully prepared a celebration banquet and got drunk. Brother Sasuke Yi Zhichou walked up to Sasuke with a blushing face and said, The last time I was able to reach the promotion competition was many years ago. I am really lucky to be able to see them grow to this level. However, Yi Zhichou paused. He continued, this buy is obviously a behind-the-scenes operation. I think the children's opponents in the promotion round will be very difficult to deal with. You must protect them carefully on the court. My clone on the field is a clone, Sasuke said. If it's you, there will be no problem. After Yi Zhichou said that, he leaned heavily on the table and fell asleep. At this moment, rumors about the Hokage Academy spread in Tiendo City. Some people said that the Hokage Academy was the new academy supported by the Tiendo royal family and would be promoted all the way to the finals. Some people thought that it was purely luck that made it the loser's turn. The group advanced by stepping on its tail. Countless pairs of eyes were fixed on this new team that suddenly appeared. You know, usually, the team in this promotion competition is very stable. In the Tiendo Palace, Shui Qinghe took a pen and drew on the schedule before handing it to Hong Yen. Your Highness, with this arrangement, what will happen if the Hokage Academy cannot make it to the finals? Hirohiko asked. If they can't hold on, that means their level has reached this point. 
Xue Qingha said with a smile. I really have a cold, stuffy nose, headache, dizziness, and weakness in my limbs. Every time I get sick, I feel like this world is not worth it. Three days later, another hero. Chapter, 41 The game is the day after tomorrow, you can make your own arrangements in these two days. Sasuke took back the six clones and said to Ling Yun and others lying on the ground. After everyone dispersed, Dugu Bo came to Sasuke and said with an unusual expression, Sasuke, I want to go back to my medicine garden. I sense that the restriction I set has been broken. There's nothing to do these days, just do as you please. Sasuke said. Originally, Dugu Bo was only retained to consult for information, and he was not really asked to stand guard against any thieves. After Dugubo received Sasuke's permission, he immediately took his martial spirit and flew towards the sunset forest. This medicine garden was carefully managed by Dugu Bo to refine poisons and prepare medicines for his granddaughter Dugu Yen. Because of its hidden location, Dugu Bo thought it was inaccessible, so the restrictions set up were relatively simple. I want to see who stole it from me. Dugu Bo sped up his flight speed. When he came to the top of his medicine garden, he saw that the scene was in a mess, and many herbs that had been cultivated for many years were looted. The spiritual energy in the entire medicine garden has become much thinner. Shameless little thief. I want you to suffer the heart-gnawing pain of ten thousand poisons. Dugu roared towards the sky. Sangui, what's wrong with you? Xiao Wu said looking at Tang San who was sneezing constantly. It's nothing, maybe some miasma entered his body when he escaped from the sunset forest. Tang San blew his nose and said. Xiao Wu touched Tang San's forehead with concern, and in her other hand, she held a fairy grass exuding spiritual energy. Xiao Wu, are you really not going to absorb this fairy grass? Tang San asked. It's so precious that I can't bear to part with it. I'm very satisfied if I can have it. Xiao Wu said, stroking the fairy grass. Treasures from heaven and earth can be obtained by those who are able. Even though the story is touching, if it cannot be used by others, this fairy grass will be wasted. Tang San said. Stop talking about Sankut, I understand everything. Xiao Wu said. At the entrance of the Hokage Academy, Ling Yun was carrying a soft bone rabbit and was going to the kitchen to work on it and have a meal, when he saw someone pacing around outside the gate, mumbling something. Isn't this that boy from Shrek? What do you say that is? What is he doing here? Ling Yun looked at the distinctive white hair and thought to himself. Hey! What are you doing? Ling Yun said to Oscar. Ah! Uh. Oscar was startled by Ling Yun's call. His whole body froze and he said, Young handsome guy, can you give Rong Rong a message for me? Just tell her that I have something to ask her. Ling Yun raised his eyebrows and said, Why are you looking for her? Why is it none of your business what I do with her? Oscar was unhappy, but he still had to rely on Ling Yun to convey the message, so he smiled and said, It's nothing. I have the things she kept here, and I'll return them to her. Wait. Ling Yun put down these words and walked to the kitchen. Remove the hair and internal organs, wash, marinate, roast until sizzling and oily, sprinkle with spices, and serve on a plate. After Ling Yun skillfully cooked the meat and bone rabbit, he brought the rabbit meat to Ning Rongrong's room. Rong Rong. Are you there? Ling Yun knocked on the door and asked. Ning Rongrong opened the door to the room, grabbed the roast rabbit meat from Ling Yun's hand and said, I can smell the fragrance from so far away. What's the matter? Hateful. The most precious first bite. Ling Yun looked at Ning Rongrong who was eating with gusto, and said helplessly, Someone is looking for you at the door. It's the white-haired Shrek from before. Ning Rongrong returned the remaining roast rabbit meat to Ling Yun, walked out of the room and said, Then I'll go first. Ling Yun looked at Ning Rongrong's back and said regretfully, That kid is out of luck. After all, Ning Rongrong's expression just now was calm at all. Oscar. Ning Rongrong walked to the entrance of the college and looked at Oscar, who was lowering his head and talking to himself. Rongrong. Oscar looked at Ning Rongrong's beautiful face and was at a loss for a moment. 
Oscar, the competition is about to begin, what do you want from me? Ning Rong Rong asked. Rong Rong. Here. Oscar took out a jade box from his arms and handed it to Ning Rong Rong. This is it. Ning Rong Rong took the jade box and opened the lid, and a strong floral fragrance hit her nostrils. I saw a golden tulip lying inside, exuding a faint aura. This is the fairy grass that the mistress found for us. It seems to be called Chilua Tulip. I asked for one for you. All you have to do is suck the stamens and refine it. The effect will be bad if it's too late. Oscar looked forward to it. He looked at Ning Rong Rong and said. Ning Rong Rong looked at the fairy grass in the jade box and was slightly absent-minded. He covered the jade box and handed it back to Oscar and said, Oscar. Thank you very much for remembering me after being away for so long, but this fairy grass I can't collect grass. Why? Oscar asked loudly. He had begged Tang San for a long time to get this fairy grass. Ning Rong Rong looked at Oscar and sighed. If she takes this fairy grass, she is undoubtedly giving Oscar a chance. The most difficult thing in this world to repay is love debt. For a person who is indifferent, the love debt is worthless, but for a person who loves love, the love debt is unbearable. Ning Rong Rong was the first person to know Sasuke's vision. Unlike Yi Ling'er and the others, Ning Rong Rong still carried the future of the sect. This is destined to be a road paved with thorns. At this time, the love between children seems unwise. Oscar, this is the world of soul masters. Love can't change everything. Try to become stronger and don't waste your talents. I admit that you really moved me, and I once tried to imagine a relationship with you. Road, but now. Ning Rong Rong paused, turned his back and said, The roads are different and we don't want to conspire against each other. Do you want to be with me if I become a title doluo? Oscar shouted looking at Ning Rong Rong's back. Oscar, after you become a title doluo, think about what you said today, if you still remember it at that time. Ning Rong Rong said that and left without looking back. Oscar watched Ning Rong Rong's figure fading away for the second time, and crushed the jade box in his hand with a pop sound. Dugyabo Medicine Garden was destroyed, and he angrily returned to Hokage Academy. As soon as he arrived at the school gate, he smelled a strong fragrance of flowers. This is it. Dugu frowned. He had smelled this smell in his medicine garden before. Dugu Bo looked at Oscar who looked dejected at the entrance of the academy, grabbed Oscar's neck with one hand, and snatched the Chiloa tulip from his hand. Your boy. Dugu Bo looked at the weak Oscar and said, Where did you get this fairy grass? I picked it myself. Oscar said with difficulty. Fart. How can you, a loser like you, break my restriction and enter my medicine garden? I'm afraid you won't even be able to enter the sunset forest. If you don't tell the truth, I will plant a poison in your brain and turn you into a useless person. When the time comes, you have to say the same. Dugu Bo said angrily. Senior Dugu. Ning Rong Rong, who had not gone far, heard the sound and rushed over. Seeing Oscar being choked, she was shocked and said hurriedly, Senior, let him go first. He is my friend. Humph. Seeing Ning Rong Rong come to plead for mercy, Dugu Bo said, It's not easy for anyone to come today. I remembered, this kid is from Shrek Academy. You Shrek, you actually stole my head. Dugu Bo summoned his martial spirit, grabbed Oscar and jumped onto the Jade Scale Snake King, flying towards Shrek. Ning Rong Rong felt anxious when he saw this. It would be bad if Dugu Bo took Oscar's life in anger. Looking for Yi Zhichou? No, he's not enough to make Dugu Bo's teeth crack, so he's looking for Sasuke. Even worse. How could Sasuke do something like this? Forget it, let's go to Shrek Academy first. The day after I caught the cold, I wanted to cut my nose, but it was really painful. I suspect I bought fake medicine. Chapter, 42 We were both in Tiendo City, and with Dugu Bo's speed, he would be there in a matter of seconds. Really? What did Xiao Ao do? He's not here yet. Xiao Wu pouted and said dissatisfiedly. Promotions are held at the Royal Hunting Grounds, 
and accommodation and meals are provided. At this time, everyone in Shrek had packed up and prepared to go to the hunting ground, waiting for Oscar to come back. Just when Xiao Wu was complaining and dissatisfied, a person fell from the sky and fell heavily to the ground, just like that silver white hair. Who else could it be if it wasn't Oscar? Xiao Ao, are you okay? Tang San stepped forward and asked in concern, what happened? Do you think I'm okay? Oscar cried in his heart. Look. It's Dugu Bo. Flanders pushed his eyes, everyone's eyes were fixed on the sky, and they saw Dugu Bo's soul boiling with energy, and he landed in front of the Shrek crowd. It's Chilua Tulip. Tang San looked at the fairy grass in Dugu Bo's hand and exclaimed, Is this person trying to snatch the fairy grass? Dugu Bo looked around the Shrek crowd coldly and said, Some of you entered my medicine garden, destroyed my medicine field, and stole my fairy grass. If you have the sense, stand up, otherwise, none of you will survive today. As he spoke, the green poisonous mist overflowing from Dugu Bo's body slowly crawled to the feet of everyone in Shrek. Tang San's back felt cold, and thin sweat broke out on his forehead. He accidentally discovered the fire and ice eye in the sunset forest before, and it took a lot of effort to break into it to get the treasure. Was such a good place already monopolized by Dugu Bo? Senior. Tang San pretended to be calm and stepped forward, Senior, why do you think it was us who stole your medicinal herbs and destroyed your medicinal fields? Dugu Bo raised the Chilua tulip in his hand and said, Now that things have happened. Are you still trying to make excuses? Senior has misunderstood. This fairy grass was accidentally obtained by this junior in the star forest, and is not something produced by Senior's medicine field. Tang San said firmly. Are you questioning my judgment? Seeing that no one acknowledged it, Dugu Bo even made strong arguments. He was so angry that he directly used the poisonous mist to turn into a big hand and grasp Tang San. Dugu Bo. What do you want to do? Don't forget, this is Tiendo City. Lu Erlong said angrily. It's just a grass. Is it only allowed to grow in your medicinal garden in the world? Flanders angrily yelled. His medicine garden was destroyed, and at the same time, this fairy grass appeared in the hands of Shrek's people. Dugu Bo had already made up his mind about the truth. Who knew this group of people could be so clever and clever? Is it tolerable, which one is intolerable? Even if he was bullied by Ju Huaguan and the old Agudi, he could tolerate being bullied by Sasuke, but now even this group of people stepped on him. The more Dugu Bo thought about it, the angrier he became, and the palms formed by his poisonous mist squeezed tighter and tighter. Seeing that Tang San couldn't hold it any longer, Yu Xiao Jiang said, Dugu Bo, if you dare to touch him, that master will not spare you. Are you threatening me? Dugu Bo said. Many years ago, that gentleman severely injured the previous Pope of Wuhuan Palace, and later took his son to hide his name. Guess who that person is? Yu Xiao Jiang said playfully. Tang San. Don't be afraid, I'm here. Lu Erlong said as he released his martial spirit. Ning Rongrong jogged and arrived at the scene. Looking at the people who were already confronting each other, she didn't know what to do. Boy. Since it's you who is quibbling, you are the one who destroyed my medicine garden. Hand over the herbs you stole and I'll cripple one of your arms. That's the end of the matter. If you're a man, don't frown. Dugubo said. Treasures from heaven and earth can be obtained by those who are able. There is no such thing as stealing or stealing, not to mention that I picked these herbs in the Star Doe Forest. What do they have to do with you? Tang San gritted his teeth and said, as long as he refuses to admit it, he will not admit it. On this day in Dohuang City, Dugu Bo couldn't kill anyone at will, not to mention the masters of the Golden Iron Triangle, Lu Erlong and Flender were here, so it shouldn't be a problem to escape and scathed. Okay. A capable person can get it. I am very satisfied with your answer. In this case, I will also get your dog's life by a capable person. How about it? Dugu Bo said. Senior Dugu. No. Ning Rongrong rushed to Dugu Bo and said, These people are old to me. Your losses will be borne by our seven treasures glazed sect. 
let them go this time. Dugubo snorted coldly and said, if he was brave enough to admit it, I would have betrayed Chen Xian and Gu Rong. It's a pity that he is seeking his own death. Ning Rong Rong, we are going to the royal hunting ground today. What are you doing here? Ning Rong Rong was overjoyed when he heard this. This voice was none other than Sasuke. Sasuke, who had just come out of Tiendo Imperial City, saw Ning Rong Rong and Dugu Bo arguing, so he naturally wanted to come over and interrogate them. When Ning Rong Rong saw Sasuke coming, he briefly explained what had happened. After Sasuke finished listening, looking at Dugu Bo, Dugu Bo felt nervous. If Sasuke also stepped in to help, he would not be able to evade. Is the evidence just this fairy grass? Sasuke asked, Are there any others? While Dugu Bo was thinking about it, he suddenly saw a palm sized exquisite bag fastened to Tang San's waist, which looked similar to his own Rui treasure bag. He snatched it away immediately, used his soul power to penetrate it, and wiped away the spiritual imprint, only to see Tang San groan in pain. Dugu Bo took out a medicinal herb from his pocket and said with a smile, I'll see how you can quibble this time. This three leaf panicle was cultivated by me, Dugu Bo. Apart from my medicinal garden, there is no other place in the world. With this grass, what else can you say? You said you cultivated it, so that's what you cultivated? Tang San was still arrogant. Upon hearing these words, if Sasuke hadn't been present, Dugu Bo would have crushed Tang San's limbs. I knew you would say that. Dugu Bo said proudly, this three-leaf spike is made with my green-scaled snake venom. Do you want to taste it? As he spoke, Dugu Bo injected the soul power with green-scale snake venom into the three-leaf sway. Sure enough, the three-leaf sway that was almost wilting became revitalized. What else do you have to say? Sasuke looked at Tang San and asked. The eye of ice and fire is where the treasures of heaven and earth are gathered. You, Dugu Bo, have been monopolizing it for so many years, why don't you allow others to pick it? Seeing that Tang San could no longer argue, he wanted to suppress Dugu Bo from a moral perspective. If you pick a few plants that have nothing to do with me, it's fine. If you even take away all the herbs I cultivated, what will happen to me? Dugu Bo said. The matter is already very clear. Sasuke exchanged glances with everyone around him and said, in that case, then return the medicinal herbs, compensate Dugu Bo for his loss, and cut off one of your arms as punishment for your theft. What do you think? Chapter, 43 Teacher Ning Rong Rong said anxiously, Senior Dugu, please don't remember the faults of villains. Let him go this time. Rong Rong Who do you think is the villain? Ha! Huh. Xiao Wu said. Rong Rong, has your father ever taught you that as the leader of a sect, rewards and punishments should be clear? Sasuke looked at Ning Rong Rong and said. Ning Rong Rong was speechless upon hearing this. This person. Tang San looked at Sasuke, his clothes soaked with sweat. Dugu Bo alone is nothing, but here comes another cold-blooded monster. It's really raining all night. Where did this little boy come from? This is Tiendo City. Is it your turn to enforce the law? Lu Erlong said angrily. Can Tiendo City be burned, killed, and looted without punishment? Sasuke glanced sideways at Lu Erlong and said, I am trying to reason with you now. If I don't have the patience, I will do something else. Being reasonable also requires strength. Yu Xiaojiang stepped forward and said, I tell you, you cannot touch this person, otherwise, you will not be able to bear the anger of that adult. Then I will disappoint you. Sasuke said with cold eyes, my will will not be diverted by others. Obviously, Yu Xiaojiang's threat was used in the wrong place. Sasuke doesn't care about Hao Tiendoluo. Flender's expression was solemn, it was obvious that this Sasuke was an inexperienced guy, and in comparison, he was more likely to bow his head to please Dugu Bo and save Tang San. As long as the person concerned lets go, everything will be easy to handle. Dugu Bo, the mistress is not guilty of ignorance about this matter. As his teacher and the dean of Shrek, I apologize to you. Flender stepped forward to apologize to Dugu Bo. However, now is the critical time of the Soul Master competition. 
Tang San is a rare genius I have ever seen. Please let him go this time. We will fully compensate you for your losses. If you are expelled in the future, but how about you do as you please? Flanders said, lowering his posture to a very low level. Dugu Bo understood that Flanders was trying to give both parties a step down. After all, Tang Hao was indeed not his fault. If Tang San was caught secretly, no one would know if he pinched him to death. But he was killed openly. Tang Hao's only son might have to lose his life to that lunatic. Humph, you guys are quite sensible. In this case, I will go back and draw up a list, and you have to pay me double compensation. Secondly, you Shrek owe me something. I will think about it one day and then give the order. You guys. Dugubo said. What a lion. At this time, Flanders couldn't care less about money. He gritted his teeth and said, it's a deal. Let the mistress go quickly. Dugu Bo snorted coldly and threw Tang San in front of everyone. Tang San lost his strength and rolled a few times on the ground. Xiao Wu quickly stepped forward to help him up. So, even if this matter is settled, let's head to the royal hunting ground quickly. There are still many things to arrange. Yu Xiao Jiang said after seeing that Tang San was fine. We will remember your fair behavior today. Yu Xiaojiang said in a threatening tone as he passed by Sasuke. Dugu Bo felt happy when he heard this, why did you provoke him? I said, did you misunderstand something? Sasuke said coldly. Shrek and the others turned around and looked at Sasuke with different expressions. Why, do you have any other advice? Yu Xiaojiang asked. You don't think I'm speaking for Dugu Bo, right? Sasuke said. What do you mean, Your Excellency? Flanders felt vaguely uncomfortable. He had heard of this Sasuke. According to Zhao Wuji, his strength was probably no less than that of a titled Doluo. This guy just said that he should remember my fair way of dealing with things. In this case, I might as well let you remember it more deeply. Sasuke raised one hand, and invisible pressure gathered on Tang San's arm. It's his business not to reconcile with Dugu Bo. Unfortunately, you are in my hands. After saying that, Sasuke made a fist out of thin air with his raised hand. Ning Rongrong looked at Sasuke's movements and thought of something for a moment, shouting, Teacher. No. Tang San felt something strange coming from his arm, and was startled, Yu Xiao Jiang. I thank you. Before everyone understood what was going on, they heard Tang San let out a scream. When everyone looked, they saw that his entire arm seemed to have been squeezed with great force, his skin and flesh were twisted, and blood was flowing out. Xiao Wu touched Tang San's arm in horror, her hand couldn't stop shaking, she covered her mouth and said, Bones. Third brother. The bones in this arm are all broken. What? Everyone in Shrek was stunned. Anger ignited in his eyes, a generation of geniuses. It was probably destroyed because this arm was broken. The one who was most shocked and angry was Yu Xiaojiang. For him, Tang San was his chance to make a comeback. This is his only chance to practice the theory of invincibility and prove himself. At this moment it was destroyed by an unknown person with a raise of his hand. It was as if the tall building that I had built for decades had disappeared with a wave of my hand. I'll fight with you. With tears in her eyes, Xiao Wu rushed towards Sasuke, but was pushed to the ground by Sasuke with a gentle wave of his hand. In this way, everything is over, and the Soul Master competition is also ruined. Flanders stared blankly at Tang San moaning on the ground. The hope of Shrek Academy, his half-life hard work, was gone. Ning Rongrong stared blankly at everything in front of her, never expecting that things would develop like this. The person who finally took action was not Dugu Bo, but Sasuke. One code equals one code, but don't forget my compensation. Dugu Bo said this and walked away. Shrek's group of protective guys would inevitably have a big fight with Sasuke, so he had better leave early to avoid being affected by Sasuke's skills. Lu Erlong helped up Xiao Wu who was lying on the ground. When he saw Xiao Wu was crying so hard, and then looked at the expressionless Sasuke, his anger shot straight into Tianling Gai, and the power of thunder surged through his body. You. 
That's too much. Lu Erlong showed his martial spirit and went straight to Sasuke. Chapter, 44 Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex Sasuke looked at Lu Erlong who was rushing towards him, and used the Shinra Tenjin style to directly bounce him several meters away, and said, What? Do you want to do something here? Look around you, it is also a prosperous area, if you want fight, just come to the Hokage Academy to find me, I will definitely give you a good time. The current Shrek Academy is not as remote as the Hokage Academy. There are houses and buildings everywhere. Sasuke has no intention of demolishing half of Chindo City. After all, if it is demolished now, there will be more unnecessary trouble. Lu Erlong looked at Sasuke in surprise. She possesses the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex martial spirit, and her attack power is unparalleled in the world. Why was it that despite the blow, the opponent was not hurt at all, but his hands and feet were shaking slightly, showing signs of losing strength? Second Dragon Flanders lowered his head and gritted his teeth and said, Come back. The top priority is to heal the mistress. Lu Erlong stood up from the ground and stared at Sasuke. Ning Rong Rong, let's go. Sasuke said. Ning Rong Rong glanced at the Shrek crowd, was speechless, and left together with Sasuke. At this time, I'm afraid the only way to save Xiaosan's hand is to find Hao Tian Doluo. Flender frowned. Leave this matter to me. I know how to contact him. Yu Xiaojiang said, maybe he will show up soon without us having to look for him. When Tang Hao found out that his precious son was injured, why not just demolish a mere Hokage Academy? Old. Master. Tang San said with difficulty, I'm not in the way. I swallowed a piece of fairy grass, which has the effect of regenerating bones and melting blood. I just need to rest peacefully for a while. Third brother. Don't lie to me. Such a serious injury. How can you just need to rest? Xiao Wu said with tears on her face. When have I ever lied to you? Tang San took out his other hand, touched Xiao Wu's head, and said with a wry smile, although the injuries look serious, they haven't hurt the joints. I can feel it. Don't worry, I I won't joke about this kind of thing, I still want to protect you. In that case, during this period, Xiao San should take good care of his injuries. Leave the competition to us. Dai Mubai said to Tang San. I just didn't expect that Sasuke has such amazing magical powers at such a young age. Xiao Zhang, what do you think? Lu Erlong is very upset about the fact that his attacks have no effect. Yu Xiaowan is known as the master of theory, so he should a place to see. Yu Xiaojiang touched his chin and said, it is impossible for normal people to have such power. If it is like him, he can reach such a state at the age of 17, then what else do we have to practice? In my opinion, either he took some he is planting a drug that lasts forever to hide his eyes from others, or he is. Xiao Zhang, is that what you said? Flender's eyes changed slightly when he looked at Yu Xiao Zhang. That's right. He is probably an evil soul master who practices some kind of secret technique. Yu Xiaowan said firmly. Evil soul master. As soon as this statement came out, everyone was in an uproar. If he is really an evil soul master and has set up an academy in the Tiendo Empire, his intentions are self-evident. Yu Xiaojiang said, presumably his few students can make such rapid progress, and there is a high probability that they are encouraged. In exchange for overdrafting his vitality, his behavior is so sinister, there must be a shocking conspiracy behind it. Oscar felt a chill rise in his heart when he heard this. Rongrong was still at the Hokage Academy. I heard that when they entered the promotion competition this time, they were also manipulated behind the scenes by a certain drum force. Judging from the motives, the force behind this can only be Wuhuan Palace. Yu Xiaowan analyzed. That's right, Wuhundian has been cultivating power and infiltrating the two empires in recent years, and its rebellious intentions have long been obvious. In this way, the Hokage Academy is really a curse. Lu Erlong agreed. Wuhuan Palace. It's the Wuhuan Palace again. Sooner or later, you will have to pay back double the amount for all this. Tang San closed his eyes and silently recited the names of those who had found a way to die. 
Ning Rongrong and Sasuke returned to the academy and saw Yi Linger, Ling Yun and others at the door with their bags ready, waiting for them to come back and set off to the royal hunting ground together. Rongrong, you look so bad. Yi Linger hugged Ning Rongrong from behind and said close to her face, isn't it teacher Sasuke who bullied you? Did you two just? Don't talk nonsense. Ning Rongrong said angrily, teacher Sasuke is not that kind of person. Oh. What kind of person is that kind of person? Yi Linger said with a bad smile, then what kind of person does Rongrong hope Sasuke will be? Go and play by yourself. Ning Rongrong was restless at the moment and ignored Yi Linger. Everyone came to the royal hunting ground, verified their identities, received entry and exit signs, and followed the guards to the resting tent. After everything was settled, Yi Zhichou gathered everyone in the same tent and said, Tomorrow the promotion competition will officially start. The promotion competition is one on one. You all know this. Who do you plan to play first tomorrow? Me first. Yi Linger raised her hand. We have only played one game in total. Can you let others feel a sense of participation? Ling Yun complained. Take turns. Sasuke said, there are fifteen games in total. Each of you will play two games, and draw lots for the remaining three games. Two games for each person. Yi Zhichio asked doubtfully, don't you mean to let each of them be responsible for a whole game? Is there any problem? Sasuke asked. Wait a minute, I think you didn't understand the competition system. It's true that the promotion round is a one-on-one -on -one battle, but the entire team still has to play in order according to the number of people eliminated. Finally. Yi Zhichio was halfway through his explanation when he noticed that Sasuke was looking at him like he was a fool. Same, suddenly speechless. It's a matter of course that you are better than them. If you can't do that, just go back to Notting City by yourself. After Sasuke finished speaking, he left the camp. Does everyone have to wear seven suits? Yi Lingyun looked at Sasuke's back and thought, she and Lingyun didn't care, but would this condition be too harsh for Ling Shui and Mu Qin? I think I have to explain the competition system to him. After Yi Zhichou said that, he held the schedule and went to find Sasuke. Yi Lingyun and others were left looking at each other in confusion. What do you say? Who will play tomorrow? Yi Linger asked. If you don't go, then I will be disrespectful. Ling Yun said. Let's see who our opponent is tomorrow first. Bai Cha suggested. Tian Shui College. Is that the academy where all the beauties are? Ling Yun said. I'll do it. Ning Rongrong said, I also want to see how far I have reached. In that case, it's settled that Rongrong will play the first game. Yi Linger said, no problem, right? Ning Rongrong walked out of the camp, looked at the vast grassland, and took a deep breath. Soul Master Competition. It's finally here. With this battle, the glory of the seven treasure glazed tile pagoda will spread to the world. I don't know what to say, so let's sing a song for everyone. I wish you happiness and longevity, and I wish you happiness every day. Chapter, 45 it is night, the camp is stationed, the autumn wind is hunting horses, and occasionally the slogans of the royal corps can be heard. Ning Rongrong walked out of the camp, looked at the night sky filled with stars, and thought of what Sasuke did during the day. She thought to herself, sooner or later, one day, she would need to deal with the prisoners by herself. Can she be as decisive as Sasuke? The most difficult thing for people to cross is the gap between knowing and doing. My advice is, get some rest tonight. Ning Rongrong turned around when he heard this, and Sasuke was already standing behind him at some point. Teacher, if Ling Shui and Mu Qin don't complete the first were seven, do you really want to send them back to Notting City? Ning Rongrong asked. Why, now that things have happened, do you have no confidence in them, or do you have no confidence in yourself? Sasuke said. I will do it. I have a reason to do it. Ning Rongrong said. Do you think they don't have it? Even if they don't, I will let them have it. Sasuke said, you know why I ask each of you to wear one and seven. I know that teacher hopes that each of us can act independently and help you rule the world. Ning Rongrong said. 
Justice relies on the law, and the law relies on force. Law enforcement agencies have always been violent institutions. If there is no strength, even the ownership of a medicinal herb will be a problem. If that Tang San had not stolen Dugu Bo's medicinal herb, but Yi Zhichiu herbal medicine, do you think Yi Zhichiu can achieve results by raising an army alone to investigate the crime? Sasuke said, I can't trust those so-called title Dolua, but I will choose to train you. When I said that, I didn't mean to bring any harm to you. The pressure you put on me is just because I believe in myself. It is natural for the people I train to be better than them. The night light was slightly cool. Ning Rongrong touched her cheek, which was a little hot. She turned around and looked at the starry sky and said, Teacher, where are you from? Kanoha village. Sasuke said. Kanoha village? Has teacher Sasuke's ideal country been realized there? Ning Rongrong asked again. I don't know. After Sasuke finished speaking, he looked up at the starry sky and gradually recalled that world. Has the infinite Tsukuyumi been lifted? With Naruto and Kakashi here, can it be done? If successful, will the five shadows work together, or will they fight against each other? That idiot will probably keep working hard until he dies, right? Get some rest early. After Sasuke said this, he disappeared. Only royal family members and those who participated in the preliminaries are allowed to watch the promotion competition venue, so the scene is not as popular as the preliminaries. It is said that laymen can only watch the excitement, and experts can only see the rules. Those who came to the scene to observe basically came to study their opponents. After the host warmly welcomed the royal family from scalp to toe cap, the game finally officially started. The next thing that will be played is Tianshui Academy vs. Hokage Academy. Tianshui Academy is a long-established and strong team. I believe everyone is familiar with this team composed of countless beautiful girls, but the Hokage Academy here is on the other extreme. I believe that many of my friends only discovered the existence of this academy during this Soul Master competition. Ahem. Whether it is a dark horse or a grey donkey, you will soon be able to see the true face of Lushan Mountain. Baby, come on. Yi Lingyur hugged Ning Rongrong and kissed her hard, saying. Ling Yun retched and said, Yi Lingyur, to be honest, I just can't catch Sasuke. There is really no need for this. Yi Lingyur was about to beat up Ling Yun when the host started to introduce the participating team members, and Ling Yun was spared. Today, Ning Rongrong tied up her hair, took off the accessories she usually wore, and looked very capable in a smart outfit. Ning Rongrong slowly walked onto the ring. Opposite her, stood a woman wearing a blue uniform. She was worthy of being a member of Tianshui Academy. Her appearance and temperament were extremely outstanding. It was said that Tianshui Academy did not care about their background, so the students most have very different personalities. Shue Binger, Level 43 Control Type Battle Soul Master, Martial Soul Ice Phoenix. Ning Rongrong, Level 42 Auxiliary Fighting Spirit Master, Martial Spirit, Seven Treasures Glazed Tower. Shue Binger was a little stunned. She wanted to laugh but couldn't. I heard that there is a girl in your academy who is particularly good at fighting. Her martial spirit is that of a twin-tailed lightning ferret. I thought she would play, Shue Binger said. Unfortunately, she has her period today, Ning Rongrong said. I know the name of the Seven Treasures Glazed Tile Pagoda, but, support system, fighting soul master. Shue Binger looked Ning Rongrong up and down and said, I have to admit that you can practice to 42 at this age. Level, it is indeed outstanding, but the auxiliary system is the auxiliary system. Why don't you go down and let that person come up? Are you done teasing? My time is precious. Ning Rongrong said. If I had known this was the case, I wouldn't have to be the first to appear. Shue Binger said, but it just so happens that it also saves a lot of time. If I can't beat you, then you will win this game. Winning is winning, losing is losing, nothing counts. Ning Rongrong said. Come on, let's fight quickly. After Shue Binger finished speaking, a blue ice crystal phoenix emerged from her body, and four soul rings, two yellow and two purple, lit up. The other teams looked at the two people on the stage and found it strange. 
one sent the strongest soul sect captain, while the other team sent an auxiliary soul master to lead the battle. This is not how newcomers are trained. The seven treasures turned out to be Lioli. The seven treasures glazed pagoda rotated in front of Ning Rongrong's chest. The first soul ring lights up, yellow. The second soul ring lights up, yellow. The third soul ring lights up, black. Ten thousand year soul ring. Shui Binger frowned slightly after she was sure that she had read it correctly. The entire stadium was stunned at that moment, and you could almost hear everyone gasping. Rome Rome's third spirit ring. Is it also a ten thousand year spirit ring? Oscar looked at Ning Rongrong on the stage, then thought about Tang San, and then looked at himself, suddenly feeling sullen. Xiao Gang, is this reasonable? Lu Erlong asked Yu Xiaowan. Yu Xiaojang snorted coldly and said, If you fall into the hands of an evil soul master, anything that is unreasonable will become reasonable. While everyone at the scene was still discussing Ning Rongrong's third soul ring, Ning Rongrong's fourth ten thousand year soul ring lit up, directly igniting the audience. Fourteen years old. Forty-two. Two ten thousand year soul rings. Still an auxiliary department. Even the host saw this kind of scene for the first time in his life. Before the fight started, the entire arena was already in a state of excitement. What is the origin of this Hokage Academy? Sect Master Ning. Your daughter is really outstanding. Emperor Shuiyi also said with a look of disbelief. He has lived for so long, and this is the first time he has seen this scene. Speaking of which, the reason why my little girl has been able to advance so rapidly is because of the teachings of the Hokage Academy. Ning Fengji said respectfully. Oh. Hokage Academy? Is it the academy funded by the prince? Emperor Shuiya said. Exactly, His Highness the Crown Prince is also very diligent in recruiting talents for the Empire. Ning Fengji said. As long as there are no ulterior motives, Prince Snow Star said. Shui Binger looked at the two extremely disharmonious black soul rings on Ning Rongrong's body. Her hands shook unconsciously, but she quickly regained her composure. It's just that the soul power is stronger. The auxiliary system is only the auxiliary system after all. The seven treasures are famous. The first is, strength, the second is, speed, the third is, soul, and the fourth is, control. Ning Rongrong now has four soul rings, which can directly increase the four attributes by a terrifying 50%. Originally, the auxiliary soul master had little effect in assisting him, but Ning Rongrong discovered that since absorbing the third and fourth soul rings, the soul power and chakra interacted and mutated. And when he used the mutated soul power to enhance himself, not only the amplification effect is greatly enhanced, but also the chakra will increase accordingly. The amplification effect created by soul power can flow into chakra, and Ning Rongrong's main attack methods are ninjutsu and taijutsu. The first soul skill. Freeze. Shui Binger activated her first soul skill. This soul skill is a restricted skill that can quickly freeze the opponent from the ground. Even for a powerful attack soul master, it is not easy to break through the ice, because the ice phoenix spirit all soul skills will add ice load to the target, greatly weakening its ability to move. Since Ning Rongrong joined the Hokage Academy, she has been following Yi Ling'er and the others to unveil and kill fugitives every day. After being forced by Yi Ling'er several times, she killed the first person. In countless cross-level battles, he has developed strong survival instincts and combat intuition. Under Sasuke's rigorous physical training, her weak physical fitness gradually improved. Ning Rongrong's figure was strong and strong, her toes touching the ground. Every time Shui Binger released the ice seal, it was several beats slower. Not long after, Ning Rongrong had already arrived in front of Shui Binger. Shui Binger took her time and used her third soul skill, Ice Thorns. Countless ice spikes formed from the space beside her, then lengthened and thrust out, forcing Ning Rongrong back and closing the distance again. Close combat is not Shui Binger's specialty, or in other words, she doesn't know it at all. Ning Rongrong took advantage of Shui Binger's retreat and formed a seal with her hands. Ice Escape Ice Prison Technique 
Shue Binger was shocked when she saw ice condensing rapidly around Shue Binger. This move was more terrifying than her first soul skill, freezing. It directly condensed ice prison in the space around her body, and her own freezing move it spreads from the ground to the target. Second soul skill. Ice ring armor. I saw several huge ice rings surrounding Shue Binger, blocking the contraction of the ice prison. Shue Binger jumped out of the remaining space, and Shue Binger used her fourth soul skill ice cone. You are very good at being able to force out my fourth soul skill. A one meter ice disc appeared in front of Shue Binger, like a shield. Countless ice picks flew out from the ice disc and shot towards Ning Rong Rong densely. I don't know what to say. Let's sing a song for everyone. At three o'clock in the morning, when I woke up at night, I thought of you that I had lost. We once promised that we would be together forever, but now we no longer contact you. Even if time has smoothed away many traces, I still miss you. If we had been less stubborn at that time, would there have been a better ending? Ding! Go to bed, and don't forget to vote, recommend monthly votes, and female votes are also acceptable. Chapter, 46 Ning Fengji looked at the danger on the stage and thought to himself, what a fierce attack. As a control soul master, he has such a soul skill in the fourth soul ring. He didn't know how Rong Rong would respond. Ice escape. Ice pillar. A huge icicle rose in front of Ning Rong Rong, blocking his body behind it to resist Shue Binger's continuous shooting of ice cones. Not long after, the entire arena was covered with a layer of frost. The remaining ice blocks of all my soul skills are loaded with ice. Can you still fight me on such a stage? Shue Binger said. In her opinion, Ning Rong Rong was already cornered at this moment, and it wouldn't be long before her soul power would be exhausted from resisting the attack of ice load. Ning Rong Rong observed the thickening ice around him and condensed chakra on the soles of his feet. Aren't you coming out yet? Shue Binger maintained her fourth soul skill with one hand, and aimed at the position behind the icicle with the other hand, and activated her first soul skill, freeze. Although activating the first soul skill while maintaining the fourth soul skill consumes a lot of soul power, it doesn't matter as long as it ends quickly. Ning Rong Rong jumped out from behind the icicle, followed by a large icicle above her head. Ning Rong Rong dodged flexibly around the ring. Every time her toes touched the ground, her hands were forming seals. The ice layer was also changing slightly wherever she passed. It feels very uncomfortable to dodge and jump in such an environment, right? Shue Binger looked at Ning Rong Rong who kept running away, and the corners of her mouth raised slightly. The preparations are done, and with the current amount of chakra, we should be able to succeed. Ning Rong Rong stopped and activated water escape. Water Formation Wall A huge water flow barrier emerged from under Ning Rong Rong's feet, and Shue Binger's cold ice cone collided with it, creating a huge ice mist. In this brief moment, the ice on the entire arena broke. Ning Rong Rong's previous footholds were connected into a line, and a shark made of ice sprang out and pounced on Shue Binger in midair. Ice Escape White Shark Cuts Off the Current Shue Binger was shocked when she saw the huge shark that suddenly jumped out of the ice mist. She aimed the ice plate at the precious thing that came out of nowhere. However, the ice pick shot out caused the shark's size to change. In addition to getting bigger, it didn't slow down its movements at all. The huge shark jumped up high, bit Shue Binger's delicate body, and smashed it to the ground. Second Soul Skill Ice Ring Armor Shue Binger wanted to activate the second soul skill, but the fourth soul skill had been maintained for too long, and the soul power could no longer be sustained. In addition, she was bitten by the white shark and couldn't move. She could only look at the sky with reluctance. Fall to the ground. The white shark's perfect predatory movements shocked the audience in the stands. No one had ever seen such a soul skill. The soul skills of the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect were obviously fixed, so why could Ning Rong Rong launch such a powerful attack? Could this 14-year-old girl be able to create her own soul skills? Shue Binger was hit hard by this, and her original aloof and graceful attitude was completely gone. His whole body was sealed in the ring by ice cubes shattered by the giant shark. 
The next second, Ning Rongrong had walked up to her, holding an ice pick in her hand and pressing it against her throat. In just a moment, the two levels were reversed. Ning Rongrong, who had just been chased around like a mouse, now looked like a winner. Don't move, it will hurt if you move. Ning Rongrong looked at Shui Binger who was trying to struggle, put the tip of the ice pick against her face, and said softly. The winner has been decided. The winner of this round is Ning Rongrong from the Hokage Academy. Seeing that Shui Binger had been restrained by Ning Rongrong, the referee announced loudly. Jin Shui Academy, one of the four element academies, lost its powerful captain like this? Lost to an auxiliary soul master. Everyone in the stands was talking a lot, with neither cheers nor questions. Obviously this game brought them more surprises. Ning Fengji looked at Ning Rongrong on the court, smiled slightly, stood up, and clapped. Ning Rongrong stood up and lifted the restrictions on Shui Binger. Among the thousands of people, he immediately saw Ning Fengji who was applauding him. Ning Rongrong smiled knowingly and released the Qibao glazed pagoda martial spirit, enlarging its size by several seconds. Times, slowly turning on the stage. Next one. Ning Rongrong said to Shui Binger. I said, if I lose, you will win this game. I will not break my promise. After Shui Binger finished speaking, she turned around and said to the referee, Referee, Tian Shui College has forfeited this match. The referee was startled when he heard this, nodded and said, It's really unexpected that Tian Shui Academy gave up the next few duels. This time, the Hokage Academy will win. Shui Binger's soul power was a little weak and she leaned on the Tian Shui Academy team members who came to help her. Slowly walked off the stage. Looking at the defeated Tian Shui Academy, the team standing in the stands on the same floor started talking about it. A support department has such a method. This Hokage Academy is not simple. It's probably more because she underestimated the enemy. But it's really amazing that she can create her own soul skills with an auxiliary system. Didn't you realize that her speed and reflexes are far superior to ordinary people? She is an auxiliary department, but she has physical fitness that is not inferior to that of the agility and attack department. Do you dare to imagine other members of their academy? But I heard that their team has three auxiliary departments alone. Ning Rongrong jumped off the stands briskly, ran towards Yi Linger, and high-fived her in celebration. Sasuke Sensei, as long as you win, it can be regarded as one wearing seven, right? Ling Shui asked. Of course, what I value is the result, Sasuke said. Ning Rongrong high-fived everyone in the team, and finally put her hand in front of Sasuke. Sasuke said dumbly, why don't you just use your strategy of Wolf Fang Avalanche and Yen Feishue? The energy intensity blessed by your 10,000 year soul ring will not lose to her fourth soul skill, and she can't do it in the air. To avoid all Yen Feishue's attacks and use White Shark to cut off the flow, it's too much to make a fuss. Ning Rongrong puffed up her cheeks upon hearing this and responded in a low voice, I know. After saying that, Ning Rongrong felt a warmth on her hand, and Sasuke reached out and patted it gently, saying, don't waste so much time next time. Let's cook first, la la. Chapter, 47 Let me tell you, you idiots are a bit on the lower end, Ling Yun said, holding a plate of roasted rabbit meat to the men who were peering outside the fence at the Hokage Academy camp. Really, every one of them looked like they had never seen a woman before. Ling Yun looked at the people fleeing and shook his head. Since the battle yesterday, the Hokage Academy has become famous. Ning Rongrong has attracted countless fans in this competition. She has a beautiful appearance, a noble and refined temperament, a prominent family background, and is perfectly white and rich. No one wants to take this piece of fat away from the camp of the Hokage Academy. That was the only heir to the extremely wealthy Chibao glazed sect, the pinnacle of his life. Getting her is enough. Um. Is Rong Rong here? Ling Yun heard this somewhat familiar voice and turned around to see that it was Oscar. I'm serious, brother, if you have time to go here, you might as well spend more time practicing. Anyway, Rong Rong is single now. Although the chance is slim, it is not completely impossible. Ling Yun advised kindly. I know, but I have a reason to follow her. Oscar said. 
Ever since he heard from Master Yu Xiaojiang that Sasuke was probably an evil soul master, he had been worried about Ning Rongrong's safety day and night. It is rumored that evil soul masters have many weird secret techniques, the most famous of which is to suck the souls of other soul masters. According to the master, Sasuke is probably overdrawing the vitality of Ning Rongrong and others to improve their cultivation and then sucking them up in one fell swoop. Speaking of which, Sasuke had already absorbed Ma Hongjuan's soul power during the conflict in the hotel. Lin Yun rolled his eyes and entered the tent. That Oscar from Shrek Academy is here to find you again. Ling Yun said. Everyone looked at Ning Rongrong, who sighed and walked out of the tent. Is Tang San feeling better? Ning Rongrong asked first when she saw Oscar. Xiao San is fine, he just needs to rest for a while. Oscar said. Sure enough, teacher Sasuke still kept his hand, Ning Rongrong thought to himself. That Sasuke, if mistress hadn't swallowed the grass jelly, that hand wouldn't have been saved. Oscar said angrily. Ning Rongrong heard this and said, what do you want from me? Rongrong, the master said, that Sasuke is probably an evil soul master. He has also sucked the fat man's soul power before. You have also seen that one. You have to be careful. He may treat you as a practitioner. Cauldron. Oscar didn't notice that Ning Rongrong's face was getting more and more ugly, and he continued, Why don't you go back to Shrek Academy? It's still too late to step back from the brink. With the master here, all problems will be solved. Oscar, what level is your soul power? Ning Rongrong interrupted Oscar and asked. Ah. Uh. Oscar was startled when he heard this and said, It's level 34. I'm almost level 43. Ning Rongrong turned around and continued, I'll pretend you didn't say anything today. You can leave. When Oscar saw this, he became anxious and stepped forward to grab Ning Rongrong's wrist. No matter what, he would convince Ning Rongrong to leave the Hokage Academy today. Let me go. Ning Rongrong shook Oscar off and frowned. Ning Rongrong was far ahead of Oscar in terms of soul power level and physical fitness, so it was too easy to break free. Calm down and listen to me. Oscar was about to lock Ning Rongrong's shoulders, but he felt a figure flash past, and then his chest felt tight, and he was kicked to the ground by a heartbreaking kick. I won't pretend I didn't hear this. I saw Yi Linger standing in front of Ning Rongrong, stretching a long leg in front of Oscar and saying, If I see you here again, I won't watch you again. Rongrong loses face. Oscar was kicked by Yi Linger, but he could not speak. He held on to the fence and coughed all the way back to Shrek Academy's tent. At this moment, inside the battalion commander of Shrek Academy, Yu Xiaojiang was holding the information of the contestants from the Hokage Academy and arranging tactics for Dai Mubai and others. That's right, it was the Hokage Academy that Shrek Academy was going to face the next day. Yu Xiaojiang put the information of the members of the Hokage Academy on the blackboard one by one. And said, since the Hokage Academy is an academy that uses the secret method of the evil soul master, this competition will definitely not be won by just three members. But their team member structure is extremely unbalanced, with three support members alone. This is our advantage. But master, yesterday Ning Rongrong defeated Shui Binger from Tianshui College one-on-one, -on -one, Tai Long said. Humph, that's just because of Ning Rongrong's outstanding talent, and Shui Binger underestimated the enemy and failed to control the consumption of soul power, so Ning Rongrong unexpectedly won. They must want to use Ning Rongrong to create a kind of support for their team. It is an illusion that the auxiliary system is also very strong. In fact, this is impossible. In theory, no matter how you practice, the auxiliary system can never be stronger than the combined combat power of the power attack system and the agility attack system. If it weren't for the evil soul master Sasuke who taught her it is impossible for Ning Rongrong to reach this level of magic through normal practice. And I estimate that this secret method will be ineffective in battle, and its backlash must be very strong. There is a high probability that Ning Rongrong will not be able to use it again tomorrow. Come on. Yu Xiaojiang said plausibly. Teacher, what kind of tactical arrangements will we make tomorrow? Dai Mubai asked. It's very simple. According to my guess, they will definitely feel that after sending Ming Rongrong, 
the subsequent teams will immediately put the strongest combat power first, so that they can defeat the strongest combatants of other teams. To defeat his confidence and achieve a quick victory, Tianshui Academy would not necessarily lose to Hokage Academy if it did not give up the next game. The remaining two assistant departments have extremely average qualifications and will never be half as good as Ning Rongro. Combat power, not to mention the remaining two control system or spirit masters and agility attack system or spirit masters. In short, except for Ning Rongrong, the rest are just paper tigers with illusory foundations. From what I have collected over the years judging from the information, none of their martial arts can be put on the stage. Yu Xiaojiang said with confidence. Yes, the teacher is right. Although our soul power level is generally lower, each of us is a unique genius. We are monsters. With the help of the teachers, we have overcome many difficulties along the way. After breaking through, are you still afraid of the rabble from his Hokage Academy? Jing Ling, Huang Yuan, and Tai Long, you are all the best at Lamba Academy. Although Jiang Zhu's martial arts is not famous, he is still among the best. Mu not to mention Bai and the others, as long as we unite as one, we will win this battle. Tang San waved his hand without plaster to support Yu Xiaojiang. After hearing this, everyone in Shrek became more confident. Yes, there are three auxiliary systems and a bunch of useless martial arts. Why should they win? Tomorrow we will take the lead with Tai Long. If they send out the remaining two auxiliary soul masters, Tai Long, you must take them all down. If they send out the agility attack soul master, Tai Long, just say, drag. As long as you hold her back, you have completed the mission. Her martial spirit is the twin-tailed lightning ferret. Although this martial spirit can give more soul skills, its attack power is extremely low. It requires defense and strength. The famous force clan, she is naturally helpless. In the end, if you seize the opportunity when her secret technique comes back, you will have a chance to defeat her. If not, you will consume her soul power greatly. Yu Xiaojiang said to Tai Long. Tai Lung patted his thick chest muscles and said, Don't worry, master, wrap it up on me, I will definitely tear these paper tigers to pieces. Yu Xiaojiang nodded with satisfaction, and then said to Jing Ling and Huang Yuan, Jing Ling, Huang Yuan, you two are agility attack system soul masters. In our deployment, you will fight against the two auxiliary system souls. Master, I want you to go all out at the first opportunity. Once you get close, don't leave any chance to them and take them down with lightning speed. Can you do it? Jing Ling and Huang Yuan both clasped their fists and said, I will definitely live up to my destiny. Yu Xiaojiang continued, In the end, Xiao Wu, Zhu Qing, Mu Bai, you will be responsible for cleaning up. However, in my plan, it is not Mu Bai's turn to appear. In the end, only Xiao Wu should be able to solve the problem. They are. Xiao Wu and Tang San looked at each other and smiled, saying, Yes. Shrek will win. For a time, the entire Shrek Academy camp was filled with a happy atmosphere. As expected of Xiao Zhang. Flanders sighed as he looked at his good brother who was strategizing. Although his soul power is only level 29 and cannot gallop on the battlefield, he can rely on his excellent theories and strategies to win a decisive victory over thousands of miles. Outside. I must package Xiaojing properly and introduce it to the Tiendo royal family. He who wins the master wins the world. A new week has begun. Thank you all for your company. My cold is much better. Chapter, 48. The words were divided into two parts. Xue Qinghe was now leading Ning Fengji and Hong Yan to the Hokage Academy's residence. Xue Qinghe's move was undoubtedly declaring the position of the Hokage Academy to the outside world. Why are you here? Sasuke asked, looking at Xue Qinghe and his party. Xue Qinghe and Ning Fengji had their own thoughts, but they didn't know who Sasuke was asking. What you said is that I can't come to you if I have nothing to do. Xue Qinghe squinted his eyes and smiled. As soon as these words came out, the atmosphere in the entire camp suddenly became ambiguous. Yi Ling'er and others looked at Xue Qinghe and Sasuke, and they all had an idea in mind, could it be? Speaking of which, Sasuke went to the palace to find Xue Qinghe quite frequently. 
When Sasuke and Xue Qingha left the camp, Ling Yun finally couldn't hold it any longer and laughed loudly at Yi Linger, you are the only one who is still wondering whether to wear black or white silk stockings. Let me tell you, teacher Sasuke doesn't accept this at all. Ha ha ha, my clothes may be more useful than yours, it makes me laugh. Actually, this soul master competition can be done even if there are only five people. Yi Linger clenched her fists and rushed towards Ling Yun. Xue Qingha asked Hong Yan and Ning Fengji to stay in the camp, while he and Sasuke went to the grassland to wander. Xue Qingha took out a token from his sleeves, handed it to Sasuke and said, Ning Rongrong's skills shocked everyone. The Pope of Wuhuan Palace granted you the status of an honorary elder and sent someone to deliver this Pope's decree and letter of appointment. I stopped it halfway, what do you want? Sasuke took the papal decree, and black flames rose from his hand, burning it completely. I will get what I want, why should she give it to me? Sasuke said disdainfully. Feeling that Xue Qingha's mood was not angry but happy, Sasuke said again, what? You and the Pope don't seem to be getting along well. This is the title and fiefdom given to you Hokage Academy students by Emperor Shuya. You can accept this. Xue Qingha took out a brocade box and handed it to Sasuke. Sasuke took the brocade box and said, Your Majesty, are you here to run errands today? Xue Qingha sighed and said, The Pope came to urge me. She asked me to speed up the process of seizing Tiendo's power. What? Does she want you to kill your father and king? Sasuke said. Xue Qingha snorted coldly and said, There is only a good-for-nothing Xue Bang and my lovely sister left in the entire Tiendo imperial family. As long as you are patient, the Tiendo Empire can be included in the territory of my spirit hall without spending a single soldier. Bibi that stupid woman Dong doesn't know what she's thinking. When Xue Qingha said this, he showed his resentment towards Bibi Dong without reservation. The soul master competition has not even ended yet, so I will give you the position of elder. I wish I could tell the world that she is thirsty for talents. Sooner or later, the Wuhuan Palace will be destroyed in the hands of this woman. Xue Qingha said. Sasuke smiled slightly and said, In this case, I am happy to see it happen. There are many benefits to becoming an elder of Wuhuan Palace, do you really not want to consider it? Xue Qingha said. When I refused, weren't you very happy just now? Sasuke asked. I'm just happy that you rejected that woman. I can also give you the position of elder. Xue Qingha said, those who become elders of Wuhuan Hall have the opportunity to participate in the assessment of gods. After being promoted to title Dolua, each level of improvement is as difficult as climbing to the sky, but in the divine assessment, you can save years of hard training. If you are willing to join the elder hall, I will still be very happy. You just refuse to let go of any opportunity to ride on my head, right? Sasuke said to Xue Qingha. Maybe after the soul master competition, I will start to deal with Emperor Xue Yi. It is not the time to break up with Bibi Dong yet. Xue Qingha said. I can help you solve Emperor Xue Yi's matter, and I can do it with justice and without losing any blood. In exchange, after the matter is completed, you must give me the Poseidon token as soon as possible. Sasuke said. How do you want to solve it? After all, it is the royal family. The palace is heavily guarded and there are countless masters in the dark. I have been in the palace for so long and I still haven't figured out how much the old man has hidden. Xue Qingha said. Don't confuse me with you, just look at the results. Sasuke said. Xue Qingha and Sasuke returned to the camp, and Hong Yan and Ning Fengji also stood up and prepared to leave. Xue Qingha looked at the people at the Hokage Academy and said, it is said that the prize given out by the spirit hall this time is three soul bones. Everyone, please work hard. Soul bones. Three pieces. What a grand gesture. Marshall Soul Hall has always won the championship. These three soul bones are not so much prizes as they are tailor-made for the three backbones of their golden generation. If you win, our Tiendo royal family will have more. Precious reward. Xue Qingha said and looked at Sasuke with a meaningful look. After sending Xue Qingha away, Sasuke asked everyone, How is it? Have you decided who will fight? Tomorrow is the match against Shrek Academy. 
Yi Ling'er, who has held a grudge for a long time, will naturally not let this opportunity pass by. With her character, no one will compete with her. Sasuke looked at Yi Ling'er and said, You must learn to fight quickly, and the shorter the time to make judgments in the battle, the better. Only in this way can you take the lead in the battle and drag the opponent into your rhythm. Yesterday's wrong wrong was this is a wrong example, do you understand? Yi Ling'er nodded. If it's you, if you don't win well enough, even if you complete one where seven, you will still have to go back to Nodding City to stay. Sasuke said. Teacher, don't worry, I've been waiting for this battle for a long time. Chapter, 49 Hey! Madam Uchiha, it's time to set off. What are you still dawdling about? Ling Yun shouted towards the tent where Yi Ling'er was. After a while, Yi Ling'er was seen walking out of the tent with a proud look on her face. She had an exquisite short coat on her upper body. Yi Ling'er turned her back to show off to everyone, only to see the coat. There is a fan pattern with red upper part and white lower part tattooed on his back. Long before the competition, Yi Ling'er quietly went to Xingxiu Pavilion to customize this short coat, and she was finally able to wear it today. Ling Yun's face twitched, and he thought, ha, woman. When Sasuke saw it, he was speechless for a moment, but he wouldn't say anything so stingy as to let her off. With Ning Rongrong Zhuyu in front, today's match between Hokage Academy and Shrek Academy was extremely hot. Both teams were the favorites in this sole master competition. One is a dark horse that entered the promotion round with a complete victory, and the other is a mysterious team that did nothing in the preliminaries but made a splash in the promotion round and shocked the entire Soul Master world. What people didn't expect was that the two teams crashed in the second game. If the outside world knew about the various minor frictions between the two colleges, the scene would probably be even more exciting. What a surprise! Facing the mysterious and powerful enemy Hokage Academy, Team Shrek did not send Tang San and Dai Mubai, who had previously shined in the qualifiers. But instead sent a level 37 attack type Soul Master Tai Lung, and the Hokage Academy sent Yi Ling'er, who was the only one to take action in the preliminaries. Did I read the level of this member correctly? Yi Ling'er sent by the Hokage Academy is a level 47 agility attack type fighting spirit sect. As soon as the host finished speaking, the whole arena started to boil again. Level 37 versus Level 47 Pressed a full 10 levels. How to fight this? Yi Ling'er has never been a modest and reserved character. She jumped onto the ring and her four soul rings rose up. Two yellow and two black. The exact same soul ring matching as Ning Rongrong. Although some people had expected it before the game, seeing it in person still made the entire stadium excited again. Looking at the domineering Yi Ling'er standing opposite him, Tai Long swallowed a mouthful of saliva, thinking of the master's well-planned arrangement yesterday, and thought to himself, this is different from what was promised. Tai Long looked back at the Shrek crowd and saw the master calmly holding out a finger. Tai Long recalled the master's words yesterday and made up his mind, one word, delay. Tai Long calmed down, yes, no matter what, as long as he held her back today, there would be jingling, Huang Yuan, Xiao Wu, Dai Lao and a bunch of people behind him. We must not disappoint everyone's expectations. Thinking of this, Tai Long released his martial soul, and three soul rings, two yellow and one purple, rose up. Yi Ling'er looked at Tai Lung who was looking at death, smiled and stretched out his hand and said, How about you go down directly? Gorilla, I'm not afraid to tell you, for someone as capable as me, there are five more behind me. But there are five more behind me. It doesn't matter, because today, I'm going to fight seven. Tai Long had already brainwashed himself, and Yi Ling'er's ridicule had no effect. Stop talking nonsense. Let's fight. Evil Soul Master. Yi Ling'er was startled when she heard this, and became angry in her heart, saying, What are you talking about, you idiot? I saw Yi Ling'er turn around in a blink of an eye. Before Tai Long could see his movements clearly, he only felt a majestic look on his face and his eyelids could no longer be opened. Before Tai Long could even protect his face with his arms, he was kicked hard by Yi Ling'er on the face. Two teeth flew out of his mouth, and a gushing nosebleed streaked the air with bright red. 
the whole person flew directly out of the ring. This. This, this, this. Shrek's Tai Long player was kicked out of the field by Yi Linger in less than two seconds. What a magical move. The host couldn't help but exclaimed. Hum, he gathers chakra on his feet and moves at high speed like a gust of wind. It is difficult for ordinary people to catch his movements with the naked eye. Yi Linger's chakra attribute can still strengthen the thunder attribute of physical skills, even without using the third soul skill. Just moving chakra to the required parts can greatly improve one's mobility. Yi Linger succeeded with one blow and slowly lowered her long legs. According to Sasuke Sensei, this teleportation technique can be used to its extreme to form multiple physical clones in a small area. Which can be used to distract the enemy and make the opponent mistakenly think that it is just an ordinary afterimage clone, thus defeating the enemy naturally. Today's small test, I can really win by surprise. Jing Ling and Huang Yuan looked at each other, and then looked at Yu Xiao Zhang. Yu Xiao Zhang looked deep in thought and said, You two are both of the agility attack type. You take turns going into battle. After entering the battle, you directly deal with her. Let me observe again and consume her as much as possible. It is best if you can force out her soul skills. Jing Ling and Huang Yuan naturally couldn't disobey their orders, but they said in their hearts, even Tai Lung couldn't resist the kick, they wouldn't die directly on the stage if they went up, right? Die early and be born early. Jing Ling was the first to appear, showing off his martial spirit, and without saying a word, he directly activated the third soul skill frenzy fighting. Jing Ling kept jumping across the field repeatedly, but did not dare to attack rashly. Damn it! There are no flaws. Jing Ling broke out in cold sweat. If this continues, the soul power consumption will be unbearable. Yi Linger kept catching Jing Ling's movements and grasped the rhythm of her movements. The corner of her mouth curled up, and the next second she kicked directly towards Jing Ling's foothold. Not good. The huge inertia of high speed movement made Jing Ling unable to change her movements, and could only watch as she bumped into that beautiful leg. After receiving a heavy blow to the abdomen, Jing Ling spit out a mouthful of blood and flew out of the ring in the same posture. No matter what, I lasted almost 20 seconds, which was about 10 talons, so it wasn't a loss. Jing Ling thought this before losing consciousness. Jing Ling was defeated, so Huang Yuan couldn't fall behind. He rushed to the ring with a sprint and released his martial spirit lone wolf. Looking at Yi Linger who looked unconcerned, Huang Yuan thought to himself, since he can't block it, then attack. Attack is the best defense. The number one soul skill. Serious transformation. Huang Yuan let out a wolf howl, and all the veins in his body exploded. The third soul skill. Hungry wolf attack. Huang Yuan crouched down and rushed towards Yi Linger, just like the master said, he must at least force out her soul skills. Yi Linger looked at Huang Yuan who was coming straight towards her, and thought to herself, has this stupid guy forgotten something? My aunt is a level 47 soul sect. So what if I take your move? Yi Linger turned around and turned her back to Huang Yuan. She closed her eyes and felt the momentum approaching. She turned around suddenly and hit Huang Yuan's chin with a side kick. The moment Huang Yuan flew out, Yi Linger Linger had already circled around and returned to the posture when her back was turned to her opponent. Handsome. Yi Linger praised herself in her heart. Dai Mubai couldn't sit still as he kicked the three soul lords away with three kicks. It's really useless. Xiao Wu looked at Huang Yuan and others and said with disgust, Boss Dai. Don't worry. Look at me. Xiao Wu, be careful. Tang San said hurriedly. Xiao Wu jumped onto the ring. When Yi Linger saw that the person coming was a girl, she waved her hand and said, you'd better get down. As a girl, I understand the importance of face. Listen to my sister's advice, otherwise you'll have to wait for several days. You can't even see anyone anymore. Humph. Just because Sasuke, the evil soul master in your academy, hurt Xiao San, I will definitely come up and teach you a lesson. Xiao Wu said angrily. Evil soul master. Yi Linger's face darkened when she heard this, 
and her soul power slowly gathered at her feet, and she said, If you say that, then there is no need to talk. The cold is gone, but my teeth are starting to hurt and numb again. If you don't understand, just ask, why are such mentally retarded teeth called wisdom teeth? I ask for votes every day, everyone, don't hide it, ying ying ying. Chapter, 50 Yi Ling'er used the teleportation technique to get close to Xiao Wu. For Xiao Wu, who was also a soul master, Yi Ling'er did not intend to use soul skills and ninjutsu. Yi Ling'er kicked out, and Xiao Wu lowered her upper body in an extremely exaggerated arc to avoid the blow. Then she put her hands on the ground and did a backflip followed by a kick to attack Yi Ling'er's chin. Yi Ling'er directly grabbed Xiao Wu's ankle and kicked Xiao Wu's back. Xiao Wu used her ankle as a point of strength to sit up and clamped Yi Ling'er's neck with her legs. The first soul skill, Waist Bow. Yi Ling'er was not in a hurry, and flew out into the air with two somersaults, regaining her footing, and said with a smile, Your waist is indeed very soft, but unfortunately, it is only meaningful to men. The Waist Bow didn't throw her away, so she had to use the eighth level to throw her away. Don't blame me for being merciless. It was you who hurt the mistress first. Xiao Wu's eyes glowed with a pink halo. The second soul skill, charm. Yi Ling'er looked at the little girl in front of her and suddenly felt that she was extremely cute, like a soft and waxy kitten. When Xiao Wu saw Yi Ling'er being tricked, she naturally wouldn't let this opportunity go. The third soul skill, teleportation. Xiao Wu instantly appeared in front of Yi Ling'er. Here you go. Yu Xiaojiang patted the railing and said. Well, as long as Xiao Wu uses the 8th level throw, even if she is a soul sect, she has no power to resist. Tang San said with a smile on his face. Oscar and Ma Hongjun thought of the pervert being unhappy being served by Xiao Wu's 8th level wrestling, and they were immediately full of expectations for the scene of Yi Ling'er being beaten by the 8th level. It's a beautiful thing to see that proud woman being ravaged by Xiao Wu's 8th level wrestling. Dai Mubai said with great interest. Your charm technique is far worse than Sasuke's Genjutsu. After Xiao Wu got close to Yi Ling'er, she found that Yi Ling'er was looking at her and laughing. How can it be? Xiao Wu was stunned, how could this woman break through her charms so quickly? In this short pause, Yi Ling'er's figure rioted. She squatted down quickly, put one hand on the ground, and kicked one foot into the air. Xiao Wu's chin was hit hard, and her whole body was kicked off the ground. While Xiao Wu was still floating in the air, Yi Ling'er's hands on the ground pushed her whole body up like a spring, followed closely by kicks one after another. Xiao Wu's body was kicked upwards by Yi Ling'er, a total of seven or eight times. Xiao Wu's delicate body was kicked as high as three or four stories. Finally, Yi Ling'er flipped her body in the air to be level with Xiao Wu, and kicked Xiao Wu on the back from above. Lion Combo With this kick, Xiao Wu's whole body hit the ring. The moment he landed, the huge falling force bounced his body up, and Xiao Wu spurted out a mouthful of blood. At the same time, Yi Ling'er in the air kicked Xiao Wu on the ground like an arrow. Xiao Wu Everyone in Shrek exclaimed, and Tang San even held the railing with both hands, even the plaster on his remaining arm was shattered. Yi Ling'er's flying kick landed on the ground, and the shattered arena stirred up a burst of dust and flying rocks. Xiao Wu stared blankly at the sky. Next to her head, Yi Ling'er's feet had sunk into the ring. If this kick landed firmly on his head, it would be a bloody scene. Xiao Wu wanted to get up, but she lost consciousness all over her body. Xiao Wu wanted to speak, but found that she was distracted by Yi Ling'er's continuous kicking skills. Now she could only open her mouth and look at the sky like a moron. Why are you standing there stunned? Yi Ling'er turned back to the referee and asked. Only then did the referee react and announced loudly, Shrek Team Xiao Wu has lost the ability to fight, and the Hokage Academy wins. Tang San rushed directly to the ring and hugged Xiao Wu's shoulder with one hand. Xiao Wu coughed and a few drops of blood fell on Tang San's hand, but he was speechless. You. Tang San's eyes flashed with murderous intent, and he glared at Yi Ling'er fiercely. At this moment, a hand was placed on Tang San's shoulder. 
Tang San looked up and saw that it was Dai Mubai, the evil-eyed white tiger. Xiao San, take Xiao Wu down and leave this place to me. Dai Mubai said. Tang San helped Xiao Wu up and exchanged glances with Dai Mubai. Both parties understood the other's intentions. You are indeed very strong. Dai Mubai looked at Yi Ling'er, the two yellow and two purple soul rings on his body lit up, and said, but, I am stronger. Yi Ling'er raised her eyebrows, finally a soul sect came. Then let me see if you can force everything out of me. Yi Ling'er said. Since it is a duel with an attack type soul master, we won't do anything fancy. A burst of air burst out from Dai Mubai's body, and his attack, defense, and strength were directly increased by 50%. The number one soul skill. White Tiger Protective Barrier. Dai Mubai, who gained the boost, rushed straight towards Yi Ling'er, with the potential of a tiger descending the mountain. Thunder Release. Heavy Current Break. Yi Ling'er didn't need to dodge, she condensed chakra with her fists and blasted forward. Dai Mubai was seen hitting Yi Ling'er with fist to fist. It's too arrogant for a sensitive attack type to choose to confront the power attack type head-on. Yu Xiaojiang has already seen the reason for Yi Ling'er's defeat, that is, underestimating the enemy. Two energies collided on the stage, and cracks appeared on the ground under Yi Ling'er's feet, but her figure did not take a step back. What the hell is this? Dai Mubai felt a faint feeling of numbness coming from his fists, and then he opened his mouth wide, and a white light wave sprayed towards Yi Ling'er's head at close range. The second soul skill. White Tiger Fierce Light Wave. Yi Ling'er squatted sideways, dodged Dai Mubai's second soul skill, and struck Dai Mubai's lower body with a sweep. Dai Mubai jumped into the air, charging up power with one hand, and countless fist-sized light balls condensed behind him. The fourth soul skill. White Tiger Meteor Shower. Looking at the balls of light in the sky, Yi Ling'er naturally wouldn't take on the fourth soul skill. It wasn't a question of whether he could take it on. What if he broke the custom-made coat? Besides, Sasuke said, it would be too embarrassing not to win. Thunder Escape Thunder God Armor Yi Ling'er's chakra surged all over her body, forming a layer of visible lightning around her body to avoid obstacles, and at the same time, her body functions increased rapidly. The third soul skill. Particle activation. With the blessing of the third soul skill enhanced by the soul bone and the thunder god armor, Yi Ling'er's speed, strength and reflexes reached an astonishing level at this time. Yi Ling'er looked up at the falling balls of light and the entire competition scene, as if she had entered a space where the flow of time was extremely slow. What a slow attack. Yi Ling'er thought this in her heart. As if strolling in a courtyard, Yi Ling'er easily dodged Dai Mubai's overwhelming fourth soul skill. From the perspective of the audience and the referee, Yi Ling'er on the stage has turned into a bolt of lightning, constantly shuttling back and forth on the ring, and numerous shadows appeared. Dai Mubai fell from mid-air and looked at Yi Ling'er, who was unharmed, with disbelief. That's it. Yi Ling'er looked at Dai Mubai blankly and said, I don't even know what you are doing. The third soul skill. White Tiger Vitra Transformation The attack, defense, and strength are enhanced by 100%. With the White Tiger Protective Barrier, the attack, defense, and strength are enhanced by a total of 150%. Dai Mubai's eyes glowed white, and Yi Ling'er didn't waste any time and stepped forward to exchange fists and kicks with him. With the dual blessing of Thunder God Armor and Particle Activation, Yi Ling'er was like a divine help as if she could easily reach every inch of the arena, and she could easily identify and crack every attack of Dai Mubai. After a fierce battle, Dai Mubai's upper body clothes had been scorched black by the electricity. This watch's fists are still charged. Dai Mubai gasped for air, his hands and feet couldn't stop shaking, and thought to himself. Are you out of moves? Yi Ling'er jumped out of the battle circle after seeing Dai Mubai and said, that's just right, I'll try that one. Thunder Escape Angry Thunder Tiger A large amount of thunder chakra gathered around Yi Ling'er, and the thunder chakra formed into a huge blue tiger with thunder and lightning wrapped around its body. We must use tigers to defeat tigers. 
Yi Ling'er chuckled, and the huge blue tiger behind him rushed towards Dai Mubai. Dai Mubai was about to jump up to avoid it, but found that the entire ground was covered with electricity. The calf is paralyzed. Dai Mubai was shocked and hurriedly activated his first soul skill, White Tiger Body Barrier. I hope I can use that moment of damage reduction to withstand this blow. The blue tiger with lightning all over its body roared and pounced on Dai Mubai, turning into a huge ball of electric light, bursting out with dazzling electricity. This ninjutsu consumed 80% of Yi Ling'er's chakra, which was definitely not something Dai Mubai could handle at the end of his rope. The lightning lasted for a full 5 or 6 seconds. 5 or 6 seconds later, Dai Mubai, whose whole body was charred, exhaled a breath of white air and collapsed on the ground, twitching continuously. There was foaming at the mouth from above, and an unknown yellow liquid flowed from below. There was a faint smell in the air. Yi Linger covered her mouth and nose and looked at the referee. The referee stepped forward to check Dai Mubai's injury. As soon as he got close, he turned around and vomited. The evil-eyed white tiger Dai Mubai. Shit and urine flowed to Dai Mubai. Chapter, 51 You the host couldn't help but made a sound of vomiting, which echoed throughout the audience through the microphone. Then he immediately recovered and said, Shrek Dai Mubai has lost the ability to fight, the Hokage Academy wins. At this moment, everyone in Shrek was silent in the stands. No one expected that Boss Dai, who was usually like a god of war, would be defeated so completely. The joy and confidence that they had when they laid out their tactics yesterday were gone. Everyone frowned and said nothing. In everyone's eyes, it was Dai Mubai's turn to appear, which would naturally bring victory. Even if it was a hard fight, at worst it would still take 300 rounds. But it is what it is. Oscar and Ma Hongjun woke up from the shock and quickly came to the stage to lift Dai Mubai down. What does it smell like? Oscar asked with a frown as he approached the ring. Stop asking, hurry up. Ma Hongjun pinched his nose with one hand and held Dai Mubai's arm with the other. The two men just carried Dai Mubai out of the ring, with urine and feces flowing all the way. Go directly back to the camp. Oscar reminded. Ma Hongjun nodded, and the three of them left the competition site. Master, will you let me play? Zhu Zhu Qing asked. At this moment, the Golan trio had left the scene. Tang San's arm was injured and she was the only one left who could fight best. Let's give up this round. As the dean, Flanders can only say this. Yu Xiaojiang looked at Zhu Zhuqing and said, Do you have confidence in an opponent that Mubai has not been able to defeat? Zhu Zhuqing was speechless after hearing this. Yes, Dai Mubai was defeated so completely, what could she do? However, she wanted to fight for it. This competition has a different meaning to her. No matter what, I fought hard and worked hard, and I deserve to die. But if she just sits there and waits for death, she doesn't have to stay away from her hometown and come to Shrek, to the venue of the Soul Master competition. If she also cowers, what is the difference between Dai Mubai who indulges himself in the flowers and gives up on himself? She didn't want to be the kind of person she hated. I want to try it. Zhu Zhu Qing said with firm eyes. Yu Xiaojiang said, even so, I will not let you play. You have a more important role in my tactical deployment. Flanders is right, we can give up tactically in this game. Teacher. As soon as Tang San heard Yu Xiaojiang say that he wanted to give up, the anger in his heart became even more intense, and he said loudly, let me play. Xiao San. You know your current physical condition. If you don't use tricks and hidden weapons, it will be difficult for you to defeat Mubai, let alone her. Yu Xiaojiang said sternly, don't be carried away by anger. For the final victory, I can endure it, but not for Xiao Wu. Teacher, you believe me. After Tang San said this, he was about to walk to the ring. As soon as he took two steps, he felt his head sinking and he collapsed. On the ground. Lu Erlong appeared behind Tang San with his hand raised, and said sullenly to Jing Ling and Huang Yuan, take him back to rest. In this way, Jing Ling and Huang Yuan carried Tang San, and Lu Erlong hugged Xiao Wu and left the competition site. 
Just when everyone's attention was focused on Tang San, a beautiful figure flew out from the crowd and landed on the ring. Zhu Qing Yu Xiaojiang said angrily when he saw that Zhu Zhu Qing did not obey his orders and acted without authorization. Yi Lingya was playing haha -ha and was about to fall asleep when a cold and beautiful woman with a curvy figure suddenly jumped up and her eyes suddenly shone. It's really good. Yi Lingya looked Zhu Zhu Qing up and down, swallowed and said in silence. Who wouldn't envy this figure? The key is that face and demeanor, which makes people want to conquer. Etc. Could it be that I have been tired of Ning Rong Rong for a long time, and there is really a problem with my orientation? Yi Ling'er shook her head, put aside those strange thoughts, and adjusted her state. Before Zhu Zhu Qing could reveal his martial spirit, Flanders flew down from the stands, came to the ring and said to the host, We abstain from this match. Teacher. Zhu Zhu Qing rarely spoke with emotion. Stop talking. Zhu Qing. Go back and reflect on it. Flanders said. Hey. Where is that wretched fat man? Is he not going to play? Yi Ling'er asked quickly when she heard that Flender was going to abstain. Humph. Flender pushed his eyes, did not answer Yi Ling'er, and flew directly away from the ring. Shrek Academy actually abstained. Its backbone, Tang San, didn't even play. It seems that they gave up this round tactically. This game will be won by the Hokage Academy. The host announced loudly. I never expected that Shrek, who has been winning continuously, would sometimes give up. Emperor Shuya stroked his beard and said, Your Majesty, if you have time, please introduce everyone from the Hokage Academy to my father. Shue Chingha, who was waiting on the side, nodded and said, Speaking of which, this Hokage Academy also intends to serve our Tiendo royal family. After the Soul Master competition is over, my father can personally commend it. I am not exaggerating. This Hokage Academy, it is really possible to break Wuhuan Palace's monopoly on the Soul Master Competition Champion. If this is the case, with these outstanding juniors, our Tiendo Empire will not be afraid of foreign enemies. Emperor Shuaye said happily. Zhu Zhu Qing stood on the ring, lowered his head, clenched his hands into fists, and dug his nails into the flesh of his palms. Still not enough. Is it still too little that you have paid? Zhu Zhuqing's eyes were gradually blurred by tears, just like her life path, which was confused. When a person dies, everything becomes meaningless. Yi Ling'er looked at Zhu Zhuqing, who was acting abnormally, and said, It's just a loss of a game, isn't it? Zhu Zhuqing ignored Yi Ling'er and silently walked down the ring. Seeing Zhu Zhuqing's back leaving alone, Yi Ling'er felt a feeling of affection in her heart for no reason. It's over, you won't really bend right? Yi Ling'er couldn't help but trembled when she thought of this, and quickly left the ring. The girls at the Hokage Academy have been waiting for their eldest sister for a long time. When Yi Ling'er came back, there was naturally a lot of praise. The bragging made Yi Ling'er feel very good. She raised her hand and said, Basic operation. Basic operation. Where did Mr. Sasuke go? Yi Ling'er glanced around and asked. He left after seeing you defeat Dai Mubai. Ling Yun said, it seems that he wanted to find something. To be honest, in my heart, Sasuke has never been the kind of person who likes to fight, ruthless and murderous. Most of the time, he is careless and chaotic. Even when he was most fooled by Abito, he was not so brainless. Sasuke has always been very strict with himself. Chapter 52 as night falls, every college tent in the hunting ground has a different scene. Some are happy and some are sad. The joys and sorrows of each person are not the same. The little guys have been hit hard. Flanders said. Occasionally suffering a loss is a kind of experience for their state of mind. Yu Xiaojiang said, this will also be good for their future competitions. At least it will let them know how difficult the road of soul master is. In Shrek's boy's camp, Dai Mubai was lying on the bed, his eyes closed and silent, exuding a depressed atmosphere. The perfume on his body was faintly mixed with a strange smell. This caused Tang San and others to frown from time to time. Ma Hongjun was lying on the bed, chewing meat pie and said, Third brother. 
we have to find a way to get it back from this situation. Tang San was much more depressed than Ma Hong Jun at the moment. If private fighting hadn't been prohibited in the hunting grounds, he would have definitely taken advantage of the darkness to make Yi Ling'er pay the price for what he had done. If he can play during the day, he may not be able to fight with the eight spider soul bones if he sacrifices them. Dai Mubai was extremely anxious as he listened to Ma Hongjuan's chatter. He was beaten until he became incontinent in front of the royal family and many members of the academy. This battle directly brought out the demons in Dai Mubai's heart. A feeling of suffocation remained in his chest as he kept thinking about it. Dai Mubai thought about what he would do if he could do it all over again, and he even started to hit himself on the head with his fist, which frightened Ma Hongjun into shutting up immediately. On the other side, Yi Ling'er and others were cooking sheep and wine in the camp, laughing and playing, and they were very happy. The only thing that made Yi Ling'er unhappy was that the fat man who teased Ling Shui before was not beaten in today's game. She was really upset. Ning Rongrong couldn't stand Yi Ling'er's disgust, her face turned red from drinking, and she ran out of the tent to get some air. While taking a walk, she saw a familiar figure sitting by the river. Zhu Qing Ning Rongrong ran over and sat next to Zhu Zhu Qing. When Zhu Zhu Qing saw Ning Rongrong coming, he nodded slightly at him, his big eyes slightly red. What's wrong? Is someone bullying you? Ning Rongrong used to have the best relationship with Zhu Zhu Qing when she was at Shrek. Seeing that Zhu Zhu Qing looked like she had cried, Ning Rongrong asked hurriedly. Nothing. Zhu Zhu Qing tilted his head and said. It's just a loss. There are many more to come. Ning Rongrong said, I can't see that you still care so much about winning or losing the game, my iceberg beauty. Zhu Zhu Qing hesitated to speak. Ning Rongrong saw this and asked, Do you have any special difficulties? Can't you even tell me? Zhu Zhu Qing said, Rongrong, to tell you the truth, if I can't defeat my sister in this competition, I might. After listening to Zhu Zhu Qing's story, Ning Rongrong was quite puzzled. There are such perverted rules. It's okay to let close brothers and sisters compete with each other. Why should you pay the price of your freedom or even your life if you lose? I'm still too weak after all. Zhu Zhuliang said with his hands on his forehead and his fingers inserted into his hair. It's not your fault, it's your family's fault. Such rules and practices that distort human nature are wrong in themselves. It's too sad to become stronger just for such a thing. Ning Rongrong said unfairly. After hearing this, Zhu Zhuqin narration, Ning Rongrong became more convinced of Sasuke's path of revolutionizing the world. Zhu Qing. Don't give up. Even if you lose, I will always stand by your side. You can come to my Qibao glazed sect. It's a perverted place like Xingluo. Don't wait. Ning Rongrong hugged Zhu Zhu Qing and pressed against her. Said the forehead. Rongrong, thank you. Zhu Zhu Qing also hugged Ning Rongrong, buried her head in Ning Rongrong's chest, and shed tears slightly. This was the first time in so many years that she felt that she had someone to rely on. It would be great if teacher Sasuke could be persuaded to accept Zhu Qing, Ning Rongrong thought as she looked at Zhu Zhu Qing in her arms. In the Star Forest, Sasuke cut open the body of a giant bear and took out a golden soul bone. This thing is indeed rare. Sasuke opened his Sharingan and searched for it for a long time, but he only collected four soul bones. Speaking of which, those two big guys must have soul bones, right? Sasuke thought. It was almost midnight. After Sasuke absorbed all the soul power of the giant bear, he turned around, wrapped the four soul bones in a piece of black cloth, and carried them back to the hunting ground. In the Hokage Academy camp, Yi Ling'er and others looked at the four shining soul bones on the table and were speechless for a long time. Yi Zhichio's jaw dropped to the table and his mouth opened wide, feeling like he would swallow all four soul bones in the next second. Brother Sasuke. Yi Zhichio swallowed hard and said, You. Bai Cha, Ling Shui, Mu Qing, you choose first. Sasuke said, ignoring Yi Zhichio. The three women stretched out their slightly trembling hands and touched the soul bones, feeling how the soul power in them fit with their own. 
It would be too outrageous to have a treasure that has driven countless soul masters crazy in front of you for you to choose from. Even Ning Rongrong, who was born in the Qibao glazed sect, was shocked when he saw Sasuke's handiwork. You must know that at this moment, young soul masters across the continent are vying for the rewards released by Wuhuan Palace, but here in this small camp, Sasuke is letting his students choose soul bones like watermelons. Occasionally, soldiers on patrol passed by and saw the colorful brilliance emanating from the tents. They couldn't help but marvel at how the Hokage Academy's tent was even equipped with colored lights. First come, first served. Sasuke looked at the hesitant three people and said, as soon as these words came out, Ling Shui and Bai Cha immediately chose their soul bones, while Mu Qin was the only one who hesitated between a skull and a torso bone. Choose this skull, Sasuke said. Then it's up to you. Mu Qin smiled and chose the skull. There was still a torso bone left, and Sasuke said to Ning Rongrong and Ling Yun, you two decide. Where's Ling Er? Ning Rongrong asked. Yi Ling Er chuckled, pointed her thumb towards her back and said, Sister, I already have the torso bone. Ling Yun has been responsible for being the eldest son since he was a child, so naturally he can't bear to argue with Ning Rongrong. Anyway, with Sasuke, this kind of thing happens again and again. Although soul bones are precious, they only last a long time. Ning Rongrong was more respectful than obeying the order, picked up the torso bone and absorbed it together with Ling Shui and the others. After all four people had absorbed it, before they could share their joy, Sasuke called everyone together and said, after absorbing this soul bone, I won't watch your games anymore. You know what to do next. I will disappear for a while when I come down, and you all can settle down. After saying that, Sasuke's body turned into nothing. There was silence in the tent for a moment. Chapter, 53 After Sasuke left the royal hunting ground, he took the flying soul beast alone to the destination of his trip, True Dragon Mountain. On the way to True Dragon Mountain, Sasuke vaguely felt that someone was secretly following and spying on him. He was about to let go of his consciousness to check, but found that the other person had stopped following him again. On Junlong Mountain, a middle-aged man with a tough face and a burly body was admiring the moon on the edge of the cliff. The night wind made his robe rustle. Behind him stood a man in black robes, it was Sasuke. All the way up the mountain, not one of the 800 disciples of True Dragon Mountain noticed me. What a trick you have. Yu Yu Engine turned around and looked at Sasuke and said. All the way up the mountain, you are the strongest. You are Yu Yu Engine, the patriarch of the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus family, right? You smell like a title Dolo. Sasuke said. You are able to jump over Luo Mian and find me. Are you a level above Contra? That really opened my eyes. Yu Yu Enjin looked at Sasuke, who looked less than twenty years old, and said. You must know that his younger brother Yuluo Mian is on Jinlong Mountain at this moment, but he did not notice the intruder in front of him. That's not important. I'm here to negotiate terms today. Sasuke said. Yu Yu Enjin smiled slightly. As a level 95 title Dolua of the attack system, he also had the best attack power in the world with a beast martial spirit. Throughout his life, he had been free and easy, following his own will. He had not been restricted by anyone, and no one dared to negotiate terms with him. However, the courage of the young man in front of him made him quite curious and admired. Let me tell you. If you are right, I will forgive your guilt for rushing into the mountain. If you are not right, then jump down from here to sacrifice my true dragon ancestor. Yu Yu Enjin said. Sasuke did not hesitate and said straight to the point, I want to unify the continent. If your Blue Lightning Tyrannosaurus family is willing, you can be responsible for part of the military management. If you are not willing, then just stay in the Jilong Mountains and take good care of your family's children. After leaving this mountain range, you Blue Lightning Tyrannosaurus people will be bound by laws and regulations, and all punishments will be equal. Is there any problem? Yu Yu Enjin looked at Sasuke and suddenly laughed and said, A dragon can only be a dragon. It will always be a dragon. How can you be willing to be a hawk and a dog? You are the first one and I can't get away with it. It's not a hawk or a dog, it's a brother or sister. 
Sasuke said, unlike those so-called royal nobles, what I want to establish is a peaceful and prosperous era where hierarchies are eliminated and the country is governed according to law. Of course you can do it for your blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex. Proud of blood, but in the grand scheme of things, I want you to be on the side of the law. After hearing Sasuke's words, Yu Yu Enjin suddenly felt like he had met him too late, but he still felt that this young man was too arrogant. It seems that Yu Yu Enjin hates evil by nature and loves to take care of injustices. He is the only sect on the mainland that dares to confront the Wuhuan Palace head on. He and the Chibao Glazed sect, who tend to follow the trend, cannot deal with each other. Because of this, I made a lot of enemies when I was young. I just locked myself in this Shenlong mountain and didn't dare to go out for fear of being picked up if I wasn't careful. The bloodline of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex is very thin now. Boy, I won't talk about whether you can unify the continent. Do you think it's possible to use legal provisions to bind everyone? To be honest, if I was the only title Dolua in this world, I would already be the one in this world. Yu Yu Engine is shocked. After Yu Yu Engine finished speaking, he pointed into the distance with one hand and continued, In those places, there are so many monsters and monsters. They are all ghosts that eat people without spitting out their bones. Since I said that I want to unify the continent, I will take care of all the evil spirits and imps. You don't have to worry about this. You just need to tell me if you are willing to become a member of the management of this continent. Sasuke said, You blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex are living in this Jolong Mountains. You have made too many enemies, and your bloodline has withered. You are all very reluctant to live. You can only stay here and rely on the protection of your ancestors. The two grandsons are here. I'm afraid you're also very wary about the experience outside, right? Becoming a member of the world management team, your blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex footprints can be spread all over the world, and any justice can be executed by your hands. Isn't this considered a supreme honor? What Sasuke said struck a chord in Yu Yu Engine's heart. It was really frustrating that the dragon flying in the sky had to be entangled in the Nine Dragons Mountains. Yu Yu Engine was not an old otaku. However, more than 1,800 tribesmen cannot live without his protection. Yu Yu Enjin looked at Sasuke and smiled, You kid, have you been studying me for a long time? Sasuke said, It won't take long, but you are one of the few I am willing to talk to. The rest, if you are disobedient, just erase them. It's also a strong attack type. Why didn't you go to the Houtian sect, which is the best in the world, instead of coming to me? Yu Yu Enjin asked again. You are a squatter, and he is a turtle. The shorter one is just taller. You are still a little better than those guys who are shrinking like turtles. Sasuke said. Boy, you are so arrogant. Yu Yu Enjin said this, but he felt very happy in his heart. What bullshit Houtian sect, a double Dolua sect. However, a Wuhuan palace was so frightened that if the Houtian sect had a little tougher bones, plus the Chibao glazed sect and the Tiendo royal family, how could the Seoul palace be so arrogant? Yu Yu Enjin got angry when he talked about this. Finally, there was someone who dared to confront those weaklings. Enough talking, give me your answer. Sasuke said. Yu Yu Enjin raised one hand slightly, and the sky behind him suddenly thundered with lightning and strong winds. Sasuke could clearly see Yu Yu Enjin's soul power surged around him, and bursts of dragon roars were faintly heard throughout the Jilong Mountains. Chapter 54 what? Sasuke asked without changing his expression. From the current point of view, your words are too whimsical, but they are quite useful to me. I can forgive you for venturing into the mountain, but it is not that easy to get down. Yu Yu Engine's voice suddenly became extremely loud. There were constant echoes in the powerful valley, and the originally silent mountains seemed to be under another sky for a while. That's fine, I also want to test whether Thunder Dolua's weight is worth wasting my words on. After Sasuke finished speaking, he shook his majesty and released his soul power and chakra at the same time. Yu Yu Enjin felt the pressure released by Sasuke, his eyes widened, he was extremely excited, and his blood surged for an instant. After living in this mountain for so long, I finally have a decent opponent. Boy, since you've leaked the truth, I won't hold anything back. 
Be careful. After Yu Yu Enjin finished speaking, electric light burst out from his whole body. After a while, his whole body was covered with dragon scales, and the muscles of his hands swelled. Several times, the five fingers turned into dragon claws, a pair of dragon wings spread out from the back, the head also had the characteristics of a dragon, and a line between the eyebrows shone with light. Yu Yu Enjin slowly rose into the sky, blocking the moonlight, and his huge figure was reflected on the entire true dragon mountain, giving him a full sense of oppression. No wonder it was the best beast spirit in the world. In just a few seconds, Sasuke could feel Yu Yu Anjin's pressure surged several times. In this state, there should be no rivals for Tidal Dolua at the same level. Sasuke didn't intend to use any tricks to test, and directly transformed into a half-length Susanoo, drew his bow and knocked an arrow, and shot at Yu Yu Anjin. What kind of soul skill is this? Is the martial spirit's true form? Yu Yu Enjin didn't have time to think too much and stretched out his hands forward. The number one soul skill. Thunder Dragon Claw. I saw a pair of dragon claws made of thunder and lightning shooting towards Sasuke, colliding with the arrow shot by Sasuke. The dragon claws tightly grasped the huge arrow branch, unable to stop it from moving forward. Yu Yu Enjin flew out several thunder dragon claws one after another, which collided with the arrow branches. There was an explosion in the air, and countless rubbles were stirred up on the entire cliff. Boy! You can't use your skills here. Maybe you can fight with me in the sky. Yu Yu Enjin said to Sasuke for fear of ruining this good place to admire the moon. Upon hearing this, Sasuke used the force field to lift his body up into the sky. Today, Sasuke is able to walk in the sky without using his complete Susanoo. Sasuke replaced Susanoo's bow and arrows with two swords, and slashed at Yu Yu Enjin with one sword. Tamaki Yu Enjin did not dodge, but directly reached for Susanoo's giant sword with both hands. The giant sword slashed down, Yu Yu Enjin resisted the giant sword with both hands and arms, let out a burst of dragon roar, and stood there in a stalemate. Sasuke snorted coldly, and cut down the giant sword in his other hand. The two swords overlapped each other, and the pressure of Yu Yu Enjin doubled. Unable to withstand it, he finally gave in, stepped aside, and began to dodge Sasuke's slashes. Dark clouds cover the true dragon mountain, lightning flashes and the dragon roars. Sasuke and Yu Anjin chased each other in the clouds. Yu Yu Anjin Long actually suffered a loss in terms of size after transforming into a dragon. But what he didn't know was. If Sasuke used his complete Susanoo, he would only be able to cut the nine dragon mountains in two. Boy, you are indeed very good. Yu Yu Enjin said with a smile, and then the black soul ring flashed, and Yu Yu Enjin transformed into a huge blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex. Seventh Soul Skill Martial Soul True Body Yu Yu Enjin showed the full picture of the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the scene of a giant dragon rolling in the clouds was truly shocking. The Eighth Soul Skill Soaring Dragon and Thunder Explosion I saw the giant dragon spitting dragon breath into the sky, and large blue-black thunderclouds gathered above it. Then a huge lightning fell towards Sasuke. The lightning turned into countless thunder dragons in the middle, overwhelming the sky, like blue arrows. Rain. Forget about using fire escape, this thundercloud can also be used by me. Sasuke's Susanoo raised one hand high and also fired a bolt of lightning directly towards the thundercloud. Chakra poured into the thunderclouds, drawing the power of thunder and lightning within them. Kirin. I saw a huge unicorn head falling from the thundercloud and hitting the giant dragon transformed by Yu Yu Enjin. What? Yu Yu Enjin was shocked. There was no time to dodge, and he was hit by the Chilin and fell downwards. He actually used lightning to attack my blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex. Don't underestimate people. The giant dragon let out an angry roar, controlled its body, stopped falling, and resisted all the Kirin's power. The giant dragon exhaled a breath of turbidity. What surprised Yu Yu Enjin was not that Sasuke could summon such a powerful thunder power, but that Sasuke did not choose to defend but chose to attack with his backhand. In this way, Sasuke would have to bear the full power of his eighth soul skill. Humph. You don't overestimate your capabilities. 
Yu Yu Enjin's voice rang in the air. Even among the title Dolua of the same level, no one dared to use his eighth soul skill without any defense. Is this kid probably turned into ashes? Yu Yuan said heartily. You do have negotiating value. Sasuke's voice rang above Yu Yu Engine. Yu Yu Engine was shocked when he saw a blue purple giant descending from the sky and slashing at him with a sword. The sword was still attached with large swaths of lightning and black flames. The range of this sword was extremely wide. Yu Yu Engine's instinct told him to hide, but with such speed and attack range, it was already too late to hide. How did he end up there? I haven't had this feeling of approaching death for a long time. Yu Yu Engine directly launched the ninth soul skill. The real dragon is angry. Thunder shakes the sky. Chapter 55 The huge soul power and thunder power condensed around Yu Yu Engine, forming nine huge thunder dragons. The sword swung by Sasuke Susanoo also continued to grow longer and wider. There was a huge bright light in the sky above the entire Jolong Mountains. Many members of the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex tribe had already noticed something strange in the sky and came to take a look. Second leader, should we? An elder of the Blue Lightning Tyrannosaurus family said to Yuluomian. Yuluomian waved his hand gently, signaling everyone to calm down. Boy! Can you take this move? Yu Yu Engine's voice echoed through the sky, and nine shining thunder dragons lit up the night sky. Sasuke slashed with his sword, and a purple black sword shadow streaked across the bright night sky. Black flames and blue purple chakra spread evenly among the clouds and the night sky. Yu Yu Engine let out a shocking roar, and the nine thunder dragons around him blasted toward Sasuke. Violent explosions sounded in the sky one after another shaking the entire Jilong Mountains. Huge boulders continued to be shaken off and fell into the river at the foot of the mountain. The Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus Rex family is in panic. They knew that this was the ninth soul skill of clan leader Yu Yu Engine. Under the protection of the true dragon of the Nine Dragon Mountains, it was enough to kill several tidal Dolua at the same time. Who is it that attacked today? Is it a genocide? Yulua Mian squinted at the sky and at the same time ordered the elders to prepare for defense. You are indeed very strong, stronger than any tidal Dolua I have encountered so far. You are the only one who can break through the defense of our Shinra Tenjing. Sasuke looked condescendingly at Yu Yu Engine, who had resisted the two swords, and said, but it's a pity that you met me. In fact, Sasuke could have blocked this blow if he released a more powerful Shinra Tensei, but in order to measure the strength of Yu Yu Engine, Sasuke only used the normal Shinra Tensei. Although the Nine Thunder Dragons did not have much power left after breaking through the obstacles of Shinluo Tianjing, it was enough to prove that Yu Yu Engine was indeed much stronger than ordinary Tidal Doluo. At this moment, Yu Yu Engine has released his martial soul true form and maintains his dragon form. His hands resisted Susanoo's giant sword, and the black flames on the sword continued to erode his soul and mental power. Seeing Yu Yu Engine's unyielding look, Sasuke couldn't help but feel a little irritated. Why are there so many stubborn people in this world? Go down peacefully. Sasuke's voice fell, and his swords expanded several times again, defeating Yu Yu Engine's defense line. Yu Yu Engine vomited blood and fell straight into the river. That's it. Patriarch. Everyone in the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex exclaimed when they saw clearly the whereabouts of the people. Yulua Mian transformed into a giant dragon and flew out, catching Yu Yu Engine. Brother. Yulua Mian condensed a drop of blood from his palm and dropped it on the clan pattern on Yu Yu Engine's forehead. A blue light flashed on Yu Yu Engine's forehead, and he slowly opened his eyes. He said slowly, It's fun. When Yu Yu Engine looked at the sky again, the night sky had returned to silence, and Sasuke's presence was no longer felt. Only the countless broken boulders on Jolong Mountain and the turbid river at the foot of the mountain record this earth-shattering battle. The appearance of Sasuke appeared in Yu Yu Engine's mind, and he murmured, the anger of the real dragon shook the sky. Why didn't you tell me earlier? In the night sky, a tall young woman was flying rapidly with six golden wings flashing. She was none other than the young master of Wuhuan Palace, Qian Renshue. My subordinate was almost discovered by him on the way. 
I didn't dare to follow her anymore. His consciousness was too powerful. I lost track of her several times. The ugly man who was following the woman apologized while sitting on the big dolphin. This Yu Yu engine was in the Jiolong Mountains, and under the protection of their ancestors, Wu Huan Palace did not dare to provoke them. Otherwise, how could he be left here today? Sasuke actually went to seek bad luck on his own. Yu Yu Enjin had a surly and moody personality, and he didn't seem to be easy to get along with. Xian Renxue was a little angry in her heart. Sasuke would die if he died, but he should not miss his plan. Young master, it seems a little inappropriate for us to go straight to True Dragon Mountain like this. Shi Long, who had been silent on the other side, said tentatively. Shut up. Xian Renxue said angrily. Xue Xue looked at the deflated Shi Long, picked up the gourd, took a sip of wine, and sighed. Suddenly, Qian Renxue stopped flying. Right in front of the three of her, Sasuke was standing in the sky, looking down at them. This breath, is it him? Sasuke felt a familiar aura from Qian Renxue, it was Xue Qingha, the crown prince of the Tiendou Empire. Sasuke and Qian Renxue looked at each other, secretly amazed in their hearts. Seeing Sasuke suddenly appear, Qian Renxue's eyes collided with his strange eyes, and her heart suddenly tightened, as if her whole person had been seen through by Sasuke, and she was restless. If you don't stay in the palace, why are you running around? Sasuke said tentatively. What do you mean? Qian Renxue pretended to be stupid. A poor disguise is of no use to these eyes. Sasuke said. Qian Renxue frowned slightly, and the stabbing blood and she long behind him were already ready to kill Sasuke. He was still discovered, that's all. Xian Renxue waved her hand, signaling Shi Long and Thorn Blood to retreat. Shi Long and Qi Xue looked at each other and did not move for a long time. It wasn't until Qian Renxue turned around to glare at the two of them that they left in one step. Are you okay? Qian Renxue looked at Sasuke and said. What do you mean? It was Sasuke's turn to ask Qian Renxue this question. Haste makes waste. This Jade Yuan Zhen is different from ordinary title Doluo. Qian Renxue said. I want to be a little stronger, but only a little bit. Sasuke said. Did Sasuke kill Yu Yu Enjin? Qian Renxue thought. Impossible, if Yu Yu Enjin died in the Jilong Mountains, how could the Blue Lightning Tyrannosaurus family let him escape so easily? Why are you looking for Yu Yu Enjin? Qian Renxue asked. Do I need to be responsible for you? Talk to me in such a questioning tone. Sasuke said coldly. You. Qian Renxue gritted her teeth and said, I'm just afraid that you will mess up my plan. So what? I only have a transactional relationship with you. Arranging me into your plan without authorization is just your wishful thinking. Sasuke said. Don't talk about my affairs to other people. Otherwise, I have no choice but to kill you. Qian Renxue said to Sasuke seriously. Are you teaching me how to do things? Sasuke flew to Qian Renxue and slowly approached, I will not do such stupid things while you are still useful to me. You. Qian Renxue looked at Sasuke who was approaching, and her heart felt like it wanted to jump out of her chest. She was calm on the surface, but she was already in chaos. Young master is in danger. Zhang Xue, who was watching from a distance, was about to fly out, but was grabbed by Shi Long behind him. Shi Long said, I advise you not to go. Qian Shui had a puzzled look on his face, but when he saw Shi Long's understanding look, he stopped. What's your real name? Sasuke asked. You are digging your own grave. Qian Ren Xue said angrily. Just answer whatever I ask you. Don't talk nonsense. Sasuke said. Qian Renxue and Sasuke were face to face in the night sky, neither one convinced the other. For a moment, there was silence everywhere, and the moonlight shone on the two bodies, as if time and space had frozen. Chapter, 56 Sasuke looked at Qian Renxue's expression of one who would stay with him until the end, sighed softly, changed the topic and said, How many clues do you have about the secluded place of Haotian sect? No. Qian Renxue said without hesitation. Then do it yourself. 
Sasuke said and passed by him, preparing to leave. Qian Renshue cursed the inexperienced Sasuke in her heart, without looking back at him, and said directly, didn't you break that Shrek guy's arm? You don't need to go look for him, I believe his father will come to you on his own initiative. After Sasuke left, Shi Long and Zhang Shui returned to Qian Renshue. Young master, do we still need to go to the Jiulong Mountains to find out the situation? Thorne asked. He didn't die there, so why bother exploring? Go back to the palace. Qian Renshue said angrily. Looking at Qian Renshue's retreating back, Qian Shui sighed and said, Young master's temper is getting worse and worse. The days ahead will be difficult. Hearing this, Shi Long smiled and patted the bleeding shoulder and said, You should be more careful. After Sasuke and Qian Renshue separated, they found a nearby town to rent a house to rest. Now that the upper three sects have reached the second level, as long as Ning Rongrong is trained, the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect will naturally be in the bag. As for the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex family, Sasuke could feel that his emotions were not conflicting when he was talking to Yu Yuanjin, so he should have a wait and see attitude. As long as he can suppress Wu Hundian, Yu Yuanjin will definitely surrender. Only the Houtian sect, the best in the world, is left. According to her agreement with Qian Renxue, after the Soul Master competition, she will do her best to integrate the scattered sects. In this way, with the convenience of Qian Renxue's identity, Jiendo Empire and Wuhuan Palace can form a unified information. Only, Sasuke has only scratched the tip of the iceberg with regard to the information about the Spirit Hall. Among the upper three sects, the Qibao Glazed sect only had two title Dolua, Chen Exian and Gu Rong, and the Blue Lightning Tyrant Dragon Clan only had one title Dolua, Yu Yuan Zhen. In the Wuhuan Hall alone, Sasuke has already met four title Dolua. Two of them are Ju Dolua and Ghost Dolua who are hunting souls with Hulaina and others, followed by Qian Renshue's left and right, Snake. Spear Dolua and Galway Dolua. This title Dolua, regarded as the patron saint by other sects, is not a rarity in the spirit hall. It would be best if Qian Renshue could satisfy herself. After all, with her status, it is much easier to reform Wuhuan Palace and Tiendo Empire from top to bottom. Otherwise, the only way is to eliminate those who stand in the way one by one. The Wuhuan Palace uses its belief in gods to fool all living beings, while the royal family and nobles use their hereditary authority to make their subjects kneel. And all of this will be burned in the fire of Sasuke's revolution. After Qian Renshue returned to the palace, she took a look at the schedule of the Soul Master competition. The Hokage Academy has won consecutive battles, and it is rumored that the strength he has shown is the best in the field. Various self-created soul skills emerge in an endless stream, which is refreshing every time. Qian Renshue was very satisfied with the result. It would be best if this team could defeat Hulaina and others in the finals. Thinking about the fact that the academy team he supported defeated that golden generation that this woman was so proud of, I felt indescribably happy. Qian Renshue held her temple with one hand, and a faint smile appeared at the corner of her mouth. At this moment, Hong Yen came in and said, Your Highness, Emperor Shui Yi hopes that you can summon the Dean of the Hokage Academy for him. The current Dean of the Hokage Academy is Yi Jichio. Sasuke is registered as a member of the team. What is there to summon Yi Jichio? If you want to go back to your father for me, there are a lot of government affairs these days and I am ill. When everything is fine, I will go and summon him for him. Xian Renshue responded. Hong Yan retreated in response, and Qian Renshua thought of Sasuke's words about taking down the Tiendo Empire in a short time without losing any blood, and a trace of expectation rose in her heart. What will he do? Qian Renshua asked herself. Standing in the morning light, Sasuke released his consciousness and scanned the entire town without finding any suspicious characters. Isn't this Tang San's father planning to stand up for his son? Sasuke was a little disappointed. Judging from the map, Sasuke's current location is 300 miles east of Jindo City. Because of the high altitude, the land is barren and the population is relatively sparse. Behind this small town, there are endless mountains reaching into the clouds. Old Lu. Have you seen my old Li too? A peasant woman walked past Sasuke and said to a farmer carrying firewood. 
What happened? Can we still find the living person? The farmer asked back. My old man Lee too took some traps out of the house early in the morning, but he hasn't come back yet. It's getting dark, so I've made a meal and waited for him to come back to eat. Said the peasant woman, rubbing her hands. Oh. He must have gone up the mountain to catch foxes. He said he saw a few snow foxes running up the mountain a few days ago, and he kept saying he wanted to catch them and make a lot of money. The farmer recalled. Isn't old Lee going to higher places? The roads there are dangerous. The peasant woman said with a worried look on her face. The farmer said with relief, there's no point in being anxious. Old Lee Tuji has his own destiny, and he might come back later. You'd better go back and wait. Sasuke listened to the conversation between the two, looked at the peaks surrounding the town, and set off for it. The journey at the foot of the mountain was smooth and normal, but higher up, there would be inexplicable strong winds blowing one after another. An ordinary person would be exhausted within a quarter of an hour if he moved forward under such wind force. As Sasuke walked along, he found that the road up the mountain became more and more strange, as if it was obscured by clouds and fog, and his vision became increasingly blurry. It turned out to be a soul power restriction. Sasuke saw the faint flow of soul power in the strong wind in the mountains. It seemed that there was something else going on in this mountain range. While scanning, Sasuke found a cliff not far away. A middle-aged man in tattered clothes was hanging on a small tree on the edge. Seeing that he could no longer hold on, the man cried out in despair and fell down. All things are guided by heaven. Sasuke sucked his body over with one hand and placed it on the ground. The man survived the desperate situation, staring at Sasuke intently. When he realized that it was not a dream, he suddenly knelt down and cowed out, Thank you, great immortal, for saving my life. Thank you, great immortal, for saving my life. What happened? Sasuke asked. The man swallowed a few mouthfuls of saliva, calmed down, and said, Back to the great immortal, I came up the mountain to hunt. The prey ran farther and farther away, so I chased after it. I don't know why, but I saw the road was unclear and I fell off the cliff while walking. Fortunately, a great immortal came to my rescue. Thank you so much, great immortal. I have nothing to repay you, old Lee, but I can only count out to you a few more times. Sasuke raised his hand with one hand, lifted his body up in the air, and said, Go home quickly, your wife is still waiting for you to eat. Can you leave a name for the great immortal? I will set up an incense table for the great immortal when I get home. The man looked at Sasuke and said expectantly. Sasuke sent the man down the mountain with one hand, flew nearly a hundred meters in the air, and landed steadily. When the man looked back, Sasuke was gone. Sasuke gathered the soul power of Tianmeng Iceworm into his eyes and scanned the mountains. Behind that restriction, there is a place with extremely strong soul power. Sasuke broke through the restriction and flew straight away. After breaking through the restriction, the altitude immediately increased by hundreds of meters, and the cloud depths were unknown. Who is here? How dare you break into my mountain gate? I saw two strong men jumping out of nowhere, each holding a huge hammer in their hands, questioning Sasuke very vigilantly but fiercely. Sasuke looked at the visitor and smiled, it really took no effort at all. It timed out before I knew it. Classic Hades time update. Those of you who are not asleep yet can vote. Liangpijin will set up a fragrance case for you funny. Tomorrow. It is also a day full of hope. Chapter, 57. Sasuke used an illusion to restrain the two of them and came behind them. Sasuke put his hand on the rock wall, and when his hand touched the rock wall, he sank directly in. Sasuke walked through, and there was a narrow passage behind the illusion. After coming out of the passage, Sasuke didn't bother to go through those weird passages and flew directly into the sky. Scanning the bottom, countless small dots with soul power fluctuations appeared in the mountain. Sasuke couldn't help but sigh, the Haokin sect is really good at hiding and hiding. In the hall, Tang Shao, the current leader of the Haokin sect, was discussing matters with the elders. Suddenly, the incense burner in the hall disappeared and was replaced by a young man in black robe. Everyone was astonished and ready to fight. 
He was able to cross many restrictions and obstacles silently, and appeared in the meeting hall without anyone noticing. This man was by no means an idle person. Who are you? Tang Xiao looked at the young man in front of him, and his heart was filled with excitement. You must know that the Houtian sect has retreated for many years and kept a low profile. This is the first time that an outsider has broken in. For a sect that retreats from the world, this is no small matter, even though there is only one person on the other side. It is indeed the best sect in the world, and now there are actually seven titled Dolo. Sasuke checked the strength of the people around him and said. Boy, although our Haokian sect has been retired for many years, not everyone can come and ridicule us. An elder said angrily. If it weren't for the fact that this kid was young and the elders respected their status, they would have captured him long ago. There were so many titled Dolua at the scene, so he wouldn't do anything wrong. I'm here to negotiate terms with you. Sasuke looked at Tang Xiao who was sitting in the main seat and said. Obviously, in this world where strength is respected, Tang Xiao has the greatest say. Sect master, do you know him? An elder asked. Tang Xiao did not answer the elder's question, but stared directly at Sasuke and asked, what do you want to talk about? Of course, if Sasuke can't say anything valuable, according to the current situation of Houtian sect, Sasuke will naturally be buried deep in the mountains. I am the one who wants to unify the continent. You title Dolua, as well as soul masters big and small, will be bound by the laws and regulations I have formulated after I unify the continent, or you can hide in the mountains like this all your life. As long as if you can abide by the law, you will be protected by me, and your Houtian sect can see the light of day again, how about it? Sasuke said very concisely. After Sasuke finished speaking, the entire meeting hall fell into a long silence, and the wind and snow outside continued to roar. Boy, where do you think this is? An elder couldn't hold his breath, stood up, condensed his soul power in one hand, and fired a fireball towards Sasuke. Sasuke didn't look sideways and didn't move at all. The fireball suddenly dissipated on its own after getting one meter closer to Sasuke. Tang Xiao waved his hand to signal the seventh elder not to do anything, and said, Why should I listen to you? Sasuke said, Because I will really unify the continent. You can put forward conditions, or fight to win. Of course, I am just asking for your attitude. You can also choose not to listen. When the time comes, you will have the consequences you deserve. Able to neutralize the attacks of a title Dolua at will, this young man is valuable. Tang Xiao looked at Sasuke for a long time and said, My condition is to destroy the Wuhuan Palace. If you can do it, I, the Houtian sect, will make you the king. Sect master, is this too casual? The seventh elder stood up and asked. Your surname? Tang Xiao asked, ignoring the seventh elder's protest. Sasuke Achiha. Little friend Sasuke, I have another question. Our Houtian sect has been retreating here for many years. How did you find it? Tang Xiao asked, this is not a small problem. If the traces of the Houtian sect are discovered by Wuhuan Palace, it is very likely that inciting that person's crazy revenge. Although I intentionally searched for traces of your Houtian sect, I found this place unintentionally. It can only be said that it was God's will. Sasuke said. Then, how can I believe that you will not make the Houtian sects retreat to the public? Tang Xiao asked. I said that I want to unify the continent. As long as you are willing to abide by the laws, you will naturally be protected by me. As for whether you believe it or not, that is your business. Even if you don't believe it, you can't keep me. Sasuke glanced at me. Said after walking around. Then let me see how much weight you have to dare to talk so shamelessly here. The seventh elder couldn't suppress his anger when he heard Sasuke's words. The clear sky hammer appeared in his hand, and the hammer body smashed towards Sasuke with blazing flames. Tang Xiao and the other elders did not stop the seventh elder. Obviously, they also wanted to see how good Sasuke was. After all, it was in the hall, and the seventh elder's blow was not too powerful, but precisely because the soul power was restrained and concentrated at one point, the power of this blow should not be underestimated. Is it only to this extent? It seems that the level of this title Dolua is not high. 
Sasuke thought as he released Shinra Tensei. The clear sky hammer was struck down, but it stopped about a foot above Sasuke. No matter how hard the seventh elders increased their strength, they could not fall down. As the seventh elders' soul power continued to pour in, the entire meeting hall began to shake. There is no movement, no martial soul, no soul ring, and even no soul power fluctuations. This young man is very weird. Tang Xiao looked at Sasuke who stood still and made a decision in his heart. Just when the seventh elder was blushing, a hand stretched out and held his wrist. Tang Xiao moved the seventh elder's clear sky hammer away and said to Sasuke, as I said before, if you can defeat the spirit hall, I will make you king. You made the right decision, Sasuke said. Sect master. I don't agree. Said the seventh elder, our sect has been keeping a low profile for so long. What if this outsider leaks the news? How will the people of this sect deal with it? Rather than believe his inexplicable lies, would rather let's kill him here. Tang Xiao looked at the other four elders and asked, Do you think so too? Chapter, 58 To be on the safe side, Lao Chi's words are not unreasonable. An elder agreed, this person is really too weird. But what if what he said is true? What if he can really destroy the Wuhuan palace and let our Houtian sect see the light of day again? Tang Xiao asked everyone. We all know how powerful Wuhuan Palace is. Sect Master, don't forget your identity. You should pay more attention to the overall situation. The Seventh Elder said. It is precisely because I have the overall situation in mind that I want to gather all my strength to fight against Wuhuan Palace. Is it possible that our Houtian sect will wither in the mountains and ice fields? A hundred years later, where will there be any Houtian sect? Where will there be any war? Soul Hammer. Tang Xiao thought of the past and said angrily. It's so noisy. After Sasuke finished speaking, his figure was replaced by an incense burner. A burst of majestic wind blew open the door of the meeting hall. Sasuke's voice came from outside the house, you guys, come in together. Tang Xiao and others rushed out of the door, only to see Sasuke staying in mid-air, looking at everyone. Sasuke looked around. The terrain of the Houtian sect was dangerous and the location of the buildings was extremely tricky. If large-scale ninjutsu was used, the entire sect would be destroyed. After all, they are hiding in places like this just to survive. The seventh elder was the first to fly forward, the flaming clear sky hammer already appearing in his hand. Sasuke looked at the seventh elder who came forward alone and said, I told you, come together, I don't want to waste time. Title, Laiyan. The seventh elder hammered Houtian horizontally, looked at Sasuke and said, Let me see if your strength is as tough as your mouth. This person's strength seems to be comparable to that of Dugubo. That being the case. Sasuke raised one hand and gathered a large amount of chakra. Condensing a small amount of repulsive force and releasing it linearly is enough to defeat it by surprise. Shinra Tenjing. Before Laiyang Dolua understood what was going on, he suddenly felt that the space in front of him was distorted, and he felt that his whole body was hit by a huge fist, which exploded towards the mountain behind him. This power seemed to be endless, and La Yang Dolua was unable to do anything except release his soul power to hold on. It seems that if you relax even a little bit, the whole frame of your body will collapse. Amid everyone's exclamations, the body of La Yang Dolua smashed into the mountain. Sasuke continued to maintain the Shinra Tianjing, and the body of Laiyang Dolua sank deeper and deeper into the mountain, and actually penetrated the mountain directly. A beam of light shone on Laiyang Dolua's face from the cave that was penetrated by Laiyang Dolua's body. Laiyang Dolua's whole body was covered with flames. On the one hand, he was resisting the impact of Shen Luo Tianjin, and on the other hand, he was protecting his body against the friction of the mountain. In just a few dozen seconds, Laiyang Dolua was exhausted, and the hand holding the clear sky hammer couldn't stop shaking. Tang Xiao and the elders were even more stunned. Sasuke just raised one hand and knocked the sun Dolua away, and even punched through a mountain with a diameter of several hundred meters. Is this something he can do at his age? Through the hole he punched through, Laiyang Dolua could still see Sasuke's huge figure. Next. 
Sasuke turned to the people at the door of the meeting hall and asked. Tang Xiao and the others were still immersed in the scene of the fiery Sun Dolua being defeated in an instant. When they heard Sasuke ask, how could anyone move forward? Tang Xiao knew very well that even he could not defeat the seventh elder as easily as Sasuke did. Is this the power of God? Tang Xiao asked in his heart. The elders of the Houtian sect all had the same idea in their hearts, if they were such people, they might really be able to unify the continent. After a few seconds, there was still no one to answer the challenge. After another second, Sasuke's figure disappeared from the sky, leaving only the sky full of wind and snow and the tidal Dolua of the Houtian sect standing dumbly. Sasuke was flying in the air, recalling his meeting with the last three sects. Sure enough, only when they jointly fight an invincible enemy would these forces with different positions abandon their past grievances. This is the case in the ninja world. In order to fight against Uchiha Madara, the major ninja villages that have blood feud with each other can form a ninja alliance. Big names from various countries with conflicting interests can also drink tea and enjoy themselves under the same roof. The same is true in the world of soul masters. One Wuhuan temple can become the nightmare of these sects, so that if you get one Wuhuan temple, you can conquer the hearts of these three sects. As for whether there will be betrayal, that is a matter for later. In the Tiendo Palace, Qian Renxue took a jade bottle from a black mist-like ghost figure and was about to open it, but was stopped by the ghost figure. Young master, this poison is extremely overbearing. If you accidentally take it, your subordinates will not be able to bear it. The ghost said. What's the name of this poison? Qian Renxue looked at the jade bottle and asked. This is the poison that breaks the clan's taboo, and it's called colorful. Ghost Shadow said. Colorful? What a stupid name. Qian Renxue put the jade bottle into the soul guide and said. When using this poison, you need to use soul power to extract it and refine it. It is colorless and odorless, and there is no way to detoxify it. Young master, please be careful. Ghosting said. I know, get out. Qian Renxue said without even looking at the ghost figure. Obey. Obey. The ghost shadow disappeared suddenly. The ghost sitting on the bed slowly opened his eyes and thought to himself, can't someone else give it to me? Poison Emperor Shui. Why is Bibi Dong so impatient? Xian Renxue could never figure out Bibi Dong's various behaviors. This woman has indeed brought Wuhuan Palace to unprecedented development, but she has also put Wuhuan Palace on the opposite side of the entire world. If this continues, it will only be a matter of time before everything is destroyed. Qian Renxue doesn't seem optimistic about the war that will eventually come. Chapter, 59 Your Highness, the medicinal meal you requested has been prepared. Hong Yan came up with a porcelain jar. Qian Renxue looked at the medicinal meal and took out the poison brought by the ghost from the soul guide. When Qian Renxue was hesitating, a white dove flew in from outside the house and landed on Qian Renxue's shoulder. Qian Renxue heard the white pigeon's whisper, her eyes became wandering, she put the poison in her hand back into the soul guide, and said to Hirohiko, send this medicinal meal to Sasuke, don't let it get cold on the way. Let's say that after Sasuke left the Haokin sect, he returned to the royal hunting ground all the way. After getting to know the competition situation of the Hokage Academy, through simple personnel matching, everyone has successfully completed the tasks assigned by Sasuke. In the remaining games, Yi Linger, Ling Yun, and Ning Rongrong will take turns to play. Guaranteed to enter the knockout round with a complete victory. While Yi Linger and others were chatting around Sasuke about their new experiences these days, Hong Yan carefully carried a food box into the tent and placed it in front of Sasuke. Hirohiko took off the lid of the food box for Sasuke, and saw a ceramic jar inside the box, in which the delicate medicinal food was emitting fragrance and steam. Sasuke-sama, your highness ordered this to be sent to you, saying that you can enjoy it while it's hot. Hirohiko said to Sasuke. After hearing this, Sasuke asked Yi Linger and others to share the medicinal meal, and then he followed Hirohiko into the palace. Arriving at where Qian Renxue was, Hong Yan wisely did not go in. I'm very disappointed that you didn't come to the palace to see me right away. Qian Renxue noticed Sasuke's aura, 
put down her brush, turned around and looked at Sasuke and said. Sasuke looked at Qian Renxue in Xue Qingha's disguise, and remembered her face under the moonlight that night. Now when he heard her speak again, he felt a little awkward. Before Sasuke could speak, Xue Qingha took out the bottle of colorful wine and said, Bibi Dong has ordered me to poison Emperor Xuei. What should I do as you promised me? Take me to meet Emperor Xuei sometime. Sasuke said. What a coincidence, that old man has wanted to see you for a long time. Qian Ren Xue said. Then as soon as possible, the Soul Master competition will be over soon. Sasuke said. What are you going to do? Qian Ren Xue looked into Sasuke's eyes and asked closer, is it also relying on these eyes? Illusion, control Emperor Shui Yi through illusion so that he can officially pass on to you. Sasuke said without intending to hide it. What an interesting ability. Qian Ren Xue said, suddenly thinking of something, a little vigilance and panic in her heart, she said, so, you can also control my mind? What? Did you realize that you were playing with fire and burning yourself? Sasuke felt Qian Ren Xue's inner emotions and said. Can you read minds? Qian Ren Xue asked. Even though she already had the soul bone of the head of the angel's divine costume, Qian Ren Xue still felt a little uneasy in her heart. No. Sasuke said. It is true that he cannot read minds. After swallowing the Tianmang ice silkworm, his ability is limited to the perception and transmission of emotions. However, by combining the current situation and reasoning, he can also know the personality. 7, 7, 8, 8. Qian Renxue looked at Sasuke's mysterious eyes and said in her heart, Sasuke, you must not force me to kill you. After all, you really interest me. In the days that followed, Sasuke gave some brief guidance to Yi Linger and others. After the promotion competition, under Qian Renxue's recommendation, Emperor Xuya summoned Sasuke. Sasuke followed Qian Renxue all the way into the palace, and saw many palace soldiers, all armed from head to toe, holding spears and shields, and well trained. With such a large army and the strength of those titled Dolua, if they were to fight to the death, only Dugu Bo would be able to deal with it. According to Qian Renxue, in addition to being well armed and equipped, the soldiers of these empires also train formations to deal with various emergencies. Their individual combat capabilities may be average, but when they form an army, they can have the power of Feng Lin or potential. After nine turns and eighteen turns, the two came to a garden. At this moment, Emperor Shui Yi was playing chess with Ning Fengji in the pavilion. Qian Renxue and Sasuke stood aside, and within a few rounds, Ning Fengji surrendered. Father, Mr. Sasuke from the Hokage Academy has arrived. Qian Renxue stepped forward and said. Emperor Shuya looked at the two of them and looked Sasuke up and down. Sasuke saw that Emperor Shuya was in good spirits and his eyes were filled with luster. He thought to himself that it would indeed be too long to wait for him to die of old age naturally. I really didn't expect that the real founder of the Hokage Academy is such a young man. Qingha, you have done a great job to recruit such talents for the empire. Emperor Shuya said with a smile. It is your honor to have Mr. Sasuke to help you, and it is also a blessing for the Tiendo royal family. Hope and the future lie in the hands of young people. Xue Qingha said. That's right, first the Star Luo Empire was looking at it with eager eyes, and then there was the threat and infiltration of Wuhuan Palace. It is indeed a great blessing to have more young people come forward. After Emperor Xue Yi finished speaking, he waved to a maid. He walked up carrying a wooden tray. The wooden plate contains a red certificate and a gold seal. Emperor Shuei said, Sasuke, your Hokage Academy won the promotion competition with a complete victory. I have watched many games and I believe that you are the only team that can compete with Wuhundian in the finals. As long as you can lead them if you win the championship, I will make you a king with a different surname from the Tiendo royal family. I have prepared this edict and golden seal in advance, I hope you will not disappoint me. Sasuke snorted in his heart, looked into the eyes of Emperor Shui Yi, invaded his mind with soul power and chakra, and controlled the flow of soul power in Emperor Shui Yi's brain nerves. Emperor Shui Yi turned around and said to Ning Fengji, Go down first. 
Ning Fengji saw that Emperor Shuya's eyes were a little dull, and he felt curious in his heart, but he could not disobey his order, so he had to retreat. Before leaving, Ning Fengji gave Sasuke a meaningful look. Then Emperor Shuya spoke again to evacuate everyone, including the guards. Xian Ren Shuya looked at what was happening in front of her and was surprised. She looked at Sasuke and said, Is this? Sasuke didn't speak, only to see Emperor Shuei suddenly stand up, turn his gaze to Qian Ren Shue, and said, As you can see, I have finished it. Chapter 60 Qian Ren Shue looked at Emperor Shue, whose eyes were lifeless, and secretly marveled in her heart. Then she looked at Sasuke and said, Is this considered completed? Emperor Shue said, Why, don't you believe your eyes? Sasuke manipulated Emperor Shuiyi to call a maid to serve him back to bed, while he and Qian Ren Shue left the palace. This is the method I said. I have planted a spell in his mind. After the Soul Master competition is over, I will let him pass on to you. As for the aftermath, you can handle it yourself. Sasuke told Qian Ren Shue said. Sasuke, you are really in danger. Qian Ren Shue looked at Sasuke and said. That depends on your perspective. Sasuke said. You shouldn't have done the same thing to me, right? Xian Renshue asked with a smile. That's up to you. Sasuke said, I said, my attitude is very firm. What? Father is ill? Prince Xuebeng asked, looking at Prince Xueshing who was drinking tea. That's right, I haven't seen your majesty for several days. According to your majesty's wishes, only the prince can go in to meet and report on state affairs. Prince Xueshing frowned. What did the imperial doctor say? Xuebeng asked, are there any signs of poisoning? Prince Xueshing shook his head and said, the imperial doctor could not detect any symptoms at all and only said that his majesty should rest. But what is certain is that there is indeed no poisoning. Didn't my father summon the prince and the evil soul master Sasuke from the Hokage Academy before this? Could it be his fault? Shuebeng thought. Evil soul master. Then Sasuke from Hokage Academy is an evil soul master. Prince Snow Star heard this. Shuebeng scratched his head and said, I'm not sure either, I also heard what Tang San and the others said. Shrek's guys? Aren't you at odds with them? Prince Snow Star asked. As you have seen in this competition, the people from Shrek Academy are indeed top-notch talents. They are also one of the few teams that have not been recruited by Wuhuan Palace and Big Brother. If they want to succeed, I should naturally recruit them. Shue Beng said. Well, it's good to be able to bend and stretch. Prince Shue Sheng looked at Shue Beng happily and said. What should I do if my father is really assassinated by that evil soul master? Shuebeng asked worriedly. Let me observe for a few more days. If it really doesn't work, even if I force my way in, I have to go see his majesty and find out what's going on. Prince Snow Star said. As the prince of the Tiendo royal family, he had his own fiefdom and army, as well as a number of soul masters under his sect. When his life was in danger, he had no choice but to break up. But Dugubo seems to be very close to the people from the Hokage Academy. Shuebeng said worriedly. Although Dugubo is soft on others and won't do anything to him, looking at his recent appearance, he wants him to fight for his side. That is unlikely. Humph. These title Dolua are all arrogant and proud of themselves. Naturally, I will leave more backup. Prince Shueshing said. Soon, the promotion competition for the continent-wide senior soul master competition came to a perfect conclusion in the Tiendo Empire. As the co-organizer of this competition, Wuhuan Palace suddenly proposed that the finals be held in Wuhuan City. In this way, under the cheers of farewell from the Tiendo subjects and the escort of the Tiendo Royal Army, the Tiendo Royal Team, Shrek Team, Kamikaze Team, Hokage Team, and Tianshui Academy that advanced to the finals began to march towards Wuhuan City. On the day of departure, Qian Renshue came to see him off on behalf of Emperor Shuiyi. Qian Renshue saw off Sasuke privately, hinting that there might be a special program during this trip to Wuhuan City. Sasuke just warned Qian Renshue not to forget their agreement. After he came back, 
he must get the Poseidon token. Ning Rongrong sat on the carriage and saw Zhu Zhu Qing who was in a daze on the carriage through the window. She secretly made up her mind that regardless of Zhu Qing's success or not, she would pull her into the Seven Treasures glazed sect. She just wanted to live. Ning Rongrong would not allow her honey friend to return to that perverted family again. Sasuke was riding in a carriage alone, thinking about many matters after the competition. At this moment, the carriage suddenly stopped. Sasuke felt a large amount of soul power fluctuations, released his consciousness, and saw many black-clothed killers rushing towards the convoy. When Sasuke saw this, he thought, is this the special program Qian Renshuwe mentioned? At this time, the convoy was passing through a canyon. Several loud noises were heard. The rocks on both sides of the canyon were blasted and fell on the convoy. The accompanying Tiendo army began to form a defensive formation with shields, but there were a lot of falling rocks, and the convoy was still divided into several parts. Sasuke looked at Yi Linger and others, who were being protected by Yi Jichio using a soul skill that looked like a turtle shell. Huge boulders built a high wall in the canyon, and then, countless killers in black fell from above and fought with the Tiendo royal family's army. Sasuke stepped out of the carriage and launched all the killers who rushed towards him with a Shinra Tensei. Looking at the chaos in the canyon, he couldn't help but frown slightly. The instructors of the academy who were traveling with him were all soul saints or higher, and even a few huge rocks were thrown away. Can't handle it. They were fighting on their own there. Sasuke raised his hands to both sides and directly blasted away the boulders blocking the way. He saw members of the Kamikaze Sentai and Tendu Royal Sentai fighting hard. Teacher, let's go help too. Ning Rongrong asked Sasuke for instructions. Sasuke said, take care of yourself first. As soon as he said this, Sasuke felt two familiar breaths coming from him. This Wuhuan palace is really eventful. Sasuke said in his mind. Sasuke looked up to the top of the canyon, where two men leading a group of black-clad killers were watching the battle. It was Ghost Dolua and Juwagwan who escaped from him that day. Chapter, 61 Sasuke looked at the gradually declining Tenda Knights and thought to himself that it seemed impossible to rely on them to end this farce. Sasuke hated waiting. These killers are well-trained and full of evil spirit. It seems that they are all experienced masters. Those who are the proud ones in the Soul Master Academy are naturally no match for them. Sasuke sensed that the title Dolua was starting to take action, so he asked Yijicho and others to clean up the rear, while he walked all the way to the front of the convoy. Sasuke broke through the blockage of boulders along the way. Under the astonished gazes of the Academy members, Sasuke used Shinra's celestial signs and illusions to knock down all the killers. Who is that? Fong Xiaotian asked. It seems like he's from the Hokage Academy. I've only seen him once or twice, and he's never played. Shui Binger said thoughtfully. When she was playing against Ning Rongrong, she glanced at the preparation table of the Hokage Academy and was very impressed by this guy with such a long face. The handsome boy with different eyes was somewhat impressed. These killers are at least at the level of soul kings, and some have even reached soul emperors. Yu Tianheng looked at Sasuke who was in disbelief. I know this person, he is indeed from the Hokage Academy. Standing next to Yu Tianheng, Dugu Yan looked at Sasuke and remembered the scene in the secret room that day, with a blush on his face. Is such a person actually a member of the competition? Sasuke advanced all the way and reached out again to knock down a wall made of huge rocks. He saw the golden blade of the chrysanthemum gate hanging in front of the Shrek students, and the chrysanthemum gate was talking to Xiao Wulong with a crazy look on his face. Hearing the explosion made by Sasuke, Jiu Huaseki glanced sideways, and his pupils trembled the next second. It's actually him. The chrysanthemums closed tightly, the tiger's body trembled, and he shouted with a trembling voice, Old Ghost. A burst of black mist rose, and Ghost Dolua appeared next to Juaguan. This is great. I originally came to kill the remnants of the Houtian sect, but I ended up bumping into such an evil star. The battle in the Star Do Forest that day was still fresh in my mind, but I met him again so soon. What about the only ones who agreed were the academy tutors and the accompanying troops? Gue Mei and Yu Guan cursed in their hearts. 
Intercepting the entire Tiendo Empire's sole master convoy, it seems that your spirit hall does have a lot of trump cards. Sasuke looked at Yue Quan and Gue Mei and said. He also wanted to know how strong this spirit hall was. This kind of behavior is tantamount to rubbing the face of the Tiendo Empire on the ground. Everyone in Shrek looked at the sudden appearance of Sasuke, and they didn't know whether they were happy or worried for a moment. The opponents are too titled Doluo. Although this Sasuke is an evil soul master, he is too young after all, and it is hard to say whether he will come to the rescue. Yu Guan and Gue Mei are connected. For this reason, if they want to complete the task, they can only use the spirit fusion skill to hold Sasuke back for a few seconds, and then let the soul fighter Lord Diala behind him kill Tang San. This is the only way. Even if it doesn't succeed, attack and save them, and the two of them can escape while Sasuke kills Lord Yara. Then how could Lord Diala know how powerful Sasuke was? He was just a young boy with no soul power at all, so he was worthy of the two elders Ju Dolua and Ghost Dolua being so cautious. I saw Yu Guan clasping his hands behind his back and making a gesture to Lord Ayla, and then at the same time as the ghost, the soul rings all over his body lit up, and he launched the martial soul fusion skill. Bipolar Static Realm At the same time, Lord Yara exploded and rushed towards Tang San. Tang San's eight spider soul bones were fully unfolded, he took out a tube of Hell's tie from his back and made a defensive posture. Unexpectedly, before Yusugwen and Gue Mei's martial soul fusion skills were completed, Sasuke had already raised his hand to condense the repulsive force into a beam and blast it towards the two. Just like when dealing with Lai Yang Dolua, the power of Shenluo Tianzheng, which has been reduced to a smaller force area, is even more powerful. The most terrifying thing is that this attack is completely invisible to others. There is no warning or any movement. The only what can be seen is the slight distortion of space at the last moment. As soon as Sasuke raised his hand, the soul rings about to merge above Yusugwen and Gue Mei disappeared one after another as they screamed. He made a quick decision, and just when Sasuke released the 10,000 elements with one hand and sucked Lord Yara into his palm, the ghost shouted Ghost Pool Hand and then immediately used the ghost pool to wrap the two of them and instantly disappear. A dead Taoist friend is not a poor Taoist. Title Dolua is naturally much more precious than Sol Dolua. After finally cultivating to this point, he will not die in vain for a small task. Just scold them, His Highness the Pope will not really do anything to the two of them. Sasuke watched the ghost use the ghost's bluff and thought he was going to attack again, but he ran away. Naturally, Sasuke would not watch the Contra from the Spirit Hall kill someone in front of him, so he pinched him in his hand and asked, What is the intention of your Spirit Hall's action this time? Ha ha ha. Why do you want to ask me a question? Lord Ayala gathered all the remaining soul power and his body became red and hot. No. He's going to blow himself up. Oscar exclaimed. Let's die together. His Highness the Pope. Fortunately, Lord Yara has lived up to his destiny. A Contra's self-destructive counterattack was no small matter. Lu Erlong and Flender, who had escaped their opponents, saw this and ran straight to the ground. Sealing Technique Absorbing Seal It's a pity that Lord Yara's passion is somewhat touching, but it's a pity that he fell into Sasuke's hands, and he saw Lord Yara's soul power being continuously sucked into Sasuke's body. Lord Yara looked at Sasuke in horror, completely unaware of what was happening. Why did all his condensed and compressed soul power flow to this young man's body? If a person is not strong enough, sometimes he does not even have the right to choose death. In just a few seconds, Lord Yara's body softened, and he no longer had the aura that he had just felt like he was about to die. The people who were still in shock looked at everything that happened before them, and secretly sighed in their hearts. In just a few seconds, a Contra's lifelong cultivation was ruined, and the evil spirit master's secret method was so terrifying. Answer my question. Sasuke said, looking at the Contra in his hand whose soul power had been drained. They are coming for me. Tang San stood up and said to Sasuke. At the moment when Sasuke was distracted, Lord Yara bit the poison sack under his tongue. Blood flowed from Lord Yara's mouth. Committed suicide by taking poison. 
Sasuke looked at the lifeless contra in his hand, and an inexplicable emotion arose in his heart. This guy is a pretty good ninja. After writing and writing, it timed out again. Classic hell stall. Those of you who haven't slept yet are happy to watch it, so you can vote. Everyone, take a rest early, tomorrow is also a day full of hope. Awesome. Chapter, 62 Sasuke let go of Lord Yara's body, turned around and walked towards his carriage. Everyone in Shrek looked at Sasuke in front of them, with mixed feelings in their hearts and speechless. Two titled Dolua and countless experienced killers. If it weren't for Sasuke, not to mention protecting Tang San and others, even his own life would be at risk here. Thinking of this, Flanders stepped forward and clasped his fists, saying, Thank you for your help. Don't get me wrong. Sasuke said without looking back, I'm not here to save you, I have my own rules of conduct. Sasuke returned to the location of his carriage, where Gu Rong and Ning Fengji were talking with Ning Rongrong and others. On both sides of the canyon, giant bones were like nails, nailing the Wuhuan palace killers to the rock wall. Seeing that the situation was not good, the other Wuhuan palace killers also fled. Dean Sasuke, Rongrong, thank you for taking care of me. Ning Fengji said to Sasuke with a smile. Even after leaving the Tiendo Empire, the secret guards of the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect were still quietly protecting Ning Rongrong. After learning that the convoy was attacked, Bon Dolua and Ning Fengji, who had the ability to teleport, arrived at the scene immediately. After Gu Rong witnessed Sasuke frightening Yusugwan and the ghosts, he felt more and more that this young man was unfathomable. Sasuke ignored Ning Fengji's words and asked instead, Wundian attacked the convoy. Should this competition be held or not? Doesn't this count as a declaration of war against the Tiendo Empire? Ning Fengji said, This Wuhuan city is located at the junction of the two empires. It is difficult to deal with troubles in such a boundary. Tiendo and Xinglua both see the actions of Wuhuan Palace, but everyone is in tacit understanding. The earth has not broken its face. After Ning Fengji finished speaking, he turned his attention to Shrek and others in the distance, and continued, It seems that Wuhuan Palace's target this time is Tang San from Shrek Academy. Bone Dolua, if you want to kill that Tang San, how much effort will it take? Sasuke suddenly asked. Bone Dolua glanced at Tang San and said, You can do it with just a raise of your hands. How can such a character make Wuhundian feel threatened? I'm afraid there are other reasons. After Sasuke finished speaking, he returned to the carriage. After a short rest, the convoy headed towards Wuhuan City again. Ning Fengji was worried about Ning Rongrong and also walked with the convoy. With Ning Fengji, the leader of the Seven Treasures Glazed Sect, and Bon Dolua sitting in battle, everyone who had just experienced the attack felt relieved. The only thing that concerned them was the appearance of Sasuke. No one could have imagined that such a terrifying guy would not be on the Invincible Hokage Academy team. The finals adopt a team battle format. If that man takes the field, even the Wuhundian team will have no choice but to suffer defeat, right? Dean Sasuke, look, that's Wuhuan City. Ning Fengji looked out the window and said. Sasuke looked out the car window and saw a neat city appearing in his field of vision. Looking from outside the city, the buildings were well proportioned and had a strong sense of hierarchy. Among them, a golden building was located in the center, which was the most dazzling. When the convoy entered the city, Ning Fengji and Sasuke walked side by side and saw the magnificent building from a distance, with a golden angel statue shining on the entire city like a patron saint. Ning Fengji said, That is the Pope's palace. At this moment, in the Pope's palace, Bibi Dong, who was seated in a high seat, was looking at the silent Yuguan and the ghosts below without expression. You were defeated twice in succession at the hands of an unknown boy, Yuguan, ghost, you too have fallen. Bibi Dong's voice was slow, but full of cold murderous intent. Every word pierced Yuguan and Gue Mei's hearts like a sharp knife. Bibi Dong gently knocked the scepter in her hand on the ground, and a burst of coercion came out. Yu Guan and Gue Mei felt that their heart seemed to be pinched by a big hand, and even their breathing was blocked, and they did not dare to move at all. Seconds seemed like years. After an unknown amount of time, 
Bibi Dong withdrew her magical powers and waved at Yu Guan and Gui Mei with the back of her hand, as if she had been slapped three times in the air. Yu Guan and Gui Mei retreated wisely. Would you like to go to the Elder's Hall and recruit some people to kill that kid together? Ghost said to Yu Guan. Old Ghost, why do you have such an idea? Failure in the mission is a small matter, but taking action without telling His Highness the Pope is a big deal. Besides, the young master has already said it before, so why bother doing these two unwelcome things? Yu Guan wake up. Can he defeat two titled Dolua under the age of twenty? Is he also the inheritor of the gods? Bibi Dong came outside the palace and looked at the Heaven Do knights slowly advancing in Wuhuan city from top to bottom, her eyes becoming sharper and sharper. Sasuke, who was sightseeing in the team, suddenly felt a soreness on his forehead, and then he released his consciousness and looked straight at the Pope's palace. I saw a woman wearing a long skirt and holding a scepter looking at me. The long skirt with smooth texture highlighted her perfect figure, and her whole body exuded a cool and noble aura. Is this person the Pope of Wuhuan Palace? It turned out to be such a woman. Sasuke had no intention of peeking more and withdrew his consciousness. He always felt that Bibi Dong's beautiful face seemed to have been seen somewhere before. It must be an illusion, right? Bibi Dong's heart moved, and her eyes narrowed slightly. For a moment, she felt like she was being looked down upon. This made her quite uncomfortable after having been in a high position for a long time. Whether it's the three sects or the two empires, let this good show start from Wuhuan City. Bibi Dong turned around, stepped on her high heels, and walked slowly into the hall. Chapter, 63 After settling down in Wuhuan City, Sasuke wandered around Wuhuan City alone, leaving many matters related to the competition to Yijichio. This Wuhuan city is located at the junction of the two empires, with a huge flow of people, abundant products, and a thriving faction. The closer the place is to the center of power of Wuhuan Palace, the more standardized the behavior of its followers. It seems that the teachings of Wuhuan Palace are generally positive. The next day, the finals of the Soul Master competition officially started. After drawing lots, the remaining 15 teams began to fight against each other. There was no schedule for the Hokage Academy on this day. Sasuke took a box from Yi Jichio, which contained a secret letter and a token. Ha! Huh. What are you talking about? Teacher Sasuke went to the Pope's palace alone. Yi Linger was shocked after hearing what Yi Jichio said. Well, the Pope's palace has even sent the Elder's order. Yi Jichio said. But Teacher Sasuke has offended Wuhundian before, and there is a high probability that the two bishops of Tiendo City are. Bai Cha said. There are no eternal enemies, only eternal interests. Ning Rongrong said, I believe that the Wuhuan Palace has noticed Teacher Sasuke's strength. If Teacher Sasuke can be drawn into the Seoul Palace's camp, who will offend the bishop? It doesn't matter anymore. Rongrong, you seem a little worried. Ling Yun looked at Ning Rongrong's frown and said. I'm worried about teacher Sasuke's safety. Ning Rongrong said, wringing her fingers. Well, that's not it. Wohundian won't attack teacher Sasuke at this time, and teacher Sasuke is very strong. I have never seen him sweat. Ling Shui thought. But the strength of Wuhuan Palace is far from being as simple as it appears. There are nine elders, seven great worshippers, and a total of sixteen titled Dolua in Wuhuan Palace. This is the information that our seven treasures glazed sect has mastered. Those that we have not mastered I don't even dare to think about it. Ning Rongrong said with a worried look on his face, if it weren't for the seven major priests who did not interfere with the academic affairs and the nine major elders who were divided into factions. This continent would have been wiped out by the spirit hall long ago. According to what Rongrong said, if Sasuke doesn't join the spirit hall this time, I'm afraid. Yi Jichio couldn't help but worry about Sasuke after hearing what Ning Rongrong said. The two most popular ruling elders in Wuhuan Palace are Ju Dolua and Ghost Dolua, but that's just because they are Pope Bibi Dong's personal fierce dogs. The really powerful ones are the seven worshippers. Ning Rongrong remembered Liao Qinqin told her the story, and the worry in her heart became even more serious. 
If a strong person threatens the Wuhuan Palace, I am afraid that those enshrined in the Wuhuan Palace will. Sasuke came to the Pope's palace and glanced at the elder's order to the guards guarding the door. When the guards saw the order, they bowed and saluted to guide Sasuke. And all this was seen by the members of the colleges who had just come out of the stadium after the game. This? The Star Luo royal family's team had never seen Sasuke and had no idea what he was talking about. And everyone in the Tiendo Empire exploded. You must know that they were attacked by people from Wuhuan Palace two days ago. But if Sasuke was from the Spirit Hall, why did he come to the rescue at that time? Is he really a lackey of the Wuhuan Palace? Yu Xiaowan said as she looked at Sasuke walking towards the Pope's palace. But why did he fight off Ju Dolua and Ghost Dolua before? Lu Erlong said. There are still many things you don't know. Yu Xiaowan said with a solemn expression, even the interior of Wuhuan Palace is not monolithic, and Bibi Dong does not have all the power. His move may be due to conflicts in its internal deployment. And, the elder's order in his hand cannot be faked. Okay, okay, don't think so much. We don't need to pay attention to their affairs. The most important thing now is to stay in good condition and win the next game. Flanders said. Tang San looked at Sasuke walking away, and the more he thought about it, the more he felt something was wrong. This man, who was obviously very close to the crown prince of the Tiendo Empire, turned around and became the elder of the spirit hall. As the teacher said, the elder order cannot be faked. Could it be that the crown prince has secretly colluded with Wuhuan Palace? If so, when will my blood revenge be avenged? Third brother? Xiao Wu felt Tang San's arms tremble slightly and asked hurriedly. It's nothing, it's just that I always have a bad feeling. Tang San said. You always like to think too much. Xiao Wu looked at Tang San's worried look and muttered in her heart, but she didn't know if she thought about herself more. Sasuke followed the guards to the main hall of Wuhuan Palace. On the high seat in the main hall, a woman was holding a scepter and staring at him. Light shot into the hall from the gaps in the building, shining around Bibi Dong's throne, making Bibi Dong look extremely sacred and dazzling. Sasuke walked towards Bibi Dong step by step, and finally stopped at the bottom of the row of steps. Are you Uchiha, Sasuke? Bibi Dong looked at the young man in front of her and said. The entire hall was very empty, with no one around. Bibi Dong's voice echoed throughout the hall, filled with invisible pressure. Are you the Pope of Wuhuan Palace? Sasuke stared straight at Bibi Dong and said, Does this woman give Sasuke a stronger feeling than Yu Yu Engine? Bibi Dong looked at Sasuke's eyes, her heart moved slightly, and emotions of anger and sadness surged into her heart at the same time. It had been many years since anyone had dared to look at her like this. I have heard about you from Yuguan and Gui Mei. As the Pope of Wuhuan Palace, I admire you and your students very much. Bibi Dong said, Are you interested in joining our Wuhuan Palace? Sasuke looked at Bibi Dong. This woman was noble and elegant, with a hint of kindness in her majesty. She managed her expression very well. Why are you so angry and full of hatred? Sasuke asked. Just like a glass cup breaking in a quiet room, when Bibi Dong heard Sasuke's words, her heart, which had long been frozen and had no waves, moved violently, frozen, and cracks appeared. Yes. Why is she so angry and hateful? She was originally a saint from Wuhuan Palace, a genius of a generation, and she had a bright future. And all of this was shattered on that day, in the hands of those two men. A person's growth and transformation are often just such a short moment. Every choice is a huge change in life. But at that time, she was completely unaware. She hated Qian Xuanji's despicableness and nastiness. She was angry at Yu Xiaojiang's weakness and incompetence. When there is nowhere to vent the pain and no one understands it, it is easy for a person to go to extremes. If he were strong enough, he would not be so slaughtered and ravaged by others, nor would he care about anyone's betrayal. And now, Bibi Dong is sitting on the throne in the Pope's palace, and the flame of revenge in her heart is burning stronger day by day. To this day, a young man from nowhere asks himself, why is he so angry and hateful? Do you want to join my army? 
Bibi Dong didn't change his expression and extended a second invitation to Sasuke. Chapter, 64 Give me a reason to join, Sasuke said. You don't need a reason. If Wuhuan Palace can't give you what you want, the two empires can't give it either. Bibi Dong said proudly. This rhetoric may be useful to those titled Doluo. Sasuke paused and said, how about another way, you give me the spirit hall, and I will give you what you want, how about? Bibi Dong frowned slightly and tapped the scepter in her hand lightly on the ground. Huge pressure fell on Sasuke. What? Are you not interested in my proposal? Sasuke's tone was full of provocation and he took a step forward. Sasuke climbed the steps and walked towards Bibi Dong step by step. Every step was like stepping on Bibi Dong's heart. Every time Sasuke climbed a step, Bibi Dong's heart level also increased. In all these years, no one has dared to be so rude to me. This is impossible. Bibi Dong looked at Sasuke who was approaching step by step and said angrily in her heart. Why can't I control such a brat? But after all, Bibi Dong had been the Pope for so many years, and there was no trace of panic on his face. Bibi Dong sat and watched Sasuke getting closer and closer, feeling a sense of powerlessness in her heart. He has released all the pressure, why does this kid act as if nothing has happened? Sasuke walked up to Bibi Dong, looked at Bibi Dong sitting on the seat and said, sure enough, you look a lot like her. Her status in the spirit hall is indeed extraordinary. The distance between Bibi Dong and Sasuke was less than one meter, and Sasuke's figure completely covered Bibi Dong. This scene touched a fragile nerve of Bibi Dong, and a terrifying memory that she could not erase emerged in her mind. Presumptuous. Bibi Dong shouted. Ignoring Bibi Dong's scolding, Sasuke said to himself, it seems that there are quite a lot of problems within Wuhuan Palace. You and that guy don't seem to be in harmony, and there is also a so-called worshipper of Sendaliu. You, the Pope, can't do this. Isn't it easy? Are you worthy of negotiating terms with me? You don't seem to be as courageous as that person. Bibi Dong took a breath, calmed down, and said with a smile, Qian Renxue is so capable. It seems that you still don't understand the situation. Where do you think this is? Do you think that you refused, who invited you? I am the Pope of Wuhuan Palace. It's you who don't understand the situation. Sasuke said, I'm giving you a chance now. I don't want to care about the three sects, the two empires, and all the grievances you had in the past. But when the new era begins, I will erase all the relics of the old era. Now is the time for you to make the choice, not me. Because you can't give me what I want. Do you think that title Dolua is the limit of this world? Bibi Dong pointed a finger at Sasuke, and a spider thorn about 20 centimeters emitted dark green light and shot toward Sasuke. Sasuke grabbed it with one hand, crushed the spider thorn from the air, and burned it into thin air. Bibi Dong watched Sasuke easily neutralize his attack, remained silent for a long time, and asked, which god do you inherit? I'm a human, I don't care about gods. Sasuke said with contempt. A trace of panic arose in Bibi Dong's heart. It seems that we need to speed up the progress of the assessment. You don't need to hide anything. I know the twists and turns in this. Bibi Dong has already determined that Sasuke is the one who has inherited the inheritance of the gods. Otherwise, at his age, he would never be able to compete with him. The Soul Master competition measured the bone age of every contestant. This Sasuke was only 18 years old. She must complete the assessment before Sasuke, and she will not allow anyone to ruin her plan. No power beyond one's control is allowed to appear. Sasuke can understand all the emotions in Bibi Dong's heart. What makes Sasuke puzzled is that the woman in front of him has an Avenger mentality. As for why Sasuke is so sure, he can only say that he has experienced it. Since you are unwilling to let go, I can only erase you and this Wuhuan palace together, of course, not now. After Sasuke finished speaking, he turned around and left. As he walked, he did not forget to add, you still have time to consider my suggestion. Does he want to erase the Wuhuan palace? Bibi Dong sneered. You must know that Qian Daolu is also a person who has half-stepped into the realm of gods. 
If overthrowing the Wuhuan palace was so easy, why would she, Bibi Dong, wait until today? Sasuke listened to Bibi Dong's sneer, and he was a little confused. When he said that he wanted to erase the Wuhuan palace, a trace of true recognition and joy flashed in Bibi Dong's heart. Although it was only a short moment, Sasuke make sure you don't feel wrong. The Pope of this religious force is indeed not something ordinary people can do, and he is somewhat seriously ill. Sasuke said in his mind. In the Tiendo Imperial Palace, Qian Renxue was dealing with many government affairs. After knocking down Emperor Shuya, many things in the Tiendo Empire fell on him, and it was not easy to make plans for the future. How large is the scale of Prince Snow Star's private army? Qian Renxue frowned slightly as she looked at the official document handed over by her confidant. When Qian Renxue was worried, a white dove landed on her shoulder and whispered a few words. Qian Renxue's anger and pressure exploded together, and the pen in her hand was crushed to pieces. That woman. Qian Renxue raised her hand and smashed all the porcelain in the room. The next second, stabbing blood appeared in front of Qian Renxue as if facing a formidable enemy. Qian Renxue glared angrily and cursed, Did I tell you to come in? Get out! When Qian Renxue glared at Qian Renxue, all the hair on his body stood up, and he hurriedly left the study. Bibi Dong. Do you like to interfere in my life so much? Qian Renxue punched the table, and the mountains of official documents shattered and flew all over the room. The surveillance report on Prince Xueqing submitted by Qian Renxue's confidant was too close to Qian Renxue's fist, and it was shattered into pieces of paper and scattered everywhere. Another 14 minutes timed out. The underworld is coming. Today is the day to be recommended, and it will last for a week. If the data is good, you can continue to stay in the recommended position, and continue to ask for votes. If you have a favorite character who needs to create a card, you can leave a message in the comment area. I will take the time to do it. Please rest well, tomorrow is also a day full of hope. Chapter, 65 Back at the hotel, everyone in the Hokage Academy sat neatly at the dining table, waiting for Sasuke to come back and dine together. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief when they saw Sasuke returned intact. Sasuke, what do you say about the Pope of Wuhuan Palace? Yi Zhichou asked. It's all about coercion and inducement. Teacher, you are asking questions knowingly. Ling Yun said. I refuse, Sasuke said. If you encounter the Wuhundian team, you guys must be more careful. Never underestimate the enemy. Yi Zhichou heard this and immediately warned Yi Ling'er and others. When I went to watch the match today, all members of the Tiendo Royal Academy were seriously injured in less than half a minute. That Yu Tianheng was already dying when he left the field. Yi Ling'er said with a frown. This is probably a warning to the Blue Lightning Tyrannosaurus Rex family. Ning Rongrong sighed. How long is the schedule for the Soul Master competition? Sasuke asked. In less than seven days, there are only eight teams left. For more teams will be eliminated tomorrow. After two days of rest, it will be the semi-finals, and then the finals. Yi Zhichou replied, Oh, by the way, there is another letter from Shue Qingha. Letter to you. Sasuke took the envelope and after opening it, he found two large characters neatly written on the paper, return soon. After dinner, Sasuke ordered Yi Ling'er and others to gather on the lawn behind the hotel. Sasuke-sensei hasn't taught anything new for a long time. Ling Yun laughed. After all, our combined ninjutsu has never been successful. Yi Ling'er sighed. Sasuke came to everyone and said, What I want to teach you this time is how to use chakra to improve your reflexes. Teacher, are you like Yi Ling'er? Ling Yun asked. Sasuke said, the Thunder God armor that Yi Ling'er practices uses Thunder Attribute Chakra to stimulate the body and improve the body's functions. What I want to teach you today is to use Chakra to connect your consciousness and enhance the five senses. Circulate Chakra throughout the body, and then release it around the body like silk. Maintain control of the released Chakra. Center your spiritual consciousness on yourself and feel all changes around you. This can make you more sensitive to changes around you and predict dangers in advance. 
To release chakra without losing control of it requires very delicate control abilities. Originally, it would consume a lot of chakra to continuously maintain this state, but you can use the mutated soul power. With your current soul power reserves, you can maintain it for a long time. The teacher is worried about us meeting the Wuhundian team, right? Yi Linger thought this in her heart, looked at Sasuke who looked indifferent, and laughed out loud. Let's start practicing now. I'm going to be away for a while. After Sasuke finished speaking, he left a clone behind and the main body suddenly disappeared. At night, outside Wuhuan City, a blue-purple giant sprang out of the woods, spread its wings, and flew to Tiendo City. In the palace, Qian Renxue was pacing around in her study, obviously troubled by something. Sasuke closed Susanoo and landed outside Tendu Palace. Doqing is as peaceful as ever on this day. It doesn't look like anything big has happened. What is this Qian Renxue up to? Qian Renxue sat on the desk, biting the tip of her pen and thinking. Now he writes a letter asking him not to come back. He will probably be cursed by that guy, right? That kid doesn't look like a magnanimous person. Qian Renxue felt a little regretful and sent a message to Sasuke in desperation to come back. Since Sasuke rejected Bibi Dong the first time, he would naturally reject it the second time, right? But the first time, Sasuke didn't meet Bibi Dong face to face. That woman had a lot of scheming tricks. Prick blood. Qian Renxue called out. After stabbing blood, who was hiding outside the house, he confirmed that he had heard correctly, he cautiously entered the room. Standing in front of Qian Renxue. Qian Renxue looked at the stabbing blood and said, Let me ask you, do you think Bibi Dong looks good? Apart from the big offering, Qian Renxue was the only one who dared to call him by his first name. Shui recalled Shi Long's advice to him, and knew that Qian Renxue's relationship with the Pope had always been at odds. He used up all his brains to think of something that would not offend both sides, and replied, Young master, you know that the Pope His Highness is majestic and sacred. And I usually dare not take a closer look at it, but if he can give birth to something like you, young master. With such great beauty, then His Highness the Pope will naturally be the same. Oh. Qian Renxue looked at the anxious stabbing blood and thought, when did this guy learn to speak in such an all-round way? Qian Renxue snorted coldly, took off Xue Qinghe's disguise, stood up and walked to the front of the stabbing blood, then take a closer look, who is more beautiful, me or the Pope? Qian Xue raised his head and saw Qian Renxue very close at hand, and said without thinking, Young master, it is better to be more talented than someone who is already a master. Seeing the serious look on Xie Xue's face, Qian Renxue held back her smile, waved her hand and said, Go down. The stabbing blood was relieved and disappeared in the blink of an eye. Qian Renxue leaned on the desk and thought to herself, What is she doing? It doesn't seem like there's anything important going on here. Qian Renxue stood up suddenly and looked around, only to see Sasuke leaning against the window, looking at her. The moonlight shone on his shoulders, perfectly matching his cold temperament. You. Don't you have my warrant? Do you have to go through the window? Qian Renxue didn't expect Sasuke to be so quick. This Wuhuan city is not close to Tiendo city. Is it important? Sasuke said. Looking at Qian Renxue who had regained her true appearance, Sasuke said, Is it appropriate for you to show off like this in the palace? Qian Renxue felt cold when she heard this and said, Is it important? Anyway, not many people in this world know me. Qian Renxue is right. The time she spends as Qian Renxue may not be enough to be a fraction of the time she spends as Xue Qinghe. As the daughter of Pope Bibi Dong, even in Wuhuan Palace, few people would recognize her current appearance. She didn't know why Bibi Dong had such an attitude towards her. Mom, mother. No one had ever taught her such a title. Ever since she could remember, Bibi Dong had looked at her with eyes full of disgust, but that person should clearly be the one who loved her the most. And Qian Dao Lu, the only grandfather who loved her dearly, did not stop Bibi Dong from sending her to the Tiendo Empire as an undercover agent. That year, she was nine years old. Now, even if she takes off her disguise and walks in the Tiendo Palace, she will only be regarded as a singer's concubine or something like that. So, what's going on? 
Sasuke asked. Xian Renshue's throat was clogged and she was at a loss. She hadn't thought of her words yet. Sasuke came too fast. It can't be said that he is afraid that he will be won over by Bibi Dong, right? Putting it this way, this guy might yell at himself for being naive and thinking that he has no value in cooperating, and then he might rush into Bibi Dong's camp. Xian Renshue stepped back and touched the official documents on the desk with her fingers. With an idea, Qian Renshue picked up a stack of official documents and said, I'm calling you back this time because I want to discuss the Code of Law with you. Chapter, 66 Code This is indeed an important thing. According to the plan, after the competition, Qian Renshue will officially succeed to the throne and become the supreme leader of the Tiendo Empire. At that time, new policies and laws can be implemented from the Tiendo Empire and trial and error can be carried out. If Qian Renshue hadn't called him back this time, Sasuke would have wasted a lot of time. It seems that Qian Renshue is also very concerned about the establishment of a new era. However, Sasuke felt that Qian Renshue's mood was a little strange at this moment. This feeling was indescribable, and he didn't know what she was thinking. Qian Renshue guiltily sorted the official documents on the desk one by one, and took out a large number of files from the bookcase. They were all public opinion survey reports and various anonymous letters collected since the establishment of the Hokage Academy. There are also letters from princes and ministers, let me look for them. Qian Renshue rummaged through the bookcase. Sasuke looked at the papers and files that were gradually piled up on the desk. Even though I was already prepared in my heart, I was still a little embarrassed. Is this the Hokage? Sasuke thought. Xian Renshue moved a chair and sat down side by side with Sasuke. Looking at the mountains and hills of documents piled up on the huge desk, Xian Renshue handed Sasuke a pen and said, Then, let's get started. After all, Xian Renshue has been the crown prince for so many years. In Sasuke's plan, Qian Renshue is leading Sasuke in matters that should have been his responsibility. Yes, for so many years, Sasuke has either been seeking revenge or on the road to revenge. After Lin finally realized something, he still had to fall in love with Naruto. Force can open the door to a new world, but it is impossible to build a new world by force. Qian Renshue and Sasuke both tacitly chose to revise and organize from the civil law section. The two of them knew in their hearts that there was still a huge point of conflict between the two parties, and it would be more harmonious to deal with it from the bottom up. Qian Renshue is already familiar with this kind of thing. As the number of questions continued to increase, Qian Renshue couldn't help but feel a little proud as she looked at Sasuke who was constantly lost in thought. You are usually aggressive, but today. I want to see if I can make you collapse. Qian Renshue thought this in her heart and kept throwing questions to Sasuke. Is this guy deliberately looking for trouble? Sasuke felt Qian Renshue's inexplicable emotions and raised his head to glance at her. He saw Qian Renshue looking at him with a proud look on his face. Sasuke seemed to have something stuck in his throat as he continued to think about the problem. Qian Renshue held her face with one hand and looked at Sasuke's brows furrowed, his face serious and unfocused. After a moment of reflection, he began to concentrate on solving the problem. How huge is the workload of revising the code? One night passed, and Sasuke and Qian Renshue had not even completed one-tenth of the outline of the civil law. Naturally, the two of them had various disputes. The two were in a head-to-head -head confrontation, and no one was convinced by the other. There are things that one person cannot do. Naruto's voice sounded in Sasuke's mind again, and Sasuke's cold snort without warning startled Qian Renshue. Just like that, for three days and three nights without sleep, the entire study floor was filled with all kinds of scrapped papers and paper balls. When Qian Renshue touched the pen basket, she could no longer find a good pen to write with. Qian Renshue had some obsessive compulsive disorder. She wanted to get a pen from the cabinet and get up, but then she realized that there was no place to stay in the room. Whoops! A burst of black flames flashed across the room, and the waste paper on the ground disappeared instantly, leaving no ashes behind. Qian Renshue looked at Sasuke who was working hard and thought to himself, what an energy monster this guy is. 
Qian Renxue took out some new pens from the cabinet and put them into the pen basket. By chance, Hong Yan prepared some meals and placed them on the table by the door. According to Qian Renxue's instructions, except for Hong Yan, Zhang Shui, and Shi Long, no one was allowed to come even half a step closer to the study. Qian Renxue stood up and scooped out a bowl of soup, handed it to Sasuke, then turned around to scoop out the second bowl. Without raising his head, Sasuke reached out to take it. The bowl was already at his mouth, and when he was about to eat it, he heard a crisp sound, and the porcelain bowl filled with soup fell to the ground and shattered. Qian Renxue held a bowl in her hand and stared blankly at everything in front of her. The chair where Sasuke was originally sitting was empty at the moment. Wuhuan City, at the Pope's Palace A huge humanoid phantom was hitting the Pope's Palace with a sledgehammer. Bibi Dong, Zhuaguan, Gui Mei, and three titled Dolua, who released their true martial souls, attacked. The soul power of the entire Pope's Palace surged, and the impact of the two forces under the attack, countless soldiers fell to the ground with bleeding from their orifices. Explosions, big and small, were heard everywhere. Many team members who participated that day were trapped in the arena and were affected by the battle. The only soul king in the Hokage Academy, Yi Jichio, is struggling to support him. Although Yi Ling'er and others are quite outstanding compared to their peers, they cannot withstand the aftermath of this title Doluo. White tea. Isn't it better yet? Yi Jichio shouted, his turtle shell could no longer hold it. Bai Cha was seen kneeling on the ground, with an open scroll in front of her. Bai Cha's whole hand was bleeding, and she pressed it on the scroll and kept repeating what Sasuke told her. The moment Yi Jichio vomited blood and the turtle shell burst, a ball of purple chakra enveloped everyone. Sasuke Sensei. Bai Cha was so excited that she almost cried. She thought she remembered something wrong, but now that Sasuke really appeared, she forgot that her palms were still bleeding. Sasuke was thinking about the key point, but was diverted by Bai Cha's counter spiritual technique, and all his thoughts suddenly disappeared. Sasuke sighed, looked at the air battle, and asked, What's going on? Ding ding ding. The classic underworld stall is here. Chapter 67 With Sasuke taking over, Yi Jichio immediately meditated on the spot and adjusted his breath. The aftermath of this battle even knocked out a 70 level soul master. Yi Jichio, Yi Ling'er and others tried their best to be able to withstand it. Until Sasuke arrives. Ling Yun looked at the bloodstained scroll under Bai Cha's body, and then he understood why Sasuke had given Bai Cha an extra scroll before. It turned out to be to save his life. Sasuke had been away for four or five days, and the schedule had already reached the semi-finals. The Hokage Academy faced off against the Star Luo Royal Academy, while Shrek Academy faced off against the Spirit Hall team. When Ning Rongrong met Juching's sister, she naturally showed no mercy. Everyone showed their bravery. Only Ling Yun was slightly injured and the hard steel star Luo Royal Team's martial soul fusion technique Netherworld White Tiger was used. Shrek Academy unexpectedly defeated the Wuhundian team, but Xiao Wu in their team somehow revealed his identity as a hundred thousand year soul beast during the battle. A conflict broke out between Shrek and Wuhuan Palace, and Hao Tian Dolua appeared out of nowhere and fought with Bibi Dong and others. Sasuke looked at Xiao Wu who was standing with Tang San. There was a question about how to establish the legal status of a human being transformed from a soul beast. I only heard Tang Hao shouting in the air. Bibi Dong and Zhuaguan, the three ghosts teamed up and couldn't stop them. For more lights and shadows flew out from the spirit hall to fight against Tang Hao. A loud noise was heard in the air, and after a burst of dazzling white light, the Pope's palace was in a mess. When the dust and smoke cleared, Tang Hao, Tang San, and Xiao Xiao were gone. Dancing figure. Tang Hao's wild laughter could be heard in the air. Bibi Dong's face was flushed, her blood was surging, and the hand holding the scepter kept shaking. His Majesty the Pope, would you like? Yu Guan asked. No need, there's no point. Bibi Dong closed her eyes, calmed down her mood, and looked at the messy competition scene with a gloomy face. Your Highness, what should we do in this Soul Master competition? Ghost asked. 
Now the teams that have reached the finals are Hokage Academy and Shrek Academy, but if something like this happens to Shrek Academy, they will definitely not stay in this Wuhan city for a long time. Dean, what should we do now? Dai Mubai asked Flanders. Flanders looked at Sasuke who stood motionless and Yi Linger and others who were in full condition behind him, and sighed. Let's give this finals championship to them. The most important thing for a soul master is his strength. Don't care about these false reputations. Yu Xiaowan said, and this Wuhuan city is no longer a place to stay for a long time. Let's think about it in the long run after we go back. Everyone in Shrek nodded. Now that Tang San and Xiao Wu were missing, the team's strength was greatly reduced. Forced by the power of Wuhuan Palace, they had to retreat. It was very reasonable. In this way, the finals of the Soul Master competition ended with Shrek Academy abstaining. Bibi Dong looked at Sasuke who suddenly appeared on the scene, and her heart was in confusion. She was extremely annoyed at Tang Hao's hands, and now she had no intention of publicizing Sasuke. The scepter in Bibi Dong's hand released a ray of light, and three soul bones appeared from the light group and stopped in front of Sasuke. Bibi Dong flashed in front of Sasuke and said, Congratulations, you have won the championship of this soul master competition. You are all excellent. Are you willing to join my spirit hall? Yi Linger and others held their breath and waited for Sasuke to speak. Everyone has his own ambition. Sasuke looked at Bibi Dong and said. Hearing this, Bibi Dong smiled slightly, but her eyes were quite cold, and said, Very good. After a day of rest, the Tiendo Royal Knights began to escort the major academy teams back to the Tiendo Empire. It's like a dream. On the carriage, Yi Jichio said while holding the championship trophy of the Soul Master competition. Okay. You've been holding me for a whole day and a night, and the paint on the trophy is almost wiped off by you, Yi Linger said. Open your eyes and tell lies. This is pure gold. Yi Jichio said. Teacher. What are our arrangements next? Ning Rongrong asked Sasuke. Go back first and wait for my instructions. Sasuke said. At night, the motorcade stopped to rest. Ning Fengji walked up to Sasuke and said, Sasuke, you should be aware of Emperor Shuya's condition, right? Didn't you guess it all? Sasuke said. Ning Fengji said, His Royal Highness is both civil and military, and has outstanding ability in governing the country. As the crown prince and grand master, I really can't bear to see you take action against him. Sasuke sneered, What? Do you really want to support him? If Ning Fengji knew that the prince he had guided for many years was the young master of Wuhuan Palace, his expression would be very wonderful, right? But Sasuke didn't intend to tell him that when the deal was done and he couldn't get on the ship, it wasn't him, Ning Fengji, who had the final say. Alas. Let Rongrong choose. The future is in her hands. Ning Fengji said. As the champions of this soul master competition, everyone from the Hokage Academy was summoned by Emperor Shuya as soon as they returned to Tiendo City. Of course, this warrant was naturally written by Qian Renshua. Everyone from the Hokage Academy came to the palace and had a feast to wash away their dust. During the dinner, Sasuke left the table and came to Qian Renshua's study. Qian Renshua had been waiting for him for a long time. Tomorrow, the award ceremony will be held. At the ceremony, Emperor Shuya will be officially passed on to you. Sasuke said. I don't know why, but I always feel that it went too smoothly. I seem to have missed something important. Qian Renshua thought about it. Do what you should do. Sasuke said, don't make me think that you have no value in cooperating. Hearing this, Qian Renshua's brain heated up and she snorted coldly. The general outline of the civil law she was holding in her hand was crushed to pieces by her, and she said, go slowly and don't send me away. Everyone in Shrek had their own thoughts. When they returned to the academy, they found that Prince Shuebang was already waiting there. Prince Shuebang, what are you doing? Flanders looked at Shuebang and asked. Early before the end of the competition, Brother Tang San wrote to inform me of some things. Everyone, please give me a moment to speak. 
Flanders and Yu Xiaojiang looked at each other and said, Little guys, go back and rest first. No. Prince Xuebeng interrupted Flanders' arrangement and said, Everyone, please get in the car. This matter is no small matter. Chapter 68 What are you doing? Seeing Sasuke not only not leaving but walking towards her, Qian Renxue unconsciously took half a step back and asked alertly. Sasuke walked past Qian Renxue and sat down at the desk. Nothing to do tonight, let's continue. Sasuke said. Ah. Qian Renxue didn't react for a moment. What about the general outline of civil law? Something happened unexpectedly before, let's continue now, the matter is imminent. Sasuke glanced at the table and said. Hearing this, Qian Renxue took a deep breath, looking a little embarrassed. She slowly raised the hand on her lower back, spread her fingers, and saw a slender, jade-stained hand with paper scraps floating like dandelions. Qian Renxue said, although it is a little scattered, it is not completely unclear. Sleepless night. After the banquet, Yi Linger and others stayed in the palace under Qian Renxue's arrangement. What puzzled everyone was that Emperor Shui Yi had promised to summon him, but he was nowhere to be seen the whole time. The night gradually faded, Qian Renxue looked out the window, dawn was approaching. Qian Renxue transformed back into Xue Qingha's appearance, clapped her hands, and several young palace ladies came into the room carrying toiletries to help the two of them wash up. I'll do it myself, Sasuke said. But those palace maids didn't dare to go against Qian Renxue's wishes. They just lowered their eyebrows and groomed Sasuke without saying a word. Sasuke, they are all completely ordinary weak women. Don't use too much force. Qian Renxue said with a smile. After the two of them had finished washing up, Qian Renxue clapped her hands again, and a palace maid came up carrying a black dress with gold patterns. Sasuke glanced at Qian Renxue when he saw this. You have to attend a big occasion today, Sasuke-sama. Qian Renxue said. The two maids unfolded the gorgeous dress, with the Uchiha family's Uchiha fan pattern printed on its back. Ah! Yi Linga yawned, looking at the sumptuous breakfast, thinking about where Sasuke went. The next second, the Prince Shue Qingha and Sasuke appeared in everyone's sight. It seems that Sasuke went to the prince's study when he left yesterday. He didn't go out all night. Ling Yun said as he came to Yi Linger's side. Yi Linger's knife cutting the steak instantly cut the plate in half and sunk deeply into the table. Xue Qingha had breakfast with everyone with an easygoing look, and then ordered an announcement throughout the city that an award ceremony would be held in the afternoon to reward the academy team that went to Wuhuan City to compete this time. The celebration was held at the royal school ground, and was escorted by the Tiendo Royal Knights. All important royal officials were present. The teams from all the colleges felt extremely honored when they saw this, but just to reward them, this scene was too grand. I only heard the sound of horns. The royal knights were full of energy and saluted one after another. Emperor Shuya slowly walked towards the most noble throne. Next to him, the Prince Xue Qingha stood to accompany him. On the side of the prince, there was still standing Ning Fengji and Sasuke. Prince Xue Xing looked at Emperor Xue Yi from above with a gloomy expression, and his eyes swept over the prince and Sasuke in turn. Emperor Xue Yi stood up and began to reward the academy teams and the royal knights. After conferring titles and fiefs, Emperor Xue Yi waved. Many civil servants stood on the high platform in all directions, holding an edict in their hands and reading it aloud. Stand up. But the content of the edict made everyone present change their expressions. Each word of the edict was like a heavy hammer hitting Prince Xue Xing's heart one after another, and he looked at Emperor Xue Yi in shock and anger. The latter just sat there, like a lifeless statue. What those civil servants read out was Emperor Zui's abdication edict. The king of the Tiendo Empire has never abdicated before someone died. Emperor Shuya stood up slowly, and all the knights half knelt down. Emperor Shuya looked around and said loudly, Prince, you have noble character kindness and love for the people. You have repeatedly established great power and radiant virtues. I hope that after taking charge of the country, you can use your mind to govern. Fighting for the sky, 
in a way that lasts for thousands of years, using the light of the sun and the moon to protect the mountains and rivers from harm. Xue Qingha closed his eyes and knelt on one knee. Emperor Xue Yi picked up a newly made crown and put it on solemnly for him. Xue Qingha stood up slowly, stood side by side with Emperor Xue Yi, and said loudly, Think deeply about the importance of the entrustment, and be truly dedicated. Long live the Tiendo Empire! Long live! The royal knights of Tiendo shouted long live and shook their weapons in their hands. The sound was huge and moving. Many officials in the empire have long been die-hard loyalists to Xue Qingha. When they saw Emperor Xue Yi abdicate, they all knew that the day when they would become famous was not far away, and they all raised their arms and shouted long live. Only Prince Xue Xing stared angrily, and beside him, Prince Xue Beng clenched his fists. Neither Xue Xing nor Xue Beng expected that all this would happen so quickly. Emperor Xue Ye is indeed old, but he has never had any physical problems. This time he suddenly fell ill and immediately announced his abdication. It's too sudden. Prince Xue Xing looked at Sasuke who was standing next to Xue Qingha. This man also came out inexplicably and got so close to Xue Qingha inexplicably. According to Tang San, this matter must have a lot to do with him. The new emperor ascended the throne, and there were many affairs, large and small. Although Qian Renxue was tired of dealing with them, she still did not forget to search for Tiendo's national treasure, the vast sea universe cover. Qian Renxue knew a lot about Poseidon Island. Wohundian has sent troops to Poseidon Island many times, but the power of the sea is endless. Every time before reaching Poseidon Island, the army has been lost in the sea. The only one who arrived at Poseidon Island was killed without leaving any trace of his armor. Since then, Wohundian has never had the idea of Poseidon Island. Xian Renxue was sent to undercover the Tiendo Empire. In addition to dismantling the empire from within, finding the Poseidon token was also an important task. This task was assigned to her by her grandfather Qian Daolu. But Qian Renxue turned the palace upside down and gained nothing. Could it be that it was entrusted to the Qibao Glazed Sect? After all, the Tiendo Empire's treasury is in the hands of the Qibao Glazed Sect. Qian Renxue took a long breath and thought to herself, if this continues, what will she do to deal with Sasuke? After all, everything this man knows is enough to make all his previous efforts useless. Everyone has seen that the situation is completely out of our control. Prince Xueqing said while looking at Yu Xiaojiang and others who also looked solemn. I didn't expect that evil soul master to be able to do this. If this happens, my country, Tiendo, will no longer be a country. Xue Beng punched the table and gritted his teeth. Xue Qingha's accession to the throne is a foregone conclusion. He has worked hard for many years and has a deep foundation. If he rushes to attack, I'm afraid. Yu Xiaojiang touched his chin and said. I know. But all this is not without hope. We only need to do one thing. That is, rescue my father from the palace. Xue Beng said, the only way is to let my father expose Xue Qingha and Wu Huan Palace. Only collusion can be convincing. Dai Mubai looked at the impassioned fourth prince's avalanche, and thought in his mind that he had not met his brother Davis in this soul master competition, which meant that the two of them had not decided the winner yet. There is a huge difference in strength between him and his brother, so completing the martial soul fusion skill netherworld white tiger with Zhu Qin is the only chance of victory. But. Dai Mubai looked at Zhu Zhu Qin, who was becoming increasingly indifferent to him, and made up his mind. Since he was unable to compete with Davis, let's open up the situation in Tiendo. Prince Xue Bang. Don't worry, with Shrek's help. We will not let Wu Huan Palace's conspiracy succeed. Dai Mubai stood up and patted the table. Ding ding ding, the underworld is coming. Asking for votes every day. I have been staying at home for a long time. Today I went out to play basketball with my friends and found that my health has deteriorated a lot. Life lies in exercise. Brothers, you should take good care of your health. Finally, ask for a wave of votes every day. Chapter, 69 Your Majesty, Sasuke-sama would like to see you. Hirohiko said respectfully to Qian Renshue. 
What should I do? Qian Renxiu frowned. If he couldn't see the Poseidon token, he was afraid that Sasuke would immediately unravel Emperor Shuaiye's illusion and destroy his many years of business. This person would definitely be able to do it. Hateful. Only then did Qian Renxiu realize that she had been choked by Sasuke. When everyone was at the door, I couldn't miss it. I saw Sasuke entering the study, sitting directly at the desk, and while skillfully picking up a pen and paper, he asked, Did you get the so called Poseidon's token? What is supposed to come will still come. Qian Renxue knew that lies were meaningless in front of this man. If you don't get it, put it aside for now. There are higher priority things now. Sasuke said while writing. You can read minds, right? Qian Renxue said as she sat next to Sasuke. You have been very proud these past few days, but you panicked just now. Everyone knows that you didn't get it. Sasuke said. Indeed, capturing the Tiendo Empire made Qian Renxue extremely satisfied. Having mastered Tiendo's military power in people's hearts, she could shame Bibi Dong to her heart's content. Even if her grandfather didn't interfere, she wouldn't be afraid of Bibi Dong's power. This can be regarded as an end to the undercover career, although this end may still be erased by Sasuke. Sasuke understood that the revision of the code was a major project, and changes would occur if it was delayed. Now that the conditions are in place to implement the New Deal, we must promote the promulgation of the code as soon as possible. As for the Poseidon's token, it was just the icing on the cake. After fighting so many title Dolua, Sasuke didn't think there was any place in the world that he couldn't reach. Qian Renxue was overjoyed to see that Sasuke did not pursue the matter. According to the previous agreement, Qian Renxue handed over most of the government affairs to Ning Fengji, while she spent the whole day revising the code with Sasuke in the study. Days like this made Qian Renxue feel more fulfilled than ever before. This was the first time she followed her heart and worked hard. I think we still need to impose restrictions on humans who are transformed from soul beasts. After all, they are not real humans. Ordinary people do not have the ability to distinguish them. If they are allowed to develop and their strength exceeds their control, what will happen? No one knows that spirit beasts of the same level often crush humans. Qian Renxue said. I think the definition of whether it is a soul beast or a human should not be determined by its physical attributes, but by its social attributes. As long as it can abide by human rules, even if it is a soul beast in the form of a human being, it should be treated as such. Protect. Sasuke said. What if under such rules it breaks through the limits and masters power beyond the rules? If any problems arise then, it will all be your fault, Sasuke. Qian Renxue said. There is no such eventuality. Sasuke said. Qian Renxue rolled her eyes and said, What are we still discussing? You are the best. You can get it all right in the end anyway, so why bother with all this? Qian Renxue flicked her pen and waved, and Lian Shue appeared in front of the two of them. Lake Blood, let me ask you, what do you think should be done with those soul beasts that have transformed into humans? For example, legal status. Qian Renxue asked. What kind of status does the soul beast need? Kill it and get the soul ring. Thorn Blood was quite puzzled by Qian Renxue's question. Qian Renxue just wanted to get rid of Zexu, but after thinking about it, she waved her hand and said, It's not your fault. I'm here to ask you. It's my fault. Revise the code. Yi Linger and others said in unison. From today on, the Hokage Academy has been renamed the Hokage Pavilion and has officially become an administrative unit. It is managed by Sasuke and is directly responsible to me. Qian Renxue said. But your majesty, we don't know anything about revising the code. Yi Linger said. What I want is that you know nothing, so that you can express your most direct thoughts. Those old people are used to those rules and regulations. They can't jump out of them. Their times have limited them. But you are the new generation, every generation has its own pursuits. For example, M, don't work overtime. Qian Renxue said. The two of us have already discussed this matter. Now I am informing you, not asking for your opinions. Sasuke said, among you are nobles from the seven treasure glazed sect, 
and there are also people at the bottom of remote villages. People, so it can be considered all-encompassing. Although I thought about the next arrangements, I really didn't expect it to go to this extent. Everyone was surprisingly enthusiastic about this new task. In this way, the Hokage Academy was officially renamed the Hokage Pavilion. For Qian Renshu's convenience, his address was also moved to an island in the middle of the lake next to Tiendo Palace. The old site was handed over to Yi Zhichio to take care of. With the addition of Yi Ling'er and the six others, although the quarrel has intensified, it may have saved time in the Cold War compared to Sasuke and Qian Renshu'e. With more manpower, the revision process of the code has also been greatly accelerated. Teacher Sasuke, I have a question. Yi Ling'er looked at Sasuke and said. You don't have to call me Sensei anymore, just call me Sasuke. Sasuke said, he had always cared about this title. I took a look at our laws and regulations. Are they too drastic? Yi Ling'er said. My opinion is to boil the frog in warm water, one by one, but our Sasuke-sama must do it in one step. Who makes Sasuke-sama the best in the world? You think so, right? Qian Renshu'e said to Yi Ling'er and others. How dare Yi Ling'er and others talk to the king, not even with laughter, but also with tears. Ning Rongrong thought to herself, was Xue Qingha too casual when talking to Sasuke? After all, Ning Fengji is Xue Qingha's teacher, and Ning Rongrong has many contacts with Xue Qingha. Why does Xue Qingha feel more frivolous after he succeeds to the throne? I just don't want to waste time. If they can't accept something that touches their fundamental interests today, how can they accept it tomorrow? It's better to show their trump cards directly. The so-called revolution starts with bloodshed. Sasuke said. Forget it, it's still early. After listening to Sasuke's words, Qian Renshue remembered something and ignored the topic. It doesn't matter what others do, will Grandpa support him? Qian Renshue thought so. If you have insomnia, the underworld is coming. Do you guys have any tips for getting rid of dark circles? I will soon be able to cosplay Gara without makeup. Just that Shikaku Jinchuriki. Chapter, 70 Your Majesty, officials have criticized the policies you proposed a few days ago. In the palace garden, Ning Fengji and Qian Renshue were playing chess while talking. I had already guessed this would happen. Qian Renshue said. Then, what are Your Majesty's plans? Ning Fengji asked. Qian Renshue took out another booklet and handed it to Ning Fengji and said, Look at this. Ning Fengji took the booklet, flipped through it for a while, and said, from the standpoint of those officials who have objections, these policies and laws are much milder than those previously proposed. I didn't expect the things I proposed before to be effective. Qian Renshue said, if you want to open a window, those people will object, but if you first say that you want to lift the roof, then they will it's easier to accept the offer to open the window. I see, it seems that your majesty has made a concession, and the officials feel better. Ning Fengji said, however, your majesty, after all, has offended the interests of many princes and nobles. His majesty has just ascended the throne and is not stable in the hearts of the people. It is appropriate for him to. So what? Qian Renshue said as a chess piece landed firmly on the chessboard, now that the Tiendo army is in my hands, I don't need to consider the thoughts of those moths. They are no longer necessary now. When Ning Fengji heard this, he knew that Qian Renshue was determined, so he said no more. He looked at the chess game and found that he had no choice but to admit defeat. Since Sasuke moved to the Hokage Pavilion, he has stayed there, revising the civil code day and night with Yi Ling'er and others. Unknowingly, several months have passed. What Sasuke didn't know was that every time he revised a part of it, Qian Renshu'e would order part of it to be implemented, completely failing to comply with his one-time enactment. On this day, Qian Renshu'e brought some cakes and fruits to the Hokage Pavilion to reward everyone, and asked Sasuke to accompany her to relax. Bibi Dong ordered me to poison Emperor Shuya and the fourth prince Shue Beng to prevent future troubles. Qian Renshu'e thought twice before telling Sasuke about the matter. It's unnecessary, what threat do they still have now? Sasuke said this, but he was actually a little wavering. Itachi wanted to maintain the stability of Kanoha village, 
and under the instruction of Kanoha's senior officials, he massacred the entire clan. The only failure was that Sasuke was left behind. To cut the grass, we must really remove the roots. Threat. Qian Renxue finally remembered something. Putting aside Prince Xuebeng for the moment, Prince Xueshing had many troops. There are many soul masters under his sect, and it is said that there are even powerful ones at the level of title Dolo. The official document that he had previously sent to his confidant was smashed to pieces in a rage, and he completely forgot about it. To be able to get the support of a title Dolo, could it be that the vast sea universe cover is not in the palace, but is kept by Prince Snow Star? Thinking of this, Qian Renxue has made up her mind. Whether it is to stabilize the situation in Tiendo or to fulfill her grandfather's instructions, Prince Xue Xing cannot be kept. On the other side, Bibi Dong was quite dissatisfied with Qian Renxue's wanton behavior and repeated disobedience, but there was nothing she could do about it. In any case, Qian Renxue's victory over the Tiendo Empire was indeed a great achievement. If anyone else had taken the credit, Bibi Dong would have sucked it all up, but she couldn't move this Qian Renxue. Although the Tiendo Empire is not under Bibi Dong's control, it is still considered a part of the Wuhuan Palace. Bibi Dong has always been a check and balance between the two empires. While the two empires did not dare to attack Wuhuan Palace, Wuhuan Palace was unable to attack either side. Now, since the worries of Tiendo have been eliminated, it is time to take action against the Star Luo Empire. The army that gathered many powerful men from Wuhuan Palace began to encroach on the territory of the Star Luo Empire. The Star Luo Empire is a prosperous country and a strong people, and the power of the royal family is highly concentrated. Although the number of title Dolua is not large, the combat effectiveness of the army is extremely powerful. After the Star Luo royal family noticed the movements of the Wuhuan Palace, they immediately dispatched troops to the battlefield. At the same time, they secretly communicated with the Tiendo Empire. Xiao Yi hoped that the Tiendo royal family could cooperate with the Star Luo Empire to attack the Wuhuan Palace and eliminate it in one fell swoop. And this letter naturally fell into Qian Renxue's hands. To be honest, Qian Renxue personally really wanted to cooperate with the Star Luo Empire and give Bibi Dong a good beating. Of course, this was impossible. After all, she is a member of the Wuhuan Palace. The Wuhuan Palace is Qian Daoliu's hard work, and Qian Daolu is the only relative recognized by Qian Renxue. Clean your own home first. Qian Renxue was thinking as she drafted an edict to let Prince Xueshing enter the palace. However, to Qian Renxue's surprise, Prince Xueshing also received the Star Luo Empire's letter asking for help. The source of the letter was Dai Mubai, the prince of the Star Luo Empire. Although competition in the Star Luo Empire is brutal, when the country is invaded by foreign enemies, any estrangement between domestic forces will be temporarily erased at the king's request. Dai Mubai, the Xingluo prince who lives in the Tiendo Empire, also has the obligation to contribute to the country. After Xue Qingha succeeded to the throne, many of Wuhuan Palace's combat forces in the Tiendo Empire branch have withdrawn to Wuhuan City and joined the war against Xingluo. At this moment, the troops that Xue Qingha can mobilize in Tiendo City are only the Tiendo royal family's army. As long as we can recapture Emperor Xue Yi and disrupt his military morale, we will definitely be able to drive Xue Qingha off the throne. Yu Xiaoan analyzed while touching her chin. Uncle Emperor. Don't miss this opportunity, this may be our only chance. Xue Bang looked at Prince Xue Xing and said. Prince Xue Xing estimated the troops he had, and when he was weighing the pros and cons, Xue Qingha's edict announcing his entry into the palace came before him. Uncle Emperor. He is going to attack us. There is no way out. Xue Bang said after listening to the contents of the edict. Prince Xue Xing tore the edict into pieces and thought to himself, Xue Qingha, you are forcing me to fight to the death. Chapter, 71 If there is any movement from Sasuke, please inform me immediately. Xian Renxue said to the stabbing blood. But young master, your safety. Thorn asked. I will ask Shi Long to come over. Just do what I tell you. Xian Renxue said. Emperor Shui Yi still has Sasuke's spells on him. 
When Emperor Shui dies, Sasuke will notice it immediately and can only kill Prince Shui Sheng and Shui Beng first, and then kill Emperor Shui. When the deal is done, Sasuke won't argue with him for the sake of the overall situation. Xian Renshua thought so. Your Majesty, Prince Shui Sheng has arrived. Hong Yan said to Qian Renshua. I didn't expect it to be so fast. Qian Renshua said. Qian Renshua came to the main hall, and Prince Xue Xing was already standing in the hall. Uncle Emperor, how are you today? Qian Renshua asked. Excuse me, Your Majesty, may I ask what happened today? Prince Xue Xing said. Qian Renshua was not surprised that Prince Xue Xing spoke rudely. Who would blame a dying person? Uncle Emperor, Wuhuan Palace is currently invading the Star Luo Empire. I think you know the pros and cons of this very well. Qian Renshua said. The three parties are checks and balances and interdependent. Xue Xing said. Very good. The Emperor's uncles fiefdom borders both the Star Luo Empire and Wuhuan Palace. In the past, my father gave you this fiefdom, and also gave you the power to privately recruit troops, just to be able to defend the country one day. This time Xinglua if the empire asks for help, how about the emperor's uncle leading the troops to go out? Qian Renxue said. What a good plan. Prince Snow Star cursed in his heart, and asked himself to take his own soldiers to support the Star Luo Empire. He was clearly taking the opportunity to eliminate the armed forces he had cultivated, and because of the righteousness of guarding the border and defending the country, Prince Snow Star could not refute it. What? Uncle Emperor, don't you want to do your part for the Tiendo Empire? Seeing Xu Exhing not answering for a long time, Qian Ren Xue joked, if Xu Exhing can cause some chaos for Bibi Dong on her behalf, then let him live a little longer. When you've had enough fun, you can leak his army information to Bibi Dong and have him wiped out at once, which will save you trouble. Prince Xu Exhing sneered and said, For Tiendo, it doesn't matter if my Xu Exhing body is shattered to pieces. But, if it's for a prince like you who collaborates with the enemy and betrays the country. That's not okay. Qian Renshua sighed, and then said with a look of regret, Uncle, it's a pity that you chose the wrong answer. Prince Xue Xing's whole body soul power surged, and the Swan Marshal spirit appeared and said, Today, I will clean up the family for my Tiendo royal family. Qian Renshua was secretly surprised that this Prince Snow Star actually had contra-level strength. On the contrary, I underestimated him. Very good, very good. Your uncle killed the king today and seized the throne, which saved me a lot of words. Xian Renshue clapped her hands, and countless fully armed soldiers blocked the outside of the palace, waiting for orders. Prince Xue Xing said, place the Tiendo royal family's legions outside the palace. This inner palace is already dominated by the Wuhuan Palace Army. How about you give up your resistance and I can let you die a dignified and painless death? Qian Renshue said. The third soul skill, Fei Yu Sharp Cut. Prince Xue Xing didn't waste any time and directly used his third soul skill. His swan martial soul spread its wings and shot countless flying feathers towards Qian Renshue. Qian Renshue put her hands behind her back and looked calm. I saw countless soldiers pouring out from both sides of the hall to stand in front of Qian Renshue. They raised their shields and a huge golden light shield covered Qian Renshue. Strong shield formation. The feathers shot by Prince Snow Star were all blocked by the golden light shield, and Prince Snow Star burst out of the hall. Qian Renshue walked out of the hall, three pairs of golden wings spread out behind her, and slowly rose into the sky. You. Prince Xue Xing stared at Qian Renshue in Xue Qingha's disguise and said, How is that possible, your martial spirit? Prince Snow Star was horrified. This is definitely not the Tiendo royal family's swan martial spirit. The prince is not colluding with the martial spirit palace, but... Xue Xing, although you are going to die today, I think you are worth it. Not everyone has the opportunity to see the beauty of an angel. Qian Renshue spread her hands outward, and a huge golden angel goddess statue appeared behind her. Opened his hands, and continued to emit brilliance. This is the field. Xue Xing felt the pressure from the angel realm, and the soul power in his body began to melt away. 
At this moment, a signal flare sounded in the air. Xu Eshing and Qian Renxue both looked at it. The direction in which the signal flare was fired was the palace of Emperor Shui Yi. How dare you! Qian Renxue was shocked, Prince Xu Eshing actually secretly cheated on Qin Song. In an instant, three figures came to Xu Eshing's side, and one of them was carrying Emperor Shui Yi on his shoulders. Two Contras A Title Doluo Qian Renxue looked at the person coming and thought something was wrong in her heart. If it was just a contra, it would not be easy to escape from this inner palace, but with a title Dolua, it was hard to say whether they could escape. In the end, the important thing is that Emperor Shuya fell into their hands. Thief! This is the price of your arrogance! Xu Eshing laughed. You take Emperor Shuya away first, and I'll see if I can take off his head. The title Dolua said. The Contra with the Swan Martial Spirit nodded, and flew out of the palace with Emperor Shui Yi on his back. Qian Renxue waved her hand, and the troops on the ground began to fire huge crossbow arrows to intercept them. In the Angel Realm, Xu Eshing and others are under great pressure to act. Facing the crossbow arrows fired in turn, the Contra was unable to break out for a moment. Seeing this, the title Dolua turned into several flywheels behind him, spinning towards Qian Renxue. A spear flew out of the air, knocking away the flywheels. Snake Spear Dolua caught the spear and blocked it in front of Qian Renxue. My subordinate is late, please forgive me, young master. Shi Long said. Little Lord. Only a rough voice was heard, and thorn blood flew to Qian Renxue's side on his martial spirit. Young master, forgive me. A title Dolua has appeared, and your safety must be my top priority. Thorn apologized. Golden will Dolua. Do you dare to be enemies with us? Shi Long pointed his spear at the title Dolua next to Prince Snow Star. Lord Jinluan, our goal has been achieved, let's retreat first. Xu Eshing said to Jinluan Dolua. Shan Xue, Shi Long, kill without mercy. Xian Ren Xue gave the order, and Shang Xue and Shi Long rushed straight towards Xue Xing and the others. The two tidal Dolua attacked fiercely under the light of the Angel Realm. Xue Xing and a Contra carrying Emperor Xue Yi managed to break through, while the Golden Will Dolua and another Contra fought against Thorn Blood and Shi Long. Make a ball. How can a mere Contra be so difficult to deal with? Are you Yang Wudi from the Pa Clan? Shi Long asked as he engaged the Contra in close combat. The Thief of Wuhuan Palace. Give my brother his life back. Yang Wudi shouted, charging towards Shi Long with his gun. Seeking death. Shi Long released his martial soul avatar and faced him. In the Hokage Pavilion, Yi Linger and others stopped writing when they heard loud noises coming from the direction of the palace from time to time. Sasuke, do you really don't need to go take a look? Ning Rongrong asked. Sasuke was thinking about the key point, but his thoughts were disturbed by the movements. With a wave of one hand, he released a soul barrier to cover the entire Hokage pavilion, blocking out all sounds. When two title Dolua fight one title Dolua, there should be no need for him to take action, Sasuke thought. The classic underworld stall is here. Ask for a wave of tickets every day and sleep well. I recommend a song called So Many People in the World by Karen Mock, a song released in 2021. I just listened to it today. It's not bad. Chapter, 72 Why was Shi Long still tripped up by a contra? Qian Renxue saw that Xu Eshing was about to break out under the cover of Yang Wudi and Jin Luan Doluo. The soul ring on his body flashed, and the angel illusion behind him emitted a burst of strong sound waves. The Sixth Soul Skill Angel Roars Under the impact of Qian Renxue's Sixth Soul Skill, except for Golden Will Doluo, the movements of everyone else on Prince Snow Star's side were stagnant. Shi Long seized this opportunity and forced Yan Wudi back, heading straight for Prince Xue Sheng and another Contra. He is just a soul saint, but he can actually suppress three soul Dolua with a single soul skill. This angel's martial soul is really extraordinary. Jin Luan Dolua knew that if he didn't fight with all his strength, none of them would be able to leave the Flying Mushroom Sausage Shrek Academy gave Yang Wudi was about to expire, and he couldn't delay it any longer. The Eighth Soul Skill 
split light and cut shadows. I saw Jean Luindolua forming four huge flywheels with one hand. There was a huge black whirlwind around the flywheels, bypassing the stabbing blood and strangulating towards Qian Renshua. Little Lord. Thorny blood and she long exclaimed at the same time, Jean Luindolua attacked and rescued the two of them, so that they could escape easily. If Zhang Shui and Shi Long's guards were not in time, it would not be impossible for Qian Renxue to be seriously injured. The second soul skill. Wings of nothingness. Qian Renxue's whole body was seen shining with light, and the wings behind her ignited golden flames. Qian Renxue was wrapped in it, and her figure became looming in the flames. When Qian Renxue activates the second soul skill, she can be directly immune to physical attacks, 50% immune to energy attacks, and increase her speed by 20%. The four whirlwinds of the Golden Will Dolua were extremely fast and attacked Qian Renxue from four directions. The huge energy blocked the space around it and it was impossible to avoid it. Even defensive skills have their limits after all. That is the eighth soul skill of Tidal Dolua. No matter how powerful the angel spirit is, Qian Renxue is only a soul saint at the moment. Taking advantage of the gap between stabbing blood and Shi Long to protect Qian Renxue, Jin Luan Dolua led Xue Xing and others to break out of the palace. Yang Wudi was held in the hands of Golden Will Dolua because the flying mushroom sausage had expired. Stop them! Qian Renxue shouted sharply when she saw Zhang Xue and Shi Long gave up the pursuit and flew towards her. However, in the eyes of Zhang Xue and Shi Long, failure in the mission was a minor matter and at most they would be punished by Qian Renxue. But if Qian Renxue was injured under the protection of the two, then Qian Dao Lu would probably send the two of them directly to the Dolua Palace to lie down. Four huge whirlwinds suddenly gathered together, as if they were going to crush Qian Renxue in the center. Shi Long and Thorn Blood sacrificed their martial souls at the same time and collided with those whirlwinds. Although Qian Renxue's second soul skill is immune to physical damage, it cannot block the energy attack in the Golden Will Dolua soul skill. The flesh and blood all over Qian Renxue's body felt like it had been sliced open layer by layer by blades. If it weren't for the Angel Realm's ability to dissolve the enemy's soul power, Qian Renxue would have been seriously injured. Very messy. Sasuke's voice came from Qian Renxue's head, and a blue-purple chakra hand grabbed Qian Renxue out of the eye of the storm. Seeing the sudden appearance of Sasuke, Qian Renxue tried her best to break away. But due to the excessive use of the eighth soul skill she had just used to resist the Golden Wildolua, she suddenly lost her strength and her whole body became a little limp. Sanchue and Shi Long looked at the sudden appearance of Sasuke and did not dare to act rashly. After all, Qian Renxue was being held in his hands at the moment. Put me down. Qian Renxue said to Sasuke, they have already escaped from the palace. You can't escape. After Sasuke finished speaking, he formed a seal with one hand. After a burst of bubbles, Emperor Shuya appeared in front of Sasuke, his eyes still blank and completely unconscious. Qian Renxue looked at everything that happened in front of her and recalled the sudden disappearance of Sasuke last time. She thought to herself, this guy's methods are really endless. Anyway, thinking on the bright side, at least Emperor Shuya did not fall into the hands of Xue Xing. Put me down. Qian Renxue breathed a sigh of relief when she saw that Emperor Shuya had not been taken away, and then said to Sasuke. How often has she been treated like this since she was a child? Sasuke ignored Qian Renxue's protest and stretched out an arm from his body to grab Emperor Shui Yi on the ground. Just like that, Sasuke grabbed one in each hand, walked into the hall, and closed the door. This? Just as stabbing blood was about to step forward, Shi Long stopped him. At this time, if the young master doesn't give orders, don't take any action. We are right in front of you, and the young master didn't even think of giving us orders. Don't act blindly. Shi Long said calmly. Thorning Blood looked at the closed door and suddenly realized something. Are you absorbing my soul power? Qian Renxue said in shock as she realized that her body was getting weaker and weaker. Then don't move around. Sasuke threw Emperor Shuya to the ground and continued, You didn't want to hide your actions against Emperor Shuya just because you thought I kept him to restrain you, but in fact, 
you think too much. Keeping them will only make me have more nightmares at night. If it were you, would you feel comfortable if I had a handle in my hand? Qian Renxue said. You don't think that you are the only one who can be Xueqing Ha, right? After Sasuke finished speaking, he formed a seal with one hand and transformed into a Xueqing Ha look. You. Qian Renxue was once again shocked by Sasuke's methods. Qian Renxue was able to disguise herself as Xueqing Ha by relying on the skills attached to the God-given soul bone, but Sasuke did it with just a raise of his hand. If one day I feel that you are useless, I can become Xueqing Ha myself. There is no need to rely on Emperor Shuiyi to oust you. After Sasuke finished speaking, Qian Renxue only felt a white light flash in his brain, and then falling into nothingness. Illusion. This guy Sasuke. Qian Renxue closed her eyes and circulated her soul power throughout her body, looking for the trace of energy that invaded her body. She was actually trying to solve the illusion herself. Sasuke looked at Qian Renxue, who was frowning in his hand, and became interested. This was the first time someone took the initiative to try to break the illusion. Sasuke released the illusion on Qian Renxue and placed her on the ground. Qian Renxue sat paralyzed on the ground, looking at Sasuke with a look of bitterness and hatred. The general outline of the civil code has just been revised. You should implement it as soon as possible. Sasuke said. Then why didn't you stop that group of people just now? If they let Tiendo fall into turmoil again, how could they talk about implementing the New Deal? Xian Renxue complained. I just didn't expect that two title Doluo are not as good as one title Doluo. Sasuke said. You. Xian Renxue couldn't laugh or cry when she heard this, you really don't regard Contra as a human being, do you? Sasuke's eyebrows moved slightly, non-committal. Prince Xueshing has many troops, and there are many high-level soul masters among the guests. Keeping him will always be a disaster. Qian Renxue said. Whatever you want to do with it, it seems impossible for them to accept the New Deal. After Sasuke finished speaking, he walked towards the Hokage Pavilion. Qian Renxue looked at Emperor Shuiyi who had no sight in his eyes, stepped forward, condensed golden flames with one hand, and blew him away with one blow. Seeing Emperor Shuiyi disappear completely, Qian Renxue breathed a sigh of relief. Prick blood, Shi Long. Qian Renxue said. Zhang Shui and Shi Long flashed into the palace, waiting for Qian Renxue's instructions. Lead troops to Xue Xing's fiefdom. Capture them alive if you can. If you can't, kill them on the spot. Qian Renxue said. There was a power outage last night. No eunuch. To be fair, it's only 11 o'clock today, and I haven't even stopped updating for a whole day, so how can I fix it? Asking for votes every day. Chapter, 73 After Prince Xue Xing and others escaped from the palace, they immediately joined Xue Bang and others outside the city. After the two sides met, they were about to retreat with Emperor Xue Yi, but unexpectedly Emperor Xue Yi disappeared out of thin air. Everyone stared, no one knew what happened. Did you rescue the wrong person? Xue Bang was shocked. When he saw the rescued Emperor Xue Yi, Xue Bang felt like he was reborn after a disaster. As long as Emperor Xue Yi is cured and Xue Qingha is deposed from the throne, he will become the only heir to the Tiendo royal family. As a result, Emperor Xue Ye disappeared out of thin air when he arrived in front of him. It must be the secret technique of the evil soul master Sasuke. Xue Bang was so angry that his teeth itched and he wished he could chew Sasuke alive. There's no time. Since you failed, go back and move quickly. Xue Qingha's pursuers will be here soon. Prince Xue Xing said when he saw that the situation was irreversible. In Prince Xue Xing's fiefdom, Dai Mubai and Yu Xiaoan had been waiting for him for a long time. For Xue Bang and Xue Xing, if Emperor Xue Yi was not rescued this time, the Tian Dou Empire would no longer be able to stay. After Dai Mubai revealed his identity as the Prince of the Star Luo Empire, Xue Bang and Xue Xing accepted the proposal to form an alliance with them and led their troops to the territory of the Star Luo Empire. Yu Xiaowan was also kindly invited by Dai Mubai, go to the Star Luo Empire together to work together for a great cause. Where there is life, 
there is hope. Schwebein looked at his hometown that was gradually disappearing, and thought to himself, I will definitely come back. By the time Thorn Shue and Shi Long led the army to Xueshing's fiefdom, the city had already been deserted, leaving the army behind to garrison, and the two returned to Tiendo City. What's this? In the Hokage Pavilion, Sasuke looked at a book handed over by Qian Renshue and asked. Sasuke, have you ever thought that maybe our spirit hall does not conflict with your vision? Qian Renshue said. Sasuke opened the ancient book and took a closer look. It recorded the origin of the God of Angels and the short history of the spirit hall. When the angel god was still an ordinary person, he saw that humans were burdened with diseases and sins, and decided to help humans eliminate them and leave light and hope to the world. After completing everything, he was regarded as the god of angels by people. Means to illuminate the direction and path for people to move forward. Qian Renshua looked at Sasuke and said, Sasuke, the teachings of Wuhuan Palace are consistent with your vision in the general direction. What exactly do you want to say? Sasuke asked. I can't find the Poseidon's token. If you are willing, I will ask Qian Daolu to let you participate in the assessment of the God of Angels. Qian Renshue confessed. She had promised to find the Poseidon token for Sasuke, and Sasuke would help him take over the Heaven Do Empire. Now that Sasuke had done what he promised her, she had been unable to fulfill her promise, and she felt somewhat guilty. No need, I don't want to join any martial arts hall right now. Sasuke said. Then, this is for you. Qian Renshue took out another scroll and handed it to Sasuke. Sasuke took the scroll and opened it, only to see a map drawn on it. Sasuke had bought maps on the market before, but none of them were as detailed as this one. This is Poseidon Island. Qian Renshue pointed to an island on the map and said. Sasuke felt Qian Renshue's mood was a little worried. He raised his head and looked at her and said, What? Is there anything wrong with Poseidon Island? There are no problems on Poseidon Island, but there are big problems along the way. Qian Renshue said, and she didn't want Sasuke to take risks. In fact, Sasuke doesn't care about becoming a god, he just needs to understand the various levels of power in this world. Until now, there had been no power that threatened Sasuke. Sasuke put the map away and said, I will not consider going to Poseidon Island again until I have built the Tiendo Empire into my ideal state. Legislation is a big project. If you want to say that, you have to sit in the Hokage Pavilion and retire. Qian Renshue said with a smile. So I decided to leave this job to you. I am going to bring the surrounding small countries into Tiendo's territory. I hope you will achieve results every time I come back. Sasuke said. Am I the king or are you the king? Qian Renshue said with some dissatisfaction. If you don't want to do it, others will do it. Sasuke said. When Qian Renshue saw Sasuke looking at her, she thought that he was going to release illusions on her again, so she immediately closed her eyes tightly. I'll leave tomorrow. Sasuke said. Qian Renshue opened her eyes and saw that Sasuke didn't mean that. She breathed a sigh of relief and said, how are you going to persuade those small countries to surrender? Do you need me to deploy troops and horses for you? Sasuke said, no, I'll just bring the six. Then be careful. After Qian Renshua finished speaking, her face heated up. The words she just said were not polite, but what she said sincerely. When did you start caring about him? Sasuke took out a psychic scroll and handed it to Qian Renshua and said, if you do what is said here, you can recall me from thousands of miles away, but the farther the distance, the greater the consumption, so use it with caution. It is not a life or death crisis. Don't waste this moment. Qian Renshue took the scroll and said with a joking look, I didn't expect Sasuke-sama to have such a considerate side. I'm just afraid that Tiendo will change hands before I come back. If I hadn't made arrangements for Shui last time, there would have been a lot more trouble. Sasuke said. In the evening, Sasuke was alone in the Hokage Pavilion, looking through information. In order for the legislative work to proceed smoothly, Shue Qingha moved all the books from the Tiendo Royal Library here. Sasuke, is it convenient for us to talk? Ning Fengji said as he sat next to Sasuke. Speak. Sasuke said. 
Have you known for a long time that Xue Qinghe is from Wuhuan Palace? Ning Fengji said this with a gloomy expression and a little panic in his heart. If it hadn't been for the battle in the palace that day, when Gu Rong saw the array Dolua and the snake spear Dolua guarding the Xueqing River, Ning Fengji would still be kept in the dark. Yes, and I can also tell you that the current Xueqinghe is not the real Xueqinghe at all. Sasuke said. But you clearly said you would protect my seven treasures glazed sect. Ning Fengji said, his hand holding the cane trembling slightly. Does the Qibao glazed sect have any losses now? Sasuke closed the book, looked at Ning Fengji and said, You are now the prime minister of the entire Tiendo Empire's government affairs. In this Tiendo Empire, it can be said that you are inferior to one person and superior to ten thousand people. Ning Rongrong's strength far exceeds those of so-called geniuses, and he can still participate in legislative work, do you have any dissatisfaction? But, that is the Wuhuan Palace. In the middle of Ning Fengji's words, he was interrupted by Sasuke, is it important? I really want to know what kind of hatred your Qibao glazed sect has with Wuhuan Palace. Ning Fengji was speechless when he heard that, so far, the Qibao glazed sect did not have any deep grudges except for the death of Chen Exian's father at the hands of Qian Daolu. You are too obsessed with the sect's fame and fortune, which makes you unable to see the correct path. Sasuke said. The Wuhuan Palace has begun to encroach on Xinglu. Its target is the entire continent. Even if they don't take any action against us now, what about the future? Ning Fengji said. I remember I said that my goal is also the entire continent. Ning Fengji, the unification of the continent is the right path. Even if your Qibao glazed sect is safe for a hundred years, it will still disappear after a thousand years. Is it just relying on Chen Exian and Gu Rong? As a title Dolua, do you have the confidence to stand on the mainland and not fall? Sasuke asked. After listening to Sasuke's words, Ning Fengji knew that he had been tied to a boat by Sasuke. The Qibao glazed sect was in Tiendo and could only rely on this fake Xueqing river. I only hope that if one day the Qibao glazed sect is gone, you can keep Rongrong safe for the rest of his life. After Ning Fengji finished speaking, he stood up and left. Sasuke, is what you said true? Ning Rongrong walked out of a small room behind Sasuke and looked at Sasuke in confusion. Chapter, 74 The map and supplies are all in this soul guide. This is the token of my Tiendo royal family. With it, I can save a lot of trouble. Xian Renxue handed Sasuke a bracelet-style soul guide and a token. She knew that Sasuke didn't like the excitement, so she saw him off alone. Sasuke handed the bracelet to Ning Rongrong and put the token away himself. Ning Rongrong glanced at Qian Renxue when she took the token. Yesterday, when she was sorting files in the small room behind Sasuke, she happened to overhear the conversation between Ning Fengji and Sasuke. After confirming with Sasuke, she found out that Xue Qinghe was actually the young master of Wuhuan Palace. Ning Rongrong felt a little uncomfortable when she thought that she had spent so long in the Hokage Pavilion with the young master of Wuhuan Palace. What was even more embarrassing was that his father, Prince Tiendo, whom he supported wholeheartedly, turned out to be a member of the Wuhuan Palace. It was no wonder that Ning Fengji lost control of his emotions. Xian Renxue felt Ning Rongrong's gaze and looked at her. Ning Rongrong quickly looked away. Xian Renxue looked at Ning Rongrong's expression, then glanced sideways at Sasuke, and thought to herself, this guy won't expose my identity, right? In this way, Sasuke took Yi Linger and others on the flying soul beast and set off for the first destination of the trip, the kingdom of Hagandas. Unlike the Xinglua Empire, which has a strong imperial power, the Tiendo Empire also has five autonomous kingdoms, two of which have already turned over to the Spirit Hall. These kingdoms have a high degree of autonomy. Except for paying tribute to Tiendo and dispatching troops under orders, the Tiendo Empire almost completely does not interfere in their internal affairs. This also resulted in the political environment of each kingdom being very different. The kingdom of Hagandas is located in the northwest of Tiendo, close to the extreme north. The soil in the country is barren and the climate is cold. I haven't been out for a long time. Yi Linger stretched his waist and said. 
Since the six of them followed Sasuke into the Hokage pavilion, their food, clothing, and daily life were in the palace. They followed Sasuke to do things and didn't mention it themselves. There was no vacation at all. I heard that the haagen kingdom has a very famous ice-cold dessert. I have a chance to try it this time, Ling Yun said. Half a day later, Sasuke and others arrived at the kingdom of haagen -Dazs. When everyone entered the city, they were stopped by the city defense army. Seven people, each with 3,000 gold soul coins, a total of 21,000 gold soul coins. I saw the leader of the city defense force extending his big hand to Sasuke and the others. 3,000 for one person. Are you so poor that you are crazy? Yi Linger said. No way. We also follow the rules. 3,001 temporary residence permit, valid for half a year, just tell us whether you can get in or not. Said the leader. What kind of rule is this? Ning Rongrong asked. The leader took a sip of wine to warm himself up and said, Looking at you, you look like you're from Tiendo City, right? So what? Ning Rongrong asked again. Of course you don't know the difficulties we have here. It's freezing cold here, resources are scarce, and we have to make offerings to the Tiendo royal family every year. If we want to feed this country, we must have some means. Foreigners like you have count each one, 3,000 gold soul coins. The leader said. Ning Rongrong was about to ask again when she saw Sasuke motioning for him to give money. He immediately took three golden tickets from the soul guide and handed them to the city defense leader. What's there to argue about? Let's just treat it as a public trip. Ling Yun sniffed and said. It was really cold in the haagen kingdom. It was not easy for these city defense troops to stand guard in such weather. The leader took the three gold tickets with a face value of 10,000 and suddenly smiled. Ning Rongrong looked at his happy expression and said she was fooled. That's right. The leader clapped the golden ticket in his palm and said, although our place is not suitable for civilians to live, for you soul masters, 3,000 per person is a very good deal. Why do you say that? Ning Rongrong asked. Our kingdom of haagen is surrounded by ice fields to the north and the sea to the west. As long as you have the ability, you can take the spirit beast soul bones for yourself. And as long as you don't harm the indigenous people of this country, here, hee hee, you can do whatever you want. Okay. The leader said with an evil smile. When Sasuke and others entered the city, they found that the people in the entire city were divided into two distinct categories. One type was leisurely and leisurely, busy with the trivial matters of life. The other type of people are cautious and cautious, as if the main city is surrounded by dangers. Both sides have a tacit understanding and act independently without disturbing each other. This is the main city of the haagen kingdom. Why is it so strange? Yi Linger said. Ning Rongrong said, according to what the city defense leader said it is estimated that only citizens of the haagen kingdom are protected by them. Those who pay money to stay temporarily are probably following the law of the jungle. Sasuke, I seem to have seen a very familiar person just now. Ling Yun said to Sasuke, I seem to have seen him on the Tenchu ranking. It turns out that this is what the city defense leader said. As long as he can pay the 3,000 gold soul coins, even wanted criminals can stay here temporarily. In other words, as long as you don't offend the royal family and the residents of the country, no matter how wantonly you act, no one will care. You guys find a place to stay first and wait for my arrangements. Sasuke said. After being separated from everyone, Sasuke released his consciousness, looked down at the entire city, and determined the location of the palace. Although the palace is large, it is not difficult to find the king. Each of these rulers likes to wear an exquisite crown with the words I am the boss clearly engraved on their foreheads. The king of the kingdom of haagen is named Chalmers. At this moment, he has just finished enjoying the dance. His blood is boiling and he returns to the palace to go to bed with great expectations. It is said that someone has dedicated a stunning beauty to him today. The most important thing is, this beauty is still a young child. After entering the palace, there was a glare in Chalmers' eyes, his whole body trembled, 
He stopped, then he dismissed the palace maids and guards around him, and walked to the table alone to sit down. Sasuke walked out from behind the screen, looked at Chalmers who was deeply involved in the illusion. Stretched out his fingers and tapped the acupuncture points on his upper body several times, injecting chakra into his body, blocking his movements. Sasuke released the Jinjutsu, and when Chalmers saw the scene in front of him, his eyes widened with anger, and he wanted to shout for protection, but found that he could not feel the presence of his mouth at all. Sasuke showed Chalmers the warrant Shue Qingha gave him. Chalmers' originally frightened expression softened somewhat. Since he was sent by the Tiendo royal family, he should be safe. Thinking of this, Chalmers breathed a sigh of relief. You only have one chance. Think carefully before answering. Sasuke said, the Tendu imperial family sent me to take back the autonomy of your Hagendas kingdom. From now on, the Tendu imperial family will manage it together. Can you accept it? A thunderbolt flashed through Chalmers' mind. This means destroying the country. I have been a good king, and I don't miss a penny of the usual donations. But Xue Qingha has to kill the donkey as soon as he takes office. Then it would be better to fall to the spirit hall like the other two countries before. Sasuke felt the anger and resistance in Chalmers' heart, and knew that there was nothing he could do about it, so he didn't bother to let him speak, and directly wrapped Chalmers' whole body with an Amaterasu. Chalmers saw his whole body ignited with flames, and he was suddenly frightened and angry. Where was the promised opportunity? Haven't you spoken yet? However, Chalmers, whose acupuncture points were blocked, could not make a sound and could not even struggle in pain. He watched as he was burned to ashes. Sasuke formed a seal with one hand and transformed into Chalmers. Just as he was about to walk out of the bedroom, he heard a sound coming from the bedside. Sasuke walked to the bed and raised the tent, only to see a young woman lying on the bed. The woman's body was wrapped in a layer of semi-transparent gauze that seemed to be invisible, and all of her bumpy body fell into Sasuke's eyes. On the woman's wrists, ankles, and neck, there was a ring-shaped soul guide that inhibited the flow of soul power. This situation is really a feast for the gluttonous people. When the woman saw Sasuke who had transformed into Chalmers, her eyes were filled with shame and anger, and she wanted to break free. The five ring-shaped soul guides immediately released a burst of electricity, causing his delicate body to tremble uncontrollably. Aha! The woman's whole body convulsed, and although she clenched her teeth, she couldn't help but moan in pain. Sasuke looked at that beautiful face and felt as if he had seen it somewhere before. I'm coming. I always feel like I forgot something very important. But I just can't remember. Chapter, 75 He seems to be a student of Shrek. Sasuke had some impressions and stretched out one hand towards the person on the bed. Seeing this, the woman wanted to struggle, but found that she could no longer raise any strength. Her beautiful eyes flickered, tears fell down, and she closed her eyes, not daring to look at the claws stretched out by the person in front of her. Pa, 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 pa. There was a clear cracking sound, and the soul suppressors on the woman were disconnected one by one. Sasuke released his transformation, took off his cloak, and threw it to the confused woman on the bed. After Yi Linger and others separated from Sasuke, they stayed in the hotel waiting for Sasuke's instructions. At midnight, Yi Linger received a message from Sasuke and summoned the other five people to go to the palace. Sasuke used Chalmers' identity to summon six people into the palace. Yi Linger and others followed the palace maid to Chalmers' palace. As soon as they entered, Ning Rongrong let out an exclamation. Zhu Qing. Ning Rongrong looked at Zhu Zhu Qing who was sitting on the bed with his body half covered by a black cloak. He was so shocked that he couldn't speak for a while. Then he looked at Sasuke who was sitting beside him drinking tea. He couldn't imagine what happened. Ning Rongrong moved the screen to the bedside, took out her clothes from the soul guide and handed them to Zhu Zhu Qing. Zhu Qing. Why are you here? Ning Rongrong looked at Zhu Zhu Qing, who looked a little haggard, and said distressedly. Zhu Zhu Qing was detained for too long by the soul guide that suppressed his soul power. He was unable to speak. He just lay in Ning Rongrong's arms and hugged her waist tightly. Sasuke ignored Ning Rongrong, 
transformed into Chalmers, took Yi Linger and others to the study, and began to sort out the information about the haagen kingdom. The Chalmers royal family, in addition to the troops reported to Tiendo, has also recruited many wandering soul masters. Can it be possible to recruit so many soul masters in a place like this? Ling Yun exclaimed. Yi Linger came over, snatched the roster from Ling Yun's hand, and looked through it, this Chalmers accepts everyone. Many people on the heavenly execution list are hiding in the haagen kingdom. There are also various activities that have been banned by our newly promulgated laws in the Tiendo imperial family. In the haagen kingdom, the sole master group organized by Chalmers is also operating normally. Bai Cha reported. It is indeed a paradise for criminals. Ling Yun sighed. The area is bitterly cold and the products are scarce. In order to satisfy the royal family's desires and provide supplies to Tiendo, they chose this method. Ling Shui said. Everyone stayed up all night, turned over the entire study, and roughly sorted out the basic information about the entire kingdom. Sasuke ordered Bai Cha, Ling Shui and Mu Qin to continue sorting out the information, while he issued an order for all the soul masters recruited by Chalmers to gather at the school grounds. Afterwards, Sasuke took Yi Linger and Ling Yun to the school grounds to wait. After the order was issued, within a quarter of an hour, the school ground was packed with people. What an army of soul masters! From the soul saint to the soul lord, nearly a thousand people were standing on the campus, looking at Chalmers on the high platform, not knowing what was going on. Sasuke, everyone is almost here. Ling Yun said. Sasuke stood up, compressed one hand and condensed a black chakra ball, which rose into the air. Earth Explosion Sky Star A huge gravitational field was formed around the rising black ball, and group after group of soul masters on the school field were sucked into the air and squeezed together. Those soul masters were completely unprepared and were completely at a loss when they saw the sudden change. The soul master team of nearly a thousand people was sucked into the air by Sasuke without any resistance, forming a ball composed of human bodies. Yi Linger looked at the sphere in the air, with countless hands and feet waving on the ball. Goosebumps appeared all over Yi Linger's body, and she felt like nauseating. The huge sphere of human flesh blocks out the sky and the sun, which is quite spectacular. Amaterasu Sasuke unleashed Amaterasu on the orb. Black flames spread rapidly on the huge sphere, and a deafening wail erupted over the entire school grounds. Ling Yun and Yi Linger were completely stunned. The two people traveling with Sasuke originally thought there would be a big battle, but they never expected that Sasuke would adopt such a method. Black flames wrapped around the human flesh sphere, hanging in the sky like a black sun, and screams could be heard endlessly. The air was filled with the smell of barbecue, and from time to time there was the sound of sizzling oil. Ling Yun and Yi Linger smelled the burnt aroma on their noses and felt sick in their hearts, but they were too embarrassed to lose their composure in front of Sasuke, so they could only endure it. This scene is too outrageous. Time passed bit by bit, and the huge sphere became smaller and smaller, and finally disappeared completely. Yi Linger and Ling Yun endured this mental torture for seconds that seemed like years. When it finally ended, they found that their legs were numb and they couldn't move at all. The army of soul masters that Chalmers had been running for many years was completely wiped out by Sasuke with a raise of his hand and a look, as if these people had never existed in this world without any trace. Yi Linger and Ling Yun witnessed Sasuke murdering for the first time. Along the way, countless people provoked and threatened Sasuke. Sasuke had never killed anyone in front of everyone. Except for the two bishops of Wuhuan Palace, they had never seen Sasuke. Killed anyone. However, in less than half a day, nearly a thousand people died under Sasuke's actions. The flesh ball glowing with black flames was like the gate of hell hanging in midair, and countless evil ghosts were burned up by the flames. The toughest decisions require the strongest will. Sasuke once again refreshed Yi Linger and Ling Yun's understanding of this sentence. In the eyes of the two of them, Sasuke, who was expressionless at the moment, had the posture of a god of death, and his black robe was very suitable for the scene. They really missed a good show. Ling Yun swallowed. Step on it, come on, come on. Pussycat Doll Zhu Zhu Qing joins the team. Chapter 76 
Zhu Zhuqin changed into Ning Rongrong's clothes. Since Ning Rongrong's figure was more petite, the size of Zhu Zhuqing's clothes obviously did not match her. The tight clothes perfectly outlined her hot figure. It turned out that after the Soul Master competition, the war between Xinglua and Wuhuan Palace continued. Dai Mubai saw the opportunity and persuaded Yu Xiaowan to go to Xinglua together. Zhu Zhuqing also said goodbye to everyone and began to practice alone. In order to get as far away from Xinglua as possible, Zhu Zhuqing set out for the northern part of Tiendo, and finally came to the kingdom of Hagandas. However, what Zhu Zhuqing didn't expect was that she was already being targeted the moment she entered the city. Those soul masters who temporarily resided in the kingdom of Hagandas did everything they could to please the royal family. These outsiders are specifically chosen to attack. After all, outsiders are not protected by the royal family. Zhu Zhuqing, who was alone, naturally became a soft persimmon that everyone wanted to pinch. In the end, Zhu Zhuqing was captured by a soul saint and presented to King Chalmers. Then you. Did you suffer a loss? Ning Rongrong was extremely confused, but still asked this question. Zhu Zhuqing shook his head and said, Originally I thought I couldn't escape this disaster, but it turns out that Chalmers was your teacher pretending to be. Ning Rongrong breathed a sigh of relief and thought to himself, he is indeed Sasuke. Ning Rongrong looked at her top that was about to burst due to Zhu Zhuqing's tension, and couldn't help but press her hands on Zhu Zhuqing's body. It's really impossible to control it with one hand, Ning Rongrong said jealously in her heart. Zhu Zhuqing let out a soft cry, her pretty face turned red, and she said angrily, What are you doing? Sasuke is a good person. I can't help it, but he can. Ning Rongrong said with a smile. You. Zhu Zhuqing recalled the previous scene when he met Sasuke, and was so embarrassed that he could not speak. Why don't you come to Qibao Glazed Sect to find me? Ning Rongrong seemed to have remembered something, took back her hands that were pressed in front of Zhu Zhuqing, put her hands on her hips and said, Don't you treat me as a friend? You're not in the Qibao Glazed Sect. Zhu Zhuqing said aggrievedly. Oh, indeed, I was in the Hokage Pavilion every day at that time. Ning Rongrong said awkwardly. Rongrong. Ha. Huh. Ning Rongrong looked at Zhu Zhuqing who was hesitant to speak and said, You can say whatever you want. Zhu Zhuqing hesitated for a while and said, Master said that Sasuke is an evil soul master and has colluded with Wuhuan Palace. Is it true? The current Tiendo Empire has been stolen by Wuhuan Palace, right? If Sasuke is an evil soul master, do you think you can still protect yourself last night? My little beauty. Ning Rongrong said to Zhu Zhuqing with a smirk on his face. As for the spirit hall, Sasuke has his own plans, and I have never asked him. Many things may not be true until they are seen, let alone those rumors. Ning Rongrong held Zhu Zhuqing's hand and said, I I will ask Sasuke to accept you, but you must listen to me this time, if something happens to you again, I will have a hard time in my life. After Sasuke got rid of the soul masters who worked for Chalmers, he issued another order to disperse and reorganize all the armies and hand them over to Yi Ling'er and Ling Yun to lead. Sasuke, you are also working for Chalmers. Why do the army and the soul master handle it differently? Ling Yun asked. It is the bounden duty of soldiers to obey orders. Most of the time, they just serve as tools, and the problem is not on them. And many of those soul masters have committed heinous crimes, and they only serve Chalmers for the sake of to meet some of their own needs, compared to the army, the team of soul masters has no binding force at all, so no one can be spared. Sasuke said. Boy Yun, let me tell you this, if you let any bastard go today, if he does anything harmful to God in the future, it will be your responsibility, Yi Ling'er said. When Sasuke returned to the palace, Ling Xue and the others had finished sorting out the information about the Hagandas kingdom. Mu Qin, go and call Ning Rongrong. They should be tired of it. Sasuke felt dissatisfied when he sensed that Ning Rongrong was still staying with Zhu Zhu Qin. Mu Qin obediently called Ning Rongrong, and Ning Rongrong was followed by Zhu Zhu Qin, who looked reserved. Sasuke looked at Ning Rongrong and said, We are not here for tourism. Ning Rongrong smiled inwardly, stepped forward and hugged Sasuke's arm tightly and said, Sasuke, 
just let her join. Zhu Qing is so talented. She will never be a hindrance. Let go. Sasuke said. I won't. Ning Rongrong said shamelessly, if you don't accept her today, I won't let go. You have also seen how difficult it is for a girl to be outside. If something happens to her again in the future. Then. It's your responsibility. Shinra Tenjing. A burst of repulsive force spread out from Sasuke and bounced Ning Rongrong away. Ning Rongrong staggered back a few steps and fell to the ground, looking at Sasuke angrily. Suddenly, Ning Rongrong had an idea and said, Sasuke, Zhu Qing is a noble of the Star Luo Empire. Maybe you can use her in the future. A noble from the Star Luo Empire? Sasuke glanced at Zhu Zhu Qing and said to Ning Rongrong, Have you forgotten that I will eliminate the so-called nobles? I remember, but you also said that it is easy to eliminate the nobles physically, but it is too low level. Didn't you say that you want to completely eliminate the nobles ideologically? There is a noble from the Star Luo royal family here, give it a try. Ning Rongrong said. Brother Sasuke, please let her follow you for now. Mu Qing said to Sasuke. Ling Shui and Bai Cha also stopped what they were doing and looked at Sasuke. For a moment, five eyes on Sasuke gathered, waiting for him to say a word. What level are you? Sasuke asked Zhu Zhu Qing. Level 43 Zhu Zhu Qing said. The talent is indeed good, Sasuke thought after hearing this, Ning Rongrong, who relied on chakra amplification to practice, is only at level 45 now. The quality of Zhu Zhu Qing's martial spirit shouldn't be any higher than that of Ning Rongrong's Qi Bao glazed pagoda, and she can be considered to have a strong will. Of course, Sasuke didn't know that Zhu Zhu Qing took the fairy grass that Tang San stole from Dugyabo Medicine Garden, otherwise he wouldn't have such a high soul power level. She helped you, you have to be responsible for her. Sasuke said to Ning Rongrong. Upon hearing this, Ning Rongrong knew that Sasuke agreed with Zhu Zhu Qing to stay in the team, so he stood up and hugged Zhu Zhu Qing with joy. Don't worry. Since I let you stay, I can help you become stronger. Ning Rongrong whispered in Zhu Zhu Qing's ear. Sasuke took out the general outline of civil law that had been compiled in the Tiendo Empire from the Soul Guide. And handed it to Ning Rongrong along with Chalmers's warrant, you take Ling Shui and Mu Qing to implement the new according to the law, the army is already under the control of Yi Ling'er and Ling Yun. You work together to establish the majesty of the law for me. If you are in doubt, come and ask me again. Ning Rongrong was deeply impressed by her father's shrewdness and ability, so it was perfect for her to do this kind of thing. After Ning Rongrong accepted the order and left, Sasuke asked by Cha Dao, how is the people's livelihood in the Hagendas kingdom? Bai Cha handed the information to Sasuke and said, It's not optimistic. Business in the kingdom is monopolized by the royal family. Chalmers has recruited all civilians to work in reclamation and labor, and the output situation is not ideal. Are there any mineral resources in the area? Sasuke asked. No. Where are the fishery resources? Isn't it near the sea? It's true that it's close to the sea, but most of the sea is covered by ice, making fishing extremely difficult. The most important thing is that sea spirit beasts are rampant, and civilians can't survive at sea, let alone fish. Sea soul beast? Since we are competing with others for living space, we cannot afford to keep it. Sasuke took Mu Qing and flew towards the seaside. Don't blame Mr. Liangpi, there has never been a better day, right? At least two updates. Crying. Then there is no way to save the manuscript. Chapter, 77 Sasuke and Bai Cha took the flying soul beast to the west coast. There were very few ships on the entire seashore, and they were all fishing not far from the coast. Sasuke looked toward the sea and saw ice floating on the sea, filled with white mist, and visibility was extremely low. On the other side, Bai Cha began to ask the fishermen on the coast about the situation at the seaside. This western sea area is filled with cold fog all year round, and fishermen are afraid to go out to sea. Legend has it that this is the forbidden land of the Poseidon. Trespassing without permission will offend the Poseidon and cause him to be lost in the white mist forever. Bai Cha said to Sasuke. 
those are poisonous gases. Sasuke said, looking at the vast white field in the distance. Poison gas. Bai Cha asked doubtfully. Sasuke asked Bai Cha to wait where he was, while he flew towards the sea while the fisherman looked surprised. Sasuke's whole body ignited with black flames, blocking the invasion of the white poisonous gas. Flying all the way overseas, it feels like entering another world, a world that is completely silent, but also feels full of dangers. Gradually, ice-covered ships continued to appear in Sasuke's field of vision. Sasuke landed on a large ship. There were many crew members on the ship, and they had all turned into ice sculptures. Sasuke used black fire to melt an ice sculpture. When the ice sculpture melted, the people inside turned to ashes and fell on the deck. Has it been drained? Sasuke thought to himself as he looked at the crew members that were reduced to ashes. I never thought someone could survive my breath. A strange voice enveloped Sasuke and said. Sasuke concentrated his soul power in his eyes and looked towards the sea. In the deep sea, he saw a giant snake-headed and fish-body creature constantly releasing cold soul power. Talking about people. A soul beast that is over 100,000 years old. Sasuke flew into the air, showing the complete body of Susanoo, turning into a javelin in his hand, and threw it with flames at the giant thing in the deep sea. Presumptuous. Only a roar was heard from the giant thing, and the entire sea began to boil. The giant thing slowly protruded out of the sea, and its body was hundreds of meters high, the same height as Sasuke's Susanoo. The whole body is covered with silver scales, and there are several crystal-like horns on the snake head. When he was hiding in the deep sea, Sasuke never expected that its body would be so huge. What surprised Sasuke even more was that the monster's soul power reserve was no less than that of the heavenly dream ice silkworm. Is it also a million-year-old soul beast? The surrounding white mist is getting thicker and thicker, and an ordinary soul master would probably be unable to see even his fingers. Pathetic human being. After practicing for so long, he will be buried here today. The giant creature looked down at Sasuke with its head held high. It's not easy for animals to cultivate to your level. Sasuke said. Livestock. I am Sido, the wife of the sea god Forcus. For the sake of your millions of years of soul power, I will let you die. The giant beast said angrily. Wife of Poseidon Forces. When Sasuke heard this, he became interested and said, Isn't the name of Poseidon the god of the sea? Why did he become Forces again? Poseidon. Is he worthy of that despicable thief? Kido said angrily, a thief deceives the world and steals his reputation, disowns his relatives, degrades us, and traps us in a corner, and yet he dares to call himself Poseidon. After Kido finished speaking, he sprayed white mist toward Sasuke. Fire escape. The flame god is destroyed. Sasuke's Susanoo breathed out a sea of black fire to disperse the white mist, and at the same time, Black flames enveloped Kido from all directions. Just when Haiyan was about to touch Katua, a layer of ice coat formed on the surface of Katua's skin. Katua emerged from the ice coat downwards like shedding skin and dived into the deep sea. The next second, Kido jumped out of the sea, came behind Sasuke, and pounced down. Sasuke's Susanoo held two swords and crossed them to block Kido's bloody mouth. Chidori Ryu Sasuke's Susanoo released a huge electric current all over his body, forcing Kido to release his mouth and retreat, diving back into the sea. Katua was extremely upset. My own poisonous mist has no effect on this human being. If it were other humans, as long as they inhaled a little bit, they would fall into an illusion and let themselves be slaughtered. Over the years, relying on this sea area that has been shrouded in her poisonous mist, Katua has absorbed the cultivation of countless soul masters and soul beasts, but he has never been able to step into a higher realm. It's all Poseidon's fault. I want to devour more. Kido spread his soul power to the surroundings, freezing the sea water as a shell. The volume instantly expanded several times, and he opened his big mouth to bite Sasuke on the sea. This time, Kido's mouth was big enough to swallow two complete Susanoos at the same time. Sasuke flew into the sky, and Kido set off waves nearly a thousand meters high. 
The waves condensed into ice cubes in the air and crashed down towards Sasuke. Sasuke's Susano released a Chidori, shattering the ice covering the sky and continuing to fly into the air. Don't even think about running away. The duck around your mouth is about to fly, how can Katua let it go? Kido suddenly jumped out of the sea and rushed towards Sasuke. He was about to swallow Sasuke into his belly, but Sasuke turned around to face Kido and put away his swords. Give up. Kido was overjoyed when he saw Sasuke's actions. This is a human with millions of years of nutrients. Eat him. There is definitely a chance to hit that realm. This way, you won't be able to run away. Sasuke looked at the bloody mouth that had reached in front of him, and Sasuke Susano pushed it with one hand. Shinra Tenjing. A huge repulsive force field was generated in Kido's mouth, instantly shattering half of Kido's head. Red gold rain of blood fell, and the ice shell engraving the whole body cracked, revealing its original body. How dare you! Kido used ice cubes to repair the gap in his head, and the horns on his head released several colorful cutting rays, shooting at Sasuke. Sasuke Susanu held the Chidori, and a flash appeared in front of Kido. The Chidori was covered with black flames, and with one blow, it penetrated Kido's body. Sealing Technique Absorbing Seal Huge energy was continuously transmitted into Sasuke's body through Sasuke's big hand inserted into Kido's body. Kido was frightened and wanted to break free, but Sasuke simultaneously released the miraculous tension to trap him. Kido let out a deafening scream, and the entire sea began to stir up huge waves. In Susanoo's state, the effect of the sealing seal was even more powerful, the scales on Kido's body began to lose their luster, and the ice cube sealing the wound on his head began to melt. Spare my life! Kido finally felt the breath of death and began to beg Sasuke for mercy. The more you have, the more you fear losing. These powers were accumulated bit by bit by her after millions of years of dormancy. How could they be destroyed in the hands of a human? Sasuke ignored Kido's plea for mercy, and the big hand inserted into his body released an even more powerful electric current, paralyzing Kido's body. This way there will be less struggle and less pain. As Katua's body gradually shrank, the white fog on the sea gradually dispersed, and the ice began to melt. The bodies of the frozen crew members also dissipated in the wind as the ice melted. For a time, countless ownerless ships appeared on the sea, like tombs one after another, floating slowly with the ocean current. Chapter, 78 On the western coast, the wind and waves are overwhelming. The shocking momentum had already scared away the few fishermen. Unknowingly, Yi Linger also rushed over with his army, but only by Cha and he were watching anxiously on the shore. Is it Sasuke fighting? Yi Linger saw Bai Cha present and stepped forward to ask. It should be. Bai Cha said. What do you mean it should be? Is it yes or no? Yi Linger said. So what? Are you planning to die? Bai Cha said angrily. Sido felt that his life force was constantly passing away, and he recalled the night when he married his niece to Poseidon. He never thought that that was the beginning of his and Forces' nightmare. Kido's soul power merged with Sasuke's, and he felt Sasuke's determination to kill, and he had given up begging for mercy and struggling. When he was dying, he seemed to see a familiar figure, holding a trident, looking at him. How sad! Sido! A familiar voice sounded in Kido's mind. Kido looked at the sky and opened his half-broken mouth to say something, but no sound came out. Sasuke sucked away the last bit of Kido's soul power and took out the hand inserted in Kido's body. Katua's body fell from the air and collapsed on the sea. Sasuke lifted Susanoo and glanced at the sky. Just now, Sasuke felt a trace of consciousness flashing through the air, as if a door was opening and closing very quickly. The white fog on the sea has dissipated, and those extremely unreasonable glaciers have begun to melt gradually. Countless small fish swam towards Katua's huge corpse and began to eat its body. Sasuke's eyes glowed with golden light, he checked Kido's body and took some things from him. After scanning the nearby sea area again to confirm that there were no more monsters of this level, he flew towards the coast. The originally desolate western coast was now crowded with a large number of people. 
looking at the sea where the fog gradually dissipated, people talked among themselves, but no one dared to go out to sea to find out. Look! There's a guy flying over. Someone shouted, and the crowd became restless. Sasuke is back. Yi Linger and Bai Cha breathed a sigh of relief when they saw that Sasuke was safe. Sasuke came to the sky above the crowd, took a deep breath, and said loudly, I have eliminated the sea monsters in the sea. From now on, you can go fishing with confidence. When those fishermen saw Sasuke flying from the sea, how could they doubt Sasuke's words? This man could stand in vain, so there was no need to talk about his abilities. In addition, King Chalmers has delegated his power to take office in Tiendo City. The Hagendas Kingdom has been officially merged into the Tiendas Empire. From now on, there will only be Hagendas City and no longer the Hagendas Kingdom. Sasuke added. I dare to ask your name. You are a great benefactor to us fishermen. One of the fishermen led the way and prostrated himself on the ground. The people behind him saw this and followed suit. For a while, the crowd saluted Sasuke like a wave. This is Uchiha Sasuke from the Hokage Pavilion. I'm here to save you from trouble. Yi Linger introduced to everyone with extremely exaggerated movements. For a time, the news that the sea monster was eliminated spread throughout the city of Hagendas, and the city was full of thanks to Sasuke. If people can go out to sea to fish, and the fishing industry will flourish, Hagendas city will soon become wealthy. Bai Cha said after some calculations. It will take some time for us to get completely on track, and the people haven't adapted yet, Yi Linger said. There is still a necessary price, just stay here for a while. Sasuke said. That night, when Sasuke closed his eyes and rested, he felt strange energy floating throughout the city. This energy continued to pour into Sasuke's body. Sasuke felt that his body and this world seemed to be integrated into one, and all the cells in his body seemed to be integrated. They are all breathing together with everything around them. The next day, the fishermen in Haganda City dedicated their first catch to Sasuke. All kinds of rare seafood piled up at the palace gate. When Sasuke came to check, Ling Yun had already eaten several plates of sashimi. Take half and transport it to Tiendo City. Sasuke ordered. Tiendo Palace. Destroy the Chibao Glazed Sect. Xian Renxue frowned as she looked at Bibi Dong's new order. This woman is somewhat crazy. Ning Fengji is currently serving in his hands and has no second thoughts. Why do he need to do such a thankless thing? What's more, apart from Tiendo's army, there are only two high-end combat forces in Zhangxue and Xilong. How can the swordsmen Chen Xian and Gu Rong be so easy to deal with? Does this woman want to die? A Qian Xuanji who died early, and an unknown Bibi Dong. These two idiots played a huge role in Wuhuan Palace's current situation of having enemies on all sides. Qian Renxue cursed in her heart. Your Majesty. Hong Yen stepped forward and bowed, saying. What's the matter? Qian Renxue asked angrily. The tribute from Haganda City has arrived. Hong Yen replied. Haven't the tributes from the Hagendas kingdom for the first half of the year been paid in full? Qian Renxue said. Sasuke-sama sent someone to transport it here this time, said Hirohiko. Ha! Huh. He is really resolute. Qian Renxue knew that Sasuke was telling him that the kingdom of Hagendas had been taken over by him. A smile appeared on Qian Renxue's face, she burned the secret letter and said, let's go and see what good stuff it is. Two months later, Sasuke asked Ling Yun and Ling Shui to stay in Haganda City, while he took Yi Linger and others to prepare to go to the Silvis Kingdom. Before leaving, Ling Shui took out a book and handed it to Sasuke. Sasuke took it and saw the words Poseidon written on the cover. Ling Shui said, I found this when I was sorting out the information. I didn't have time to look at it. I put it in an extremely confidential position. Maybe there is some mystery in it. Sasuke put away the Poseidon and gave each scroll to Ling Yun and Ling Shui, someone will replace you in a month. When the handover is completed, come back to us. After all matters were settled, Sasuke and others set off for the Kingdom of Silvis on the Flying Soul Beast. Unlike the Kingdom of Hagendas, the Kingdom of Silvis is a true land of abundance. 
The Silvis Kingdom is located between the Tiendo Empire and the Balak Kingdom, with convenient transportation and huge flow of people and logistics. Business is prosperous and products are abundant. When Sasuke and others arrived at the Kingdom of Silvis, it was already early in the morning, but the entire city of Silvis was still brightly lit, colorful and lively. It's really a city that never sleeps. Yi Ling'er said from a distance. Zhu Zhu Qing looked at the city and recalled the scene when he was in the Silvis Spirit Arena. After such a long time, he was still so weak and could not change anything. Sasuke and others entered Silvis City. Even though it was early in the morning, the city was still crowded with people, shoulder to shoulder. From time to time, restless people would reach out to the wastes of Yi Ling'er and others in an attempt to grab their belongings, but they were all burned by a ball of black flames and fled. In such a wealthy city, there are still robbers and thieves. Not only that, there are even rows of beggars and young girls engaging in sexual activities in some streets and alleys. Under the dazzling glory, it is so rotten and dirty, with materialistic desires everywhere, that's how it is. After checking into the hotel, Sasuke opened the book Poseidon Chronicles and took a quick look. It contained intermittently records of ghosts and ghosts in the ocean. The most important part of the text is the story of Poseidon's righteous annihilation and defeat of the ocean overlord Forces and his wife Sido, and the separation of the two into confinement. After that, Poseidon pacified the world, was respected by all creatures in the sea, and ascended to become a god. Be admired by all things and ascend to godhood. Sasuke looked at the unknown description and felt that the book had no value, so he burned it casually. The next day, Sasuke and his party came to Silva's palace, showed the token given by Qian Renshua, and asked to see the king. In the palace, a fat middle-aged man was playing chess with a young man. The middle-aged man was broad-shouldered and round-waisted, and his royal attire was too tight. There were wrinkles everywhere in his hands and feet, which was very funny. The young man, on the other hand, had a trembling expression on his face, as if he was walking on thin ice. On top of his head was a crown of dim light. Lord Silvis, Tiendo's special envoy Uchiha Sasuke is here to see you. A waiter came to report. Tiendo's special envoy. What the hell, Sasuke? The middle-aged man rolled his eyes and said, I've never heard of it. You take them to have fun in the palace first, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. The attendant took the order and retreated. Silvis glanced at the young man with clenched teeth and asked, What's the matter? Does the king have any dissatisfaction? Chapter, 79 What do you mean? Yi Linger said angrily, hands on hips, let us wait. Lord Silvis has said that you can have some fun in the palace first, and he will bring the king to meet you tomorrow, the attendant said. Did you make a mistake? Yi Ling'er was furious. We are going to see the king. What does this have to do with Lord Silvis? Bai Cha asked. When the attendant heard this, he smiled contemptuously and looked like he was looking at a country bumpkin. The Silvis family is the most powerful family in the Silvis kingdom. You can tell just by looking at the name of the kingdom. It can be said that the rule of this kingdom has almost nothing to do with the royal family. Ning Rongrong said. I originally wanted to negotiate with you in a normal way, but what I got in exchange was this kind of treatment. Yi Ling'er pretended to sigh. She knew that according to Sasuke's impatient temper, this so-called Silvis the family didn't have much to gain from it. After all, what Sasuke hated most was waiting. Sasuke's eyes flashed with golden light and he disappeared instantly. After the game of chess was over, Silvis waved, and several naked catwomen came next to him and massaged his whole body. Your Majesty, what do you think I should do if the special envoy from Tiendo comes to increase the amount of income? Silvis asked with his eyes closed. The young man swallowed a mouthful of saliva and said, You have your own magic method. I'm telling you. When Shui Yi was in power, we didn't miss him a morsel of food or a penny of gold. Not long after Shui Qingha took office, the special envoy arrived at the door. I always feel that the person who came is not good. Ervis took a girl's hand, held it in his arms and rubbed it. Your Majesty has managed the country well and managed it very well. His Majesty Shui Qingha must also be interested in your face. The young man complimented. 
Silvis opened his eyes slightly and said, What do you think if we agree to the spirit hall, cooperate internally and externally, and annex the Balak kingdom? I can see that you have a big appetite. No wonder you eat so much. Ye Linger's voice sounded from behind Silvis. Silvis stood up in shock, and with a force of his hands, he squeezed the petite girl in his arms until she fainted. Escort! Escort! Silvis shouted loudly as he looked at the six Sasuke standing behind him. The guards around him were stunned, and no one made any move. Yi Linger waved the Tiendo royal family's token in front of Silvis and said, It's so majestic. You are shitting on the king's head, do you deserve to be called escort? Special envoy of Tiendo. When Silvis saw the token, his nervous expression softened. He sat down again, hugged the two trembling girls and asked, Tell me, what are you doing? Transfer power. Yi Linger said. Transfer power. Silvis laughed loudly after hearing this and said, Shue Ching ha sent you little kids to tell me to hand over power. Yi Linger pulled out a guard sword, pointed at Silvis and said, Can't you? Silvis picked up a glass of red wine, shook it, and said, Of course, you can come here, and I know that you have some abilities, but even if I listen to Shue Ching ha and hand over this city and this kingdom to you, what can you do? You don't know how many businesses, livelihoods, and rules there are in this city. This city cannot be separated from my Silvis family. Yi Linger looked back at Sasuke, who nodded. Yi Linger raised the corner of her mouth, slowly brought the sword close to Silvis's throat, and said with a smile, Really? I don't believe it. Yi Linger slowly pulled out the long sword from Silvis's fat body, glanced at Silvis with a look of disgust, and threw the long sword aside. The boy wearing the crown couldn't stop trembling all over and he didn't dare to look up at Sasuke and the others. Are you the king? Yi Linger asked. Dead. This man. Dead. The young man looked excited, put his hands on his knees, and said tremblingly, No. He is not dead yet. He will come back. Yi Linger looked at Ning Rongrong with a puzzled expression. Ning Rongrong said, Silvis is a title. The successive leaders of this family are all named Silvis. Maybe if one Silvis falls, another Silvis will stand up. Sasuke, what should we do next? Yi Linger asked. Sasuke formed a seal with one hand and transformed into Silvis. Just as he was about to speak, he saw the five goddesses looking at him strangely. What? Sasuke asked. Yi Linger's eyebrows almost stood up and she said, No. Sasuke. I can't accept it. Seeing Sasuke suddenly transform into Silvis's disgusting appearance, everyone felt a lump in their throats and felt unspeakably uncomfortable. The transformation technique is not an advanced ninjutsu. I can teach it to you and let you transform. Sasuke said. Yi Linger shuddered and stopped talking. Then how should he deal with it? Ning Rongrong looked at the mentally disturbed young man and asked. It's just a puppet, lock it up first. Sasuke said. In the following time, everyone began to sort out information about the Silvis Kingdom in the palace. Ning Rongrong looked at the treasury of the Silvis Kingdom and was secretly speechless. The treasury of the Tiendo Imperial family was in the hands of the Chibao Glazed sect. Although there are no rare treasures in the treasury of the Silvis Kingdom, the income from money and materials has far exceeded that of the Tiendo Empire as expected of Tiendo's granary and treasury. Ning Rongrong sighed. Look at this, in the kingdom of Silvis, women must give birth to children when they are fifteen years old. Yi Linger said while turning over the laws of the kingdom of Silvis. This is a kingdom eroded by greed, Sasuke. The problem with this kingdom is not oppression, but greed replacing morality. Ning Rongrong said solemnly, when our new policy is implemented in this kingdom, there will probably be unprecedented resistance. Go ahead and erase whatever needs to be erased, Sasuke said. A lot of people may die. Ning Rongrong said with a solemn expression, the implementation of the new policy will destroy the city's original rules. Many gray areas may face collapse, and the city may collapse. Then let it collapse. Sasuke was slightly angry and said, Ning Rongrong, we are not here to discuss with them, we are here to inform them of the arrival of a new era. 
revolutions in various countries all start with bloodshed. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called a revolution. Yi Lingyu recalled the scene where Sasuke killed nearly a thousand soul masters at once in Haganda city, and said, this is what the so-called revolution is about. The fate of the unjust. It's not that simple, Sasuke. Ning Ronrong said, Silvis is known as the granary and treasury of Jindo. As long as the Silvis kingdom can pay high taxes and donations every year, the Tiendo royal family will just give it the right to asylum and autonomy. Under this premise, the entire kingdom of Silvis will do anything in pursuit of wealth, which will lead to moral decay. In this situation, it is not just the aristocracy that resists the New Deal. Ning Rongrong, have you ever heard of killing a chicken to scare a monkey? Sasuke looked at Ning Rongrong who looked serious and said. Chapter, 80 The kingdom of Silvis is protected by the Tiendo royal family behind it, and the kingdom of Barak is heavily stationed in front, so there are not many troops in the country. Sasuke counted the number of troops and handed the Wuhuan Palace elders order to Ning Rongrong, asking her to mobilize the troops from the local Wuhuan Palace branch to come to help. For a time, the entire city of Silves was filled with patrolling troops, and notices were posted everywhere announcing new laws and regulations. For a time, protests and calls of injustice became the most dominant voice in the city. The biggest victims of the New Deal were undoubtedly the local aristocrats. Everyone thought that the law did not punish everyone, and with the nobles taking the lead, the whole city began to be in turmoil. The next day, the bodies of the demonstrators who were at the forefront were hung on the walls of the palace. Nobles and commoners alike hung high on it like slaughtered suckling pigs. Gradually, the voices of protest died down. A few days later, heavy rain poured down, and the rain mixed with blood dyed the walls of the palace red, and the whole city fell into deathly silence. Sasuke stood on the city wall, looking at Silva City in the heavy rain. A golden shadow flew across the dim sky and landed next to Sasuke. This scenery is not very pretty. That figure was none other than Qian Rinshue. At this moment, she had taken off her disguise, revealing her beautiful yet vulgar face. Her clothes that were soaked by the rain clung to her body. Which makes his tall figure stand out. Sasuke said to Qian Rinshue who suddenly appeared, Why are you here? I'm a little bored. I don't like staying in the palace. Anyway, I have a peaceful demeanor. Qian Renshue closed her eyes and took a deep breath. Sasuke looked at Qian Renshue who was soaked all over, and a black flame surrounded him. Qian Renshue felt her whole body heat up, and all the rainwater on her body was dried by the black flames, and every inch of her skin was dry again. Is there such a wonderful use? Qian Renshue looked at the black flames on her body and asked. Sasuke eliminated the black flame and said, In a country, there is an armed force ready to seize power. If it were you, what would you do? Qian Renshue was startled when she heard this and said, Do you have to make the topic so serious? Seeing that Sasuke was silent, Qian Renshue thought for a moment and said, The army under my command wants to seize power. Whether it succeeds or not, it shows that this army is capable of seizing power. Giving the army the conditions to rebel is a failure in itself. In addition to suppressing the rebellion, the most important thing is to solve the problems of the system and analyze the reasons for the rebellion. Since they can hold such great power, it shows that both parties still had a common vision at the beginning. Why do you think so? Sasuke asked. Qian Renshua smiled slightly and said, Sasuke, did you know? The power of angels has the effect of purifying all things and curing injuries. So when I was a child, I really wanted to be like the angels my grandfather said, healing the pain in this world and curing injuries. All problems must be solved from the root. After Qian Renshue finished speaking, she walked around Sasuke and said, I guess you are a part of the rebellion, right? Sasuke said, the deaths of these people hanging on the city wall are more meaningful than their lives. The same goes for that rebel army. Their deaths should have been more meaningful. If so, they can be considered a worthy death. But they simply died. Their deaths did not change anything for those in power, right? Is this the source of your anger? Qian Renshue said, Sasuke, although I don't have synesthesia like you. Ability, 
but I can see that you have been very depressed, such depression. Believe it or not, I feel the same way. But they made a mistake, and that was keeping me. Sasuke said. I agree with this sentence. Qian Renxue said. It would be a big mistake to leave a paranoid as an enemy. So, you'd better not disappoint me. I don't want to waste time cultivating a person who is the Prime Minister. But if you can't do it or stand against me, I will eliminate you. Sasuke said. Why don't you manage everything yourself? Don't you think it's too much for you to shoulder the burden for me without permission? Qian Renxue felt a little unhappy when she thought of the way Bibi Dong treated her. I came to this world inexplicably, and maybe one day I will disappear inexplicably. Sasuke said, looking at the dim sky. So, I am proof that you have been to this world. Qian Renxue walked up to Sasuke and said face to face. To me, your world is just a test subject. Don't jump to conclusions. Sasuke said. TSK TSK TSK, look at your arrogance. Qian Renxue said in her heart. With the assistance of the Wuhundian branch army, the people of Silva City began to accept the reality and honestly abide by Sasuke's newly promulgated laws. In the face of swords and guns, any verbal protest seems feeble and dangerous. The next thing will be left to you too. Sasuke said to Yi Linger and Bai Cha. Why do I have to stay? Yi Linger said with a dissatisfied look on her face. Courageous, Bai Cha is not as good as you. Thoughtful and calm, you are not as good as Bai Cha. It's just right for you two to stay, Sasuke said. That's okay. But. Yi Linger pointed at Qian Renxue standing next to Sasuke, where did this guy come from? Yi Linger looked at this fair-skinned, beautiful and long-legged woman who appeared overnight and was so jealous that she was beyond recognition. Qian Renxue had never been pointed out like this since she was a child. She felt a little unhappy and glared back at Yi Linger. Yi Linger shuddered all over at this glare, swallowed a mouthful of saliva, and thought to herself, what's going on with this sense of oppression for no reason? Qian Renxue sensed Yi Linger's jealousy and became playful. She sneered. In front of the girls, she stretched out her arms without warning and hugged Sasuke from behind, with a provocative look on her face. He looked at Yi Linger and said, What? Do you have any objections? Hell stall. Chapter, 81 Although Sasuke no longer allowed Ning Rongrong and others to call him teacher, Ning Rongrong and others still maintained their respect for him as both teacher and friend. Sitting on the back of the flying soul beast, when Sasuke closed his eyes and adjusted his breathing, Ning Rongrong and others sat in a group to make room for Sasuke. Since Qian Renxue joined the team, she has always sat right next to Sasuke in the front, teasing Sasuke from time to time. For a moment, Ning Rongrong and others sitting in the back seemed superfluous. Suffocate the bull to death and starve the timid to death. When Mu Qing and Ning Rongrong saw this scene, they looked at each other and felt a little sullen. Zhu Zhu Qing naturally didn't know the reason, but as she saw the Balak Kingdom getting closer and closer, her heart began to feel uneasy. The Balak Kingdom is the gateway to the Tiendo Empire and an important military area. Due to its geographical location, it borders both the Spirit Hall and the Star Luo Empire. Even the Tiendo royal family does not dare to push too hard. Cats are very sensitive to changes in their environment. Seeing the Star Luo Empire getting closer and closer to the one he wanted to stay away from, Zhu Zhuqing felt increasingly insecure. Sasuke asked Ning Rongrong to bring him the map. Ning Rongrong took out the map from her bracelet and handed it to Sasuke. At the same time, she said to Qian Renxue, Sasuke, you haven't introduced this sister to us yet. In Ning Rongrong's heart, Sasuke refused to accept disciples easily, and even those who had been through the Hokage Academy were cut off from the relationship between master and disciple by Sasuke. Could it be that this woman really belongs to Sasuke? Wrong. If this was the case, Ning Rongrong would rather Sasuke like Chue Qingha. Elder sister. Was she hinting that I was older? Qian Renxue was dissatisfied, hugged one of Sasuke's hands, gave a meaningful look, and said, Hello, Rongrong, my name is Feng Chuixu, and I belong to Sasuke, well, how should I say it? It's not easy to say. Right? Sasuke. 
Sasuke took his arm out of Qian Renxue's arms and took the map handed over by Ning Rongrong. Do you know me? Ning Rongrong said. Of course, I know them all. Sasuke often tells me about you six. Qian Renxue glanced at Ning Rongrong and Mu Qin, the only remaining six of them, and finally her eyes fell on Zhu Zhu Qin. Um. Why is there one more? Qian Renxue looked at Zhu Zhu Qing's figure and frowned slightly. You have been restless since yesterday. Is there anything wrong with the Balak Kingdom? Sasuke asked Zhu Zhu Qing while looking at the map. This was the first time Sasuke spoke to Zhu Zhu Qing. Zhu Zhu Qing didn't react for a moment and didn't understand what Sasuke meant. Ning Rongrong leaned into Zhu Zhu Qing's ear and said, Don't lie, Sasuke can read minds. Zhu Zhu Qing clenched her fists and put them on her legs. It was really hard for her to speak her innermost thoughts in front of Sasuke, Qian Renxue, and Mu Qing, three strangers. Tsk, 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 Qian Renxue looked at Zhu Zhu Qing's big eyes and said, Look at how wrong she is, I feel pity for her. Sasuke, are you bullying her? Speaking of bullying, everyone recalled the scene of Sasuke and Zhu Zhu Qing at Silva's palace that night, and their expressions changed. Qian Renxue was just joking at first, but when she saw the change in the expressions of Ning Rongrong and others, her heart tightened, and she looked at Sasuke with a slightly evil look. Zhu Qing just doesn't want to get close to Xingluo. Ning Rongrong said, he's timid when he's close to home. Zhu Zhu Qing. Qian Renxue had some impressions. Among the registered players of Shrek Academy, there was one named Zhu Zhu Qing. It turned out to be her. I heard that the Star Luo Empire is jointly ruled by the White Tiger and Civet families, and they have been married for generations. Where is your little tiger now? Kitty. Qian Renxue asked. There is no such person. Zhu Zhu Qing gritted his teeth. You are so lenient. Ning Rongrong said to Qian Renxue in front of Zhu Zhu Qing. It's so noisy. After saying this, Sasuke jumped off the back of the flying soul beast and landed in Soto City. After Ning Rongrong and others landed, they also followed. Sasuke, the capital of the Balak Kingdom is Balak City, not Soto City. Ning Rongrong reminded. But the real master of Balak is in Soto City. Qian Renxue said, Lavula, the kingdom of Balak, has asked his second son Luofuya to manage the city of Balak, while he takes his prince Luofu with him. Ji is negotiating with the Star Luo Empire in Soto City. You know so much. Ning Rongrong said half convinced. Well, after all, I am Sasuke's confidant. Qian Renxue was tall and taller than Ning Rongrong. When she said this, Qian Renxue deliberately looked down and suppressed Ning Rongrong. Just when Ning Rongrong was sulking and had nowhere to go, there was a commotion in the city. I saw a group of people in red military uniforms swaggering through the market, levying money from various shops. Master Luo Fuji. I have paid taxes three times this month. Please do a good job and leave us a way out. A coffin shop owner held some money in his hand and cried on his knees. Old man, what you said seems to be our fault. Luo Fuji half crouched and patted the boss's shoulder and said, You should hate Wuhuan Palace. It's because Wuhuan Palace attacked the Star Luo Empire, and we Balak we need to prepare for war urgently, just in case something unexpected happens. If the people from Wuhuan Palace attack, TSK TSK, then we won't be able to spend this money. Ning Rongrong wanted to step forward and vent her frustration, but she usually followed Sasuke's orders and it was hard for her to do anything if Sasuke didn't express his opinion. At this moment, a golden light flashed in front of Ning Rongrong's eyes, and Qian Renxue arrived behind Luo Fuji at some unknown time. A golden blade of light appeared in Qian Renxue's hand, and she said coldly to Luo Fuji, I think if it's people like you, it would be better to let the people from Wuhuan Palace manage Soto City. Good. Luo Fuji turned around and saw Qian Renxue with cold eyes and murderous intent. His soul almost flew out. It was not because of fear. The strong men in Luo Fuji's team were all gearing up, their eyes blazing. There is such a beauty in Soto City. Chapter, 82 Special times call for special means. My beauty, 
I have Prince Balak, Prince Lovoki, and there is still a vacancy for the crown princess. Lovoki gentlemanly bent down and extended his hand, are you willing to join hands with me to manage this paradise? Qian Renshua looked at Luo Fuji who had his neck exposed in front of her and said, it seems that your courage is more surprising than your brain. The golden light shines, Qian Renshua raises the knife and drops it. Luo Fuji only felt a heat on his neck and stood up, not yet understanding what happened. The next second, the whole world began to spin. Gulyalu. Lovoki's head rolled down into the ranks of Barak's army. Tai. Z. Luo Fuji's eyes widened and looked at the sky, he was dead. This is the kingdom of Balak, and you died in the kingdom of Balak. Does anyone dare to do something to him in the kingdom of Barak? Come here. The prince has been assassinated. With a loud shout, several people rang their bells and rushed over, surrounding Qian Renshua. It seems that it's impossible to be quieter. Ning Rongrong said to Sasuke. Zhu Zhuqing thought to himself that the Barak kingdom had the strongest military strength in the entire Tiendo Empire, so he killed the prince in the street. Is it possible for these few people to break through the military blockade of the entire kingdom? Whatever. Zhu Zhuqing let out a breath and thought to himself, if Sasuke had not saved him that day, he might have been as good as dead after being humiliated. The kindness of a drop of water still needs to be repaid by a spring of water. In this situation, I can only do my best and repay it with death. The news of the prince's murder spread throughout Soto City instantly, and alarm bells also rang throughout Soto City. Doors and windows of every house on the street were closed, and troops kept coming, but no one dared to attack Qian Renshua. Sasuke released his consciousness and scanned the number of troops nearby. It seemed that 80% of Soto City's troops were concentrated here. That's okay, Sasuke said. Can this be good? When Zhu Zhu Qin heard what Sasuke said, his big eyes were filled with question marks. Qian Renshua looked at the surrounding troops and felt extremely conflicted. If she killed so many people, would Sasuke have a grudge? It is impossible to deal with so many people at once without letting go of the martial spirit. My Seraphim's martial spirit is too eye-catching. If this news reaches the ears of Bibi Dong and Grandpa. Sasuke condensed a transparent chakra ball with one hand and lifted it into the air like a hot air balloon. I saw that the chakra ball continued to grow in the air, and the sunlight turned into colorful light through the transparent sphere. Barak's army looked at the sphere that emitted colorful brilliance. The moment their eyes came into contact with the colorful light, their eyes instantly lost their sparkle. They all looked at the sky dreamily, their hands naturally drooped, and the weapons in their hands fell to the ground. That chakra sphere is the carrier of Sasuke's genjutsu. Let's go. Sasuke walked through the army and said to Chirinyuki. This was not the first time Qian Renshue saw Sasuke playing new tricks. She nodded calmly and followed Sasuke. Ning Rongrong and Mu Qing also followed. Zhu Zhu Qing looked at the motionless Barak army and took a breath of cold air. Recalling Shrek's previous offense to Sasuke, if Sasuke had been more tempered, he would have owed him several lives. Zhu Zhu Qing looked at Sasuke's back and thought to himself, he probably didn't bother to do anything to us at that time. In a garden in Soto City, Barak King Lavula was receiving guests. Ever since Wuhundian began to invade the Star Luo Empire, the relationship between the Balak Kingdom and the two has become quite ambiguous. On the one hand, Wuhundian withdrew most of the troops stationed on the Balak border, causing the pressure on the Balak Kingdom to drop sharply. On the other hand, Xing Luo began to have thoughts about the Balak Kingdom after sending envoys to Tiendo City several times without success. The Balak Kingdom is the military camp of Tiendo. It can be said that it controls the second most elite troops in the entire Tiendo Empire. As long as it can convince King Balak to send troops to put pressure on Wuhuan Palace. Wuhuan Palace is surrounded by enemies from both sides and will definitely be unable to dismount. Lovela was so flattered by the Xinglua envoy that she couldn't help herself. I asked myself that I have a lot of troops and I already have independent abilities. Why should I be ordered around by the Tiendo royal family? At this moment, Lovela was clinking glasses and drinking with Dai Mubai, the prince of the Star Luo Empire. 
Also coming with Dai Mubai was the newly promoted Imperial Military Advisor Yu Xiaowan. He who wins the master wins the world. Dai Mubai said this when introducing him to his father. A Turing great soul master who is half buried in the earth. Is he worthy? Davis looked at the serious Dai Mubai in disbelief and thought to himself, my stupid brother. Are you afraid that you are not fooling around with women in Tiendo? This mission to Balak is a good opportunity for Yu Xiaowan to become famous in Xinluo. But with his sharp tongue, what's the difficulty in manipulating a martial artist? Looking at Luovula, who was drinking with Dai Mubai, the corners of Yu Xiaowan's mouth curved slightly, and she nodded with satisfaction. Today, Yu Xiaowan is going to let those warriors in Xinluo who only respect strength know the power of the wise. Your Majesty. As long as you join hands with me, Xing Luo, to extinguish the arrogance of Wuhuan Palace. The day when our Xing Luo cavalry destroys Wuhuan Palace will be the time for you to become the master of the Heaven Dou and share the world with me, Xing Luo. Yu Xiaowan raised her glass and said to Lovela. Replace the Tiendou royal family. Become the Lord of Heaven Dou. A man born in heaven and earth, how can he live in a state of depression for a long time? Lovela drank all the Beijong wine in one gulp and looked up to the sky with a smile. Yu Xiaowan and Dai Mubai looked at each other, smiled, and nodded. Just when Lovela was about to agree to Dai Mubai's proposal, a general broke in and shouted, Your Majesty. This is bad. Luovula was drunk and annoyed, and cursed, Why are you yelling so loudly? The general knelt down and said, The prince. The prince is dead. The prince is dead. Then you go to the coffin shop. Didn't you see that I was waiting for guests? Lovala threw the wine glass to the ground and was about to turn around to talk to Dai Mubai when suddenly she woke up suddenly. Lovala turned around and pinched the general's shoulder and said, What did you say? Who? The prince is dead. The general's shoulder blades were crushed by Lovala, and he endured the pain and said, Exactly. He died in the coffin shop in the east of the city. As soon as this statement came out, everyone in the audience was shocked. Yu Xiaowan frowned. Could it be that Wuhuan Palace knew that he was sent as envoy Balak and had already sent someone to strike first? Classic Hell Stall Ding Ding Chapter 83 Where is the murderer? Where is the murderer? Lovela shook the general's body and said. The general was about to speak when a lazy female voice said, Stop yelling isn't this coming? Everyone followed the sound and saw Qian Renxue walking at the front with long legs, followed by Sasuke and others. As the king of Balak, Qian Renxue was quite dissatisfied at the fact that he had made friends with Xing Luo without telling her. In Qian Renxue's view, although she is a fake Xue Qinghe, Tiendou is her territory. This king was obtained with her twenty years of youth. Lovela was not drunk at all. He looked at these five uninvited guests and thought to himself, this place is heavily guarded. How did they get in? Dai Mubai and Yu Xiaowan, who were protected by several soul saints who were traveling with them, were shocked when they saw the person coming. It turned out to be Sasuke, the evil soul master. Yu Xiaowan's brows gradually wrinkled. If this Sasuke was ordered by Wuhuan Palace to destroy the alliance between Xing Luo and Balak, that would be very bad. However, once Lovela's son dies, as long as Lovela can survive this hurdle, it is certain that Lovela and Wuhuan Palace will fight to the death. Even a title Dolua cannot compete with the army of a kingdom. Yu Xiaowan said to Lovela, Your Majesty, these people are the minions of Wuhuan Palace. It's useless to say more. Let's take action together and kill them first. Now that they can get here, it seems that the defenders have no hope. When Lovela thought of this, the honey badger martial soul possessed him, and his eight soul rings lit up. Beside him, there were four generals, all of whom were at the soul saint level. Dai Mubai took a look at the situation and saw that he still had four soul saints, plus Balak's people, there were eight soul saints and one soul Dolua in total. There is absolutely a chance in this battle. When this battle is over, Lovela will completely fall to Xinluo. It's a pity that the one named Ji Linger is not with Sasuke, otherwise, this time he must catch her and ravage her severely. And then let the people in the army take turns to serve her, 
so as to avoid the shame of that day's sold master competition. Just when Dai Mubai was feeling proud, Zhu Zhuqing beside Sasuke made him tremble. The reason why Xing Luo is strong is that in addition to the law of the jungle, the royal family also relies on the soul fusion skill netherworld white tiger. It would be difficult for a prince without martial soul fusion skills to rise to the top. But this Zhu Zhuqing has always had a bad look on him, let alone practicing martial soul fusion skills. When he left Tiendo before, Dai Mubai asked Zhu Zhuqing to go back with him, but Zhu Zhuqing coldly refused, and now he actually ran to Sasuke's side. You bitch! Dai Mubai blurted out in anger, pointing at Zhu Zhuqing. Qian Renxue looked back at Zhu Zhuqing, whose face was ashen, and thought to herself, it seems that this is her little tiger. A traitorous king and an enemy prince, the gains this time are really not small. Dai Mubai, what's your dog's name? Ning Rongrong stepped forward and asked. Humph. Two traitors, the same thing. Look at what you are like. Dai Mubai pointed at Ning Rongrong and Zhu Zhuqing and said, a beautiful girl from the Qibao glazed sect and a noble from the Xingluo royal family actually ran to kneel down and lick them an evil spirit master from the spirit hall. He is really despicable to the core. That's enough. Zhu Zhuqing's eyes were slightly red, and he stared at Dai Mubai and said, My life is my own decision. I will not be kidnapped by your inexplicable rules anymore. Kidnapping? Do you think that by leaving Xinglua, you can escape the law of the jungle? When I catch you and have enough fun, I will send you to my military camp in Xinglua to reward the three armies. This will also be considered a betrayal on your part. Xing Luo has made amends for his actions. Dai Mubai said to Zhu Zhuyang, clenching his fists. As soon as Dai Mubai finished speaking, the four soul saints around him pounced on Sasuke and the others, and Lavala also took action at the same time. One soul Dolua, eight soul saints. For a moment, soul power surged in a small space, and each of the nine people used their most powerful soul skills to attack Sasuke and the other five. After the dust and smoke passed, a purple half-length giant appeared in the sight of the nine people. All the attacks of the nine people fell on this half-length giant that appeared out of nowhere. If one soul Dolua and eight soul saints attack at the same time, can't they break through its defense? Seeing this, Yu Xiaoan whispered softly to Dai Mubai, and the two quietly retreated behind the screen, ready to escape. I saw black flames coming out of the purple giant. The flames turned into big hands and grabbed the nine people in the air. The souls of the people wrapped and burned by the flames were melted by the black flames, and they were all sucked away by Sasuke. Unable to break free, screams kept coming and going. Chi! What a bunch of trash! Dai Mubai cursed and was about to run away with Yu Xiaoan when he heard footsteps behind him and saw Qian Renxue lift the screen and said with a slight smile, Where do you want to go? Xingluo's little tiger. Dai Mubai was shocked, this woman. When did you go around behind you? The second soul skill. White tiger fierce light wave. Dai Mubai sprayed out a white light wave from his mouth and shot it towards Qian Renxue. Qian Renxue condensed a light ball with one hand and easily received Dai Mubai's attack. She formed a light blade with the other hand and slowly walked towards Dai Mubai. The fart is like thunder. Three cannons blasting through the sky and cracking the earth. Ha! Huh. Qian Renxue's eyes moved around, and finally her eyes were fixed on a pig-like animal not far away. Pft! Huge green smoke sprayed towards Qian Renxue. Qian Renxue did not feel any threat and ignored it. The next second, Qian Renxue held her chest, her pupils trembled, her energy and blood surged, her fisted hand trembled slightly, and she held her breath for a moment. It stinks. Qian Renxue's whole body flashed with golden light, dispelling the green stench. When she looked again, Dai Mubai had disappeared. Qian Renxue smelled her body and used angel flames to purify all the stinking soul power. Too disgusting. Why are there such disgusting soul skills? Qian Renxue frowned. She had obsessive compulsive disorder and still couldn't accept that she was smoked by a ball of stinky farts. If she could seize the body, 
Qian Renxue would probably give up this stinky body immediately. Qian Renxue glanced at Sasuke. Sasuke had absorbed all the soul power of the nine people, burned their corpses to eliminate traces, and put away the Susanu. Seeing that Sasuke was fine, Qian Renxue flapped her golden wings and flew out alone. Angel soul power will not dissipate easily. Dai Mubai has Qian Renxue's remaining angel soul power on his body. Following this trace of induction, he should be able to catch them. Qian Renxue gritted her teeth and thought to herself, the one who smoked her with farts must die today. Ning Rongrong looked at Qian Renxue flying away and was stunned. There seems to be a pair of small wings underneath those two pairs of big wings. Six wings. Ning Rongrong looked at Qian Renxue walking away and couldn't believe her eyes. Seraphim. Could it be that she is the young master of Wuhuan Palace? She is the one who has been with everyone in the Hokage Pavilion for a year, Xue Qingha. Ding ding ding. Prime time. Daily Ticket Requests Chapter 84 Brother, is it okay to let Sister Fubuki go alone? Mu Qing said to Sasuke. Let her be, we still have things to do. Sasuke said. Ning Rongrong took a breath and thought to herself, she should just pretend not to know about this kind of thing. But from this point of view, Sasuke might really have an inexplicable relationship with Feng Fushue. On the other side, Yu Xiaowan and Dai Mubai fled all the way on horseback. Soto City borders the territory of the Star Luo Empire, and the two of them will soon be out of danger. Suddenly, a huge beam of light fell from the sky, blocking their path. Among the beams, Qian Renxue stepped out, her fifth soul skill, the Sacred Sword, condensed in her right hand. Yu Xiaowan swallowed a mouthful of saliva. He thought that Sasuke and others were working for Wuhuan Palace, so he took out the papal decree given to him by Tang Hao from his arms and stretched it out in front of Qian Renxue. Seeing the Pope's decree is like the Pope coming in person. Don't back down. You have missed the Pope's important event. Can you bear it? Yu Xiaowan shouted sharply at Qian Renxue. Papal decree? Qian Renxue looked at the fierce looking jade anus with a fierce look in her eyes. Is Bibi Dong stuck with such a man? Qian Daolu never told Qian Renxue about her parents, and Bibi Dong regarded them as a stain on her life and never had a heart to heart relationship with her. Everything about Qian Xuanji and Bibi Dong was investigated secretly by Qian Renxue after she became Xue Qingha. When she learned about the love hate entanglement between these three people, even she felt that her birth was such a disgusting thing. At that moment, she would rather be an ordinary person born in a small farm. In Qian Renxue's view, such mental pollution is all the fault of those three people. When her grandfather passes away, she will have to level Qian Xuanji's grave. Qian Renxue raised one hand, and the sacred sword in her hand expanded several times, and with one strike she cut off Yu Xiaowan's hand holding the papal decree. I saw a hand holding the papal decree flying into the air, Yu Xiaowan screamed like a slaughtering pig, and one arm was bleeding like a spurt. The Pope is here in person. Qian Renxue walked towards Yu Xiaowan who rolled off the horse step by step, I really hope Bibi Dong is here right now. Let her watch how I send you to hell bit by bit. Mubai. Help. Yu Xiaowan looked at Dai Mubai, only to find that Dai Mubai had already slipped away quietly while Qian Renxue was staring at her. Yu Xiaowan's face was ashen. Looking at Qian Renxue's face, a familiar feeling came over her. The person who once made her dream come to mind again, and she exclaimed in surprise, Are you Bibi Dong's daughter? You. You he is a descendant of Qian Xuanji. Very good, there is one more reason for your death. Qian Renxue raised the flaming sacred sword. One sword cut off Yu Xiaowan's other arm. One sword cut off one of Yu Xiaowan's thighs. Another sword strike cut off all of Yu Xiaowan's two remaining legs. I also know some of your nonsense. I heard that you always like to show off your brain to others. Qian Renxue showed the seraph martial spirit, and the black soul ring on her body flashed. The Sixth Soul Skill Angel Roars Yu Xiaowan, who was originally cut into a human pig, had passed out, 
but under the stimulation of Qian Renxue's sixth soul skill, Yu Xiaoan regained consciousness again. The angel's roar was a direct attack on the nerves. The physical pain had already numbed Yu Xiaoan, but the mental torture had only begun now. Yu Xiaoan's seven orifices began to bleed, her mouth opened wide, and she didn't even have time to scream. She only heard a puff, and Yu Xiaoan's head exploded like a watermelon falling from high altitude. Qian Renxue did not even look at the jade anus that was broken into a pool of blood, and began to search for traces of Dai Mubai. Has the angel's soul power dissipated? Qian Renxue put down her index finger on her forehead and looked at the boundless forest. Dai Mubai was nowhere to be found. Being careless and blinded by anger, one of the two people who could have been manipulated at will ran away. Qian Renxue was a little annoyed, turned around and struck another sword at Yu Xiaoan's body, and flew towards Soto City. As dusk fell, a wolf howled in the forest. Dai Mubai led a small group of troops to the place where they were attacked during the day, where a group of grey wolves were gnawing at the scattered pieces of Yu Xiaoan's flesh. Dai Mubai swallowed a mouthful of saliva and thought to himself, Master, don't worry, your death will not be in vain. Now, it's time for Yu Yu Enjin and Wu Huan Palace to completely break up. Kill a Yu Xiaoan and win over a Yu Yu Enjin, this move is not a loss. By the time Qian Renxue returned to Soto City, the entire Soto City army was already in Sasuke's hands. It is worthy of being a military powerhouse, with more troops than Silvis and haagen combined. After Sasuke publicly executed some officers who often bullied the people, the military appearance of the entire Soto city took on a completely new look. Brother, it's done. Mu Qin handed a letter to Sasuke and said. Sasuke compared it and found that it was exactly the same as Nalavola's usual handwriting. The content of the letter was to ask Luovula's second son Lavea to lead the army from Barak City to meet in Soto City. We captured the Balak Kingdom in one day. You are worthy of my fancy. Qian Renxue walked into the study and said loudly in front of the three girls Ning Rongrong, Mu Qing, and Zhu Zhu Qing. What about the second prince of Xingluo? Sasuke looked at Qian Renxue and asked. Run away. Qian Renxue said with a straight face. The next day, Luo Fuya, who led a large army on a starry night march, fell into Sasuke's illusion the moment he entered Soto City, and the entire Barak City army fell into Sasuke's hands. The corpses of Luo Fuya, Luo Vula, and Luo Fuji lay neatly in the coffin. Funeral reports continued to be issued among the Barak nobles. The owner of the coffin shop was shocked but also happy. He had never done such a comfortable business in his life. In this way, the Tiendo Empire will be truly unified. Qian Renxue said happily while standing on the tower. Sasuke looked at Qian Renxue with a happy face and thought to himself, this guy sometimes acts like a three-year-old child. Can he really be trusted? Qian Renxue turned around and said to Sasuke expectantly, then what should we do next? Head to Xinluo. Consolidate Tendu's rule. Sasuke said, although it is unified in form, the towns are not really connected. There is still a lot to do to complete the remaining laws and build convenient roads. You should be better at these than me. It's not bad. Xian Renxue said proudly. It would not be so boring if he and Sasuke worked together. After all, Sasuke is the only person in Tiendo who dares to refute him. Then let's do things in Suatua City. Qian Renxue suggested, just let Ning Fengji take care of Tiendo City. Now that Tiendo is unified, there is no need to worry about anything. Here we can look at Xinglua and see each other. Just in case. Sasuke nodded and counted the days. Ling Yun and Ling Shui should be here soon. The next day, Qian Renxue ordered the construction of the Hokage Pavilion in Soto City in preparation for the implementation of the two capital system. With Tiendo as the first capital and Sachuo City as the second capital, they face each other in the north and south. After all, as an important border area of Tiendo, Soto City's various indicators are still too low. At the same time, Ling Yun and Ling Shui also arrived at Soto City. How's the handover going? Sasuke asked. It's okay, those two people are quite capable. Ling Yun replied. Which two people? 
Xian Renxue poked her head from Sasuke's shoulder. Eh. This woman. Ling Yun looked at Xian Renxue who suddenly appeared, then looked at Sasuke, and thought to himself, Sasuke, is the iron tree blooming? It's Yu Tianheng and Yu Tianxin. Ling Xue replied. People from the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus. Xian Renxue frowned slightly when she heard this. She looked at Sasuke with a hint of reproach in her eyes and thought to herself, doesn't this idiot know that the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus and the Wuhuan Palace are enemies? Bibi Dong is not dead yet. At this time, letting the people from the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus participate in the governance of the Tiendo Empire, isn't this a deliberate attempt to embarrass yourself? Unifying the continent, naturally these large and small sects are also among them. This is the same as we agreed before. Sasuke felt Qian Renxue's displeasure and said unhurriedly. Chapter, 85 Yu Xiaojiang, are you dead? Bibi Dong looked at the secret message sent by Dai Mubai and was slightly absent-minded. Then, hatred and anger ignited in her eyes. How could he die? Bibi Dong's chest trembled violently due to emotion. This heartless man hasn't seen everything I've done. How dare he die? The murderer is a beautiful woman, and her martial spirit is a seraph. Bibi Dong looked at the description in the secret letter and sneered. Qian Renxue. You are worthy of being Qian Sunji's daughter. Your family bullied me so hard. It's so late, where are you going? Sasuke who was standing on the tower blowing the wind, looked at Qian Renxue who was standing in midair and asked. Qian Renxue turned around and said, Bibi Dong asked me to go back. Hearing this, Sasuke said, You already own the entire Tiendo Empire, Qian Renxue, and the remaining legislative work is imminent. It's time for you to make a choice. Qian Renxue didn't answer, turned around and flew towards Wuhuan City, disappearing into the night sky. Why has it been so long to take action on the annihilation of the Chibao glazed sect? Bibi Dong looked at Qian Renxue, who looked at the steps with a proud face, and asked. Tian Do only has stabbing blood and Shi Long. How can we destroy the Seven Treasures glazed sect? That swordsman Chen Xian broke through level 96 some time ago. I will not do such a stupid thing. Qian Renxue paused. Said, what's more, Ning Fengji is working for me now, why should I tie myself up? Can't it be destroyed? You are so capable, don't you know how to recruit people from the palace? Bibi Dong said. That swordsman Chen Xian is so fierce. With Ning Fengji's assistance, several title Dolua of the same level cannot defeat him. What? Do you want to take this opportunity to weaken the enshrinement hall? Bibi Dong, don't be so smart. Qian Ren Snow Road. Then I asked you to send people to transport materials and manpower to the front line, why didn't you carry out it? The war with Xinglua is tense right now, and our Wuhuan palace has insufficient logistics, otherwise what's the point of asking you to seize the Tiendo Empire? Bibi Dong said again asked. I have not long since succeeded to the throne. Of course I must first stabilize the national situation. How can I empty the national treasury and launch a military campaign just for your stupid behavior? Qian Renxue mocked. Foolish behavior. Bibi Dong knocked the scepter and said sternly, to level the star Luo and unify the continent is the spirit hall's plan. You have disobeyed me time and time again. Do you really think I can't cure you? Come on. Qian Renxue held her head high and took a step forward, look at the people who serve in the hall, will they spare you? Those old guys may not interfere in the trivial matters of the Wuhuan Hall, but you touch me give it a try. Bibi Dong took a deep breath and sneered, you're really good now. I've sent you to Heaven Do for twenty years, and you're no longer the puppet you were before. Twenty years. Twenty years. Do you know how I spent these twenty years? I was alone in that strange place. Some people respected me. Some people were afraid of me. Some people flattered me. Some people guarded me like a thief. No one loves me. Xian Renxue had tears in her eyes. She couldn't accept it. The woman in front of her was her mother. What? Don't you dare to take action. Xian Renxue glanced at Bibi Dong, 
who was suppressing her anger, and took out a freshly burned skull from the soul guide. This is the head of your old friend. It's probably okay to carve a tea bowl. I'll leave it as a thought for you. After Qian Renshu had finished speaking, she threw Yu Xiaoan's skull at Bibi Dong's feet and turned towards the outside of the palace. Walking away, he said as he walked, I bought the Tiendo Empire with twenty years of youth. From now on, you take care of your Pope's palace, and I will rule my Tiendo Empire. Don't tell me what to do anymore. Yu Xiaoan's skull rolled gurglingly to Bibi Dong's feet. Bibi Dong did not look at the bones, her face was expressionless, her eyes were fixed on Qian Renshu as leaving figure, she raised the scepter in her hand and dropped it. Yu Xiaoan's skull was smashed into pieces by the scepter in Bibi Dong's hand. Qian Renshu felt a dark and sinister aura approaching her from behind. There was a trace of chaos in her soul power, and she unconsciously accelerated her pace of departure. What's that smell? Qian Renshu flew toward Soto City, her heart unable to calm down for a long time. The last aura Bibi Dong exuded was actually able to make her feel uneasy and restless. This woman seemed to be hiding some huge secret. Qian Renshu took a deep breath and thought to herself, Grandpa, just watch, I will spread the glory of the God of Angels to every corner of the world, and I will do better than Bibi Dong. At the Sachuo City Palace, Yi Ling'er and Bai Cha also came to meet up after handing over their work. Under Sasuke's arrangement, everyone moved into the newly renovated Hokage Pavilion. Can we take her with us in this matter? Yi Ling'er stared at Qian Renshue sitting next to Sasuke and asked. What? Aren't you convinced? Qian Renshue raised her eyebrows and said. Huh? You're going to let me score twice, right? Yi Ling'er rolled up her sleeves and was about to step forward. Upon seeing this, Ning Rongrong stretched out her hand and pinched Yi Ling'er's waist. Rongrong, why are you pinching me? Yi Ling'er asked with a puzzled look on her face. Ning Rongrong's face darkened, and she thought to herself, forget it, let's not tell her that Feng Chui Shue is Xueqing He. Have you had enough trouble? Sasuke asked gloomily. Yi Ling'er and others understand Sasuke's expression best. In this case, they can't fight. After all, Sasuke's punishment is not outrageous. Although there will be no physical damage, the mental trauma is enough to leave a lifelong shadow. After Qian Renshue and Sasuke had a verbal and cold war for an hour, in the end, Sasuke took the initiative in legislation, while Qian Renshue took the initiative in the judiciary. Why is she so impressive on her first day at work? Yi Ling'er muttered. Otherwise, I'd say you're useless. Look at Sister Chui Shui, you're still so old. As soon as Ling Yun finished speaking, he found two eyes full of murderous intent shooting towards him. Qian Ren Shui did not argue with Ling Yun, but took out a large jade seal from the soul guide and placed it on the table. This is the gift I prepared for us. After Qian Renshue finished speaking, she took out a box of cinnabar and a piece of paper, held the big seal in both hands and stamped it on the paper. I saw four big characters printed on the paper, the world spreads the law. Under the sky, there are laws and regulations everywhere. It is indeed appropriate for the occasion. Bai Cha applauded. It was night, and everyone had gone back to their rooms to rest after a day's work. Sasuke came to the highest point of Soto City alone, closed his eyes, and released his consciousness. From Sasuke's perspective, there was constant free golden energy floating towards him. Sasuke pulled that energy into his body. Gradually, from his perspective, even his own body became transparent. What are the directions of these energy sources, Hagenda City and Silva City? But before, this free energy was only available in Hagenda City. What is going on? A question arose in Sasuke's mind. Why do you always like to stand so high? Qian Renshue flew to Sasuke's side and folded her wings. The higher the place, the narrower the space. Just like the distance between Sasuke and Qian Renshue at this moment, it is extremely ambiguous. Go down, it's too crowded, Sasuke said. Qian Renshue's scalp went numb, and she did not care about Sasuke, but said to herself, today, Bibi Dong and I have completely distanced ourselves. You must not betray my trust. Sasuke. 
Sasuke said, you guys are making trouble like this, and Sendo Lu doesn't care about it. Xian Renxue shook her head and said, he only cares about the survival and growth of Wuhuan Palace. As for who it is and how it is done, he doesn't care. Therefore, this can be regarded as a competition between Bibi Dong and me. Sasuke, I said, the true teachings of Wuhuan Palace do not conflict with your vision, so you do not need to be an enemy of Wuhuan Palace. This is what I want to say. I once thought that Grandpa was the strongest in the world, but I know after you have been with me for a long time, this belief has actually been shaken a little bit. After Qian Renxue finished speaking, she took a deep breath and stood side by side with Sasuke, blowing in the night wind. The wind is very noisy tonight. Chapter, 86 Erlong Calm down. In the principal's office of Shrek Academy, Flender stopped the furious Lu Erlong. Boss Fu! Can you stop me? Can you accept it? Lu Erlong cried. Flanders pressed Lu Erlong's shoulders hard and said, I'm sad too. But what can I do? It's precisely because Xiao Zhang is dead, and I can't lose you anymore. Do you understand? Lu Erlong looked at Flanders, who also looked sad and angry, and fell into his arms while crying. For this plan, only the ancestor Yu Yu Engine can avenge Xiao Zhang. Lu Erlong thought in his heart. On Jinlong Mountain, Yu Yu Enjin and Yu Luomian looked at the letter sent by Dai Mubai without saying a word. After a long time, Yu Luomian said, Brother, what do you think? Yu Yu Enjin breathed out slowly and said, The Star Luo Empire wants me, the Blue Electric Tyrannosaurus, to participate in this war, but this is impossible. In this situation, it is impossible for me to leave the Jiolong Mountains, let alone maybe he took his tribe members into danger. But, Xiao Zhang. Yu Luomian hesitated. As the leaders of the family, neither he nor Yu Yu Enjin could act willfully, but no matter what, Yu Xiao Zhang was his nephew, and even more so Yu Yu Enjin's. Biological son. This is fate. Yu Yu Enjin sighed, I am his father, but I am also the leader of this clan. Luo Mian, maybe you think I am appalling. Maybe even if I merge with the nine true dragon crowns, he may not be Sasuke's opponent. This. Yu Luomian looked at Yu Yu Enjin in disbelief. You know, according to the clan monument, fusing the nine true dragon crowns can not only activate the golden holy dragon bloodline, but may even directly ascend to godhood. And Sasuke is also fulfilling his promise. He arranged for Tianheng and Tianqin to take the outstanding children of the clan to Hagenda City for development. You and I both know what this extreme northern ice field means to our clan. Right now, you can't be hostile to Sasuke, not to mention that the content in this letter may not be entirely true. Yu Yu Enjin said. But, what if Sasuke is really from Wuhuan Palace? Yu Luomian worriedly asked, besides Wuhuan Palace, which force can have someone like him? Hearing this, Yu Yu Enjin felt a little shocked in his heart and said, Let's wait until Tian Hang and Tian Xian become title Dolua before settling the matter. Soto City, Hokage Pavilion. The regulations on the management of Soul Masters in Tiendo have been read out, and now the final round of voting and objections begins. After Sasuke finished speaking, he looked at the people sitting around the round table. Under Ning Rongrong's urging, Zhu Zhuqing also began to boldly speak out his thoughts. After the meeting, Qian Renxue hurried out and was stopped by Sasuke, where are you going? That's weird. Do I need to report to Sasuke-sama where I'm going? Qian Renxue said. Sasuke was speechless when he heard this. Indeed, why did he care where she went? The day's work was already over. Seeing Sasuke choked, Qian Renxue laughed out loud and said, I'm going to see how the repair work of the Wuhuan Temple branch in Barak City is going. If people like Salas and Wu Qian appear again, I will demolish all the branches in Tiendo for you. Sasuke said. Qian Renxue said, Don't worry, I can already choose the cat I like. After the unification of Tiendo, Sasuke and Qian Renxue had a discussion about the branch of Wuhuan Palace in Tiendo. Sasuke's idea was to dismantle them all, and Qian Renxue was naturally opposed to it. Her idea was to conduct a major cleansing of the branch hall's personnel structure, reorganize it, and convey the teachings of angels. 
After Qian Renxue gave Sasuke a lot of assurances, Sasuke finally agreed to her request. Since the judicial power was dominated by Qian Renxue, the Wuhuan Hall branch halls in various cities began to become the national courts in Tiendo, judging all crimes. Is this appropriate? Ning Rongrong couldn't help but ask. Rongrong, don't pay too much attention to the surface. Sasuke said, we are doing this legislative work together. The judiciary led by Qian Renxue will ultimately refer to the will of all of us. While Sasuke was talking to Ning Rongrong, Yi Linger walked over with excitement on his face. Sasuke. I have a gift for you. Yi Linger said. What is it? Ning Rongrong asked curiously. You have to go to Silva City to see it. Yi Linger pretended to be mysterious. Sasuke, who didn't care at first, became interested after hearing this. Sasuke, take us flying there. That's faster. Yi Linger called Ling Yun and others to her side and said to Sasuke. After hearing this, Sasuke reluctantly activated the Susanoo and took everyone to fly to Silva City. After arriving at Silva City, everyone caught the eye of a huge statue. This statue was located in the center of the city and was nearly a hundred meters high. It was much more spectacular than the angel goddess statue in the branch of Wuhuan Palace. You also built such a statue. Ling Yun exclaimed. Yeah. Sasuke asked. Yi Linger nodded, with an expression begging for praise. The image of the statue is none other than Sasuke. It turned out that since Sasuke and others left Haganda City, in order to express their gratitude, the people of Haganda City built a huge statue for Sasuke on the seaside. All have to pay homage. The story of Sasuke killing the sea monster continues to be mythical and spread among the people. Ling Yun, who was in charge of Haganda City at the time, proudly wrote a letter to tell Yi Linger of Silva City about the matter. Yi Linger and Bai Cha had an idea and built a statue of Sasuke in Silva City. Silva City has a lot of money and people, so this statue is much taller and more beautiful than the one in Haganda City. There is no point in wasting people and money on such a thing. Sasuke said with a frown. Yi Linger guessed what Sasuke would say, shook her hand and said, don't worry yet. I'm telling you, building this statue has saved a lot of lives. Sasuke heard this and said, how do you say this? Yi Linger explained, this is the idea that Bai Cha came up with. Since the promulgation of our new policy, many people in Silva City have lost their jobs. They have been in the gray area for a long time, and suddenly they have no income, and their livelihood has become a big problem. So Bai Cha proposed that the money confiscated from the powerful should be distributed to these unemployed people in the form of wages, so there were various projects led by us. Bai Cha nodded and said, Sasuke, look, in Silva City, the houses in the slums have been renovated, the city walls are taller, and many wastelands outside have been developed. Even without those grey incomes, she the city of Elvis can still thrive. Sasuke looked at the people praying under his statue and was surprised to find that the free golden energy actually came from here. I saw traces of golden energy emerging from the heads of those people and slowly drifting into Sasuke's body. Sasuke's mind turned around quickly and he recalled the sentence he saw in the Poseidon Chronicles. Be admired by all creatures and ascend to godhood. Sasuke muttered these words. I see. Prime time, come on, come on. Daily ticket requests. Time flies so fast, it's Thursday already. Chapter, 87 After seeing the gift Yi Linger mentioned, everyone began to return to Soto City. Sasuke, there is something that I am very concerned about. Ning Rongrong said to Sasuke. Tell me. Sasuke said. As the laws become more and more perfect, the loss of soul masters in the Tiendo Empire becomes more and more serious. Ning Rongrong said. It turns out that in the new legal regulations, all soul masters are required to claim their positions in the Tiendo Empire's army. The size of their positions is determined based on their soul power level. When the Tiendo Empire needs them, they must obey the call unconditionally. At the same time, all soul masters must register when entering or leaving major cities. For example, if a soul master breaks the law, his sentence will be doubled, 
and other measures have caused many soul masters in Tiendo to flee to Wuhuan City and Xingluo. It doesn't matter. Sasuke replied. In his opinion, those soul masters who did not agree with the New Deal were never his concern. When in the ninja world, ninjas who defect from the ninja village will be hunted down by the ninja village where they live, and will be deprived of their political rights. Ninjas from any other country can kill the rebel ninja. It is precisely because of this binding force that ninjas and civilians can have no offense and the people can trust the ninja village. The same goes for soul masters. As a group with far superior combat power than ordinary people, they must obey the management of the ruler. In other words, if you don't have the desire to commit crimes, how can you reject the New Deal? The great waves wash away the sand and leave gold behind. Those scum among the soul masters, let them be wiped out in the war between Wuhuan Palace and Xingluo. Aren't you ruining the place? In the Hokage Pavilion, Qian Renxue said to Sasuke. Ning Rongrong and others looked at Qian Renxue and Sasuke, who were at war with each other, and did not dare to say anything. This kind of scene happens every day. Didn't we make a good point when we discussed how to deal with the three upper sects? Give them some rights and let them shoulder some obligations. These are your exact words. Sasuke said. Qian Renxue said angrily, I didn't know you could really find the Haotian sect. Did you agree to treat them as dead? Now, you want to put them in Silva City? I can't accept it. The centipede insect is dead but not stiff. In addition to the elusive Tang Hao, there are currently seven tidal Dolua in the Haotian sect. It is really impossible to ignore them. Sasuke said. Seeing the two people arguing constantly, except for Ning Rongrong, the other six people all had the same question in their minds, what is the grudge between Feng Shuixu and the Haotian sect? If Haotian sect reappears in the world, that person will not let it go. Qian Renxue calmed down and said. She cannot care about anyone, but she cannot care about Qian Daolu, not only because of Qian Daoliu's strength, but also because he is the only person who makes Qian Renxue feel the warmth of family. As for Qian Xuanji, Qian Renxue can't help but his existence was completely erased, and it is really a shame to be the descendant of such a person. You should have some understanding of me. Qian Renxue said this with some resentment, stood up and left the Hokage pavilion. Ning Rongrong looked at Sasuke who was thinking, and said, Sasuke, actually I also think it is not appropriate to place the Haotian sect in Silva City. Speak. Sasuke said. As you said, the Haotian sect has a total of seven title Dolua, and they are not weak. Silva City needs money and people. Whether the Haotian sect is independent, rebellious, or with Xinglua cooperation has sufficient capital and strength. Moreover, it will also trigger conflicts between Tiendo and Wuhuan Palace. Ning Rongrong said. Do you have the capital and strength to rebel? Sasuke thought of Qian Renxue's words, allowing the army to have the conditions for rebellion is a failure in itself. Sasuke let out a long breath and broke out in cold sweat on his forehead. He almost did the same thing as the top management of Kanoha. If this continues, maybe one day in the future, I will kill the Haotian sect with my own hands. Are you too headstrong? Sasuke reflected. Qian Renxue went out to blow the wind for a while, but Sasuke didn't come out to comfort her, so she returned to the Hokage pavilion holding back her anger. Naturally, seeing Qian Renxue back, Sasuke wisely skipped the issue of Haotian sect. Seeing that Sasuke rarely made things difficult for her anymore, Qian Renxue gradually calmed down and thought to herself, why didn't Grandpa drive away the Haotian sect and kill them all? At this moment, Sasuke had another thought in his mind. If Wuhuan Palace and Haotian sect were really irreconcilable, how should he deal with it? After all, human life can never be measured and compared. After the meeting, Sasuke came to the roof again, sat cross-legged, closed his eyes, and began to absorb the free golden energy. Sasuke releases his consciousness and can extend it hundreds of miles away. And when Sasuke gathered his consciousness, he could see inside his body, and his internal organs were clearly visible. Sasuke has gone through many battles and has wounds of various sizes both inside and outside his body. Sasuke looked at his body and tried to use the energy in his body to repair the wounds. He saw chakra, 
soul power, and the newly absorbed golden energy coming together, and then pouring into the wounds, like electric welding, filling there are holes, big and small. The dead skin and flesh were eroded by this energy, and then the new vacancies were filled by this energy. After an unknown amount of time, by the time Sasuke had repaired all the wounds in his body, it was already dawn. Goo. Sasuke's stomach made a thunderous sound, and he felt hungrier than ever. Suddenly, a hand stretched out in front of Sasuke, and in that hand lay a seafood rice ball. This is the first time I heard our Lord Sasuke's stomach growling with hunger. Those who didn't know better thought that I, Emperor Chindo, had wronged you. Chien Renshua looked at Sasuke and said with a smile. How long have you been here? Sasuke asked Chien Renshua as he took the rice ball. I said I never left all night, do you believe it? Chien Renshua squatted down and asked. One night. Sasuke was shocked. Could it be that his consciousness was introverted and he couldn't sense the dynamics of the outside world when he looked inside his body? If Chien Renshua was disadvantageous to her at that time, wouldn't it be easy to succeed? Thinking of this, Sasuke frowned slightly and took a bite of the rice ball. Chien Renshua watched Sasuke's expression carefully, and frowned when he saw him eating, and said dissatisfied, what's wrong? Isn't it delicious? This was her first time cooking and eating. Still ask for Mu Ching that Sasuke likes to eat wooden fish rice balls. Wooden fish? What kind of fish is that? No matter, just have a little of everything expensive. Seeing Sasuke's frown getting deeper and deeper, Chien Renshua's anger level gradually increased. Ha! Huh. It doesn't taste good. Sasuke was interrupted by Chien Renshua's unreasonable question. Speaking of which, he was thinking while eating, but he really didn't feel any taste. After eating a rice ball, Sasuke asked Chien Renshua, is there anything else? At the same time, Sasuke was also curious as to why he was so hungry today. Eat it to death. Chien Renshua threw the remaining rice ball into Sasuke's face, and then jumped off the roof. This scene was caught by Ning Rongrong and others who were about to enter the conference hall, leaving everyone stunned.